Shrouding the Heavens. Chapter 201 to Chapter 250. Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys. Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 201 The ninth floor gave Yi Fan a strange feeling. These stones made him feel uneasy. Is this the aura of the origin ancient mine? He had this thought. The Heavenly Book of Source was a wondrous book. It contained the art of heaven perception. Yi Fan had already touched upon this peerless genesis technique and had a superficial understanding of it. He felt that he could feel the aura of the origin ancient mine. This kind of concentrated and unique aura should originate from that demonic earth. In the northern region, the most terrifying place was that ancient divine mine. No one knew when it had come into being. This is it. Lu Chen had already chosen and patted the origin stone. That stone was as big as a person's head and weighed more than 10 kilograms. It was shaped like a crouching bull and had a very heavy aura. This stone will definitely come from the source. It's just a matter of how much. Master Yuan nodded. Have you chosen? Lu Chen glanced at Yi Fan. Wait a little longer. He was a little uncertain. The aura of the demonic earth made it very difficult for him to distinguish between origin stones. It felt hazy and hard to grasp. What exactly is in that strange place? Even the stone itself has been infected. Yi Fan eliminated the 20 fake origin stones and began to choose from the remaining 38. There are too few stones on this floor. Dumbo was dissatisfied and complained in a low voice. These are stones mined from the edge of the origin ancient mine. It's good enough to transport a few dozen here. Most of them are sent to the holy city. How many people in Flat Rock City would dare to bet on something like this? The Holy City is different. The experts of the Eastern Wastelands, the Imperial Family of the Central Plains, and the Giants of the Northern Region frequently appear there. There are even people who dare to gamble with the ancient materials from the Origin Ancient Mine. The main reason is that this stone is too expensive. No one can afford it. Someone sighed. Master Yuan of Rong Xiang Gambling House shook his head and said, This is already considered cheap. The Origin Stones sent to the Holy City are all exorbitant. Most of the stones are more expensive than pure origin stones. No way, who would be such a sucker? There's something you don't know. At that level, the gamble is no longer on the pure source, but on the more valuable things contained within the source. Someone at the side nodded in agreement and said, Origin stones contain too many secrets. Origin is not the most precious. These seemingly unremarkable stones may contain peerless treasures. Yi Fan finally chose the stone. It was a cyan-colored stone with light yellow patterns on it. This stone was not very big, weighing about a dozen pounds. Everyone was completely speechless. They felt that his choice of stone was too unreliable. I say, little brother, you really like to take the unusual path. You even dared to choose such a stone. This is the famous watermelon stone dot. That's right, this is a watermelon stone. At most, it will produce some watermelon seed-like origin granules. It's impossible for it to produce large pieces of origin granules. This stone of yours weighs more than 10 kilograms, which means that you need to spend more than half a kilogram of pure source. The gains do not make up for the losses. This stone had clear patterns on it, just like the patterns on watermelons. It did match its name. Even if you get a few dozen seeds, it won't be more than one or two pounds. It's definitely a loss. Among the onlookers, a few old people kindly reminded him, but most of them were mocking him. I can choose one with my eyes closed, and it's still better than this watermelon stone. You little monkey, hurry back to the mine. This place really doesn't suit you. You don't even know this kind of common sense, and you still have the nerve to gamble on stones. A blind cat can't always find a dead mouse. Lu Chen waved his folding fan and revealed a mocking smile. He circled around the watermelon stone and laughed. Good stone. The people around him also mocked and slapped the watermelon stone, constantly mocking him. Normal people really can't choose a good stone. That's right. We normal people wouldn't dare to choose anyway. If there's a treasure later, I'll really swallow the stone this time to broaden my horizons. You said that? Dumbo was serious. He recognized that person and said, this time, I can see clearly that you said it. If there's a good source, you'll really swallow the stone? That's right, I said it. A young man beside Lu Chen Jen mocked, you want to cut out a watermelon stone to get something good? Keep dreaming. Everyone, you see, right? You have to be a witness. When the time comes, he'll have to swallow the stone, Wang Xu came forward and said to the people around him. Cut the stone. After Master Yuan paid his respects to the original god, he came forward with his tool. 
His knife moved like a dragon and a snake, cutting open Lu Cheng in stone. The old stone kept falling to the ground, and not long after, a radiance flashed. Such a pure source. After peeling off a few pounds of stone, there was already a bright light. The exposed source didn't have a single trace of impurity. It was crystal clear and very clean. Soon, the crowd cried out in surprise again. This source was gradually dug out. It was no less than two pounds, and for a stone gambler of this level, it was very precious. Worthy of being a stone from the edge of the origin ancient mine. One had to know that a mine could only produce one to two pounds of source, but this stone had cut out so much. Cut the watermelon stone. I'll count the total number of seeds and see if there's one or two pounds. The people beside Lu Chen Jen sneered. Crack. Master Yuan didn't delay and immediately cut the watermelon stone. The old stone rustled and fell to the ground. Soon, half of the stone layer was peeled off. It's really of the highest quality. There aren't even any seeds. Huh. It looks like there's no harvest. The person who had said he would swallow the stone was gloating. In the end, it was no bigger than a pigeon's egg. At this point, everyone understood that it was a white stone with nothing inside. Even Yifan sighed. He felt that the stone brought back from the edge of the origin ancient mine was too strange and hard to control. Master Yuan threw the thumb-sized stone on the ground. He didn't cut it into pieces. Watermelon stone, there will at least be some melon seed-like source. The stone you chose is really of the highest quality. There isn't even a single source. It seems like I can't swallow the stone even if I want to. Sigh, I really want to have a taste. Damn your second grandpa. Erlang felt suffocated. He directly kicked the small stone on the ground. Pung. The thumb-sized stone smashed into a large stone and shattered on the spot. Right at this moment, blinding radiance rushed out. The rich spiritual essence couldn't disperse it at all. This, there's a treasure. Someone cried out in alarm. Several figures rushed over. Yi Fan was even faster than them. He was the first to arrive and place the dazzling sphere of light in his palm. What kind of source is this? In Yi Fan's palm was a rice-sized source. It was extremely small, but it flickered with brilliance. It was extremely mysterious. Ancient insect source. It really is an ancient insect source. This is an archaic spiritual insect, sealed within the source. Correct, it truly is an archaic spiritual insect. Unfortunately, it's too young. Don't look down on it for being small. This rice-sized insect is worth several dozen gene of source. It was too late for the master of the source to regret. He wanted to slap himself a few times. They had secretly cut open some source, but they had missed out on the most precious one. In Yi Fan's palm was a rice-sized insect. It was sparkling and translucent, formed from the source. Correct, it's that kind of ancient insect. It specialized in eating source in ancient times. Its entire body condenses origin essence. It's a special spiritual insect. A finger-sized red source was worth five gene of pure source, while a rice-sized ancient insect source was worth several dozen gene. One could imagine how precious this ancient spiritual insect was. Ancient insect source can be used in medicine. Every great sage's land has some ancient secret recipes. They all need it when refining medicine. If sold in the holy city, it would be worth a hundred gene of pure source. This was truly shocking. It was just a rice-sized insect, yet it had such a huge value. Even Yi Fan felt that it was inconceivable. This is not an ordinary insect. It has been extinct for countless years. In ancient times, it ate source and spat out origin essence. It is very rare. The people of Rome Xiong Gambling House were regretting their decision. If they had known this would happen, they would have chosen this source no matter what. News of such a rare ancient insect source would have spread throughout Flat Rock City. It was worth dozens or even hundreds of gene of pure source. It was already a very large sum here. At this moment, Lu Chengen's face turned green. Ancient insect source was very rare. It was worth a hundred gene of source. He could not afford it. How could he cut out such a xenogenic source? It's not fair. The people around Lu Chengen were all in disbelief. Dumbo happily walked up and took Lu Chengen's source bag. He even put away the cut Lu Chengen had cut out source bag. You owe us 90 gene of source bag. What do you think we should do? Dumbo puffed out his chest and looked very tough. This. Lu Chengen felt like jumping into the river. His face was very ugly. If they were in the wild, he would have killed them already. Young Master Lu is a hero of the Qingxia sect. He will not go back on his word. Don't worry. He will pay you back in the future, the people around Lu Chengen scolded. Who are you scolding? Remember, it is he who owes us. Wang Xu walked up and stared at that person. He said, you were the one who said that if you cut out a treasure, you would have to eat the stone skin. Yes, it was you. I remember it clearly. Hurry up and eat the stone skin. Dumbo walked up and did not let it go. He grabbed the person's collar and forced him to eat the stone skin. There was a burst of laughter around. If it were not for the fact that the gambling house had a strong background and did not allow fights, this person would have been angry. He was very embarrassed. 
You, let go. You lost the bet. You said you wanted to eat the stone skin. If you are a man, don't go back on your words. Hurry up and eat it. This person lost face and wanted to find a hole to hide in. He gritted his teeth and took out half a kilogram of stone essence and stuffed it into Dumbo's hand. He then ran away, causing the crowd to laugh. Lu Chenzhen was also very angry. He forced himself to borrow a pen and paper from the Rongxiang Stone Gambling House. He wrote an IOU and left without looking back. Yi Fan walked around the Rongxiang Stone Gambling House and found that there were too many fakes. The three did not stay for long and left. It was close to noon. The others had also dispersed to find a place to eat. They would go to the Jade Pool Fairy Stone Market in the afternoon. Today is so relaxing. Dumbo was noisy. Wang Shu was also very excited. He said, the ancient insect source is worth a hundred kilograms of stone. It is so dreamy. Yi Fan had a small test. He felt that the book of source of origin was mysterious. It was indeed an extraordinary scripture. He felt that he could enter the holy palace secret realm after he returned. The northern region source was like a divine land to him. It could constantly transform. The three chose a restaurant and drank in a private room. They did not leave until two hours later. The Jade Pool Fairy Stone Market was located in the eastern part of Flat Rock City. The environment was elegant. There were many ancient trees planted around, providing a large area of shade. It was already afternoon. The doors were already open. There were many fallen leaves on the steps, giving off a very natural feeling. Not long after entering the Jade Pool Fairy Stone Market, Yi Fan noticed a few old men with extraordinary temperaments. They stood outside the crowd and were discussing something. The Holy City Source Stones are too expensive. But they can really produce good things. Someone cut out a demon eye not long ago. I heard that too. It's not as simple as just an eye. I think there was even a fresh demon bone. Its value is inestimable. The old men with extraordinary temperaments were discussing softly. These old men are getting more and more mysterious. Dumbo stood not far away and heard everything clearly. He whispered, the more they talk, the more unreliable they become. If they continue, the fairy flying from the stone and the world's most beautiful woman walking out will all become real. Wang Shu also laughed softly. The older people get, the more they like to think. In their eyes, there is everything in the source stone. It's not impossible to find a heavenly scroll. What do you two little monkeys know? The old men had sharp ears. They heard their words and turned around to glare at them. The source stone is the rarest spirit item in the world. It can produce anything, an old man said seriously. The things you are talking about have really been produced before. Old man, your beard is already white. How can you still speak so stupidly? Dumbo's words could really choke people to death. He did not know how to be tactful at all. Damn it, you little bastard, what are you talking about? Do you know how to speak? The old man was so angry that his beard was sticking up. Wang Shu did not know whether to laugh or cry. He tugged at the corner of Dumbo's clothes and apologized. Please don't take it to heart, sir. This brother of mine is too honest and never thinks before speaking. There's no need to lower yourself to his level. According to the ancient records of the North, a peerless beauty had really been dug out over a hundred thousand years ago, in other words, during the primordial era. She had walked out of the source stone. One of the elders spoke again, unfortunately, she still managed to escape despite being surrounded and intercepted by the various holy lands. Really? Dumbo craned his neck and approached the old men. How big was the source stone? Was that woman a demon or a deity? Not far away, Yi Fan's heart was also moved and he listened attentively. Go away. I can't be bothered with you. One of the old men did not like Dumbo at all. There are secrets hidden within the source stone. There must be a reason why the royal family of the Zhongzhou continent would always have peerless elites watching over the holy city and purchasing the wondrous stones at all costs. I've also heard that the ancestors of this family obtained a heavenly tome from the source stone, which allowed them to rise unstoppably. Yi Fan's heart trembled. This was truly shocking. Dumbo and Wang Shu looked at each other. They felt like they were listening to a story of a deity. Hey, old man, are your words reliable? How can there be a book in the source stone? Dumbo scratched his head. I say, you little bastard, why are your words so unpleasant to hear? Go somewhere cool and stay. The old man's faces darkened. They walked to the side and no longer paid him any attention. Yi Fan could not calm down. There were too many mysteries hidden within the source stone. It was more complicated and mysterious than he had imagined. He was glad that he had obtained the heavenly tome of source. With this extraordinary scripture, he would be able to conquer the world in the future and uncover everything. It seems like the stone buried underground not only contains the source stone, but also something even more precious. There were countless secrets buried beneath this vast reddish-brown land, waiting to be discovered. Chapter 202 The Jasper Pool Fairy Stone Square was quiet and elegant. Exotic trees and precious herbs were planted in the courtyard. Stones were scattered around, like a rock rockery, scattered and elegant. Their layout was very particular. The gurgling spring, the pavilion covered with vines, and the stones were everywhere. 
It gave people a refreshing feeling, as if they had returned to nature. Is the fairy from Jasper Pool who came to Flat Rock City their saintess? I heard that the saintess of Jasper Pool is patrolling around the northern region. It is very likely that she came in person. Otherwise, the fairy stone square would not be closed in the morning. Many people came here with the purpose of seeing the true face of the saintess. Because the reputation of Jasper Pool was too great. Not only did it spread throughout the eastern wilderness, but it also spread to the central state and the northern desert. It was regarded as the holy land with the most divine aura. All the women in the sect were born with the wisdom of heaven and earth. Many young people from big forces would be proud to marry the fairies of Jasper Pool. However, almost no one could do it. Even the powerful families of the remote antiquity and the great sage could only look on from afar. The disciples of Jasper Pool were almost not allowed to marry outside, not to mention the saintess of the sect. In such a long time, there had only been one or two occasions where the saintess married someone else. Yi Fan suddenly felt that someone was peeping at him. He could not help but look back and saw a young man in a purple robe. He was surrounded by people like stars around the moon, standing not far away. Beside him, there were a few people who looked very familiar. They had all met at the Rome Xiong Stone Gambling House. At that time, they were all beside Lu Chen Zhen. At this moment, they were all led by the man in purple. People from the Qingxia sect. Yi Fan frowned, but he was not worried. With his current cultivation, reaching the Nirvana realm made him a small master. Although there was no way to compare with the descendants of the Holy Land, in a small sect, he was definitely the so-called young hero. This guy's cultivation is not weak either. Yi Fan was a little surprised that the other party had reached the Nirvana realm. The man in purple glanced at him almost contemptuously, then turned around and no longer looked at him. Beside him, there were a few people with unfriendly gazes. They glanced over a few times and discussed something in low voices. Yi Fan smiled coldly and didn't care. Even the terrifying Ji family and the powerful Ya Wang Holy Land couldn't do anything to him. He naturally wouldn't be afraid of a hero from Qingxia sect. Damn monkey, you haven't returned to the mine yet. You've earned so many sources, are you still not satisfied? A person from the Qingxia sect came over and his words were full of provocation. Are you here to return your origin? Yi Fan glanced at him indifferently and said, if you're not, then get lost. Don't be an eyesore here. This was just a servant of Qingxia sect. He dared to speak like this. Naturally, he would not give a good face. You, how dare you behave so atrociously in Flat Cliff City? You actually dared to make young master Lu Chen Zhen write an IOU. You really don't know the meaning of death. You owe my origin and still threaten me. Are you speaking on behalf of Qingxia sect? Yi Fan glanced at him and said, a little servant dares to talk nonsense. Get lost. He scolded lightly. Others couldn't feel anything, but in the ears of this servant, it was like thunder. His ears buzzed and he sat on the ground. His face changed and he said, you. Not far away, those people were taken aback. The man in purple slowly walked over and looked down at Yi Fan, saying, you're quite powerful. You flatter me. Yi Fan responded casually. He didn't look at him but looked at the beautiful scenery of Jade Pool Immortal Stone Square. Do you really think I'm flattering you? Sure enough, you're just a laborer who only knows how to mine. The person next to him mocked. Someone at your level can only understand this kind of meaning. Yi Fan glanced at him and then stopped Wang Shu and Dumbo who wanted to come over. He asked them to stay aside and not get involved. I heard that my brother Lu Chen Zhen owes you 90 kilograms of origin. I wonder if it's true? The man in purple asked lightly. Yes, are you here to pay for him? Yi Fan responded unhurriedly. Give me the promissory note. I'll see if it's true. The man in purple stretched out his hand indifferently and asked Yi Fan for it. Yi Fan took out a piece of paper and handed it to him with two fingers. The man in purple did not look at it but directly threw it to the person next to him and said, Look carefully, is this Chengen's handwriting? It's fake. How could this be the promissory note written by the second young master? It's clearly forged. The person next to him took the paper and did not look at it at all. He directly tore it into pieces. Then, he rubbed it hard with his hand and turned it into powder, falling to the ground. You're really brave. You even dare to blackmail me and pour dirty water on Chengen's head. The man in purple sneered and stared at Yi Fan, saying, I think you're really so poor that you've gone crazy. How could these monkeys know how to identify stones? It's obvious that they want to blackmail us. If we don't teach them a lesson, it'll be hard to calm down. Take them out and beat them half to death. At the side, those people all shouted and wanted to pull Yi Fan away. You've gone too far. Dumbo's eyes were red. Seeing that the promissory note was torn into pieces, he wanted to fight with his life. How can you do this? Wang Shu was also anxious and incomparably angry, but he felt helpless. Qing Xia sect was a sect, and it was not something that their stone stronghold could contend against. It's only right to pay back a debt. Don't you think it's despicable to do this? Yi Fan said coldly and stopped Dumbo and Wang Shu at the same time. Little bastard, what are you talking about? Who owes you source? The person next to the man in purple scolded. Take out the real promissory note. 
If you don't have it, I'll break your legs today. You dare to blackmail people at such a young age. I. Not far away, Dumbo wanted to rush over and bite off a few pieces of their flesh. Teach these monkeys a lesson. If they don't take out a few dozen source, we can't let them go today. Why bother talking nonsense with them? Just drag them out and beat them half to death first. The people around the man in purple surrounded him and wanted to drag Yi Fan away. They didn't dare to make a move in the courtyard because they were afraid that Jade Pool Immortal Stone Square would be angry. Get the hell away from me. Yi Fan glanced at these people and said, Don't you want to see the promissory note? I'll show you carefully. Speaking up to here, he took out another piece of paper. However, he didn't hand it over but just waved it in front of everyone. This is. The person who tore the paper just now was shocked. This was clearly the real promissory note. The one just now was fake. He didn't even look at it before he tore it. The man in purple turned around and glanced at him. Instantly, that person shuddered. Then, with a ferocious glint in his eyes, he was about to pounce forward and snatch the real promissory note. You all really are quite daring, actually acting atrociously in Jade Pool Immortal Stone Square in broad daylight. Do you really not place the fairies of the Holy Lands in your eyes? Yi Fan berated loudly, his voice traveling extremely far. In front of them, all the people who came to gamble heard it and looked back. What's going on? A clear and melodious voice was heard. It was a young girl from Jade Pool Immortal Stone Square. Fairies of Jade Pool, please forgive us. We quarreled in a moment of impulse. The man in purple cupped his hands at the people in front of him. In the distance, the people around the man in purple glared at Yi Fan. What? Do you still want to behave atrociously? Why don't we ask the fairies of Jade Pool to come out and judge? Yi Fan looked at these people and sneered. What? Do you still want to behave atrociously? Why don't we invite the fairies of Jade Lake to judge this? Yi Fan looked at these people and sneered. The man in purple flicked his sleeves and walked forward. Those people followed closely behind. Brat, keep the promissory note well. Don't lose it. One of them looked over hatefully, his words cold. Don't worry, I will keep it well and wait for you to return it. Yi Fan flicked the promissory note and put it in his sleeves. The courtyard inside was even quieter. There was a lake in front of them. Even though it was small, it was clear and bright. The shore was covered in old vines. It was extremely beautiful. On the shore, stones were piled up to form a natural scene. At the lakeside, there was a pavilion built near the water. That place was actually shrouded in celestial mist. The pavilion was hidden among the ancient trees, surrounded by lush greenery and covered by mist. The sound of the zither came from there. It cleansed the mind and made one relax involuntarily. The zither was long and gentle, refreshing and full of charm. Even though it was shrouded in celestial mist, one could see that there was a fairy playing the zither in the pavilion. She was otherworldly, untainted by the aura of the mortal world. She was so beautiful that it was suffocating. It was as if an illusion had appeared. The clouds and mist were faintly discernible. A flawless woman stood alone in the clouds. This kind of music made one's emotions rise and fall along with the music. Yi Fan was shocked. This person's attainments were extraordinary. He was not below Hua Yun face and was close to the Tao realm. Yes, the zither music had a magical power that could affect one's emotions. At this moment, the fish in the lake gathered in the clear water in front of the pavilion. They swayed their heads and tails as if they were dancing. They were completely immersed in the music. Even if she's not the Jade Lake's holy maiden, she's still a stunning figure, Yi Fan thought to himself. It is the successor of Jade Lake. Their holy maiden is really here, an old man said. Yi Fan turned around and saw that it was the old man with the extraordinary aura who had been choked by Dumbo. How do you know? Dumbo asked as if he was familiar with them. The old man's faces darkened. No one paid attention to him and they talked among themselves. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden is famous in the Eastern Baron Territory. Her identity is not small. I'm afraid her arrival will attract many young talents. I saw a kid from the Jiang family just now. There is also a young man from the Yaoguang Holy Land who thinks he is elegant. I've seen them all in the Holy City. There are indeed many people here. A few small bandits are here too. Don't tell me those bastards want to snatch the Jade Lake Holy Maiden. If they really do that, it will be very interesting. The Jade Lake is indeed extraordinary. Whether it is in our era or now, people of the same generation cannot resist their celestial charm. These old men were obviously not ordinary. Yi Fan felt lucky that he hadn't offended them. He believed that people of their statuses would not mind Dumbo's words at all. At the same time, Yi Fan was also very surprised. According to these old men, all the talents of the Great Sage's land had come. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden's charm was obvious. Ding dong. The last trill ended, and the sound of the zither faded away. The wooden door of the pavilion overlooking the lake was pushed open, and a few beautiful women walked out in a line. The last one was like the moonlight covering her body, like a fairy. Her whole body was hazy and couldn't be seen clearly, but she gave off a flawless feeling. She was graceful and slender. Shrouded by the splendor, she seemed to be standing in the moon palace. Holy and distant, people felt that they could never get close to her. 
What are you stupid monkeys doing here? Someone mocked. Yi Fan felt sick. He didn't expect to stand together with the man in purple again. Is this the territory of the Qingxia sect? If not, all of you shut up. Yi Fan glanced at them a few times. Fine, fine, fine. I will let you be stubborn for now. You will cry later. The people next to the man in purple all sneered. Chapter 203 Yi Fan didn't want to tangle with the people of the Qingxia school. He took Wang Shu and Dumbo and walked to a far distance from them. The lakeside was decorated with green trees and pavilions. This place looked poetic and picturesque. There was no noisy discussion here. People here felt tranquil, talking in a low voice. Everyone with high status in Flat Rock City had come here, including the experts of Rongxiang's gambling den and some other sects. Yi Fan observed carefully. He was astounded. It was too Fei. He's here to join the fun. I'm sure he's up to no good. Yi Fan couldn't help but frown. That man was a loudspeaker. He dared to say anything and everything. Tu Fei stood with some young men. They were either ferocious or full of bandit aura. At first glance, they looked like roving bandits. They must be the bandits the old men mentioned. Yi Fan moved away from that place. He didn't want to be recognized by that loudmouth. Otherwise, it would create a lot of trouble. With those fellows here, it would be a big mess. At least, Tu Fei wasn't an ordinary person. I wonder why the Jade Lake Saintess has come to Flat Rock City. Is it just a simple tour? It's hard to say. Jade Lake has always been low-key. It's hard for outsiders to know their affairs. Everybody was guessing, gazing at the pavilion by the lakeside. The Jade Lake Saintess was shrouded in a layer of mist. Although they couldn't see her face, it made people want to see her fairy-like face. She had a celestial body and a jade-like body. Her body was built according to the golden ratio. She was absolutely beautiful. However, the most attractive part of her was her blurry appearance. Her voice was gentle like the sound of nature. It was like a warm breeze blowing into people's hearts, touching their heartstrings. It had a strange magical power. Until she finished, many people woke up from their dream. She had told them that Jade Lake wanted to show some stones for them to evaluate. If they had good eyes, Jade Lake would reward them handsomely. This woman is so dangerous. Yi Fan was shocked. The other party's words spread out like ripples, containing Dao power, making one involuntarily develop a good impression. As for what her voice was like, it was gradually forgotten, ignored, only remembered as incomparably beautiful and moving. It's a very unusual feeling. Is this the celestial charm that those old men were talking about? Yi Fan muttered to himself. The Jade Lake Saintess gave off a very special feeling. Whether it was her celestial body or her voice, they were all very hazy and somewhat unreal. It was as if she was far away in the heavens. Yes, in short, it was, hazy. Under her signal, several white-clothed girls came over on the waves like fluttering butterflies. They took out nine pieces of stone from the sapphire-like lake and lined them up on the shore. Of the nine stones, the largest weighed a thousand kilograms, and the smallest was only the size of a palm. They looked very ordinary, and there was nothing special about them. Everyone, please step forward and carefully examine these origin stones to see if there's anything special about them. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden's voice was too ethereal, almost illusory. Her voice was like that of a fairy. Her voice is intoxicating. If I could marry her, I would have no regrets in this life. The big mouth Tu Fei muttered. Everyone nearby heard him. Not far away, the old men that Yi Fan saw earlier chuckled and whispered to each other. These little bandits are really here to cause trouble. They don't dare to. They are just here to join in the fun. The Grand Supreme Elder of Jade Lake is following them. This generation's Jade Lake Saintess is extremely talented. She is unrivaled among her peers. Even without anyone to protect her, she can still move unhindered in the North region. Many people squeezed forward to observe the stones. They all wanted to know what was going on. Yi Fan stood still. He was afraid that the people from the Ji family and the Yao Guang Holy Land were also there. If they were discovered, he would be in big trouble. It feels like something is calling me. Erlang was a little confused. I also have an illusion. My body is not feeling well, and my blood is flowing faster. There seems to be a special magic power in front. Wang Shu was also puzzled. Yi Fan was shocked and said, You guys have a special feeling? Yes, it feels very familiar, but also very strange. It's very strange. Wang Shu described carefully. It's related to the nine stones in front of us. Er Lang stared at the stones by the lake. Don't make a sound. Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. He had heard Zhang Wuya vaguely mention that Wang Shu and Er Lang's ancestral bloodline was very unusual. It was probably due to their innate spiritual sense. There were three surnames in the stone village. One was Zhang, a descendant of the Yuan Taoist master. The other two were Wang and Lei. According to legend, the ancestors of the Wang and Lei surnames were young children adopted by the Yuan Taoist master in his later years. Their bloodline was special, but Zhang Wuya did not say the details. Yi Fan practiced the Book of Source of Heaven and did not feel anything special. But these two were restless and felt uncomfortable, which surprised him deeply. 
No, I have to think of a way to go forward and take a look. Although I haven't mastered the great art of changing heaven and earth in the book of Source of Heaven, I have learned a little bit. Yi Fan backed up, and then he used a wondrous technique. All of the bones in his body crackled, and in the end, his shoulders became a bit wider. His cheekbones and other areas on his face also bulged. His handsome face became masculine. His face looked like it had been carved by a knife. He now had a sharp aura, which was totally different from before. I can't maintain it for a long time, but I can deceive them for a while. Next to him, Erlang and Wang Xu gawked and dropped their jaws. They wanted to say something, but Yi Fan stopped them. You guys go there. No matter what you find, don't make a sound. We'll talk when we get back. The two nodded, squeezing into the crowd. The big mouthed Tu Fei also came forward. He circled around the nine stones and observed for a while. Fairies of the Jade Lake, if I tell you something, will you be rewarded? We will invite you to stay at the Jade Lake for a while to fulfill some of your wishes, answered a female disciple of the Jade Lake Holy Land. My grandfather doesn't forget it. He always says that the Jade Lake is a good place. But I don't dare to go there. I'm afraid that if I go there, I will become a prisoner and I will never be able to get out. You little bandit, are you here to cause trouble? A middle-aged woman's voice arose from the tower. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm just here to watch. Tu Fei took several steps back and said, My grandfather asked me to greet you. Then you should behave yourself. After that voice arose from the tower, it was silent. Yi Fan was moved. Inviting them to stay at the Jade Lake was a good chance. He was worried about the heart technique of the Dao Palace's secret domain. However, it wasn't the right time. He hadn't learned the sky and earth changing great technique yet, so it was inconvenient for him to travel. The nine stones had a dim color. Although they were fished up from the lake, they still had a rustic aura as if they had just been dug out not long ago. Yi Fan rubbed them with his hand. He felt a strange sensation. These origin stones seemed to possess a strange energy that made him feel uneasy. All of a sudden, he was moved. It was the aura of the absolute beginning ancient mine. He used to cut this kind of stone in the ninth courtyard of Rome Xiang's gambling den. However, the aura of these nine stones in front of him was much thicker. They weren't in the same order of magnitude. I can feel it. These stones are transported from that forbidden land, said the big-mouthed Tu Fei. I wonder if it's true. The Jade Lake Saintess had returned to her tower. A female disciple nodded and asked, Do you have any other special feeling? No. Tu Fei took several steps forward. His big mouth came back again. Is it true that the Jade Lake's disciples can't marry? I've heard that in the distant past, one or two saintesses had married someone else. Everybody behind him was in an uproar. Usually, no one dared to talk about this taboo topic. This man had a big mouth and dared to ask anything. The Jade Lake's female disciple wasn't enraged. She just smiled, shook her head, and said nothing. Tu Fei, don't pretend to be crazy here. You're the descendant of the Thirteen Great Bandits. You dare to show up here? Be careful, or you won't be able to leave Flat Rock City, sneered someone. Who's talking nonsense? Tu Fei looked around, searching the crowd. You're using filthy words. Don't disrespect the Jade Lake's fairies. The voice arose again. It came from the left and then the right. Apparently, it was a young hotshot. It was hard to tell where he was. Hypocrite. I've spoken out for many people. What's wrong with that? The Jiang family Saint Master said that. Tu Fei didn't care. Nonsense. How could the Jiang family Saint Master say that? Someone scolded him discreetly. It was another person, not the one who had just spoken. Many people guessed that he was the outstanding young man of the Jiang family. I remembered it wrong. Alcade Saint Master said that. Tu Fei patted his forehead and said, Alcade Saint Master said that a man who doesn't want to push down the saintess isn't a good man. As soon as he said that, the entire place clamored. Tu Fei had guts. How could he say something like that? Many people laughed out loud. This man was a bastard. More than one person from the Yaguang Holy Land had come, and they were all furious. This B asterisk starred was too mean. Even if he wanted to slander someone, he couldn't do it like that. The few of them had the urge to rush over and slap him. This big mouth was spouting nonsense, and it really made people want to kill him. Don't talk nonsense. If it wasn't for the fact that they couldn't fight in the celestial stone market of the Jade Lake, a battle would have been inevitable. Am I wrong? Tu Fei said eloquently. Look at your Yaguang holy land. It's okay if you have a saintess, but you also want to have a saint son. In the past, almost all the saintesses have married the saint son, who will be the future saint lord. Isn't it obvious? The saint son who can't push down the saintess isn't a good saint son. He can't become the saint lord. Everybody felt dizzy. This big mouth had no taboo. He could even understand this kind of thing. Many people tried to hold their laughter as they didn't want to offend the Yaguang Holy Land. Tu Fei, you don't want to live long. Two young men walked out of the crowd. They were both handsome and elegant like immortals. Your saint's son is here. Why don't you say anything? Why do you two stand out? Apparently, Tu Fei didn't want to let the people of the Yaguang Holy Land go. He shook his head and sighed. Your saint lord is wise. What he said makes sense. 
A man who doesn't want to push down the saintess isn't a good man. You stand up for others. You are destined not to become the saint's son because you're not good men. People here didn't know whether to cry or laugh. This big mouth was too wicked. Too fey, don't talk nonsense. Otherwise, we will expel you immediately, said the great elder of the Jade Lake. All right, I won't talk more. Too fei shut his mouth resentfully. Yi Fan felt strange. Too fei avoided the Jade Lake, but he mocked the Yao Guang Holy Land. Apparently, his attitude was different. At this moment, Dumbo and Wang Shu had touched nine pieces of stone. From their eyes, Shi Yen could see that they weren't calm at all. However, they didn't say anything. As Yi Fan had asked them, they quietly retreated. Yi Fan didn't leave. He stood in front of the stone and continued to observe. All of a sudden, the crowd parted. A man and a woman walked out. The man was as handsome as a jade tree in the wind. The woman was graceful like an immortal. Even the pearls and jades were eclipsed. They didn't have a speck of dust on them. They could purify the mortal world. Their steps were light and graceful, bringing with them flows of immortal qi. They looked like gods. The saint son of Yao Guang and the saint daughter of Yao Guang, someone screamed in surprise. Yi Fan frowned. Meeting Yao Shi wasn't a good thing. He didn't change his countenance, taking several steps backward. The crowd blocked his way. Tu Fei, I know you've brought a lot of people. If you want to harm us, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. The Yao Guang Saint Sun smiled brightly like a sun shining in the sky. Some people didn't want to show their special features. Their casual actions could show their extraordinary features. Without a doubt, the Yao Guang Saint Sun was this kind of person. He was outstanding like a crane among chickens. He was extraordinary and refined. Yao Shi was so beautiful that she could suffocate people. She was even more elegant and graceful. She was like a divine moon hovering in the sky. She made people around her feel inferior. Each inch of her skin looked like it didn't belong to the mortal world. It sparkled and sparkled with the aura of the immortal world. Tu Fei didn't care. Yao Guang Saint Sun, what can I say about you? You're not as wise as your saint master. You're not a good man. You won't have a chance later. The genius in our field is the best. Many people of the Yao Guang Holy Land had the impulse to beat him up and then kill him. The Yao Guang Saint Sun smile didn't diminish. He looked at him quietly and didn't say anything. Let me be clear. Tu Fei coughed and then said, You can't become the saint master of the Yao Guang Holy Land. Do you know why? It's because you can't marry the saintess. She doesn't belong to you anymore. Some young disciples of the Yao Guang Holy Land wanted to storm over and press him on the ground to stomp on him. I'm telling the truth. You guys don't like it. People in our field have sharp eyes. We can judge people accurately. Tu Fei said seriously, Yao Shi doesn't belong to the Yao Guang Holy Land. Sooner or later, she will join our field. You really know how to joke, the Yao Guang Saint Sun smiled and then shook his head. I know what you want. Your people can't kill us. If you don't believe me, wait until we leave Flat Rock City. You can attack us then. You still don't understand what I mean. Tu Fei's big mouth appeared again. Haven't you heard that Yao Shi has given the fragrant clothes to the geniuses of our field? Yao Shi's exquisite brows arched like thin smoke covering the bright moon. She looked like she was in the world of immortals. Her red lips parted as she said, Tu Fei, seems like you don't have long to live. People who were familiar with her knew that the murderous aura of the Yao Guang Saint Daughter had reached the acme. If they weren't in the Jadeite Lake Immortal Stone Square, she would have taken the Divine Sword already. It's strange. You and the genius of our field, Yi Fan, have been messy for a long time. We're on the same path. But why do I feel a strong murderous aura? Chapter 204 The Great Elder of the Jade Lake scolded Tu Fei, asking him to shut up and not talk nonsense. Although Tu Fei mumbled, he did as he was told. Many people could see that he avoided the Jade Lake as if he didn't want to have any conflict with them. The Yao Guang Saint Sun beamed a faint smile like a beam of sunlight, warm and radiant. He gave people a feeling that he had transcended mortals. They always felt that he was lofty and didn't belong to the mortal world. Yes, he stood by the lake. He looked as handsome as Jade with his sleeves fluttering. He looked like an immortal. Even in the crowd, people could see that he was different from the others. About Yao Shi, besides being noble and pure, she was the ultimate beauty. She was like a woman born in a dream. Her skin was like ice and her bones were like Jade. Her smile and frown were so charming. Her beauty made many people forget themselves. Tu Fei couldn't help but mutter, alas, the most painful thing in life is to be one step late. The bandits around them rolled their eyes. None of them were kind. They were all the descendants of the thirteen great bandits. At this moment, the Jade Lake Saintess appeared. Immortal Chi twirled around her. Lotuses bloomed with each step she took. Wherever her jade-like feet touched, the sparkling petals danced with a sweet fragrance. She personally led the Yao Guang Saint Sun and the Saintess to the pavilion by the lake. Apparently, they were old acquaintances. She didn't want them to confront the others here, so she solved this awkward situation. Yi Fan exhaled. He didn't want to meet the Yao Guang Saint Sun and the Saintess. At this moment, he had just set sail. 
After he got the original sky scripture, he needed to seize the time to increase his cultivation base. At this moment, he couldn't compete with them. He squatted to observe the nine pieces of stone and pondered. There must be something inside these stones. Moreover, it could be something extraordinary. There were many people surrounding the lakeshore. They were all carefully stroking and inspecting these stones. Everyone was discussing spiritedly with different viewpoints. All of a sudden, Yi Fan was shaken. The biggest stone made him panic. The thing inside it should be something extraordinary. He patted it left and right to observe the patterns. It was a big white stone with a reddish-brown color. In the eyes of experts, it was a waste stone. This big stone weighed more than 2,000 pounds. If there was something inside, it would be very impressive. Yi Fan wanted to cut it with his saber. However, it was a stone from the Jade Lake, so he couldn't do it rashly. Today is a chance. If I can point out the strange features of these stones, the Jade Lake fairies will take me away. Unfortunately, my sky and earth changing great technique hasn't been completed yet. Moreover, Yao Guang Saintus is here. Yi Fan sighed. After examining the eight pieces of stone, he grabbed the smallest one. It was only the size of a palm. He stared at the stone patterns, and his mind seemed to sink into it. The business of Dawn Stones is indeed not just about gambling. For example, the people of the Holy City are gambling on even more precious items. Blood. I think there's blood in one of the stones. It's really terrifying. It makes my heart beat faster. When I get close to it, I feel like my heart is about to jump out of my chest, described Wang Shu. Dumbo appeared fearful as well and said, I can't tell what's inside the biggest rock, but it has a wild power that makes people shudder. Yi Fan rubbed his chin, assessing them. These two had strange bloodlines indeed. They could have such a feeling. It was similar to when he had studied the original sky scripture. Have you ever had such a feeling before? Never. The two of them shook their heads. Yi Fan thought that they could only sense the unusual star stones. What kind of bloodline did they have after all? When Zhang Wuya mentioned it, he was evasive. Apparently, he had something to hide. When he got back, he needed to ask for more details. I'm afraid the Jade Lake Holy Land has dug out something good, said Tu Fei to the others. These nine stones have demonic features. I'm sure they came from the area around the absolute beginning ancient mine. They have big guts. They're low-key, but they dared to do that. You don't understand. The Jade Lake isn't simple. I think it's the best among the great sages' lands when it comes to understanding the origin. I heard that a long time ago, a Yuan Taoist master had a good relationship with them. He had taught them many original techniques. I've also heard that the Yuan Taoist master had made the great sages' land suffer. He has a good relationship with the Jade Lake Saintus. I guess they want to find the one with the legendary bloodline. The others standing next to Tu Fei all had tough auras. As they were the descendants of the 13 great bandits, they knew a lot. They were discussing in a low voice. Is there really such a bloodline? It's impossible. It's something that can take people's lives. Since the ancient time, there have been only five Yuan Taoist masters in the northern region. According to the records, none of them had that kind of bloodline. It's hard to say. They disappeared in their later years. Nobody knows where they went. Perhaps they got that bloodline when they didn't have much time left. Yi Fan's soul consciousness was exceptionally strong. Not many people could compare to him. As he was paying attention to Two Fei's team, he vaguely heard their conversation. He was startled. Not good. We need to leave this place immediately to avoid Two Fei from finding us. Of course, the most important thing was that he got a message from the others. Dumbo and Wang Shu probably had that kind of bloodline. They shouldn't let others find them. The Yuan Taoist master had adopted them in his later years. The origin of their bloodline made sure Yan's hair rise on his nape. Many years ago, a target finally appeared. The great sage's lands had spent a lot of efforts to chase him, but they couldn't get that bloodline. Is the Yuan Taoist master really that strong? Two phase group was still discussing in a low voice. Of course, the Yuan Taoist master is intimidating. His original technique is peerless. Since the ancient time, there are only five people like him. They have been wandering deep in the mountains and underground all year round. Only they could get that bloodline. I think after the Jade Lake Saintus leaves Flat Rock City, she will take the Nine Stones to another place. She won't return to the Jade Lake for a short time. Perhaps they need that bloodline urgently. The more Yi Fan listened to them, the more he felt something was wrong. He turned to Wang Shu and Dumbo, assessing them. However, he didn't see anything special. Go. We should leave this place. Why should we leave? Didn't the Jade Lake Saintus say that if we sent something special, we will be taken to the Jade Lake to stay there? Wang Shu and Dumbo didn't want to leave. It's not a good thing. We must leave quickly. Yi Fan thought that they needed to avoid Tu Fei, Yao Shi, Wang Shu, and Dumbo. No matter what, they had to leave. Since the Jade Lake Saintus wanted to go to another place, there was still a chance. As long as he learned the sky and earth changing great technique, he could send himself to her. At that time, even if he saw Yao Shi and Yao Guang Saint in the Jade Lake, he wouldn't have to worry. He would be completely free. It looks like Yao Shi really wants to go with the Jade Lake Saintus. Kacha. Yi Fan heard the sound of bones moving. His face was recovering. 
His cheekbones were back in place. He couldn't delay any longer. He took the other two and quickly left the Jade Lake Fairy Stone Square. I have to get stronger. When I go back, I want to enter the secret realm of the Doctrine Palace. He made up his mind. Now, there was only one thing stopping him. He lacked a huge amount of Essence Chi. This time, he took out the Fiery Red Source and the Ancient Bug Source. They were enough for him to enter the secret realm of the Doctrine Palace. As long as the Jade Lake Heart technique recorded in the last few pages of the Book of Source of Heaven is suitable for me to cultivate, nothing can stop me from breaking through. He even felt that he could increase his cultivation quickly. The first realm of the Doctrine Palace could not stop him at all. He should be able to gather the essence he needed in Flat Rock City. Suddenly, Yi Fan felt that someone was following him. He had not even left the city when he was followed. How reckless. He turned around and found that the people from the Qingxia clan had followed him. Some of them were sneering. Yi Fan did not fly. Instead, he walked out of Flat Rock City. The more he walked, the more desolate it became. Although he was in an oasis, the reddish-brown stony ground could be seen from time to time. Finally, he reached a place where there was no one else. The people behind him no longer had any scruples. They all caught up, sneering. The young man in purple actually followed him personally. The ancient bug source was rare, and it tempted him. He slowly walked over. One had to know that even in the northern region, where the source was abundant, a small clan would be lucky to have a thousand kilograms of source. The Qingxia clan was such a small clan. The fiery red source and the ancient bug source were enough for him to kill them. You stupid monkeys, aren't you going to run? Someone beside him mocked. Continue to be stubborn. Say something tough. We are all ears, another mocked. In the distance, the sound of breaking air came. His blue robe fluttered. Lu Chenzhen appeared. He also chased after them. What are you doing? Yi Fan sneered. Country bumpkin, you still don't know life from death. The ignorant are truly fearless. Seven or eight people smiled maliciously and surrounded him. Lu Chenzhen, are you here to return the source? Yi Fan's mouth slightly curled. You dare to take my source? Lu Chenzhen opened his folding fan, shook his head, and sighed. I really want to spare your lives. Are you special? Yi Fan held the IOU and said sarcastically, You wrote the IOU yourself. Don't tell me you used it as a pig's hoof print. Stupid monkey. You are about to die, yet you are still so poor. Lu Chenzhen showed a contemptuous look and ordered those people. Don't kill them all at once. Torture them slowly. I don't have time to waste with you. Yi Fan's expression darkened. He leapt into the air and swept his right leg horizontally. The people who had just rushed up all screamed. Although they were all cultivators, how could their physiques compare to Yi Fan's? All of their bones and tendons were broken on the spot. You are not an origin gatherer. You are a cultivator. At such a young age, how could you? Lu Chengen's pupils shrank. Yi Fan looked no more than 15 years old, but this kind of power made his heart turn cold. He was about to soar into the sky and escape. Yi Fan's palm pressed forward like a seal. This was the first time he had used the second secret of the nine secrets. A terrifying battle intent spread out. Bang! One move, just one move, and Lu Chen Zhen was slapped into ashes. There was still some distance between the two of them, but such a terrifying result had been created. This kind of attack could be said to be unparalleled in the world. Behind them, Lu Chengen's brother, the purple-robed man, was like a shadow. He flashed continuously and had already escaped more than a mile away. However, no matter how fast he was, he could not be faster than Yi Fan's footwork. He seemed to have opened a path in the void and shrunk the ground to inches. He took a dozen steps and instantly caught up. You are also a cultivator of the Nirvana realm. Do you not even have the courage to fight? Yi Fan sneered. He then handed the note in his hand forward and said, Didn't you want this promissory note for your brother? The one that was torn earlier was fake. This time, I'll give it to you. The purple-robed man, Lu Cheng Wang, was also decisive. Divine power surged all over his body and dazzled the eyes. He took out four weapons at the same time and slashed at Yi Fan. Yi Fan was still using the fighting life art, but his hand gestures had completely changed. The most fundamental profound mysteries could produce thousands of moves. He was like a phoenix spreading its wings, his arms actually sparkling with crystalline light, producing strand after strand of divine feathers. He spread his arms like a real phoenix, dancing in the sky. Five-colored divine light shot into the sky. A pair of colorful wings appeared and flapped forward. Rustling sounds could be heard. The four weapons refined by the cultivator of the Nirvana realm all turned into fragments and fell to the ground like dust. What secret method is this? The purple-robed man, Lu Cheng Wang, was shocked. He believed that even a cultivator of the Holy Xi Palace secret realm would find it difficult to display such terrifying power. Yes, he felt cold all over. That unparalleled fighting spirit and sharp offensive aura made him tremble uncontrollably. At this moment, he could not stand steadily and had the urge to kneel down. This is the highest secret method of Taoism. You are not qualified to know it. Sooner or later, it will shake the Eastern Baron territory and make all the great sage tremble. It will be spread by the mouths of the saints and saintesses. Yi Fan was not calm. 
the second of the nine secrets had exceeded his expectations. Its power was unparalleled. It was indeed the ultimate secret of attack. You, let me go. I will do anything you want me to. The purple-robed man was terrified. He was suppressed by a powerful fighting spirit to the point of trembling. He no longer had the indifference and calmness he had in the past. The phoenix wings on Yifan's arms did not disappear. Five-colored divine light flowed, and each wing was crystal clear. It was very dazzling. The energy fluctuation could frighten one's soul. Plop. The purple-robed man could not stand this fighting spirit. His legs could not support him and he fell to the ground. He knelt down as if he had collapsed. He said in a trembling voice, how is this possible? You and I are both in the Nirvana realm. How can this be? This is too scary. This kind of secret method has never been heard of. He was almost talking in his sleep. His face was stuck to the ground, and he could not even lift his head. The nine secrets, oh the nine secrets. If I can learn all of them, how powerful will I be? Yi Fan said to himself. But he knew that the nine secrets were scattered all over the world and were almost lost. It was too difficult to get all of them. I will give you a chance. Use all your divine power to attack. Yi Fan retracted his hand. The pair of phoenix wings disappeared, and the pressure that was like Mount Tai dissipated. Kill. Lu Chengwang knew that the other party would not let him go. His ruthlessness surged, and he pounced forward. His flesh and blood burned, wanting to destroy his sea of reincarnation and severely injure the handsome young man in front of him. Yi Fan only had one purpose in doing this, and that was to further understand the power of this secret method. He turned around slightly and swung his left leg. At this moment, a supreme pressure descended. An azure dragon actually appeared between his left leg. Its scales shone brightly, and it was vigorous and powerful. The dragon's body coiled, and the dragon's tail swung out. Lu Chengwan was terrified. His whole body was trembling, and he suddenly went limp. Just this terrifying pressure alone made him unable to move. Bang! The azure dragon's tail swung onto his body. This attack directly turned the Nirvana Cultivator into flying ash. Not to mention broken bones, not even a mist of blood was left behind. He was completely turned into ash. Yi Fan returned to the stone stronghold. Before he went into seclusion to break through, he first found Zhang Wuya. He wanted to ask him about the bloodlines of Wang Shu and Dumbo. Their blood has demonic qualities, Zhang Wuya answered after a long time. What exactly is going on? Yi Fan was shocked. Since you want to learn the source heavenly tome, there's no harm in telling you this secret. Zhang Wuya sighed and said, this has to start from the origins of their ancestors. Chapter 205 The setting sun was gentle, and the afterglow was like water. The stone village was dyed with golden red light under the afterglow of the setting sun. The houses were all built with big stones. Yi Fan and Zhang Wuya sat on a green rock, looking at the red sun on the horizon and talking in a low voice. Our first ancestor behaved strangely in his later years. He often disappeared. One time, he disappeared for more than half a year. When he reappeared, he brought back two babies. They were very special. Yi Fan understood that they were the ancestors of the Wang and Lei families. He asked, what's so special about them? Those two babies had extraordinary strength. They could lift adults. This was passed down from mouth to mouth in the Zhang family. Yi Fan was dumbstruck. Babies could lift adults. This went against common sense. No matter how talented they were, they couldn't do it. He asked, are they, humans? He had suspected this for a long time. The so-called mysterious bloodline made him think of many things. Especially after listening to the secrets Tu Fei had told him, he had made many deductions in his mind. You've thought of it too. That's right. Besides, they have other characteristics. They don't look like humans. Zhang Wuya's voice was calm. Their blood is silver, and their foreheads can emit light. Their eyes have double pupils. There are many other strange features. It's been a long time, so they can't be passed down. Yi Fan was surprised. Their blood was silver, which meant they weren't humans. Their foreheads could emit light, so they were born with supernatural powers. Their eyes with double pupils were even more special. In the legends of ancient China, such people were mostly ancient emperors. If they weren't humans, it was hard to say. So, special. Yi Fan rubbed his chin and pondered. After a long time, he asked, did the Yuan Taoist master say anything? Didn't he tell us about their origins? At that time, the first ancestor behaved strangely. What he did was hard for outsiders to understand. He sealed the two babies with his own hands. The Yuan Taoist master told his descendants that he would marry human wives for them. If the babies were also strange, they would be sealed. However, he didn't tell them about their origins. No one knew how many generations had passed, but the blood of the Wang and Lei clansmen had long since turned from silver to red. Gradually, they were no different from normal people. After so many years had passed, only occasionally would one or two special children appear. Their foreheads would emit light, and after a hundred days, they would restrain themselves. They were born with divine techniques and strange abilities. Yi Fan looked towards the stone stockade. In the distance, Dumbo was waving at him and said, Brother Yi, my mother said to invite you to my house for dinner today. 
Okay, I'll definitely go, he promised with a smile. All of this was too inconceivable. Its origins were mysterious, and it wasn't a human. He immediately thought of an ancient creature. The Yuan Taoist master was too audacious. First ancestor sighed in his later years. His greatest regret was not being able to enter origin ancient mine. His unfulfilled wish was not being able to see Purple Mountain's future. Yi Fan was shocked and could not calm down for a long time. If I become the Yuan Taoist master. He thought of many things. In his later years, would something ominous happen to him? What kind of fate would await him? This was the last question that came to his mind. However, he could not care so much now. He needed the source, needed to become stronger, and needed the power to cross the starry sky. He had been in this world for five years. Every time he thought about it, he felt that time was pressing. On the second day, Yi Fan left the stone stockade and sealed himself underground. He was afraid that he would make too much noise when he broke through and hurt the people in the stockade. This time, his goal was not only to complete Pramitha and be reborn, but also to break into the secret realm of the Tao Palace. He had been comprehending the Jade Pool Heart Technique. Although it was incomplete, with only a few pages recorded in the Heavenly Book of Source, it gave him endless enlightenment. The secret realm of the Tao Palace, here I come. For half a month, Yi Fan's place of seclusion was silent. There was no sound until the sixteenth day. Dust and sand covered the sun, and smoke rose into the sky. This area was originally a barren land. It was reddish-brown with sand and stones everywhere. There was no life, and only one or two weeds could be seen struggling to stand. However, it was full of life now. Green sprouts grew from the soil and stones, like the fire of hope, spreading out. Yi Fan had completed his sea of reincarnation. His body was reborn, and with the nine transformations of Permitha, the power of life overflowed, giving life to the withered grass. After eating the divine fruit twice and refining his body with the blood of the great emperor once, he was reborn for the fourth time. Every move he made was filled with divine power. He opened his eyes and looked at the sky, then the earth. He was lost in thought for a long time, silently savoring this new transformation. Then, without further delay, he flew away and found another place. He sank into the ground again, preparing to break into the secret realm of the Tao Palace. The ancient insect source was held in his palm, overflowing with essence energy, wrapping around him. The sea of reincarnation was below the navel, about the size of a palm, and the Tao Palace was above it. Yi Fan comprehended the remnant of the Jade Pool ancient scripture and understood it. It corresponded to the five viscera and wrapped around the chest and ribs. The five gods in the Tao Palace were closely related to them. They could derive power of the Tao and transform it into vitality. It was indeed a place to nurture life. The heart, liver, spleen, lungs, and kidneys were collectively known as the five viscera, also known as the five spirits. They stored essence energy without leaking, and contained life without dying. It was an extremely powerful secret realm of the human body. If one could nurture the spirits, they would not die. The five spirits were always present, everlasting and everlasting. They connected the five chi to the heaven and earth, endless and eternal. The Tao Palace was a secret realm that could not be ignored. If one wanted to be immortal, one had to work hard in this secret realm. If one wanted to reach the next level and comprehend the celestial Tao, one had to evolve the five elements here. The ancient bug source in Yi Fan's hand was completely refined. Hazy mist and terrifying divine might surrounded him, sucking him in like a copper cauldron. Yes, at this moment, he used his vigorous essence energy to forge a furnace of heaven and earth, using himself as a celestial pill to refine it. The other shore could not be seen, and flowers could not be seen. The clouds rose and fell, and the divine palace appeared. Yi Fan could clearly see that there was a heavenly fault gate above the sea of reincarnation. As long as he rushed in, he would enter another secret realm. Raise my divine sail, break through the sea, and ascend another layer of heaven. A long and drawn-out voice sounded in the sea of reincarnation. He rode the wind and rose. The sea of bitterness overflowed, sending him into the clouds. The divine bridge stretched across the sky, extending to his feet and sending him to the front of the heavenly fault. Even from far away, he could already see that there was a new world inside. The sea grew beneath his feet, and the heavenly fault opened in the clouds. The Tao gate that he yearned for even in his dreams was in sight. Yi Fan strode forward, getting closer and closer. He had long accumulated enough. Breaking into the Tao Palace in one go was not a dream or an illusion. Boom! The aura of deities came from within the heavenly fault gate. He felt the power of the Tao approaching. With just one more step, he could enter the Tao gate. Yi Fan stopped and turned his head to look down. The sea surged, and clouds and smoke rose. What he saw was not only the sea of reincarnation, but also scenes of the past. The path he crossed was not only a secret realm, but also a period of time. The tides rose and fell, and the splendor scattered. He suddenly turned his head and took a step forward. In the next moment, the sky was high and the earth was wide. He entered a new world that was full of vitality. At the same time, rumbling sounds came from within Yi Fan's body. The five chis faced the sky, and five dragon-like divine smoke rushed into the heavens. Who is this? The five chis pierced the heavens and broke through the heavens. Is, is this real? 
A hundred li away, someone saw this strange scene and revealed an expression of disbelief. This is really hard to believe. This kind of Tao phenomenon is rare in this world. The various great sage lords, at their prime and full of youthful vigor, would not be able to do this. This kind of scene never appeared during their breakthroughs. Could it be the Jiang family's divine body? No, he can't appear here. Moreover, he has already experienced this realm. What kind of physique is this? Who is it that is breaking through? A hundred Li Wei saw the five Qi's soaring into the sky and quickly rushed in that direction, wanting to see the person in question. However, the distance was too far, and he could not get there in time. The five dragon-like Qi's disappeared in the blink of an eye, quickly disappearing. Yi Fan ascended to the secret realm of the Holy Xi Palace, and now he was faced with a choice. Which gods will should he cultivate first? The human heart is always moving, and the blood flows through the meridians, sending divine power everywhere. I should choose the heart's divine treasure. He thought for a moment and made a decision. The world of the Holy Xi Palace was a blur. There was fog everywhere, waiting for him to explore. He could only rely on his feelings to find the divine treasure. The heart is the ruler of the body, the root of all things, and the master of the organs. It could be said that the root of everything was the manifestation of this divine treasure. Yi Fan walked straight forward, relying on his feelings, and soon broke through the fog and came close. The God's will of the heart was like an unbloomed lotus, not yet in human form. On the surface, it was still in the process of transformation. If one wanted to be immortal and wished to live forever, one had to start from this. Essence formed the foundation of the human body. To enter the secret realm of the Holy Xi Palace, one had to transform essence into spirit and give birth to the God's will. What is born is called essence, and when two essences fight, it is called God's will. Yi Fan recited the ancient sutra. He understood everything. Because he had read some of these words in ancient books on the other side of the starry sky, it was very smooth for him to cultivate in the secret realm of the Holy Xi Palace. The innate essence is born, and the acquired essence is nourished. The innate essence was born with the human body, and it was the beginning of one's heaven and earth. When the form was formed, the god was born, and when the form died, the god died. The acquired essence needed to be refined to nourish the god and nourish one's life. When he came close, Yi Fan felt waves of heat. The divine treasure in his heart was extremely full of Yang Qi. Man and the heaven and earth are one. The heaven has a son, and so does man. The son of the monarch father is also the son. The human body corresponded with the heaven and earth, and the divine treasure in the heart was the son of the human body. It was the foundation of all life, and it was the most important of the five realms of the Holy Xi Palace. This divine treasure was the son of the God's will, and it used Yang Qi to promote the circulation of life power, maintaining the immortality of the human body, and giving it endless vitality. At that moment, Yi Fan realized that the fiery origin in his hand was extremely active. It turned into fire essence and rushed into his body, nourishing the God's will that was shaped like an unbloomed lotus. The heart is the heart of fire, and it illuminates all things. Yi Fan understood and said, the son of the body cannot be without Yang. It nourishes all things, and it is the foundation of the body's longevity. Boom! The divine treasure in the shape of a lotus dispersed the mist, and Yi Fan felt comfortable. His pores relaxed, and a strange power flowed out, flowing into every inch of his flesh. He had just entered the secret realm of the Holy Xi Palace. The innate essence was born, and the divine treasure in the heart was like the sun in the sky. It was like the beginning of heaven and earth, the birth of all things, and the sun of the human body appeared. The secret realm of the Holy Xi Palace was opened, and he would move forward step by step, opening up a new world. The wheel and the sea give birth to Yin and Yang, the five great divine treasures give birth to the five elements. Yes, the sea of reincarnation gave birth to Yin and Yang. He felt that he had grasped a trace of the secret of the ancient masters who cultivated only one secret realm. Yi Fan stood up and took a step forward, leaving the boundless land. Advancing to the Holy Xi Palace and evolving the human body into the beginning of heaven and earth, his realm had increased a lot. At that moment, he was one with the sky and the earth. He had the feeling of being one with heaven and earth, and the Tao was natural. His sleeves fluttered, and he looked like a celestial. Every step he took gave birth to the rhythm of the Tao and patterns, and he was like a celestial descending to the mortal world. Chapter 206 Yi Fan's body was as light as an immortal's. Like a cool breeze, he returned to the stone stronghold. Seeing him return, Zhang Wuya pulled him to a secluded place and said, Something's happened. What's wrong? Yi Fan asked. Wang Xu and Dumbo have been behaving strangely ever since they went out with you. Their frontal bones have been glowing these days, and they've gained extraordinary strength. Zhang Wuya frowned, revealing a worried expression. Bloodline awakening? Yi Fan was astonished. Take me to them. I didn't dare let them go out these days. They've been locked up in the house. Apart from the strange power, nothing bad has happened. Zhang Wuya accompanied Yi Fan to Dumbo's house. As soon as he entered the courtyard, Yi Fan felt an exuberant vitality. That's right, boundless vitality. It was as if he had arrived at a land of abundant vegetation. Brother Yi, you're here. Dumbo's little sister smiled sweetly. She was a very delicate and pretty girl. 
Is your brother all right? Zhang Wuya asked her to lead the way. He's fine. He's sleeping soundly like a lazy pig. The Lei family's little girl pouted. Snoring came from inside the house. Dumbo was sprawled on the brick bed, sleeping soundly. His frontal bones were like precious jade, shining brightly. Divine power. It was definitely divine power. Yi Fan was astonished. Not long ago, Dumbo was an ordinary person, but now he had such great power. His frontal bones were almost transparent. Gentle light overflowed and flowed to every part of his body, baptizing Dumbo's flesh and blood. Yi Fan couldn't help but sigh. Different races had different achievements and starting points. This was an innate divine power, an innate power. If human cultivators wanted to possess divine power, they had to train hard to open the door to their own treasures. However, some tyrannical races that had disappeared long ago were born with divine power. This was an unattainable starting point. Brother, wake up. The Lay family's little girl pinched Dumbo's nose and shook him awake. Is it time to eat? Dumbo was still in a daze, and the light from his frontal bones grew even brighter. Laybo, how do you feel? Is there anything wrong with your body? In the Lay clan, Yi Fan directly called him by his name instead of calling him by his nickname. Little brother Yi, you're here. Dumbo turned around and sat up, saying, I don't feel any discomfort. In fact, I feel so full of power that I could break rocks. Yi Fan nodded. In Dumbo's current state, he could not only shatter boulders, but his divine power was comparable to that of a celestial bridge cultivator. It would not be a problem for him to split open a mine. Why did your body undergo such a change? Yi Fan asked. Come, let's go to my house. I'll cook a few good dishes. We can talk while we eat and drink, Zhang Wuya said. There were some things that couldn't be said in detail in front of Dumbo's family. All right, I love the lamb chops made by Fifth Elder the most. Dumbo was so happy that it was as carefree as ever. Wang Xu had also undergone the same change. He was called to Zhang Wuya's house by Yi Fan, and the few of them chatted while eating. Did you guys undergo such a change because you touched the nine rocks that day? Yi Fan asked, not at all worried. Many generations had passed, and these two families had long since assimilated into humans instead of other races. It was just that special children would occasionally appear. Apart from being born with divine power, there were no other abnormalities. Yes. After returning, it was as if a piece of paper had been torn open in my body. There was warm water surging all over my body. It was very comfortable. Yi Fan was speechless. Divine power was like water. This was not just an ordinary kind of strength. This was the revival of an ancient bloodline, a gift from the heavens. Bite your finger and let me take a look. Those with the surname Lei and Wang naturally knew that there was something special about their ancestors, but they didn't know if they were humans. Without any hesitation, the two of them pricked their fingers and sprinkled a few drops of blood. It's bright in the red, with a faint silver flicker. This kind of talent is admirable and enviable. Yi Fan nodded. Their blood only had a trace of silver light, which was far from pure silver blood, but they already had such divine power. It was imaginable how powerful their ancestors were. I'm afraid they were also in a high position among the ancient creatures, or even royalty. Yi Fan thought to himself. He couldn't say this kind of thing out loud. Little brother Yi, are we okay? Wang Shu asked suspiciously, more or less worried. We won't become monsters, will we? Dumbo also scratched his head. It was obvious that they had heard some legends about their ancestors. This is a good thing. You don't have to worry. Yi Fan carefully examined them and found that their frontal bones were very mysterious. They were connected to the origin in their heads. His divine sense was so powerful that it forcibly broke into their sea of consciousness. He found that they had completely human characteristics, so he wasn't worried that they would become ancient creatures. Compared to this, what shocked Yi Fan the most was the nine pieces of stone from the jade pool. The things sealed inside had stimulated Wang Shu and Lei Bo's divine power. It was most likely similar to their bloodlines. Is this really a good thing? Can we also fly in the sky in the future? Both of their eyes shone with hope. Yi Fan smiled and nodded. If you're willing, you can do it now. Really? How do we do it? The two of them didn't even have time to eat and asked Yi Fan to teach them. This. Zhang Wuya looked worried. Don't worry, old man. This is really a good thing. Yi Fan sent the two of them to the courtyard and said to Zhang Wuya, they've long been assimilated into the human race. It's just that their talent has been awakened. Don't worry, they'll be able to protect the stone stronghold in the future. Wang Shu and Dumbo's frontal bones were like a door that was connected to the mysterious origin. Divine power nourished their bodies. They were no different from cultivators of the celestial bridge tier. Yi Fan taught them how to use their divine power. The two of them quickly left the ground, and a silver fog enveloped them. They swayed and flew into the sky. Plop. Plop. The two of them fell from the sky. Yi Fan rushed over and caught them. Their strength was comparable to a celestial bridge tier cultivator. If they fell to their deaths like this, it would be too much of a joke. They would probably be recorded as negative examples in the history of cultivation. Don't fly so high. 
Practice three feet above the ground. When you've completely mastered it, I'll teach you other skills. From that day onwards, the people in the stone stronghold saw the two of them shouting and flying around. From that day onwards, no one called Dumbo by his nickname anymore. They started to call him by his real name, Lebo. Half a month passed in the blink of an eye. Yi Fan consolidated the divine treasure in his heart and studied the Book of Origin at the same time. He had already mastered the great art of changing heaven and earth. Of course, it was limited to changing his appearance and temperament. He still had a long way to go to change the appearance of the mountains and rivers. He needed to cultivate that kind of great original art to the later stage to master it. During this time, he kept an eye on the Jade Lake Saintess movements. Just as Tufei had said, she was walking around the cities in the northern region. Seems like she won't return to the Jade Lake in a short time. Yi Fan decided to increase his realm and cultivate the great art of changing heaven and earth to a profound level. Otherwise, if he gave himself away, he would be in big trouble. Now that he had completely comprehended the first chapter of the Book of Origin, he decided to sweep the source. 1,000 kilograms of source was a big sum. It would be difficult to collect it from the big gambling houses in Flat Rock City. However, if he could collect it, his original art would advance by leaps and bounds. He wouldn't fail in those gambling houses at the bottom level. Not good. Suddenly, a villager came to find Yi Fan in a panic. What's wrong? Yi Fan woke up from his meditative state. He didn't wait for the villager to say anything before he sensed that something was wrong with the village. Hurry, go and save Zhang Wuya. He's about to be beaten to death. The villager who came to deliver the message looked anxious and flustered. Yi Fan stood up, took one step, and disappeared instantly. In the blink of an eye, he was already outside the village. Zhang Wuya's hair was disheveled, and his cheeks were swollen with clear blue fingerprints. The corners of his mouth and chest were stained with blood. Apparently, someone had slapped him. How could you do this? The young men in the village all took out their scimitars, confronting the people in front of them and shouting. What's wrong? Several young men stood in front of them. They were indifferent and didn't put the people in the stone village in their eyes. What right do you have to beat people? This old man refused a toast only to drink a forfeit. The blue cloud sect invited him to find the sorcerer, but he dared to find an excuse to refuse. I think he's out of his mind, a young man said indifferently with a cold smile on his face. Not far away, there were some old people who looked very familiar. It was obvious that they had been abducted from the nearby villages. This old thing really has a certain amount of prestige. He only suffered a few slaps, and you want to risk your lives for him. If he was beaten to death, what would you do? The few young men ridiculed. You. The young men in the village were furious. They raised their long blades and walked forward, saying, you've gone too far. What? What kind of storm do you think you can create? If you want to court death, come forward. The few young men swept their eyes over the crowd, and all of them revealed a look of disdain. One of them even raised his palm high and slapped Zhang Wuya's shining white head. Slap. It was a very loud slap. However, it wasn't on Zhang Wuya's face, but on his own face. Yi Fan rushed over with an indifferent expression. He helped Zhang Wuya up and operated his life essence to stabilize and slowly heal his injuries. You, who are you? The blue cloud sect disciple who had been slapped in the face was stunned. He roared, you're courting death. Slap. With a backhand slap, Yi Fan sent him flying again. Who's causing trouble? We're back. Wang Shu and Lei Bo shouted as they flew back from the horizon. Over the past half a month, Yi Fan had taught them flying techniques and some simple combat skills. The two of them had been diligently cultivating. After all, their foundations were there. Their talent had just awakened, and they were already comparable to divine bridge cultivators. They had abundant divine power, so everything was going smoothly. Kill them all. Don't let a single one of them go. Yi Fan instructed the two of them, saying, it's not enough to just cultivate. You have to experience life and death as well as the test of blood. He was sick and tired of this sect. First, they supported Beard Chen to plunder, then Lu Chen Zhen and Lu Cheng Wang intercepted them, and now they actually came to act tyrannically. Dumbo's eyes immediately turned red. He saw a familiar face among the few people who had once appeared with Beard Chen. Damn bandits, they're really supported by the Blue Cloud sect. I'll fight it out with you. Give me back my sister's life. He roared and pounced forward like a beast. Wang Shu was afraid that something would happen to him, so he followed and charged forward. You two peasants dare to go against the Blue Cloud sect. The few young people were fierce in appearance but weak in heart. How could they not see how powerful Yi Fan was? At this moment, they brought up the sect to threaten him. Blue Cloud sect. Yi Fan looked at the palm print on Zhang Wuya's face, then suddenly turned around and said, there's no need for this sect to exist anymore. You, arrogant. One of them sneered and said, if you harm us, all the cultivators within a radius of 500 miles will hunt you down. Poof. With a light flick of Yi Fan's finger, this person's head was directly crushed, and his corpse fell to the ground. This was the only divine bridge cultivator. The others were only at the life spring realm. Kill them all, don't let a single one go. Wang Shu and Dumbo Lei Bo could completely deal with the remaining people. 
Even if their moves were limited and they didn't know how to use tools, their surging divine power and brute force were not something that those people could resist. Screams were heard. It's a misunderstanding, it's a complete misunderstanding. That bastard just now is the headmaster's grandson. He's used to being domineering. It has nothing to do with us. Unfortunately, the begging came too late. Dumbo's eyes were bloodshot. Thinking of his sister, he almost went crazy. These people couldn't escape even if they wanted to. Wang Shu and Dumbo gritted their teeth and quickly killed all of them. They're from the Blue Cloud sect. If they retaliate, our stone village can't resist. Some people in the village were worried. It doesn't matter. This sect will no longer exist in the future. Yi Fan said calmly. He already knew that the Blue Cloud sect was only a small sect. The highest realm in the sect had only cultivated into the Holy Palace secret realm. At most, they had cultivated to the level of one or two gods. Bring these people into the village first. After we've dealt with the Blue Cloud sect, we'll let them go. Yi Fan pointed to several old people in other villages. The Blue Cloud sect could be called a tumor. Yi Fan decided to remove it. I think such a sect should have a thousand kilograms of source. If we take it down, I can immediately go to the next level. Yi Fan laughed involuntarily. With such a decision, he seemed to be getting closer to the 13 great bandits. I don't rob mortals. I only want to remove the tumor. This isn't considered evil. Before Yi Fan could take action, just one day later, the people of Blue Cloud sect came to his door. On the second day, as soon as he walked out of the stone village, he was ambushed. A cultivator of the Nirvana realm led nine cultivators of the Celestial Bridge realm to attack him with weapons. Your noses are really sharp. You found me so quickly. So, the missing people of my Blue Cloud sect were killed by you? One of them asked. So you don't know. Why did you attack me? You're suspicious. You don't look like someone from the Stone Village, but you have extraordinary cultivation. Naturally, we have to take you down for questioning. What a big tone. You can attack me just like that? Yi Fan shook his head and said, reckless. Who dares to attack my Blue Cloud sect? I wonder who is reckless. The cultivator of the Nirvana realm ordered the nine cultivators of the Celestial Bridge realm to surround and kill Yi Fan. Why bother? I'll send you all on your way. Yi Fan waved his sleeves and took in the nine cultivators of the Celestial Bridge realm. He floated like a fairy. You. The cultivator of the Nirvana realm was shocked. You too. Yi Fan stretched out his big hand and pressed down like a five-finger mountain. All the weapons of the cultivator of the Nirvana realm were crushed by the palm and fingers. He himself fell into the big hand. At the back, Wang Shu and Dumbo were dumbfounded and felt that it was unbelievable. This is nothing. This is just the operation of Taoist power. I can easily display it when I enter the secret realm of the Doctrine Palace. Of course, it was impossible for others to display it with such power. Let's go to the Blue Cloud sect. Are we really going to destroy the sect? Wang Shu was stunned. Only the leader will be killed. The rest will stay. I've decided to build a sect. The Blue Cloud sect is a ready-made foundation. Yi Fan took the two of them and rose into the sky. Start a sect? Dumbo muttered. What for? Wang Shu asked, puzzled. Of course it's useful. Not long after, Yi Fan arrived at the Blue Cloud sect, located in an oasis. Who dares to trespass into the Blue Cloud sect? A loud shout came from the front. Green mountains and clear waters were rare in this desolate northern region. The Blue Cloud sect had such a spiritual land, which was indeed extraordinary. Go and tell your headmaster that I want to start a sect here and ask him to move. The people guarding the mountain gate were all dumbfounded. Then, they shouted, You! Did you eat a bear's heart and leopard's gall? Chapter 207 Eighteen green mountains stood tall, shrouded in mist. Each peak had a thousand-foot waterfall, splashing up thin smoke. Green water flowed around the mountains, making the place lush and beautiful. Spring water gurgled and flowers bloomed, giving this beautiful place a sense of life and spirituality. In other places, this kind of scenery might not be much, but in the northern region, it was rare. There were gravel everywhere, and not even a blade of grass grew. This kind of scenery was like a fairyland. The vegetation was abundant, the water was misty, the palaces were ethereal, and the mountains were green. This was a beautiful pure land. Who are you? Someone from the Qingxia sect shouted. Yi Fan flicked his finger, and the boulder engraved with the words, Qingxia, shattered with a poof, turning into dust. This. Everyone gasped. The newcomer was not friendly, directly shattering the boulder of Qingxia. He was obviously serious. Are you looking to die? The people from the Qingxia sect were furious. Only three people had come, and they dared to boast that they wanted to establish a sect here. They had underestimated them. The people guarding the gate all took out their weapons. Flying swords, divine hammers, and the like were like a rain of light, shooting over. Yi Fan did not care. He waved his sleeve, and with a crack, all the weapons shattered and fell to the ground. Even if there were more than a hundred life spring cultivators, they could not compete with him. 
He waved his sleeve, and the people at the gate all flew out, falling into the pool under the waterfall. Go and report to the headmaster. Now, they knew they were in big trouble. The opponent was unfathomable, and definitely not an ordinary madman. Yi Fan stood in front of the gate, and with a flash of light behind him, 108 flags appeared. He had spent a day carving them yesterday. In the southern region, Elder Han of the Spirit Ruin Wonderland had failed to refine him into medicine, and he had paid with his life. He had obtained two ancient animal skin scrolls from that cave. One of the scrolls was an ancient book about Tao patterns. He could already comprehend it after entering the secret realm of the Holy Xi Palace. Although this scroll was not a profound ancient book, it had some unique points. The 108 flags that Yi Fan carved were densely covered in Tao runes. It was a sealing technique. He tossed out four flags and immediately sealed the mountain gate. Then, he rushed into the sky, throwing out the remaining 104 poles, all of them stabbing into the mountains and rivers, sealing off all directions. The flag fluttered in the wind, and in a blur, it disappeared into the green mountains and clear waters. You, just who are you? The guards of the mountain gate retreated. In front of the mountain gate, the road was paved with bluestone. Hundreds of steps lay like a long dragon. On both sides of the road, the color of grass was fresh. Immortal vines coiled around it, and a small brook gurgled. I am your future sect master. Yi Fan walked forward, ascending the stairs. His steps were light and graceful, without any killing intent. His entire being was incomparably graceful. You. The people of Qing Xia sect stepped back one after another. Such a young man, the more ethereal he was, the more uncertain they were. This place is great. Yi Fan kept nodding. The oasis where the stone stronghold was located was too small. It was no more than a dozen miles in radius. When a gust of wind blew, the sand and dust in the distance would rush in, which really made him a little uncomfortable. He liked mountains and rivers, and he liked beautiful scenery. Qing Xia sect was indeed a good place to cultivate one's mind and mind. Who is causing trouble? A long shout came, and an old man broke through the sky like a meteor and landed in front of the mountain gate. Yi Fan walked calmly and slowly up. He said, a rogue cultivator. Let's not mention my name. You want to establish a sect here? The old man's eyes were awe-inspiring, and his face was as gloomy as water. Anyone who learned of such news would find it difficult to smile. Yes, that's my intention. Yi Fan nodded. You? You're so young, but you're boasting shamelessly. The old man sneered disdainfully. It was no wonder that he despised Yi Fan. He looked like he was only about 15 years old. At this age, even if he was the successor of the Holy Land, he might not be able to challenge Qing Xia alone. Yi Fan was not in a hurry. He climbed up hundreds of stone steps and stood by the water. His body was next to the pool, and his whole body was covered with a layer of mist. He was like a banished immortal that had come into being. Only now did the old man see some clues. Yi Fan was standing in front of him, but he was as elusive and unpredictable as the mist. There are bandits running amok within a radius of 500 miles. It has a lot to do with Qing Xia sect. Are you also involved? Yi Fan asked. You even know this? The old man was uneasy and couldn't help but ask. Then there's nothing more to say. I'll send you on your way. Yi Fan floated in front of him and stretched out his hand. Buzz. The weapon vibrated, and seven weapons rushed out of the old man's body. There were sabers, spears, swords, halberds, and so on. They turned into seven long rainbows and stabbed at Yi Fan's palm. However, what shocked him was that the seven weapons were like rotten wood. They broke inch by inch and couldn't withstand a single blow. That jade-like palm seemed to have a kind of demonic nature. The weapons did stab into the palm, but they scattered like yellow soil and were completely shattered. He turned pale with fright. This kind of method was so magical that it made him feel cold all over and quickly retreat. Since you all connive the bandits, there's nothing more to say. I'll send you on your way. Yi Fan pressed with his hand, and the old man flew out dozens of feet on the spot. Then, he suddenly broke into pieces. The people guarding the mountain gate were dumbfounded. Even the elders of the sect were crushed to death by this young man, which made them tremble all over. This was a young devil king, who could stop him? Who could stop him? He killed the elder of Qing Xia sect with one slap. Even if the headmaster came, he might not be able to suppress him. Yi Fan ignored them and continued to move forward. Those people were trembling with fear and dodged to the sides. When can I go in and out of the Ji family like this and walk into the Yaoguang Holy Land? He felt that if he wanted to succeed, he needed a large amount of source energy. Inside the Qing Xia sect, the ancient bell rang. Everyone was alarmed and many cultivators quickly flew over. In front, there was a gurgling sound of water. Flowers and plants grew beside the spring. At a glance, it was beautiful. Figures quickly landed and surrounded Yi Fan and the other two. Little brother Yi. Wang Shu was a little nervous. Which of you are the bandits? Dumbo was very angry. Where are the three of you from? What nonsense are you talking about? The surrounding people shouted. You connived with Big Beard Chen to plunder everywhere and attack ordinary mortals. I didn't wrongly accuse you, did I? 
Yi Fan was calm. So, Big Beard Chen's inexplicable death was caused by you? Behind, an old man with white hair and a white beard walked forward slowly. He had a rather sage-like aura. A cultivator from the secret realm of the Doctrine Palace? Yi Fan showed a hint of surprise. Big Beard Chen is my disciple. It was he who gave me enough source energy to help me break through the shackles of the Nirvana realm. You actually killed him and still dare to come here. The old man was murderous. He stared at Yi Fan and ordered the people around him, kill him. Around them, figures flew everywhere. Lights shone and all kinds of weapons were taken out. Dozens of people attacked at the same time. Yi Fan did not expect so many people to know about Big Beard Chen. He snorted coldly and decided to start a massacre. The two of you step back and watch from the side. He asked Wang Shu and Lei Bo to step aside. Yi Fan's body was like a dragon. He suddenly rushed up and displayed the second secret of the nine secrets. He pointed one hand to the sky and shouted softly. In an instant, a giant seal appeared and vibrated above his head. It was a majestic giant mountain that towered into the sky. It was restrained into an ancient seal and pressed down. One could clearly see that there were birds and beasts on it and towering ancient trees. Boom! There was no way to stop it. The giant seal of the mountain could hold up the sky. When it came down, the weapons that were flying in the sky all turned into ashes. Ah! Screams were heard. Dozens of people who surrounded Yi Fan could not escape. Their bodies cracked and turned into ashes at the same time. This shocking scene made the cultivators in the distance speechless. They broke out in cold sweat and could not help but tremble. Up in the sky, the ancient mountain seal slowly faded away, then disappeared without a trace. This was the Battle Saint technique, the second secret of the Nine Secrets. It represented the extreme of offensive techniques and could evolve into thousands of moves. Every time it was comprehended, it would realize a different killing technique. You, what secret technique is this? The white-haired old man no longer had his sage-like temperament. He revealed a terrified expression and kept retreating. The killing technique. Yi Fan smiled faintly. There was no need to tell him that this was the Nine Secrets. I am the Supreme Elder of the Qingxia Sect. Do you really want to be enemies with the Qingxia Sect? He transmitted his voice loudly like thunder, waking up the Headmaster and other Supreme Elders who were in seclusion. Yi Fan shook his head and said, It's useless. No one can save you. I am a cultivator of the Holy Palace's secret realm. If you want to kill me, you must pay a price. He was strong in appearance but weak in heart, trying to stall for time. Go and reunite with your good disciple, Big Beard Chen. Yi Fan took a lotus step and chased after him lightly. You. I will fight you to the death. The Supreme Elder of the Qingxia sect roared. His face was ferocious, his hair stood up, and his eyes were cold. More than ten weapons rushed out of the Sea of Reincarnation. And in the Holy Palace, a god in green armor flew out. He held a broadsword in his hand, and his whole body was covered in green iron clothes. He was several meters tall, and with one step, he cracked the ground. The three-meter-long broadsword was swung. Green gas surged and made a buzzing sound. Thousands of rays of light shot out like a rain of swords. This area was filled with divine splendor. More than ten weapons, plus this god, sealed this area. Endless killing intent and dazzling light surged violently. In the distance, the disciples of the Qingxia sect shouted in unison. In their opinion, Yi Fan was completely submerged in it and would die without a doubt. However, they quickly closed their mouths. Boom! Yi Fan held the Grand Sun Seal in his hand. A vigorous sun slowly rose. It was incomparably huge and pressed down on the sky. Yes, a red sun like the boundless sea filled the sky. It was vigorous and grand, and the fiery red brilliance burned everything. The god in the green iron clothes was almost burned to ashes in an instant, and the dozens of weapons were burned into gas in an instant, no longer existing. Yi Fan held the Grand Sun Seal in his hand, and a huge red sun appeared above his head. It was like a mountain, pressing down on the sky. Its power was monstrous, and everyone couldn't help but want to kneel down. Ah! The Supreme Elder of the Qingxia sect screamed. After losing the god born from the Holy Palace, he was seriously injured. He fled for his life, trying to survive. Yi Fan lightly shook the Grand Sun Seal, and nine golden crows rushed out of the vigorous red sun. Their whole bodies were shining, as if they were cast from gold. Each of them had three legs, and they fluttered their wings and cried. Plop. Not far away, many disciples of the Qingxia sect were forced to kneel by this supreme power, and they could no longer stand. The nine three-legged golden crows turned into nine golden rays and rushed over. Although the supreme elder of the Qingxia sect had rushed out for hundreds of feet, he was still silently burned and instantly turned into black ashes. Ah! Uh. Screams sounded one after another. Wherever the nine golden crows passed, no one could resist them. They were all destroyed by the golden fire and turned into dust. This was an extremely terrifying power, with an unparalleled sense of oppression. It was not until Yi Fan released the Grand Sun Seal that the huge red sun and the nine golden crows slowly disappeared. Farther away, many disciples of the Qingxia sect collapsed and fell to the ground. They couldn't resist such supreme power, and it directly shocked them to their bones. 
This was one of the secrets of the Nine Secrets, the ultimate attack technique, the incomparable battle saint technique. Every time they comprehended it, it would evolve into a kind of killing technique, ever-changing and endless. Outside, all the disciples of the Qingxia sect were trembling with fear. That handsome young man was simply a demon king. That unparalleled terrifying power was enough to shock their bodies and minds, and there was no need to fight at all. Long roars sounded one after another. The supreme elder of the Qingxia sect and the headmaster were all alarmed, and they all came out and quickly rushed over. Shadows flashed, and ten people landed one after another, surrounding Yifan. Ten strong cultivators from the Holy Palace. It seems that I can go all out today. Yifan was calm and there was not a trace of shock on his face. Chapter 208 Qingxia sect had eighteen green mountains, each of which was shrouded in mist, flowing springs, and waterfalls, making everything hazy. Under the green peaks, the streams gurgled and meandered past. The vegetation was blooming, and a faint green glow overflowed. Yi Fan stood among the green mountains and water, feeling the nature. He was not nervous at all in the face of the top ten powerhouses. Is it you who wants me to move to a new place and establish a sect here? The headmaster of Qingxia sect had jet black hair, a long beard, and eyes like lightning. He looked to be about forty years old. His vitality was particularly vigorous, like a furnace. Yes, I have the same intention. This place is beautiful, just what I want. Yi Fan stood in front of the pool. The water was sparkling, and a tall figure was reflected in the water. You are so young, but you are so arrogant. Seeing that Qingxia is beautiful, you want to take it for yourself. Is this what your master taught you? Next to him, a supreme elder scolded coldly. Yi Fan smiled and said, Are you trying to reason with me? Those dead source diggers, who should they complain to? Should they hate the bandits, or should they gnash their teeth at you? What I am doing, isn't it what you have been doing? Since you think I am arrogant, why do it to others? Compared to you, what I am doing is really insignificant. A dignified sect, no matter big or small, represents a kind of inheritance, but you support the bandits, plunder everywhere, and burn and kill the innocent. You are simply the cancer and the source of evil here. Don't spout nonsense. Another grand elder scolded. Yi Fan laughed coldly and said, I have already come to your door, and there is no one else here. You don't need to pretend to cover up. In my opinion, your face is not as clean as the dust on the ground. The development of a sect always needs some tough means, otherwise it will be difficult to grow. The headmaster of Qingxia sect said in a deep voice. Ha ha ha. Yi Fan laughed loudly, and then his face gradually sank. He said, what a dignified reason, and what a righteous tone. It might be a little extreme, but it won't hurt the foundation of this place. The headmaster of the Green Dawn sect did not turn hostile. Instead, he calmly replied. He vaguely felt that something was wrong. He was afraid that Yi Fan was the successor of some great force. Is it just perhaps too extreme? Yi Fan promptly turned around and pointed at Dumbo nearby, saying, he used to have an elder sister who was young, beautiful, elegant, and had a happy family. In the end, you all supported your disciples to become roving bandits, doing beastly things, making a young lady die in humiliation, shrouding this family in sorrow. Not far away, Lei Bo grabbed his hair and squatted on the ground in pain. Your disciples are unscrupulous, abducting sore seekers from every village. But if anyone disobeys, they beat and kick them, not even sparing an old man in his sixties or seventies, wanting to beat him to death. It's just an isolated incident. Individual incidents? Yi Fan shook his head and said, There are only a few dozen families in a stone stronghold, but a young girl was humiliated, an old man was almost beaten to death, and several people were killed. How many tragedies do you think there will be within a 500 mile radius? Are you still cultivators? Did you establish this sect just to burn, kill, and plunder? Brother Yi, you have to avenge my sister. Dumbo cried in the distance. Fifth Master Zhang was beaten, but he still survived. Wang Xu was also emotional as he said, but, three of my childhood friends with Dumbo were beaten to death. What else do you have to say? Yi Fan stared at these people. Only when we become stronger can we maintain the stability of this area. Once the time is up, all the bandits will naturally disappear. A very old Grand Supreme Elder of the Green Dawn sect spoke. Don't you feel guilty saying these things? Yi Fan swept his gaze across them and said, I feel that only by killing all of you would we be able to eliminate all future troubles and restore peace to this area. How arrogant. Do you really think you can destroy our sect by yourself? An irascible Grand Supreme Elder frowned. Which sect's heir are you? Someone shouted. This was their biggest concern. If he was a disciple of some major force, killing him here would probably cause a great disaster. I'm just an itinerant cultivator. You don't have to be afraid. Yi Fan walked lightly towards the Green Dawn sect's chieftain. The many Grand Supreme Elders of the Green Dawn sect looked at each other, their faces showing killing intent. One of them said, kill him. This is the only way. The Green Dawn sect's chieftain's face darkened. He yelled at the disciples in the distance, seal the mountain gate. We must not let these three escape. They could already tell that Yi Fan was at the same level as them. Even if his combat ability was amazing, it was impossible for him to resist the encirclement of ten people at the same time. Even the great sage might not have been able to do it when he was young. 
We wanted to spare your life, but since you don't want to give yourself a way out, don't blame us for being ruthless and killing you here. No matter where you come from, we can only kill you as an itinerant cultivator. These people laughed coldly. It was obvious that they wanted to kill Yifan here, not giving him a chance to live. After listening to you, I have a clear conscience. The Green Dawn sect will henceforth become history and will never exist again. Yifan's clothes fluttered in the wind as he stood by the pool. The flowers and grass around him were fragrant, making him look pure and untainted. There was no killing intent, but it made people's hearts palpitate. In the distance, the disciples of Siam Glow Academy were terrified and retreated at lightning speed. They couldn't forget the scene not long ago. This was a young demon king. He looked delicate and harmless, but when he attacked, his power was terrifying and incomparable. Kill him, don't let him leave. Ten cultivators of the Holy Xi Palace attacked at the same time. Even though they were only gods, the ten of them working together was terrifying enough. They took out their weapons and joined them together, attacking Yi Fan at the same time. Only now did Yi Fan understand the terror of the Holy Xi Palace cultivators. Their weapons were powered by gods, and their power was many times greater. For example, the leader of the Green Dawn sect took out a copper lamp. His heart's divine treasure turned into a sun, sinking into the copper lamp. The two became one, illuminating the sky. It was like a sky lantern, flying over from beyond the world, hanging in the air, scattering down streak after streak of flames, burning towards Yi Fan. The scorching heat even evaporated a waterfall nearby, water vapor misty, as if it was a celestial realm. Boom! Yi Fan waved his fist and hit the copper lamp. His combat power was like a wave, sweeping up the broken clouds and dispelling the mist between the green peaks, revealing the clear sky. His golden fist cut through the air like an ancient chariot rolling through the sky, causing the sky to tremble. This kind of powerful divine power was like a raging ocean, making the leader of the Green Dawn sect and the Great Elder change their expressions. This was simply too terrifying. Such a young man, at such a young age, had such powerful combat power. If he wasn't a rare genius, then he was an elite disciple cultivated by a holy land. We've already fought, there's no way to end this peacefully. Take him down. Whether to refine or kill him, we'll decide after we figure out his background. These people were afraid. The weapons of the ten great cultivators joined together, blocking Yifan's golden fist. Flames raged, lightning split the sky, and the sonora sound rang through the sky. This man is too strong, we must get rid of him. The leader of the Green Dawn sect was in awe. He was deeply worried. If Yifan was allowed to grow, in just one or two years, they would have no chance. A great elder let out a clear roar, spitting out a black light from his mouth. He formed a seal with both hands and slapped out 81 black lotuses, escorting the black light towards Yifan. Seeing this, the others also made their moves, attacking forward. Black Lotus burns the soul, slay the form and destroy the soul, the great elder shouted. Eighty-one black lotuses bloomed, and the black petals intertwined with the black light in the middle, turning into a heavenly ghost, rushing towards Yifan. This was a powerful secret technique. It wanted to split Yifan's soul. It could devour the divine power, tear the protective light curtain, and directly affect the origin of people's consciousness. It's just the light of a firefly. Yifan was not afraid. He shouted softly, his hands moved, and the nine secret killing techniques were displayed again. The Boundless Ocean Behind him, there appeared a vast ocean. The seawater was completely golden, rolling up thousands of waves. As he blasted out his fist, the golden ocean turned into a dragon in the air. As Yi Fan punched, it soared and rushed forward. This was an earth-shattering killing intent, with unimaginable attack power. The dragon rose from the sea, and the dragon's roar resounded through the nine heavens. The entire Green Dawn sect could hear it. It was like crushing dry weeds and smashing rotten wood. Eighty-one black lotuses were shattered by the golden dragon fist. As for the human-shaped heavenly ghost in the middle, it was torn apart and crushed into powder. Where do you think you're going? Yi Fan rushed forward, not wanting to let go of the opponent. Everyone was shocked. Yi Fan's attack power was too strong, and the others could not stop it. The great elder at the front was completely locked on. He rushed over at once. The dragon rose from the sea, soaring into the sky, rolling up the wind and clouds, like a god descending to the world. Poof! Yi Fan punched out, shattering the great elder's body inch by inch, and then disappeared in the blink of an eye. A powerful Grand Elder was killed by him with a single punch. The other nine people were extremely shocked. Such a killing technique made their hearts tremble. Just now, the Great Elder was used as the blade, rushing to the front, and they were the blade. Although it was not the joint force of ten people, it was almost the same. The opponent actually directly shattered the blade, killing the Great Elder cleanly and neatly, which made everyone's heart palpitate. In the distance, the disciples of the Green Dawn sect were even more terrified. Ten great cultivators joined forces to kill one person, but a great elder was killed instead. Which holy land's heir are you? The Green Dawn sect's headmaster asked in a deep voice. Can't non-holy land's heir have this kind of strength? The sea behind Yi Fan disappeared, and he was like a white cloud, leisurely walking forward, elegant and agile. Let's refine him. 
The nine great cultivators, the gods of the Holy Ji Palace all rushed out, and eighteen figures formed an inescapable net, sealing Yi Fan in it. However, Yi Fan looked calm and at ease. His left hand formed a moon seal, and his right hand formed a sun seal, as if he was pushing the sun and the moon forward. Yes, a terrifying scene happened. A bright moon as big as a millstone slowly rotated in front of his left hand, and a sun as big as a millstone slowly rotated in front of his right hand. Supreme coercion filled the air, and heaven and man were one. He was like a god, pushing the sun and the moon forward. Even though they hid far away, the disciples of the Green Dawn sect couldn't help but tremble. Such an attack secret technique was unheard of, and they had never seen it before. A powerful killing intent shrouded them, making them feel a chill from the bones. This kind of combat power is too terrifying. The great elders of the Green Dawn sect changed their expressions, and they struggled to fight against Yi Fan. Even the great sage lords were only like this when they were young. Is he really a young holy lord? Otherwise, how can he have such combat power? If he is not the heir of a holy land, then his potential is even more terrifying. Is it the legendary divine body? Yi Fan formed a moon seal with his left hand, and a sun seal with his right hand, pushing the millstone-sized bright moon and sun, crushing the sky, shaking the sky, and unstoppable. Chapter 209 Yi Fan's left hand formed a moon imprint, right hand forming a sun imprint. He stood in the air, truly like a deity. How could it be like this? The nine great experts were suppressed to a disadvantage even after joining hands. They all felt endless fatigue. Illuminate the divine universe. Green Dawn sect master shouted. The copper lamp in his hand left his hand and flew out, stopping in midair. The copper lamp flickered, fiery light reaching into the heavens. The wick actually formed the shape of a human. A person with disheveled hair swayed about, releasing heaven overflowing flames. I'll borrow everyone's divine force to refine this fiend. Green Dawn sect master roared. On the side, the eight supreme elders all nodded. Every single one of them shot out a streak of dazzling radiance, pouring it into the copper lamp. Green Dawn sect master also exerted force. Nine streaks of fire dragons rushed into the heavens, connecting with the copper lamp, flickering with brilliance. Inside the copper lamp, the human-shaped wick received nourishment. It crazily expanded, releasing waves of roars. Large amounts of flames surged out, sweeping towards Yifan. The illumination of the divine universe was like a demonic sun suspended in the sky, full of destructive fluctuations. Yifan's right hand formed a sun imprint, producing a millstone-sized heavenly sun. It was overflowing with vitality, exuberant and full of vigorous energy. Pung! His right hand formed a sun imprint, lightly shaking it. The millstone-sized heavenly sun collided with the copper lamp's flames in the sky. The flames surged, releasing Pai Li Pala sounds. Hong. Yi Fan's right hand pushed the heavenly sun, shattering the copper lamp. It immediately crushed over. That human-shaped wick released a mournful cry, forever returning to nothingness. Green Dawn Sect Master's weapon was destroyed. The other eight supreme elders were also affected, all of them backing up. Hong Long Long. Yi Fan's left hand formed a moon imprint. The millstone-sized moon already turned, crushing towards the nine of them. This was a murderous attack, tyrannical and domineering. He suppressed the nine of them with his own strength. It was like an unstoppable flood. The nine of them quickly backed up, as if they were facing the charge of a magnificent army. Their bodies trembled, their faces pale. Where do you think you're going? Yi Fan formed a sun moon imprint, chasing after Green Dawn's sect master. How fast was his speed? Who could stop him? His entire body shone, accompanied by the sun and moon, pure and holy like an immortal. Dust moved far away, long clothes fluttering about. He immediately arrived. The sun moon great seal was full of vigor. It had the power to suppress mountains and rivers as it pressed down. Green cloud sect master roared. At this moment of life and death, his body began to burn, illuminating all directions. The deity born from his Tao palace rushed forward and blocked the sun and moon seal, dying in his place. Yi Fan's hand formed a great imprint. It descended with incomparable might, and nothing could stop it. That deity was immediately turned into dust. The other eight supreme elders came to the rescue, and in the end, they managed to save Qing Xia, sect master's body. His face was snow white, and his body was trembling. His vitality was injured. In the distance, the disciples of Azure Glow Academy were terrified. What kind of power was this? Yi Fan held the sun moon seal in his hand, and with one strike, he nearly killed their sect master. Impossible. What kind of secret technique is this? One person is suppressing the nine of us, and he doesn't seem to be exhausted at all. When the great sage lord was young, I don't think he had such power either. What kind of background does he have? His constitution is very special, and he has endless divine power. Is it really a divine body? The most terrifying thing is that kind of secret technique. It is ever-changing, and I seem to have heard of it. All kinds of great killing techniques are incomparable. Green Cloud Sect Master and the eight supreme elders revealed expressions of shock. They quickly exchanged a few words. Meanwhile, at this time, Yi Fan had already rushed over. 
His might surged over, pushing the sun and moon forward. His clothes fluttered about, and his appearance was delicate and handsome. However, he suppressed the nine great experts like an immortal king. The nine of them didn't dare to separate at all. If their power was scattered even a bit, all nine of them would die. This kind of powerful pressure made them feel a chill in their hearts. Eight deities, nine true bodies, together formed an inescapable net. They were everywhere, but they couldn't trap Yi Fan. On the contrary, more weapons shattered. They were bitterly holding on. I, can't hold on any longer. A supreme elder screamed, and the skin all over his body was cracking. Yi Fan chose this as a breakthrough point. The great killing technique only attacked him. Like a sharp heavenly sword, it was invincible. It shattered his weapon and then slapped forward. The god will he formed bore the brunt of the attack and died in his place. The supreme elder himself didn't manage to escape either and was killed by Yi Fan's shockwave. The moonlight was like water. The millstone-sized moon emitted milky white light. The sun was dazzling, strong and dazzling, flowing with golden divine splendor. Yi Fan held the sun and moon seal in his hand. He stood high in the sky like a divine king, as if he was the only one in the nine heavens and ten earths. Although he had an otherworldly temperament, he was even more frightening. His attack power was too strong. So many cultivators of the same realm joined forces, but there was no way to stop him. It was like porcelain colliding with a boulder. In the distance, the faces of the disciples of the Qingxia sect were ashen. They felt that they couldn't compete with this young demon king at all. Yi Fan's heart was empty. He felt his own strength. The nine secrets had shocked him too much. His great offensive technique was invincible. He even had the thought of fighting with Yao Wang Saintus and the others, but he resisted the impulse. He was still far from the Holy Land's heirs. If he touched the edge of the third secret realm, he might be able to compete with the saints. Once he entered the third secret realm, the four extremities, he could only rely on comprehension. At that time, whether it was source or herbs, they would be useless. He could only understand himself and improve. With Yi Fan's physique, the secret realms of the Holy Xi Palace were very important to him. His body was like a bottomless pit. If he had enough source, he could have infinite divine power and quickly increase his strength. However, the source he needed was an astronomical number. The five realms of the Holy Xi Palace were stacked ten times each time. In the end, the amount needed was so great that even the Holy Lands couldn't bear it. At that moment, the cultivators of the Qingxia sect wanted to escape. They had long been afraid, but they were afraid that Yi Fan would defeat them one by one, so they didn't dare to act rashly. Yi Fan coldly snorted and pressed forward, locking onto one of them. Everyone, lend me a hand, the Qingxia sect supreme elder shouted. He opened his mouth and spat out a purple and gold gourd. It quickly enlarged, and then he sent his divine will into it, becoming one with the gourd that was born with the body of the way. Bells, pagodas, gourds, and other weapons were born with the aura of the way. They were very difficult to refine, but once they succeeded, they would have great power. The purple and gold gourd was as big as a mountain. It crashed forward, and the other seven people helped at the same time. They shot out beams of divine light, activating the artifact together to suppress Yi Fan. Yi Fan still held the seal of sun and moon. He didn't change his form. His hands pushed the sun and moon like two spinning millstones. Light shone on his body, making him look like an immortal king patrolling the sky. Boom! Still far away, the mouth of the gourd suddenly opened, overflowing purple mist. It then formed a huge whirlpool, sucking in Yi Fan like a whale sucking in water. Good! The others shouted. They all worked hard, activating their divine power to refine the gourd. It is worthy of being the strongest treasure of my Qingxia sect. Hurry up and refine it. Don't let him rush out. The headmaster of the Qingxia sect and the seven supreme elders worked together to refine it. The purple and gold gourd shone brilliantly, and its whole body was filled with purple mist, covering the sky. However, at this time, a heart-palpitating aura filled the air, making people's hearts palpitate. The purple and gold gourd shook violently. A beam of divine light rushed out, and a large hole appeared on it. It was forcefully broken by someone with brute force. Yi Fan's left hand held the moon, and his right hand pushed the sun. He was like a demon lord coming into being. His murderous aura rushed into the sky as he fiercely attacked. Kacha. The purple and gold gourd quickly cracked, starting from the mouth of the gourd and then spreading downwards. Pitter-patter. It was like a dilapidated ancient palace that had stood for many years had collapsed. Rubble fell to the ground, and the fragments of the gourd flew everywhere. Boom. Yi Fan's hand formed the sun-moon seal. It continuously vibrated, and everywhere it passed, everything turned into flying ashes. This extraordinary purple gourd was shattered into pieces by him in the blink of an eye. Bang! The master of the purple and gold gourd was crushed by the sun and moon. He let out a weak scream, and his body and soul were destroyed. Boom! At the same time, Yi Fan formed a seal, shaking out the sun and moon. The two discs caught up to the two supreme elders, wrapping around them. The two of them were silently annihilated. In the blink of an eye, three supreme elders were killed, and the rest were all subdued. How can there be such a terrifying attack power? This is beyond common sense. 
When the great sage lords were young, they definitely did not have this kind of combat strength. At this age, at this realm, he should not have this kind of strength. He can actually suppress so many of us at the same level. There is no reason at all. If he becomes a supreme being, could it be that he can fight several holy lords alone? I think of another person. The Qingxia sect's face was snow white as he said, such a person has appeared in the northern region. You mean, the person with the highest attack power in the northern region for the past 5,000 years, Jiang Taishu. This is universally acknowledged. Although he disappeared for 4,000 years, and many amazing people have appeared since then, he has always been regarded as the person with the highest attack power in the northern region for the past 5,000 years, and no one can surpass him. Divine King Jiang Taishu's name shook the world. 4,000 years ago, he was invincible and unparalleled in the northern region. In terms of attack power, he was indisputably ranked first. Divine King Jiang Taishu's name shook the world. 4,000 years ago, he was invincible in the northern region. In terms of attack power, he was indisputably ranked first. He is a divine king who has reached the advanced level. I heard that he has mastered supreme secret skills. Naturally, he is the number one attacker in the northern region for the past 5,000 years. The Qingxia sect's leader and supreme elder broke out in a cold sweat. They felt that Yi Fan's attack power was comparable to that of divine king Jiang when he was young. That's right. This boy is very similar to Jiang Taishu. When he was young, his achievements were similar. Could he be the second divine king? Could it be that they were facing a young divine king who was gifted in attack power? Jiang Taishu's fame was too great. Although he had disappeared for 4,000 years, he had left endless legends in the northern region. Even the strength of his attack power at each age had been passed down. This boy's attack power is actually comparable to that of divine king Jiang of the same age. Could it be that the name of the number one attacker will be changed in the future? The Qingxia sect's leader and supreme elder quickly exchanged a few words. They were all in awe. They knew that they had provoked an extraordinary person. Although he was just a teenager, they could already see his extraordinary future. Yi Fan heard their whispers and saw their fear. He had never thought of being number one in attack power. After all, he had been chased all the way here. Now, he could not even see the light of day. You know a lot. Then I can't let you go. I need to silently improve my strength here. If I let you spread the news, won't I become the public enemy of those saintesses and sons? Number one in attack power. How impressive. Let's go. When they vaguely guessed at Yi Fan's constitution, as well as deducing that he cultivated an unmatched great killing technique, these people became completely terrified, long losing all will to fight. They rushed in all directions, wishing to escape. At this moment, dignity and face were not important. Only survival was the most real thing. If he was really a young divine king, even if there were twice as many people, they still had no chance of winning. In the distance, the disciples of the Qingxia sect saw the headmaster and supreme elder fleeing for their lives. They suddenly panicked and all fled. Unfortunately, this place has been sealed by me. None of you can escape. Yi Fan stretched out his arms and danced with the wind. Phoenix feathers appeared, shining around his arms. A pair of colorful wings appeared, and a five-colored divine light shot up to the sky. He was like a phoenix flapping its wings. A pair of divine wings rushed out and slashed forward, shredding two supreme elders on the spot. Next, he pinched a seal and raised it to the sky. An ancient mountain appeared above his head, majestic and majestic. There were birds and beasts on it, as well as towering ancient trees. He pinched a seal with his right hand and pressed it forward. The great mountain was like a seal, shaking down. With a boom, the headmaster of the Qingxia sect in front of him turned into flying ash. Chapter 210 Qingxia sect was originally filled with fresh grass, many rivers, and deep pools. It was elegant and tranquil. However, at this moment, the sky was filled with shouts of killing. The green grass was dyed red, the petals were stained with blood, and the trees were blooming red. Corpses fell one after another. No one knew how many people had died. Yi Fan really turned into a young devil, killing in all directions. Corpses fell under his feet one after another. Not only did the headmaster of Qing Xia turn into ashes, but the last two elders were also turned into dust by him. At this moment, he was killing the others. He was furious in his heart. For the so-called development of Qing Xia sect, their means were temporarily extreme, but the evil deeds they committed were outrageous. They were unscrupulous and treated human life as grass. For the source, their hands were stained with blood, and they committed evil deeds one after another. In dozens of villages, young girls were raped, sore seekers were killed, and many hot-blooded youths who resisted were sentenced to death. Qing Xia sect not only supported more than a dozen bandits, but they also personally took action from time to time, causing countless bloody cases. They were the source of local evil. Everything started with them. In order to open up the source mine, they forcibly demolished more than a dozen stone villages. One village resisted slightly, and half of the villagers were killed. It was bloody and violent. Of course, all of this was done by the bandits, but they were the ones who gave the order. Spare me. More than a dozen young Qingxia disciples fell to the ground, kneeling there, kowtowing constantly, and begging bitterly. 
From between Yifan's eyebrows, a powerful divine sense emerged and swept through their sea of knowledge. What he saw was still blood, so he was not soft-hearted and fiercely attacked. Pu, Piu. Flowers of blood bloomed. It was beautiful and shocking. In the blink of an eye, there were more than a dozen corpses. In the distance, everyone was trembling and fleeing. Some people had already realized that they could not escape at all. They roared and rushed forward desperately. Yi Fan looked calm as if he was taking a walk in the courtyard. He was light and elegant, but he was ruthless. Every time he pointed a finger, there would be a few fresh lives that would leave this world forever. Puff, puff, puff. He walked calmly, ending lives like harvesting weeds. On both sides of the road, there were countless corpses, and blood dyed the fragrant grass red. This kind of scene caused one's heart to palpitate, and even Wang Shu and Lei Bo felt a chill. Yi Fan was as ethereal as an immortal. His feet didn't touch the ground as he moved. Flowers of blood bloomed and corpses littered the ground. He didn't seem to be stained by a single leaf as he moved through the corpses. There wasn't a single trace of blood on him. He was clearly killing people, but there was a kind of beauty to it. There was an otherworldly aura, as if he was demonstrating a kind of art. The art of killing was like the floating clouds and flowing water, like the horns of an antelope. It was very natural, beautiful, and almost pleasing to the eye. Demon. The demon king from hell. The people of Qingxia sect completely collapsed. At this moment, they were like lambs on the chopping block, waiting for their unchangeable fate to be slaughtered. Death was not scary. It was far less torturous than this process. It was a torment that could drive one insane. Don't kill me, I didn't do anything evil, it has nothing to do with me. Crying shouts could be heard from time to time. Yi Fan didn't care about anything else. He only looked at the facts. His divine sense swept across, but those who had committed a murder case were all decapitated. He moved forward calmly like this. It was unknown how many people he had killed, but the road was dyed red. Little brother Yi, don't kill. Wang Shu and Lei Bo stepped forward. They were about to vomit their gallbladder. They had never seen such a bloody scene. Although this kind of killing method made people feel beautiful, after all, it was a life. They couldn't bear to see heads constantly rolling down. You have killed too many people, more than a hundred. Little brother Yi, didn't you want to establish a sect? You have almost killed them all. Yi Fan stopped and looked back. Along the way, there were corpses one after another. The scarlet spots made the ancient bluestone steps dark red. No one could escape. He had blocked the Qingxia sect with 108 big flags, and these people had no way to break it. I don't dare to use these people, and I can't use them. I must get rid of evil. Yi Fan shook his head. In the distance, the people of the Qingxia sect were almost desperate after hearing such words. The headmaster and the supreme elder had committed evil deeds, let alone them. Most of the people present had become bandits and personally participated in evil deeds. Their backgrounds were very dirty. Fight with him, everyone together, we can't just sit and wait for death. Even if we die, we must be happy. We can't let him slaughter us like dogs. Many people were used to seeing death, and they were somewhat hot-blooded. They roared, shouted, and rushed forward. There was no suspense in the result. No matter how much they roared, they couldn't change anything. Screams and curses were endless. The Qingxia sect was in chaos. It wasn't until half an hour later that peace was completely restored. The blood mist slowly dissipated, and there were only dead bodies on the ground. Yi Fan killed a total of 217 people, almost completely destroying the Qingxia sect. From ordinary disciples to elders, this place became a blood-stained land. The grass, the stone steps, the pool, and the flower garden were all dyed red. Wang Shu and Dumbo kept vomiting. Such a bloody scene made them frightened. These were not pigs or sheep, they were people. It was not a big deal, but in the face of hundreds of corpses, a normal person would be frightened. Only 23 people were left alive. They did not do evil deeds, but deep in their hearts, they rejected this kind of behavior of the Qingxia sect. Yi Fan did not make things difficult for them. In addition, he also released three old men from the stone prison in the back mountain. They were the elders of the Qingxia sect. Because they also opposed supporting the bandits, they were suppressed here. The Qingxia sect was eliminated. In the end, only 26 people survived. The rest were all killed by Yi Fan decisively and resolutely. Bury everyone, bury all their sins. Yi Fan instructed the surviving 26 people, then he walked towards the main peak in large strides. Qingxia sect's treasury was opened. The colorful light was like a dense fog, the radiance was so bright that people could not open their eyes. On the jade shelves, there were pieces of source energy, from date stones to fists. Although there was no rare source energy, they were all considered pure. Half a square meter, weighing 1,600 to 700 kilograms. It was much more than his estimation. This was all because of the Qingxia sect's plundering. Oh heavens, so many source energy, how many mines do we need to dig? Lei Bo cried out in shock. Wang Shu's eyes were not enough, he touched one piece and then another. All kinds of source energy shone in different colors. They were sparkling and sparkling, they were the most precious materials in Northern Domain. 
Half a square meter, bright light shone in all directions, they were translucent and bewitching. You too, take some too. Now that you are on the path of cultivation, you need it every day. Yi Fan told them to take the source energy. Next, Yi Fan took out the pristine jade bottle and stored the remaining half of the square meter. This was enough for him to break through to the second realm of Dao Palace. No wonder so many people become bandits, this is really stimulating. Yi Fan sighed. Conquering a small sect had such a huge harvest, it was simply crazy. Even he was moved and wanted to conquer another sect. Right now, his battle strength was already extraordinary. If he could reach the second realm of Dao Palace, his strength would definitely advance by leaps and bounds. In the treasury, other than a large amount of source energy, there were also many weapons and some secret manuals. Yi Fan took them all out. Below the Qingxia sect's main peak, three waterfalls poured down, it was a spectacular and beautiful scene. The water mist formed into rainbows, and the surroundings were filled with strange flowers and plants. The remaining 26 people were very nervous, they did not know what their fates would be. Slap! The best manual of Qingxia sect was thrown in front of them, and the weapons refined by the Dao Palace cultivators were also thrown to the ground. These all belong to you. No need to doubt or worry. Qingxia sect was once occupied by a group of bandits, they wreaked havoc everywhere. I exterminated them and left behind the true inheritors. From hell to heaven, happiness came so quickly. These people could not believe it. They were just worried about their lives just now, but now they could obtain treasures and secret techniques. Really? One of them raised his head and asked, trembling. Of course. Yi Fan smiled and said, take care of yourselves. Once you become stronger, you will undoubtedly become elders of Qingxia sect. Everyone had been killed. If these people were left behind, they would naturally become sect elders, the ones in charge. Little brother Yi. Lei Bo wanted to say something. I forgot to introduce you. These two are the Mining Order's Headmaster and Deputy Headmaster. We might need your help in the future. Yi Fan pushed Wang Shu and Lei Bo forward. We're headmasters. We're, we're establishing a sect. The two were dizzy. Mining Order? The survivors of Qingxia sect looked at each other. This name was too unsophisticated. They could tell it was for mining. Just as you all have guessed, our sect stands aloof from worldly affairs. We only search for the source of the mountains and rivers. We might need your help in the future. Yi Fan did not want to become the master of this sect. He only wanted to control it. Otherwise, he would definitely have a rebellious mentality. According to the Book of Origin, when searching for the source, a lot of people were needed to lock the veins of the mountains and rivers. These were the miners he had decided on. If you have any orders, we will not dare to disobey. These people were glad. Not only did they survive, but they would also become the true masters of Qingxia sect. This was beyond their expectations. In essence, these people were not bad people. They were against evil and had a clean background. Otherwise, they would not have been kept by Yi Fan. You'd better seal the mountain and train quietly. After saying this, Yi Fan floated away with Wang Shu and Lei Bo. Brother Yi, are we really going to establish a sect? Wang Shu kept asking along the way. This name is too unpleasant. Dumbo mumbled. How is it unpleasant? The Mining Order, as the name suggests, is an unparalleled sect. Yi Fan chuckled. Didn't you say you were going to establish a sect in Qingxia sect? Why are you leaving? Both of them were confused. My main goal is to get rid of the tumor in this place. As for the Qingxia sect, we naturally have to hold it firmly in our hands. Yi Fan smiled. These were the miners he had decided on, but he could not directly announce it. Otherwise, even if these people were obedient on the surface, they would rebel behind his back. He needed to influence them subtly. At this moment, these people would definitely be happy to become the masters of Qingxia sect. Slowly, everything would fall into place. Yi Fan had already regarded this sect as his own territory. He would not allow others to encroach on it. Soon, he would go there to train. In the following three days, Yi Fan used lightning-fast methods to annihilate all 17 groups of bandits within a circumference of 500 miles, killing them all. When Yi Fan returned to the Qingxia sect and was about to use the origin he had obtained to go into seclusion, he learned that there were people spying on them from time to time. People from the Mythical Fire Order, the Sunset Sect, the Mysterious Moon Cave, and the Seven Stars Pavilion have been spying on us recently. The remaining three elders of Qingxia sect looked worried. The other 23 young disciples were also very uneasy. It's fine. As long as they don't cross the line, just ignore them. If you guys are in trouble, I will naturally help. After all, I've lent you a green peak. Yi Fan smiled. He wanted to live in seclusion at the back of the mountain, so the people of Qingxia sect naturally did not dare to refuse. At first, they thought about it, but now they had to ask for Yi Fan's help. The disciples of the mysterious moon cave have come to visit the sect. We seek an audience with the chief of Qingxia sect. The voice traveled from outside the mountain to the 18 main peaks. Not long after, a disciple of Qingxia sect came in with a young man in his twenties. He walked up the stone steps and glanced around. There was a trace of a smile on his face. 
You are just a disciple of the mysterious moon cave, but you are making noise at the mountain gate, disturbing our peaceful cultivation, and arrogantly saying that you want to see the chief of Qingxia sect. Even if your elders came in person, they would not dare to do this. I am Li Yuran, the ninth disciple of the mysterious moon cave. I am ordered by my master to visit. Li Yuran looked around. He saw some bloodstains beside the pool and on the stone steps. The smile on the corner of his mouth became wider. What's the matter? The elders of Qingxia sect asked with a sullen face. I heard that there is a change in Qingxia sect. The mysterious moon cave wants to help. Soon, there will be strong people coming here. Li Yuran replied. How dare you? Do you want to attack our Qingxia sect? The three elders were furious. We don't dare. Our mysterious moon cave's leader is a close friend of your sect leader. If Qingxia sect is in trouble, our mysterious moon cave will naturally come to support you and help you get through this crisis. Li Yuran deduced the actual situation of Qingxia sect and became even more casual, showing a faint smile on his face. Mysterious moon cave wants to take advantage of our misfortune? Qingxia sect only had 26 people left, and they were all furious. No, we are sincerely here to help. Li Yuran opened the folding fan in his hand and spoke frankly with assurance, my master and Qingxia sect's chief had already discussed a long time ago. They wanted to combine the two sects and make them flourish together. Since the conversation had already reached this point, the purpose of the mysterious moon cavern was as clear as day. You. Qingxia sect's people were furious. Your tone is not small. Yi Fan walked out and said, there is no harm in combining the two sections. Go back and tell your cave master to prepare half a square yuan, he can join Qingxia sect at any time. Making him a vice sect leader is not a problem. Who are you? Li Yuran closed his folding fan and stopped smiling, saying in a deep voice, Young lad, this is not the place for you to speak. I am talking to your elder, move to the side. Qingxia sect was already Yi Fan's territory, how could he allow others to encroach on it? He naturally could not tolerate people trying to take advantage of him halfway. Are you talking to me? He walked down the bluestone ancient stairs, his hair and clothes fluttered in the wind, making him look like an immortal. This is Qingxia sect, I can say anything I want, who do you think you are? Mysterious Moon Cave's disciple dares to be so arrogant here, where do you think this is, daring to be so arrogant? I am representing Mysterious Moon Cave, you are just a young disciple, you naturally have no qualifications to speak to me. Li Yuran opened his folding fan and looked at the mountains and rivers, not putting anyone in his eyes. Scram, tell your sect leader to prepare half a square yuan for me, otherwise I will do as he wishes and prepare to combine the sects. Yi Fan sneered, his long sleeves fluttered as he lightly waved them, like moving clouds and flowing water, elegant and graceful. Slap! Li Yuran was sent flying, flying for hundreds of feet before landing on the ground in a sorry state. You, how dare you be so rude to my mysterious moon cave. Bam! Yi Fan waved his long sleeves again, Li Yuran's mouth and nose spurted blood, his face swelled up like he was slapped. At the same time, his whole body was sent flying as if struck by lightning. Good, 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 this time your Qingxia sect is really going to be annihilated. Li Yuran's face was ashen. Boasting shamelessly, who do you think you are, quickly scram and tell your sect leader to come and see me. Yi Fan did not move from his spot, waving his sleeves continuously. Li Yuran's body shook intensely, his face was swollen and his teeth were loose. He was directly sent flying out of Qingxia sect, falling into a pool far away. Chapter 211 At the foot of the main peak of Qingxia, green water lingered, full of vitality. Maple trees swayed, covered with pure white flowers, and the fragrance wafted. A light breeze blew through the maple trees, and petals rustled down and danced in the air, sparkling like snowflakes. The fragrance was even stronger. The stream flowed, passing through the maple trees, carrying the fragrant petals to the distance. The flowers were fragrant, and the birds were singing. The scenery was picturesque. Near the main peak of Qingxia, it was beautiful and natural, but the three elders and twenty-three disciples in the forest still looked worried. Yi Fan stood quietly in the maple trees. Sparkling petals danced in the air, and the maple orchids surrounded him, fragrant and refreshing. Being here, he felt closer to the empty state of Tao. After a long time, he turned around and said, If what you said is true, there will be some trouble. The mysterious moon cave also supported some roving bandits, but they were more secretive. In terms of scale and strength, it was similar to the Qingxia sect. The only thing that made Yi Fan afraid was that they actually had a supreme sect master who was still in this world. Ten years ago, when the old sect master of the mysterious moon cave went into seclusion, there were already three gods in his Taoist palace. It had a certain reputation in this area, and it was very intimidating for a sect of the size of the Qingxia sect. Yi Fan's physique was special, and his combat strength was amazing. Among the cultivators of the same level, he could be called a top figure. However, he was still a little inexperienced when facing such an old monster. The difference in strength between different realms was very big. Just like climbing the heaven ladder, the step up was, the immortal, and the step down was, mortal, which absolutely suppressed the cultivators of the lower realms. Yi Fan's talent was amazing, and he could fight against more than ten cultivators of the same realm. It could be said that it was quite amazing. If he reached the realm of the descendants of the Holy Land, it meant that he could fight against several saints alone. 
If it was spread out, it would definitely shock one side. Even if he was a mortal against an immortal, he still had a chance of winning. With his current terrifying attack power, he was not afraid to fight against a figure with two gods in the Taoist palace. Yes, a cultivator of the lower realms also had a chance of winning against an immortal on the heaven ladder. However, that supreme sect master already possessed three deities ten years ago. Attacking with two levels of cultivation was just too risky. There was almost no chance of victory. No matter how talented one was, if there was a huge gap between their realms, it would be like crossing a natural chasm. It was impossible for one to go against the flow and slay an immortal. Most importantly, ten years had passed. If the old headmaster did not improve at all, it would be unjustifiable. Against such a veteran character, the best choice was to retreat. It would be too difficult to kill him. The people of Azure Cloud sect were all worried. If the mysterious Moon Cave was determined to exterminate them, perhaps even this young demon king would not be able to stop them. The Mythical Fire Sect, the Sunset Sect, the Mystic Moon Cave, and the Seven Star Pavilion were all eyeing them covetously. Now, the Azure Dawn Sect was indeed in a worrying situation. Don't worry, you don't have to worry. I'll make a trip to Mystic Moon and come back to make a decision. Yi Fan wanted to figure out the real situation. If possible, he wanted to use a special battle technique to directly kill the old Hierarch. The mysterious Moon Cave was 900 miles away from the Azure Cloud Sect. It was also located in an oasis. There were many ancient caves and creeks here. Compared to the elegance of the Azure Cloud Sect, there was a special mysterious atmosphere here. Yi Fan landed on the ground dozens of miles away. Crackling sounds came from his body, and his appearance changed greatly. At this moment, his body was bloated. Compared with his original delicate appearance, he had changed a lot. He used the heaven and earth changing technique recorded in the Book of Source of Heaven to change his appearance. He pulled out a Daoist robe and put it on. His face was glowing. Boundless celestial being, I am Duanda. Yi Fan gestured for a while and felt that it was a good imitation. At the same time, in an unknown place far away in the sky, the unscrupulous Daoist Duanda stood up from a ruin and sneezed. He said to himself, which bastard is scolding me? Yi Fan slowly came to the mysterious moon cave. There were many ravines here, streams flowed for a long time, ancient trees covered the sun, and immortal vines formed a bridge between the cliffs, forming a path. Fat Daoist, stop. Who are you and what are you doing here? A young disciple at the mountain gate asked. Boundless celestial being, I have long heard of the great name of the mysterious moon cave. I came here to discuss Dao with your hierarch. Yi Fan flicked his horse tail whisk and chanted a Daoist name. He looked a bit like a master. When the disciple guarding the mountain gate heard this, he was really stunned. This Daoist wanted to discuss Dao with the hierarch. He must not be an ordinary person. They did not dare to offend him and quickly reported inside. Yi Fan had cultivated the heaven and earth changing technique to a certain realm. If there was anything he was worried about, it would be his temperament and charm. He always felt that it was not perfect enough. It was because of this that he was not in a hurry to go to the Jasper Lake. Not long after, an elder of the mysterious moon cave came out to welcome him and said, which Daoist has come to visit the mysterious moon cave? This humble Daoist is Duanda, Daoist name Boundless. I am a wandering cultivator without roots. Boundless? How bold! The elder of the mysterious moon cave cursed and thought, what kind of lousy Daoist name is this? Why does it sound so unscrupulous? I wonder what Daoist has to say. The elder asked again. I have long heard of the marvels of the mysterious moon secret technique. I wish to discuss it with the experts here. At this point, Yi Fan chanted a Daoist name. Daoist, please come in. The elder of the mysterious moon cave was really intimidated. He politely invited him into the mountain gate and explained, the hierarch has important matters to attend to and is unable to leave. He asked me to properly entertain Daoist. The elder led Yi Fan into the depths of the mysterious moon cave. There were many cliffs and vines crawled all over them. There were many ancient caves, giving off a different feeling. Yi Fan was a little surprised. He felt that this place was very unusual. He couldn't describe the feeling, but it didn't feel like a normal place. Between a stone mountain and a clear spring, there were also towering ancient trees. Yi Fan was invited into a pavilion and sat across from the elder. A boy served fragrant tea. After talking for a while, Yi Fan realized that he couldn't even see the hierarch, let alone the old hierarch. There was no way to catch him off guard and kill him. This humble Daoist has a pure heart and pursues the great Tao. I saw that this mountain is extraordinary and contains spiritual beauty, so I came to take a look. Is your hierarch really unable to split himself? Oh, I wonder what Daoist saw. The elder asked with a smile. I observed this place. I could vaguely sense dragon energy swirling around the ancient cave. It seems like a sage had lived here before. Yi Fan was full of nonsense. Who knew that the elder suddenly stood up and said, You. Daoist is indeed extraordinary. Did you really think I was praising you? Yi Fan inwardly curled his lips, but when he focused his mind and released a powerful divine sense, he was dazed. His words came true, he wasn't wrong. 
His divine will took form and swept past the ancient cave, the cliff, the immortal vines, and the ancient trees. He really did see something extraordinary. In this area, there were many stone inscriptions on Duomo Cliff and many historical sites. What shocked him the most was that there really was a faint mist swirling around. Normal people couldn't see it at all. Only those with extraordinary divine will could feel it. It was shaped like a dragon. Which sage lived here before? Yi Fan asked in shock. There is no name, only an ancient cave with a few words carved on it. Unfortunately, there was no great Tao passed down. Yi Fan didn't say anything and concentrated his divine will to carefully observe. This place was hazy, and the more he looked, the more extraordinary it was. His divine will took form and was released. Even though he tried to conceal it, this elder still felt a bit of pressure. Daoist, this way please. The mysterious moon cave elder led the way, bringing Yi Fan to a secluded area. Not a blade of grass grew here, and rocky cliffs stood in great numbers. It was extremely desolate, and there wasn't anything at all. However, it was precisely this type of withered land that gave people the feeling of endless years. This elder couldn't feel anything, but Yi Fan keenly captured a trace of an extraordinary charm. Wu Shi was endless, and it made one feel doubt. In the past, a few great sects passed by and sensed that a sage once lived here. They came to investigate, but they didn't find anything. This place isn't some secret place, so I wonder what Daoist saw. The mysterious moon cave elder explained. Mysterious moon established a sect here, did you discover anything special? Yi Fan asked. He felt that this place was definitely not ordinary. I didn't find anything. In fact, the supreme elder of the Jade Pool passed by and stayed here for many years, but he didn't find anything. He thought that there was indeed an ancient sage living here, but he didn't pass down any techniques. Yi Fan's heart immediately went cold. Even the people from the Holy Land couldn't find anything. This proved that there was no great Tao left here. In front of him, there was a broken stone mountain, and there was an ancient cave there. Time was like water, and the void was like a sound. It was as if it was flowing out from there. Is the Tao boundless and ignorant, is the heart unrestrained and unrestrained, and is there nothing wrong with things? Beside the ancient cave, on the cliff, there were only these three sentences. The writing was almost obliterated, and it was unknown just how long it had been here. Yi Fan's heart trembled. He knew that he had come to the Holy Land, to the Divine Land. This place was too important to him. He didn't discover any secret techniques, and he didn't sense any great doubt either. Everything was because of these words. These three lines were too familiar. He could never forget that this was the handwriting of the great Emperor Wu Shi. He had seen it in the Purple Mountain. The stone book was more than 10 meters long, and on it were clearly engraved three big words, Wu Shi Scripture. The handwriting was exactly the same as these. No wonder this place was extraordinary. There was a mysterious aura circulating. It turned out that a great emperor had lived here. Hundreds of thousands of years had passed, but the traces he left behind were still not extinguished. There was a faint immortal fog, which made people feel the supreme power of the great emperor of ancient times. This place must be taken down. Yi Fan secretly decided that this place was very important to him. The mysterious moon cave was the same as the Qingxia sect. They both supported roving bandits and plundered the surroundings. He wouldn't feel guilty. Taking down such a sect was equivalent to getting rid of a pest for the people. This poor Daoist actually came here for another matter. I was ordered by my master to come and discuss with your honorable headmaster. Yi Fan didn't stay in the ancient cave for long. After returning to the pavilion, he said these words. Your master is. The mysterious moon cave's elder was shocked. My master is staying in Qingxia sect. He hopes to live in harmony with the mysterious moon cave. Yi Fan said this and concentrated on engraving the word harmony on the stone table. Then, he got up and bid farewell. Like a falling leaf, he disappeared outside the mountain in the blink of an eye. He couldn't even see the mysterious moon sex leader, not to mention killing the old sect leader. Right now, he could only stall for time so that they wouldn't dare to act rashly. He decided to go into closed-door cultivation after returning and refine that half-yuan. He needed time to advance to the second level of Dao Palace. About seven minutes later, the mysterious moon cave's leader arrived at the pavilion. After seeing the word harmony, he frowned and said, This Taoist is not to be underestimated. I am not his match, but he actually has a master. This, unless the supreme sect leader comes out of closed-door cultivation. In the mysterious moon cave's trip, Yi Fan's gains were great. Great Emperor Wu Shi's ruins were very important to him. At the end of the immortal path, who is the peak? Seeing Wu Shi's path becomes empty. Thinking of this, Yi Fan couldn't stay calm. Chapter 212 The Emperor Jade in Yi Fan's hand was a little warm. He carefully put it away and looked back at Mystic Moon Cavern before disappearing into the horizon. He returned to Qingxia and found that he couldn't go into seclusion even if he wanted to. The Fire Sect, Sunset Gate, and Seven Star Pavilion couldn't hold back and seemed ready to attack at any time. He had just taken down Qingxia and these sects wanted to pick the fruits of his labor, robbing him midway. This made him feel quite displeased. The Fire Sect has come to visit, a Qingxia disciple transmitted. Fight them out. 
Yi Fan didn't wait for the three elders to say anything and directly ordered. It's the eldest disciple of the fire sect. Do we, do we fight them out? The disciples looked at the three Qingxia elders, troubled. What's so great about the eldest disciple of the fire sect? If we chase them out, we won't see them. Yi Fan waved his hand. That, isn't very good. The three Qingxia elders got up and patiently explained, the fire sect is very strong, no weaker than Mystic Moon Cavern. Don't tell me they also have an old monster like the highest sect leader. Yi Fan looked at the three. One of the elders smiled bitterly and said, in fact, they have two old monsters. They were already at the third level of the Holy Xi Palace eight years ago. And it's not just one. Two of them jumped out at once. Yi Fan was speechless. He had just stabilized Mystic Moon Cavern and now the fire sect had come. The eldest disciple of the fire sect, Du Chengkuan, requests an audience. A leisurely voice came from the mountain gate and reached the main peak of Qingxia. They really think we are weak. They dare to stand outside the mountain gate and disturb the peace of Qingxia. The three elders were angry. For a sect, this was a very rude action. First it was Li Yuran, and then it was Du Chengkuan. Such a transmission was really looking down on Qingxia. They have already seen the truth and are no longer afraid. Yi Fan sneered and then revealed a look of surprise. The sects around you are all so ambitious. With a powerhouse at the third level of the Holy Xi Palace holding down the fort, I really don't know how you survived. Qingxia also has such a powerhouse. What? Yi Fan was shocked. A few months ago, he went berserk and passed away. An elder smiled helplessly. So in this way, if I came a step earlier, then I might have perished? Yi Fan rubbed his chin as he'd slightly underestimated Qingxia. The eldest disciple of the Li Fire sect sect leader, Du Chengkuan, requests an audience. The leisurely voice rang out again, this time, it was clearly nearer. Let him in. Yi Fan sneered. He then stood up and said, I'm going to call a friend. A moment later, he appeared in the guise of the heartless Taoist Duanda. The three elders of the Green Dawn sect looked at each other in dismay. They opened their mouths as if they wanted to say something, but no words came out. Not long after, the eldest disciple of the Li Fire sect arrived at the foot of the Green Cloud main peak. He didn't ascend the stairs but flew straight up. This was also a form of contempt. If the sect was strong enough, the mountain bearers wouldn't dare to casually fly within the sect. When he arrived at the main peak, Du Chengkuan didn't give the courtesy of a junior. He clasped his hands in a very perfunctory manner and said, Greetings, seniors. My master has asked me to deliver a letter to your sect leader. The sect leader is in seclusion. You can leave the letter and we will deliver it, the elder of the Green Dawn sect said in a low voice. That won't do. This is a matter of great importance. My master has repeatedly told me that I must personally deliver it to the sect leader. Du Chengkuan shook his head. Isn't it the same if we deliver it? This is the Green Dawn sect and the sect leader is in seclusion. Do you think he would come out just for you? An elder of the Green Dawn sect said with a sullen face. He felt very unhappy. Du Chengkuan's face revealed a trace of arrogance. He said, this is the sect leader's letter. Naturally, the sect leader has to personally receive it. No one else can. What nonsense are you spouting? Yi Fan sneered. He stretched out a large hand that turned into a millstone and slammed it down. Bang! This was a very heavy blow. With one slap, Du Chengkuan's entire body was slammed to the ground. Many of the bones in his body were broken. Who are you? How dare you attack me? You should know that I am here on behalf of the Li Fire sect. Are you trying to start a war between two sects? Du Chengkuan's mouth was bleeding. He climbed up with difficulty. His arrogance was somewhat restrained, but he still seemed very confident. I am Duanda. Yi Fan reported his name. Where are you from? Why did you attack me for no reason? Du Chengkuan stood up and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. He raised his eyebrows. He was the eldest disciple of the Li Fire sect. He was proud and arrogant. He had never been humiliated like this before. Go back and tell your sect leader that my master is staying in the Green Dawn sect. I don't want small fries to come and annoy me. If you haven't cultivated to the third secret realm, for extremities, don't come and die. Yi Fan swung his palm again. The millstone-sized palm covered Du Chengkuan again and slammed him down the main peak of the Green Dawn sect. He used the nine secret offensive sacred technique and left a very special injury on Du Chengkuan's body. If Du Chengkuan were to investigate, he would definitely be shocked. Daoist Duan, you. The elder of the Azure Mist sect was truly speechless. This person was even more fearless than the young devil king. He had even sent the eldest disciple of the mythical fire sect flying. Don't worry. The more you lower your voice, the more they will attack. Yi Fan sneered. I am sure that after seeing Du Chengkuan's injury, they will not dare to attack. Reporting to the elders. The disciples of the Seven Stars Pavilion and the Sunset Sect are asking for an audience. Let them in. Yi Fan waved his hand. Master, you can't be thinking of. The three elders of the Green Dawn Sect asked in a low voice. Sure enough, it was just as they expected. Yi Fan called those two over and directly gave them a round of slaps, beating them until they wailed like ghosts and howled like gods. 
He slapped them until their bones were broken and their tendons snapped, and then he chased them out of the green mist. This. The disciples of the Green Dawn sect looked at each other. Which Taoist temple did this master come from? Wasn't he too fierce? If I don't beat them up, I won't be able to vent my anger. Do they really think they are the Holy Son? Running to me and telling me what to do. It is good enough that I left them alive. Master, you are too, direct. This will cause a big mess. The three elders were frightened. It was to solve the problem that I beat them up. Yi Fan had no other choice. He could only do this. Otherwise, if he showed weakness, he was sure that the Green Dawn sect would be destroyed immediately. Others pretended to be pigs to eat tigers, but he had no choice but to pretend to be a tiger to eat pigs. He had to show that he was strong enough and bring up a non-existent master to temporarily intimidate the other party. I am going to ask some friends for help. I will be away for half a month. I believe they will not dare to attack during this time. Yi Fan decided to find a place to go into seclusion. Master, if you leave like this. The people of the Green Dawn sect were a little dumbfounded. It's fine. Don't worry. I will go to those three sects and suppress them. On that day, Yi Fan left again. He went to the Mythical Fire sect, the Seven Stars Pavilion, and the Sunset sect. He was very high profile, as if he was the successor of a holy land. Of course, he did not dare to go in. He only strolled around the mountain gate. He did not want to take risks. It would be troublesome if he was blocked by those old monsters. Even so, the three sects were shocked. They felt that the Green Dawn sect might really have a cultivator from the Third Secret Realm. Otherwise, this unscrupulous Taoist would not dare to do this. Before Yi Fan went into seclusion, he went to Flat Rock City. He needed to understand the situation of the Jade Lake Holy Maiden so that he would not miss her. He was surprised to find out that the Jade Lake Holy Maiden went to many cities. It was very likely that she would return to the Jade Lake soon. Why are things happening at the same time? Yi Fan was a little helpless. If he went into seclusion, he might miss this opportunity. After asking around, some people said that this was a rumor. In fact, it was very likely that the Jade Lake Holy Maiden would go to the Origin Ancient Mine. What is she going to do outside the Origin Ancient Mine? Which news is true? Yi Fan could not be sure. Looks like I have to go there myself. He did not want to miss this opportunity no matter what. It was the safest to be invited by the Jade Lake Holy Maiden because he was good at identifying stones. Otherwise, it would be very easy for him to be exposed if he sneaked in. Yi Fan was as fast as lightning. After a few days, he arrived at an ancient city called Kunyan. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden had already reached this place. Kunyan City was located in a barren land. The oasis here was not big, but there were many legends. The locals all believed that there was an ancient deity protecting them. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden had already stopped here for more than half a month. This puzzled people. They did not know what was so attractive about Kunyan City. Now, his followers had reached an extremely shocking level. Many young geniuses followed him, and more and more of them followed him. It had to be said that the Jade Lake Holy Maiden's charm was too great. The Jiang family, Ji family, and Alcade Kingdom all had young disciples following her. There were even princes from the Central Plains. Bulsh asterisk T. I heard that the Central Plains has no holy lands, but there are dynasties that have existed for hundreds of thousands of years. Those who are bestowed the title of princes are all extraordinary people. Why would they come from the Central Plains to the Eastern Barren Northern region for a woman? Yi Fan shook his head. He did not believe it. He was already inside Kunyan City. The cultivator who said this glanced at him and said, Fat Daoist, you are too out of touch with the news. How so? It is absolutely true. Even though the princes did not come from the Central Plains, they are close. They should have appeared in the Northern Region's Holy City, but because of the Jade Lake Holy Maiden, they came here. Yi Fan touched his chin. Did the Jade Lake Holy Maiden really have this kind of charm? How beautiful was she? He could not understand why the Holy Sons of the Great Sages Land and the princes of dynasties that had existed for hundreds of thousands of years followed her. Isn't she just a woman, he mumbled. Fat Taoist, you are a monk. It is hard for you to understand. However, if you see the Jade Lake Holy Maiden's true appearance, you will probably return to secular life. I am not that unbearable. Even if the goddess of the ninth heaven descends, I will only treat her as a normal woman. I will not worship her. This Taoist has a point. Isn't she just a holy maiden? When I am in a good mood, I will take her as my concubine, a bearded young man said. Yi Fan could tell that this bearded man was definitely a bandit. He looked too much like a bandit. He was probably the descendant of a bandit. The people at the side all ran away with a hula sound, leaving only Big Beard and Yi Fan. Daoist, I like your words. How about we find a place to have a drink, the bearded young man invited. Being called Daoist, Yi Fan could only nod. Who asked him to disguise himself as Duanda? The two of them went to a restaurant and ordered some dishes. The bearded man said, let's eat first. I will have friends coming later. Let them order more. The bearded young man was very forthright. He clinked glasses with Yi Fan and drank 18 bowls of strong liquor. Great. He wiped away the alcohol on the corner of his mouth and laughed. 
Are you a Daoist? Why are you not afraid of pork knuckles or roasted lamb? You really are a Daoist who drinks and eats meat. By the way, I have not asked for your name. I am Duanda. My Daoist name is Wuyang, Yi Fan answered. I am indeed fated with you. Not only do I feel like I have seen you before, but even your name sounds familiar. The bearded young man had a leopard's head and round eyes. He was tall and burly. He laughed and said his name, I am Wu Zhongqian. Yi Fan was moved. Wasn't the fifth bandit in the north region called Wu Dao? This great man with a bandit's aura might really be a descendant of that bandit. The fourth bandit was the Green Flood Dragon King, a famous expert of the demon race. The seventh bandit was Tu Tian, who possessed the weapon of the great ancient emperor. Wu Dao was ranked fifth. He was in between the two. His supernatural power was extremely high. His descendants must be super powerful. In fact, Yi Fan already felt that the other party was unfathomable. He had a bold and heroic personality. He was a person worth befriending. As expected, Yi Fan's guess was confirmed after a short while. Tu Fei entered the restaurant. Behind him were a few valiant young men. They had met at the Jade Pool Immortal Stone Square in Flat Rock City. They were all descendants of the great bandits. This was a gathering of small bandits. None of them were easy to deal with. They were not much weaker than the saint children. Hey, who is this Daoist grandpa? How come I have never seen him before? One of them asked. Tu Fei gulped down a mouthful of wine and asked, Brother Zhongtian, who is this Daoist grandpa? Introduce him. Obviously, Wu Zhongtian had a certain prestige among these people. After gulping down a big bowl of wine, he introduced, I just got to know this Daoist grandpa. I feel like I have met him before. It must be fate. His name is Duanda, and his Daoist name is immeasurable. Yeah, the name sounds familiar to me too, Tu Fei muttered. Yi Fan felt strange. How could this wicked Daoist have such a wide circle of friends? Not only was he doing well in the south region, but he could also travel through the void. Could it be that he had connections in the north region? If that was the case, it would be too unusual. It should be known that it was too difficult to travel such a long distance. The space gates were controlled by the Holy Lands. Brother Zhongtian, the more I think about the name Duanda, the more familiar it sounds. I remember you cursed him eight or nine years ago. Next to him, a descendant of a great bandit mumbled. Wu Zhongtian seemed to remember something. He rolled his eyes, gazing at Yi Fan. He said angrily, I was wondering why you looked so familiar. Holy sh asterisk t, turns out it's you. Do we know each other? Yi Fan felt the situation wasn't good. Before he could make the wicked Daoist a scapegoat, he had to make the wicked Daoist a scapegoat first. Although I've never seen you in person, I've seen your portrait. If I burn your bones, I can recognize your ashes. Wu Zhongtian was flustered and exasperated. He shouted and asked his people to surround Yi Fan. He pointed at him, his fingers shivering. Holy sh asterisk t, you bastard Daoist. You have guts. You even dare to rob my great grandfather's grave. My grandfather said that if he caught you, he would imprison you in the absolute beginning ancient mine. The corners of Yi Fan's mouth twitched. This wicked Daoist was a bastard. How could he dare to provoke anyone? He even dared to rob the grave of the fifth great bandit. It was like provoking a thief's ancestor. I say, everyone, this has nothing to do with me. Yi Fan complained. This was a huge scapegoat and he definitely couldn't take it. He cursed Duanda inwardly. He was too lacking in morals. Wu Zhongtian was enraged. He thought they knew each other. He thought it was fate, so he treated this bastard to a feast and a bowl of wine. He didn't think that they had a grudge. He slammed the table. I say, you wicked Daoist, you're too wicked. Even though Zhong Tian's ancestor is an almighty expert, you shouldn't just rob randomly. If this spreads out, how will Grandpa Wu Dao, the fifth great bandit, feel? Tu Fei squinted, adding oil to the fire. At the end of the world, in an unknown historical site, the fat Daoist Duanda sneezed three times. He cursed, who's cursing me? Don't let this Daoist know. Otherwise, I won't let you off. At this moment, Yi Fan was speechless. This wicked Daoist had committed so many sins. Seeing a group of small bandits wanting to skin him alive, he hurried to explain, I'm not Duanda. I have an old debt to settle with him. He had to show his real body. If he delayed any longer, he would be torn apart by these bandits. Genius brother. I say, are you real or fake? In our line of work, when did we have such an all-rounder like you? Chapter 213 You think I won't recognize you if you change your appearance? If I peel off your skin, I will recognize your bones. Wu Zhongtian was tall and sturdy. His beard shivered, making him look like a male lion. Light shot out from his eyes. Two Fei circled around Yi Fan twice, laughing. I also think you look like that evil Taoist. Don't be fooled by your change of appearance. I'm sure it's just a camouflage. Unless you show me the proof. Yi Fan flung his loose Taoist robe and said, Brother Tu, you are purposely making things difficult for me. Others might not be able to recognize me, but you should be able to. The two of us have met before at the all -Kade mine. This man does have some tricks. His appearance changed in just a blink of an eye. 
At first glance, I know he's a habitual criminal. He's prepared to do bad things, screamed a descendant of a great bandit. Tu Fei laughed evilly. It's simple. You take out the dress of the Jade Lake Saintess and show it to us. It's enough to prove it. You. Aren't you mean? You don't have anything to lose. Yao Shi is the one who should be mad. Too bad she's not here. Tu Fei grinned, talking to the bandits around. You guys don't believe me. You think that Yao Shi is an arrogant woman who doesn't belong to this world. Today, I will show you. Really? You mean he's not Duanda? The other bandits didn't believe him. Yi Fan didn't have any bad habits. He took that dress to enrage Yao Shi at the critical moment to save his life. He didn't take it out. His bones cracked as he turned into Tu Tian, the seventh bandit. Tu Fei, don't be naughty. The other descendants gawked and dropped their jaws. Then, they laughed crazily, pounding the table. Hey, we can't do that. Little brother Yi, change back. Tu Fei couldn't sit still anymore. Now, do you believe that I'm not Duanda? Yes. I knew you weren't Duanda, said Tu Fei gloomily. The other young bandits knew that the one in front of them wasn't an evil Taoist. They laughed unceasingly. Wu Zhongtian also sat back down and stared at Yi Fan. You really, burned a grand elder of the Ji clan to death. I was just lucky. In the surroundings, these great bandit descendants were extremely well informed. They had long heard of this, and when they heard this, they all sucked in a breath of cold air. I say, little brother Yi, did you really take away one of Yao Shi's clothes? Another bandit asked. This. How do I say this? I accidentally obtained one. As soon as he said this, the people in the restaurant immediately howled. Their eyes shone with green light, and they were all extremely excited. The other people in the restaurant had long since fled in fright. Everyone had already vaguely guessed that these were the descendants of the thirteen great bandits, so they all fled without a trace. Heavens, Yao Shi is so pure and holy, yet, there's no justice in this world. I say, little brother Yi, you really hurt my heart. Why are you sad? I'm happy. She and that saint's son had chased me and Tu Fei for three thousand miles. Now, we can vent our anger. Some hot-blooded bandits banged the table and howled unceasingly. I say, little brother Yi, sell that dress to me. I'll give you one hundred pounds of source. I'm going to show it. If I don't make that arrogant little girl vomit blood, I won't be able to swallow it. A bandit tried to get close to Yi Fan, giving him a big bowl of wine. I'll give you five hundred pounds of source. I want to sell that dress in the sacred city, said another bandit. Why do you want to sell it in the sacred city? Just sell that bra to that prince from the center territory. We'll take advantage of him. If that's the case, it's hard to vent our anger. We should auction the saintess bra in the northern territory and invite all the young talents. We can even send invitations to some bad elders. This group of small bandits was getting worse and worse. From their attitude, they wanted to beat Yao Shi so badly that she would never be able to rise again. Guys, you guys are too mean. How could you come up with such an idea? Yi Fan was in a daze. These people were really a bunch of bastards. The saintess and son of Yao Guang are too hateful. Not long ago, they teamed up with many strong cultivators to attack us. They almost killed us. Of course, we have to teach them a good lesson. Don't hurt me. Yi Fan knew he couldn't compare to them. These people all had a grandfather called Niu Shur San. Even if they got into trouble, they would have people to support them. If he dared to auction Yao Shi's bra, the Yao Guang sacred land would kill him at all costs. What are you afraid of? You'll be with us in the future. You think you'll be afraid of that little girl? If I'm with you guys, who can give me an ancient scripture to cultivate? Who can provide me with one million pounds of source? Yi Fan murmured. Little brother Yi, you're too greedy. There are only a few ancient scriptures in the Eastern Baron territory. One million pounds of source. Can you ask those sacred grounds if they can afford it? Come, let me introduce them. Wu Zhongtian introduced the people present. This man is called Lu Ko. Wu Zhongtian pointed at a wild-looking young man. He was the grandson of the sixth bandit, Lu Feng. Yi Fan didn't know what to say. This name was too strange. Weren't they roving bandits? They could be compared to Tu Fei. This is Li Heishui. Wu Zhongtian pointed at a dark-skinned young man with a strong body. He was the grandson of the eighth bandit, Li Han. This name was also strange. Heishui, it sounded like a bad black water. Shi Yan didn't know if those bandits had discussed this before. Tu Fei was indignant. I know what you're thinking. We don't have a solution. Those old men sat together and made some jokes. Then, our names were decided. Yi Fan's mouth twitched. It was his bad luck to have such a grandfather. He's called Jiang Huiren. Wu Zhongtian pointed at another young man. He was the eldest grandson of the ninth bandit, Jiang Yi. He came from the remote antiquity family, the Jiang family. Of course, this branch of his had rebelled a long time ago. They had become the famous bandits. That year, they had shocked people so much that their jaws dropped. Yi Fan felt that this name was passable. It was still considered normal. Unexpectedly, people around him laughed. Jiang Huiren was upset. 
He poured himself a big bowl of wine and drank it all. His grandfather is noble and virtuous. He doesn't want to follow the crowd. He decided to give him a meaningful name. Jiang Huiren is a bad guy, right? He's a bad guy, explained Tu Fei. Yi Fan was speechless. How could it be like this? Tu Fei, Lu Ko, Jiang Huiren, Li Heishui. When these four names were linked together, Shi Yan had the urge to laugh out loud. However, he had to hold it in. These names were too artistic. Speaking of this, only Wu Zhongtian's name was acceptable. However, his aura and appearance were the same as the other four. At first glance, Shi Yan knew he wasn't a good person. If he went out for a walk, he could silence the streets instantly. Little brother Yi, do you have any plan? asked Wu Zhongtian. Tu Fei said, why did you come to Kunyan ancient city? This place is remote and poor. Besides the occasional evil spirits, there's nothing special here. I want to know something. Does the Jade Lake Saintess want to return to her sect? asked Yi Fan. Li Heishui howled like a wolf. You're a beast. You've just taken the Yaoguang Saintess bra and now you want to snatch the Jade Lake's fairies. I say, little brother Yi, you should have some conscience. You're too much. Do you want to capture all the Eastern Baron Saintesses? You shouldn't be greedy. You should be satisfied with the Yaoguang Saintess, shouted Lu Ko. Pervert Yi, no matter what, you're one of us. You shouldn't cross the line. Do you want to cut off the future of your brothers? Tu Fei grumbled. Jiang Huiren was calmer. We can't be like Yi Fan. You guys forgot some. In fact, I don't only want to capture the Eastern Baron Saintesses but also the pearls of the remote antiquity families. I also want to capture the princesses of the immortal dynasties that have existed for more than 100,000 years. I want to build a big harem. You're a beast. One hour later, they had eaten and drank to their heart's content. They walked out of the restaurant while talking and laughing. Yi Fan's body cracked, and he turned into the seventh bandit, Tu Tian. Tu Fei was irritated. We're friends. If you take advantage of me again, I'll be angry with you. Yi Fan thought for a while and felt that it was too risky to pretend to be an evil Taoist. This bastard had done many bad things. If he turned into Tu Tian's appearance, he might become a scapegoat for him for no reason. Eventually, his joints cracked, and his body changed. He turned into a Taoist wearing a fluttering feather robe. His face was like jade, and he looked like an immortal. He looked like an otherworldly being. Kunyan ancient city had a long history. The stone slabs on the streets were dented. It was hard to tell how old it was. People in this city believed in the immemorial gods. They thought that there was a god guarding this place. The Jade Lake Saintess had stayed here for half a month. People thought it was related to this place. They walked toward the Jade Lake Immortal Stone Square. These small bandits were not easy to deal with. Wherever they went, it would not be peaceful. Yi Fan knew that these people were plotting something. It was very likely that they would poke a huge hole in the ground. However, he was not worried. He was not afraid of being marked down when he walked out in his current appearance. The Jade Lake Saintess is about to leave the city, Wu Zhongtian said. I really want to kill the Alcade Saint as soon as possible. Li Heishui was furious. That guy is too strong. Once he uses the sacred light technique, he is almost invincible among his peers. Even the divine body might not be able to suppress him. We can only make him vomit blood first. If we want to kill him, we have to let the old guys do it. Even though the Jasper Lake Immortal Stone Square was within the city, it was elegant and tranquil. Ancient trees, fallen leaves fluttered in the wind, flowing water gurgled, a small bridge lay horizontally, and stones were arranged in picturesque disorder. Since it was the last few days, the Jade Lake Saintess was about to leave. Thus, there were many people in the Immortal Stone Square. However, no one was shouting. They were all discussing in a low voice. The Alcade Saint is going with the Jade Lake Saintess. It seems like they are going to the absolute beginning ancient mine. Two Fei's eyes sparkled. Little brother Yi, I'm begging you. Sell me that bra. I really want to sell it here, said Li Heishui through his gritted teeth. Yao Shi's beautiful black hair fluttered in the wind. Her face was so beautiful that it could suffocate people. She was as bright as the moon. Standing in front of them, she looked like a misty cloud. Her long dress dragged on the ground, outlining her graceful body. The Alcade Saint's son was also in front of them. He was like a proud son with a gold halo moving around his body. Each of his moves attracted people's attention. He was like the son of God. Li Heishui and Tu Fei had to suffer a lot under their hands. They were almost killed. They had to escape from death's door. The Alcade Saint's son is really intimidating. When he uses the sacred light technique, no technique can harm him. He's invincible, indeed. Tu Fei sighed. Even the strongest attacking technique can't work on him. Didn't we invite Zhong Tian Ji? We can subdue him, said Li Heishui coldly. I'm afraid I'm not his equal opponent. We're not here to kill him today. We're here to release the mist. Don't act rashly, warned Wu Zhongtian in a low voice. Don't worry. We won't look for trouble. Where did little brother Yi go? How come he disappeared? asked Jiang Huiren. Beast! Beast! That kid is so young but he's a beast. Guys, look! 
He's aiming at the princess of the Xia dynasty in Central Plains. I. I didn't wrong him. He's going there, screamed Lu Ko. He shouldn't cause any trouble. The Xia dynasty has been passed down for hundreds of thousands of years. It's unimaginably deep. A powerful prince is there too, muttered Li Heishui. In front of them was a young man. He was protected in the center like a moon surrounded by stars. The golden armor on his body radiated dazzling light. It was the prince of the Xia dynasty. He was handsome and heroic. Dragon Chi twirled around him. His cultivation base was unfathomable. Yi Fan wasn't aiming at him. He was aiming at a girl next to him. She was dressed in white and looked pure. She had a special charm. Yi Fan wasn't moved. He was excited. Although this girl was pure and beautiful, the real reason he was attracted to her was that she was a nun. Of course, he wasn't interested in her. It was her identity that made him excited. He couldn't calm down. She was a follower of Buddhism. He wanted to ask her if Buddha was in this world. Chapter 214 Beast, beast! This kid didn't even let go of a nun. Li Heishui howled. That's a little nun. She's only 15 or 16 years old. What a beast! Tu Fei also widened his eyes. You can't be like Yi Fan. He's so young, but he dares to touch a nun. We're ashamed. Lu Ko watched without blinking. This kid doesn't care about meat or vegetables. That's the princess of the Xia dynasty. Jiang Huiren was speechless. Wu Zhongtian was a little worried. He walked forward, afraid that Yi Fan would cause a disaster. An immortal dynasty like that was even more terrifying than a holy land. That's the princess of the Xia dynasty. She was born with the Buddha flower and became a Buddhist. Though she's a nun, she's still the emperor's favorite daughter. This guy shouldn't mess around. The five of them walked forward, keeping a close eye on the area ahead. How could Yi Fan not be surprised? He had heard that there was Buddhism in the West Desert, and there were even monks in the Central Plains. He had wanted to find out. The Buddha came from the other side of the universe. He was a figure from 2,500 years ago. They came from the same place. He wanted to know if this Buddha was the one in the Tempest Temple and if he came from Earth. If he was, he would have one more hope. He wanted to know everything. If the Buddha was a sage who could cross the universe, then he would have hoped to return to his hometown. Even though he could fly in the sky and dig underground in this world, and he had great power, he would rather be a mortal and enjoy the warmth of his home than live like this. Sakyamuni, a figure from 2000 years ago, had founded Buddhism. It was extremely prosperous and had a great influence on the later generations. In the past, Yi Fan only thought that he was an ancient person with great wisdom. He had never thought of him as a god. He thought that the so-called Buddha was just a state of mind, not a manifestation of divine power. He did not believe that anyone could use supernatural powers. However, when the Nine Dragons pulled the coffin on Mount Tai and brought him to a mysterious world, everything he knew was overturned. He had to think of the wise ancient person as a god, a cultivator with endless power. This was a change in his thinking. He could not forget the ruins of the Tempest Temple on the ancient Firefly Flame. He really wanted to know where the Buddha had gone. There was Buddhism in this world, so it was very likely that the other party had come here. 2500 years wasn't a long time for this world, where there were living people. But for the other side of the starry sky, it seemed extremely long. It could be traced back to the pre-Qin period. It was during that era that the Buddha attained enlightenment, but it was unknown what his true level of cultivation was. Yi Fan didn't know whether he came to this world through the star door left by the ancients, or whether he crossed the starry sky on his own. Yi Fan felt as if he was in a dream. On the other side of the starry sky, a character from 2500 years ago should have already returned to dust, but he might be able to converse with him in the future. Who is it? Stop. In front of them, the princes and princesses of the great Xia dynasty were surrounded by armored soldiers. All of them wore iron robes and were surrounded by divine splendor. Their battle prowess surged. These people were guarding the area strictly, and when they saw Yi Fan charging over, they naturally stopped him. I want to see that little nun. Yi Fan was a little excited, so his words were a little inappropriate. How dare you, do you want to offend the princess? The armored soldiers in iron robes blocked his way. Wrong, I mean, I want to see that little master, who is also your honorable princess. Yi Fan stopped and looked forward. The prince of the great Xia dynasty of the middle state had black hair like a waterfall, eyes like the stars, and an outstanding temperament. He was like the son of the god of heaven, extremely heroic. He wore a divine iron robe, and every movement he made was filled with the aura of an emperor that gathered into the shape of a dragon. He looked over, his dark eyes as deep as the ocean, and asked lightly, what do you want? Yi Fan said, I see that your highness has an imposing aura and dragon aura around you, showing the dignity of an emperor. I couldn't help but come forward and want to see the true face of a dragon. The prince of the great Xia dynasty smiled, you sure know how to talk. Come forward and let me show you. This brat is really good at flattering people. He's obviously thinking about his sister. Li Heishui mumbled. 
The competition between the princes of the great Xia dynasty of the central state is fierce. Of course, he likes to hear such words, Lu Ko muttered. This brat is really. His eyes are on the nun's sister, but he talks about the emperor with dragon aura. He's not a good person. Tu Fei pouted. The armored soldier let Yi Fan pass. He came forward and said to the great Xia dynasty's prince, I see your highness. The celestial court is like the sun, and the earth pavilion is like the moon. You have a purple aura that reaches the sky, and you have the dragon aura in your eyes. You will ascend to the throne one day and become the emperor. Little Daoist, why are you here? Of course, the great Xia dynasty's prince wouldn't be moved by his words. At this moment, Yi Fan was studying the princess of the great Xia dynasty. She was really a little nun, around 15 or 16 years old. Her clothes were white like snow, and her black hair was long gone. She wore a white hat on her head. She was not old, but she was tall and slender. She had a natural grace, but she still looked a little immature and charming. This little nun was really pure and innocent. She was curiously looking at him with her big black eyes, which were full of spirit. Although she didn't have beautiful hair, her charm couldn't be reduced. Her eyes were bright and kind, and she looked pure and charming. She was a natural beauty, like a poem or a painting. Little master, you have the spirit inside you. You are born with a divine appearance. You have the root of wisdom. Your body is like a Buddha flower, and your heart is exquisite. You are the reincarnation of the Bodhisattva, Yi Fan said seriously. The little nun's big black eyes moved, sneaking glances at him. She didn't say anything, which made her look cute and delicate. Mother asterisk Kerr. The more I look at this kid, the more I think he is a bootlicker. He is really good at tricking people. Even Wu Zhongtian, who was as calm as a lion, couldn't help but say that. This kid even dares to take off the Yaguang Saintess bra. He's not a good guy. Li Heishui sighed and said, actually, I also want to go there and say something. Please don't let this little nun be tricked by this animal. On the other side, the Prince of Xia Kingdom's face darkened. He felt that this little Daoist was here for his sister. As an elder brother, it was hard for him to be happy. Yi Fan naturally noticed his expression. He recited a Daoist name and turned to face him. He said, Your Highness, your power has been formed. You have the power of a dragon. What you lack now is the cultivation of the royal aura. The Prince of Xia Kingdom said indifferently, Do you have any suggestions? He wanted to chase this Daoist away. He didn't want him to get close to his sister. When Yi Fan saw someone from Buddhism, he wouldn't leave no matter what. He couldn't calm down and was desperate to know if Sakyamuni was in this world. He said, I want to give your highness a scroll of the heavenly book. In the future, you will be able to rule over Xia Kingdom. You are a Taoist. What do you know about the power of the world? What do you know about the path of the royal aura? The guard leader saw that the prince was unhappy and wanted to chase Yi Fan away. How would I not know? There are four great powers in the universe, and the royal aura is one of them. Do you understand? Yi Fan asked. You. The guard leader was slightly angry. What are the four great powers? asked the Xia Kingdom's prince. The Tao is big, the sky is big, the earth is big, and the royal aura is big, Yi Fan said calmly. However, his eyes were on the little nun. The Xia Kingdom's prince had just learned something. Looking at Shi Yan's face, he felt a little annoyed. He lowered his voice and asked, are the four great powers related? The emperor is a human. Humans follow earth, earth follows heaven, heaven follows Tao, and Tao follows nature. I have a scroll of the heavenly book of the imperial path. It imitates everything from earth, and imitates everything from heaven. It can nurture the royal aura. You can use it as a reference. Beast, beast. To achieve your goal, you are so eloquent. You will do anything, muttered Li Heishui who wasn't far from them. You're good at fooling people. Tu Fei pouted his lips. If you think about it carefully, it makes sense, Wu Zhongtian contemplated. I think you're here for the princess, the guard leader said coldly. You're wrong. I'm here for her highness. However, at this point, he slightly paused and said, I also have a few questions to ask little master. What do you want to ask? asked the Xia Kingdom's prince faintly. I want to ask the young master if Rulai is still in this world. Yi Fan gazed at the little nun, his face solemn. The beautiful little nun was a little flustered. She hid behind her brother, cocking her head and blinking her big eyes at him. As soon as he heard the word Rulai, the Xia Kingdom's prince changed his visage. He lowered his voice, I don't know what you're talking about. The word Rulai seemed to have a strange demonic power. Not only the Xia Kingdom's prince discolored, but also Ya Guang Saint Sun, who wasn't far from them, walked toward them. He was as dazzling as the scorching sun. Gold light moved on his body, making him look like an immortal king descending to this world. Although he was standing in the sea of people, people could see that he was different from the others. Yi Fan could feel the change of their countenances. He was surprised. Did the word Rulai have some magical power? Yao Shi also walked over. She didn't know what Rulai meant, but she felt that something was wrong. She was like the rising sun, like the bright moon shining down, walking gracefully. At the same time, Yi Fan felt another gaze. It came from a pavilion in Jade Pool Celestial Stone Square. 
Their saintess was standing by the window, shrouded in mist. She was looking over here. Seeing the truth, all laws vanish. In an instant, all laws are the same. Once the scenery can't be hidden, it will be revealed naked. Yi Fan recited a Buddhist gatha. He looked at the beautiful little nun and said, May I ask if Sakyamuni is still here? The little nun's clothes were whiter than snow. She was as ethereal as a fairy. She opened her mouth and wanted to say something, but she closed it in the end. The Xia Kingdom's prince was like a mountain at this moment. He released a dragon-shaped chi pillar, and his divine clothes shone brilliantly. He was like a great emperor descending to the world. He stared coldly at Yi Fan and said, I only know about Buddhism. I've never heard of this name. Don't ask us. Was Sakyamuni a taboo? Yi Fan had this illusion. I suddenly realized that the source of the wonderful heart is like a cracked shell. There are six pleasures in the dream, but after realizing it, there is no saint. Yi Fan used a Buddhist gatha to test the little nun. In the end, he asked in a deep voice, where is Buddha? There is Mount Meru in the West Desert. If you want to know, you can go find it. The Xia Kingdom's prince said coldly. When Yi Fan heard the words of Mount Meru, he was shocked. Was it really Sakyamuni's place of enlightenment? I want to hear you talk about Wulai and Sakyamuni in detail. Yao Guang Saint said to Yi Fan. His smile was bright like the spring breeze and the morning glow. Yi Fan was shocked. He felt that there was something wrong with the Buddhism in this world. Otherwise, why would the Xia Kingdom's prince and Yao Guang Saint be like this? Chapter 215 Great Xia was an immortal ancient dynasty that had flourished for hundreds of thousands of years. Great mountains collapsed, rivers dried up, and seas became mulberry fields. As time passed, everything changed. However, Great Xia was as prosperous as ever. Ever since the emperor of the primordial era created this immortal dynasty, it had never fallen. It recorded many changes in history and bore many secrets. No one could say for sure. Yi Fan thought of many things. What happened 2000 years ago? Did Shakyamuni come to this world? What happened between him and the natives? Why did the Great Xia Prince's expression change? If there was a hidden story, one couldn't help but wonder. Great Xia definitely knew all of this. It was an immortal dynasty and should have records of all the major events that happened in this world. Saint Child Yaguang smiled warmly. His teeth were sparkling and even his hair was emitting a golden light. He was very easygoing as he looked forward. Boundless celestial being. Yi Fan chanted and shook his head. I am a wandering cultivator that travels the world. I heard this by chance and was puzzled. That is why I asked. He didn't disguise himself as Duanda. At this moment, his figure was tall and his robes fluttered in the wind. His appearance was out of this world. Even though he was young, he had a bit of an immortal charm. You are too humble. Can you dispel my doubts? Where did Shakyamuni come from? What kind of existence is he? How much do you know about him? Saint Child Yaguan smiled like a spring breeze. Shakyamuni came from the other side of the starry sky. How could Yi Fan say that? He said, I only know the name Rulai and don't know anything about his life. Saint Child, why don't you dispel my doubts? What is the origin of this Shakyamuni? Shakyamuni. Specks of light appeared in Saint Child Yaguang's eyes. It was clear that these two words had a mysterious power that would cause him to have a different expression every time. One had to know that people like him and the great Xia Prince wouldn't change their expressions even if Mount Tai collapsed in front of them. However, the name Rulai made them feel uneasy. I was asking you, but you are asking me in return. You really are watertight. Saint Child Yaguang smiled warmly and then shook his head. I've only heard rumors and don't know the details. I hope that your highness will not be stingy in teaching me, boundless celestial being. Yi Fan's sleeves fluttered in the wind. This kid really thinks he's a Daoist priest. But he's quite a fraud, Lu Ko muttered to himself. It's all the nun's fault. Li Heishui concluded. Heavy taste. Jiang Huiren was even more concise. The Alcade Saint Child's eyes were deep, as if he could see through the sky of history and look into the eternal unknown. He said, this name has a demonic nature. More than 2000 years ago, there seemed to be a sudden break in time and space. Everything about it no longer exists. I only know that it once existed. Yi Fan's smile was like the rosy dawn. He nodded to express his understanding, but his mind was filled with countless thoughts. His thoughts were extremely scattered. What did Tathagata do over 2000 years ago? What kind of traces he left in this world? Were they still there now? All of this was a mystery, full of unknowns, making one want to get to the bottom of it. He urgently wanted to understand everything. This was too important to him. The other side of the starry sky, the starry door left by the ancients, and across endless galaxies, where was the destination of this journey? He had too many questions. Was the coffin pulled by the nine dragons a coincidence, or was he repeating the path of the predecessors? Did Buddha also accidentally come to the other side of the starry sky? Tathagata most likely came to this world, but I don't know what terrible changes happened, Yi Fan muttered to himself. He turned to look at the Xia Prince and realized that he was incomparably cold. Why was he like this? There must be a secret. Sakyamuni made him avoid mentioning it. 
Yao Guang Saint Sun revealed a peaceful smile and turned to face the Prince of Great Xia. Your Highness, the Dragon Qi is soaring, and as the son of Great Xia, you should have some understanding of Rulai. I wonder what exactly happened 2000 years ago. Why did everything related to this person disappear into thin air? It's like he never appeared. I also don't know. There are saints in the world of Buddhism. If you want to know, you can ask them yourself. The Xia Prince's expression was indifferent. At the side, Yao Shi was thinking. She had never heard of the word Tathagata. Obviously, the saint child knew more than her. After all, he was the future master of Alcade. This caused her heart to feel a bit disturbed. Yi Fan completely calmed down. It was harder to get information from the saint child than to climb to the heavens. He obviously wouldn't tell him the secret. As for the Xia Prince, he couldn't count on him. He hadn't even asked and already had an expression of a giant thousands of miles away. He felt that he had to go to the western desert in the future and go to the legendary Mount Meru to understand the truth. Of course, before that, he could think of a way to understand a bit more from the pure little nun. Yi Fan turned his head and looked. It was really just a little nun. Her clothes were as white as snow, and her eyes were pure. Her big black eyes darted here and there. She was very timid. When he turned his head to look, she was hiding behind the Xia Prince like a frightened rabbit. The Xia Prince frowned. He loved his sister very much. As her brother, he didn't want to see a man like Yi Fan. He always felt that he was trying to seduce his sister. Boundless celestial being, I am a monk. I sweep the floor without harming the lives of ants. I cherish moths and cover the lantern with gauze. I don't have any mortal thoughts. Yi Fan looked serious, but there was a hidden meaning behind it. The Xia Prince's face was expressionless, but he was very annoyed. The little nun in white covered her mouth and giggled. She glanced at him with her big black eyes. He's addicted to being a Daoist. I think he can compete with that wicked Daoist. Maybe he's another heartless Daoist. Lu Ko equated him with Duan Dequai. Have you heard of Sakyamuni? Tu Fei asked in a low voice. Never heard of it. Those baldies are too mysterious. If it wasn't for the people from the Central Plains coming to the Saint City and mentioning it, I wouldn't even know of such a sect. Li Heishui shook his head. I've heard of this sect, but I don't know much about it. Wu Zhongtian frowned. My grandpa talked about it. It seems that this sect is very powerful. There are some ancient Buddhas in the sect that are unfathomable. That's all I know. I don't know anything else. Jiang Huiren shook his head. Yi Fan's heart was calm. He needed to find out more about Sakyamuni. His thoughts returned to the present. He took light steps and the Dao wind blew. He walked one round. He found that Yao Shi didn't feel anything. She didn't know him at all. So, my great art of changing heaven and earth has been cultivated to a certain level. She can't feel my breath. Yi Fan's steps were light, and he looked like an immortal. He floated to Yao Shi and said, Goddess, you are like a lotus flower coming out of the water. You are so beautiful. It's obvious that you have a celestial bone and a natural Taoist body. You are truly a weirdo in our Taoist sect. Yao Guang Saint has heard him and smiled faintly. She said, You are flattering me. Is there anything I can help you with? No, I am telling the truth. Yi Fan was very serious. He said, I can feel the breath of an ancient emperor on you. Your cultivation hasn't reached its peak yet, but you have such dense celestial energy. You are definitely not immortal. Yao Guang Saintis was surprised. There was a moon palace in between her brows. It was an ancient secret treasure. Its level was hard to determine, and almost no one knew about it. Could this Daoist have felt it? She said calmly, you sure know how to joke. I wonder which sect you are from. I am not from any sect, and I am just a wild crane. I came out this time to find an apprentice nephew, Yi Fan recited. I wonder who your apprentice nephew is. I might have heard of him. Yao Shi didn't believe Yi Fan and thought he was lying. Actually, I was going to ask you to find out more about my unruly apprentice nephew. After all, Yao Guang is a sacred ground of the East Baron territory. Yi Fan wanted to know more about the unscrupulous Daoist from these sacred grounds heirs, so he said, his name is Duanda, and his Daoist name is Wuliang. The unscrupulous Daoist is your apprentice nephew? Yao Shi looked surprised. His behavior is improper, and he is called unscrupulous by others. May I ask how old you are, Daoist? Yao Shi asked. I have been cultivating for more than 300 years. Now that I think about it, I have wasted 318 years. Pfft. Not far from them, Li Heishui spat out some wine, and the broken gourd in his hand almost fell to the ground. He cursed, this brat is a beast. I have seen shameless people, but I have never seen someone as shameless as him. Mother of Asterisk Kerr, he took her bra, and now he is pretending to be a Daoist master, talking about Taoism. Tu Fei cursed him for giving himself away. Do you think the Yao Guang Saintess will spit out blood if she knows that brat's real identity? Should we roar at her? Jiang Huiren smiled. Wu Zhongtian frowned and said, don't mess around. What is sanctimonious and what is a beast in human clothing? This is a living example. Lu Ko was indignant and muttered, what a beast. 
Not far from them, the Yaoguang Saint Sun and the Xia Kingdom's prince were walking shoulder to shoulder toward the nine strange stones in the celestial stone square. The Yaoguang Saint Sun was glowing. His fluttering hair had turned gold as if he was made of pure gold. He looked like the god of the sun descending to the mortal world, as splendid as the sun. Wu Zhongtian frowned and said, I feel like he's a heaven and earth furnace. His blood qi is as vigorous as the rolling sea. I'm afraid that the Yaoguang Saint Sun is not the strongest warrior of his generation. Li Heishui and the others discolored. They had invited Wu Zhongtian to help the Yaoguang Saint Sun. They didn't want him to give such an evaluation. Two Fei sighed. When he uses the sacred light technique, it's unrivaled. His light can illuminate the entire universe. Everything is purified. It's the real invincible technique. No attacking technique can break it. Li Heishui looked worried. His sacred light is getting stronger. It's as scorching as the sun. I think even the god body can't break it. In this world, I think there's only one attacking technique that can subdue him. Unfortunately, it has been lost forever. You mean the battle saint technique of King God Jiang Taishu, the one with the highest attacking power in 5000 years? Tu Fei frowned. Yes. Otherwise, the god body can't tear that kind of sacred light. Most likely, it can only be a draw. At his age, he has cultivated the supreme technique to this level. It's really terrifying, answered Li Heishui. Jiang Huiren kept silent. Jiang Taishu was his ancestor. Unfortunately, the number one attacking technique had been lost. Perhaps, there's another great attacking technique that can break this sacred light, said Wu Zhongtian deliberately. Is there anything else? The others were bewildered. You guys are confined to the Eastern Baron territory. You've forgotten about the Central Plains. Wu Zhongtian glanced at the Prince of the Great Xia who was walking beside the Yaoguang Saint and said, The Imperial Draconic Qi of the Great Xia is extremely domineering. It is said to be indestructible and unbreakable. I think it should be able to deal with the Yaoguang Saint. The Xia Prince's iron clothes sparkled dazzlingly. Dragon Qi twirled around him. People could vaguely see nine real dragons coiling around his body. The dragon's heads were held high on his shoulders. He looked so majestic. He looked like a heavenly emperor descending to the mortal world. I don't know which one is stronger, the Imperial Dragon Qi or King God John Saint Technique. The people of the Central Plains have always been proud. However, the two have never fought face to face. Tu Fei felt regretful. It's the greatest regret of all time. I can't see the peak battle of the two great attacking techniques anymore. At this moment, the Yaoguang Saint Sun and the Xia Prince were evaluating the stone materials. The nine strange stones had been there for a long time. This was the first time they had touched them. At this moment, Yi Fan and Yaoshi were chatting happily. They also walked over. The other bandits sighed and kept muttering, what a beast in human clothing. Daoist priest, do you know about origin stones? Yaoshi asked. This humble Daoist's knowledge is mixed but not refined. I haven't accomplished anything, but I know a little about the Tao of origin. Yi Fan smiled. I think that Daoist priest is modest. Why don't you come forward and evaluate these nine stones? Yao Shi smiled. Her eyelashes fluttered. Her black eyes were like the stars, her jade teeth flashed, and her lips were bright. She was beautiful. As soon as she said this, the Xia Prince and the Yao Guang Saint Sun looked over with different expressions. The Xia Prince didn't have a good impression of him. Perhaps this was a common problem as an elder brother. He was always afraid that the bad boy would have ideas about his little sister. The Yao Guang Saint Sun smiled calmly. He didn't look like anything. He had a special charm that attracted the gazes of most of the young female cultivators. The pretty nun was also sneaking glances at Yi Fan. She was full of curiosity. She looked completely innocent. All right then, this humble Daoist will show his incompetence. Yi Fan went forward but didn't reach out. He walked around the nine stones twice. At this moment, a graceful figure appeared in the Jade Palace not far away. The Jade Pool Fairy appeared and personally observed Yi Fan. However, she was shrouded by immortal clouds and no one could see her true appearance. She had been watching silently ever since Yi Fan said the words to Thagata and Sakyamuni. This was something Yi Fan didn't expect. Yi Fan circled around several times, patting the largest piece and flicking the smallest piece. He said indifferently, these two pieces of stone, the inner one is sealed with Shinshio, the rest are all stubborn stones. Sneers came from all around. Boasting shamelessly. Does he really think he's the Yuan Taoist master? Is the Jade Pool's immortal stone so easy to confirm? I think he's talking nonsense. Based on my many years of experience in stone gambling, those two stones are definitely white stones. There's nothing inside. There are too many people who think they're infallible. There's no need to pay attention to them. It was no wonder. In the eyes of the crowd, Yi Fan didn't even carefully identify the two stones. He casually knocked them a few times and determined that the two stones contained spiritual beauty. It was indeed a little hard to believe. Oh, are you so sure? The Prince of Great Xia looked over and asked calmly. My knowledge is limited. It's just a random comment, Yi Fan said modestly. The Prince of Great Xia shook his head and said, If I choose, one of the two stones will be the first choice and the other will be replaced. 
Everyone knew that he came for the Jade Pool Holy Maiden. He only commented today, so he was naturally well prepared. Yi Fan laughed and said, how about I make a bet with your highness? Oh, what kind of bet? The Prince of Great Xia asked. If I can turn stone into gold, I just want to talk to this little master for a while. Yi Fan pointed at the little nun. The Prince of Great Xia was very interested at first, but after hearing this, he immediately turned around. He was very sick of it. The little nun wrinkled her nose and waved her little fist at Yi Fan. Master, are you sure that these two stones have spiritual beauty in them? Yao Guang Saint asked. That's just my opinion. Yao Shi also came forward and said with a smile, I think you're very knowledgeable. At this moment, what people didn't expect was that the Jade Pool Holy Maiden actually came in the air. She was like a fairy walking on the waves, light and elegant to the extreme. She brought with her a sparkling rain of sparkling flowers that sprinkled down. Master, did you really choose these two stones? Her voice was like the sound of nature, beautiful and pleasant to listen to. The surrounding people were all shocked. They never thought that the Jade Pool Holy Maiden would come in person. This was something that had never happened before. Chapter 216 Boundless Celestial Being, I did choose these two stones because I didn't want to disturb the fairy. Yi Fan recited his Taoist name and greeted her with a Taoist greeting. The Jade Lake Fairy gracefully returned the greeting. Her white clothes fluttered in the wind, and her fine black hair flowed down like water ripples. It was soft and smooth, emitting a bit of luster. In her surroundings, a rain of flowers slowly descended. There were jade flowers, strange stamens, and jasper leaves. They were sparkling, translucent, and flickering as if they were carved from multicolored gems, yet they carried a fragrance similar to orchids and musk. Enveloped by the rain of flowers, she looked hazy and magnificent, stirring people's hearts. Her skin was like that of a newborn baby's, smooth and tender, red and translucent, sparkling and translucent. Her graceful figure caused people to gasp in admiration. Her slender waist wasn't flat and narrow, but was perfectly round and smooth. When she gently swayed, it was like the waist of a snake beauty was twisting, charming and gentle. Her slender legs were soft, straight, and light, like a masterpiece of God's painstaking efforts. As she swayed, her proud figure became peerless, making thousands of flowers lose their color. Her steps were graceful, and within the long dress that dragged on the ground, her jade feet were white like jade, faintly discernible. They didn't even reach her shoes, and her toes were sparkling and translucent, perfect and flawless, with a bit of jade light flickering. Unfortunately, he only managed to catch a glimpse of it, and it was already hard for him to see it again. A halo of light emerged from beneath her feet, turning into immortal flowers, supporting her jade-like feet. Every step she took was graceful and graceful, beautiful to the extreme. The most regretful thing was that her appearance could not be seen clearly no matter how one looked at it. Immortal energy fluttered about, as if there was a layer of hazy veil covering her face. Even so, her celestial appearance was hidden, but her charm was endless. People couldn't help but sigh. In this boundless world, in this boundless world of mortals, there was such a beautiful woman. This was Yi Fan's first time being so close to the Jade Lake Saintess. He couldn't help but take a deep breath as a delicate fragrance wafted into his nostrils. Of course, this small movement couldn't escape the Jade Lake Holy Maiden's eyes. She nimbly took a few steps back and said, Daoist priest, do you have any basis for choosing these two pieces of stone? The surrounding people were surprised. Could it be that the unreliable young Taoist was right? Why did the Jade Lake Saintess come in person? It should be known that she rarely showed up. I'm just relying on my intuition. I can vaguely feel that these two stones have made my qi and blood fluctuate, making it hard for me to calm down. Yi Fan described a little of what Wang Shu and Dumbo felt. Even the Yao Guang Saintess couldn't recognize him, which proved that the heaven and earth changing grand magic was close to success. He could show off in front of the Jade Lake Saintess, so he wouldn't have to worry about being exposed when he went to the Jade Lake in the future. Oh, there's actually such a thing. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden nodded, but she didn't comment much on it. Then, she looked at the Prince of the Xia Kingdom and said, Your Highness, did you notice anything? Have you chosen the stone? The Prince of the Xia Kingdom had an imposing appearance. Nine streams of dragon energy surrounded him, making him look like a deity descending to the mortal world. He nodded and said, I've also chosen two pieces of stone. He pointed at the biggest stone, which weighed 2,000 kilograms, then patted the stone in front of him that weighed more than 50 kilograms. Your Highness, you're born with a discerning eye. One of the stones has been confirmed to contain divine energy. The Jade Lake Saintess nodded with a smile. The Prince of the Xia Kingdom was very humble. He said, I was just lucky. The imperial dragon energy that I cultivate can naturally send some special sources. The Supreme Emperor Scripture is indeed one of the four most powerful ancient scriptures in the Central Prefecture. It is indeed unpredictable. However, Your Highness, you're also very talented. Otherwise, how could you comprehend the mysteries of the ancient scripture? As far as I know, not everyone can learn this scripture. Only peerless geniuses can learn it. The Jade Lake Saintess opened her red lips slightly, and her voice was pleasing to the ear. It was as if she was playing a beautiful piece of music. The surrounding people were all moved when they heard this. They started to discuss among themselves. 
The Supreme Emperor Scripture is the most famous ancient scripture in the central prefecture. Its power is unparalleled, earth-shattering, and unimaginable. It is known for its offensive power and is said to be able to break all techniques in the world. As one of the four great ancient scriptures in the central prefecture, it is naturally incomparable. It is a peerless secret scripture since ancient times. Only geniuses can cultivate it, and it has a very high requirement for talent. This prince of the Xia kingdom is unfathomable, and his true strength is unpredictable. I'm afraid that not many people in the same generation can compare to him. Through the discussions of the crowd, even those who didn't understand the ancient scripture understood how terrifying it was. A young man was still puzzled. He said, is the supreme emperor scripture really so mysterious and powerful? The imperial dragon energy can actually sense the source. This is too unbelievable. An old man, who was a stone gambler and also a cultivator, said, if you knew the origin of the supreme emperor scripture, you wouldn't have such doubts. Its birth is very strange, and there are many legends about it. Is the origin of the supreme emperor scripture still very mysterious? That young man asked. In truth, the vast majority of the crowd didn't know. They were all looking at the old man, waiting for his explanation. Yi Fan wasn't an exception. He cultivated the battle saint art, a peerless secret art that possessed unfathomable combat prowess. At this moment, after hearing that the Supreme Emperor scripture was said to be able to break through all techniques, it naturally attracted his attention. He had a feeling that the great sovereign scripture was comparable to the battle saint art in terms of offense. It was likely that they would have to fight to see who was stronger in the future. This wasn't something that could be changed by his will. But for such a peerless secret art, there would definitely be a battle to determine which was the strongest. There's a saying that the Supreme Emperor scripture was unearthed from the ground, and is the most mysterious ancient scripture. The old man's words caused everyone to be startled. Isn't this too mystical? It's hard to believe. It's only normal for it to be able to send some special origin stones. The Xia Empire has never admitted that it was taken from the origin stone. They say it was created by the first ancient emperor of the Xia Empire, another old man said. On the side, another elder said like this, as for what kind of origins there are, outsiders cannot truly understand. At this moment, everyone looked at the Xia Empire's prince. He looked calm and didn't say anything. At this moment, the Yao Guang Saint had also chosen his stone and was talking to the Jade Lake Saint. The Yao Guang Saint and the Jade Lake Saint had been very close recently. They were going to the Origin Ancient Mine together to deliver a batch of mysterious stones. I've received orders from my master. The nine stones won't be on display anymore. This trip is over, the Jade Lake Saint suddenly announced. This. We haven't shown our skills yet. How can we end it so hastily? Someone was dissatisfied. That's right. We've come from so far away. How can we disappoint you? Many people asked for an extension. The Jade Lake Saint's voice reverberated like a fairy's voice, clearly spreading to every corner. Everyone has a chance to choose a stone and state your reasoning. If it's reasonable, the Jade Lake will reward you generously. Everybody felt relieved, walking forward. A Jade Lake disciple was in charge of recording their reasoning. Right at this moment, the Jade Lake Saint invited the Xia Empire's prince and the Yao Guang Saint to the other side. Your Highness, Saint Sun, this way, please. There are some stones here. Please take a look. Your Highness, long time no see. How are you? Two Fei smiled and greeted the Xia Empire's prince. Wu Zhongtian, Li Heishui, Lu Ko, and Jiang Huiren were there. They had been invited to see the other stones. The Xia Empire's prince replied politely. Although the Yao Guang saint was their archenemy, he still smiled like a spring breeze. He didn't want to fight in the Jade Lake's territory. Besides them, there were more than 30 other people. The Jade Lake saint had visited many cities in the northern region. Many people had passed the test of the nine stones. Some of them had followed her, and some of them would join the Jade Lake Holy Land in the near future. Some small bandits were invited, which surprised some people. However, after thinking about it, they understood. In the territories of the Great Sage, the Jade Lake had a good relationship with the others. They didn't want to compete with the world. Even the thirteen great bandits had never robbed them. At this moment, Yi Fan was the most surprised. He hadn't thought that he wouldn't get an invitation after choosing the two stones. While he was still puzzled, Yao Shi smiled sweetly, walking toward him. I'm here to invite you on behalf of the Jade Lake's younger sister. She asked you not to leave. She will invite you later. Yi Fan nodded, feeling relieved. He didn't expect that today would be the last time the Jade Lake Saint would show the Nine Stones. If he missed it, he would lose his chance. Next to him, the little nun in white was looking at him curiously. Yi Fan smiled kindly. Little master, I have two or three Buddhist artifacts here. I would like to invite you to take a look. Yi Fan took out a Vitra scepter. Although it was broken in half, it still looked simple and imposing. It was like a Buddha standing in the air with his fist clenched. Yao Shi, who was standing next to Yi Fan, was surprised. She felt that this artifact was extraordinary. Although it was damaged, she could still feel the residual Daoist rhyme. Obviously, it had an extraordinary origin. Not far away, the little nun in white widened her eyes. She opened her mouth, wanting to ask something. She even wanted to walk over. However, the guards next to her surrounded her. 
Apparently, they were ordered by the Xia Dynasty's prince not to come over. What is this? Yao Guang Saint is asked. I don't know what it is either. It seems to be an ancient Buddhist artifact. The Xia Dynasty's princess will definitely be able to appraise it. Can you invite her over? Yao Shi smiled and said, You want me to kidnap the Xia Dynasty's princess? You really have a good plan. As Yi Fan chatted with Yao Shi, he took out a complete ancient lamp and waved it at the little nun in white. The Xia Dynasty's princess opened her eyes wide again. Her small mouth was slightly open. She whispered to the guard leader and seemed to want to come over. What exactly is this? Yao Guang Saintis was moved. Although the ancient lamp had been extinguished and was mottled with green rust, she felt an even more extraordinary aura. Fairy, go and bring the Xia Dynasty's princess over. She will definitely be able to recognize it. Maybe she will know the origin of these artifacts, Yi Fan said solemnly. Maybe it will be related to Buddha and Sakyamuni. Sakyamuni? Yao Shi was shocked. She had too many questions in her heart. Today was the first time she had heard of Buddha. From the reactions of the Xia Dynasty's prince and Yao Guang Saintis, it was obvious that this was an extraordinary and terrifying character. The history of more than 2000 years ago was actually cut off and erased because of Buddha. After this speculation arose in her heart, she desperately wanted to know everything about it. Buddha. What kind of origin did he have to make an immortal prince of an ancient dynasty fear him? What was Sakyamuni's status in Buddhism? Yao Guang Saintis pondered for a while and then smiled. It's not good to ask me to kidnap the Xia Dynasty's princess. How about we go together? We can talk about it in detail. Okay. Yi Fan couldn't ask for more. He held the Vajra scepter in his left hand and the bronze lamp in his right as he strode forward. In fact, he really wanted to take out the bronze plaque of the Great Thunderclap Temple, but he didn't dare to do so. This bronze plaque might not be a big deal in the eyes of ordinary people, but in the eyes of Buddhism experts, it was no different from shocking heavenly thunder that could pierce through the sky. He believed that if the people of Buddhism had an understanding of this and could see the miraculous bronze plaque of the Great Thunderclap Temple, it would stir up endless waves. The Great Thunderclap Temple was the fundamental and important place in the legends of Buddhism. It was hard to imagine what kind of waves the appearance of such a bronze plaque would cause in Buddhism. Stop! The guards of the Xia dynasty looked at Yi Fan as if they were guarding against a wolf. Yao Guang Saintis smiled sweetly and walked forward. It could be said that she was an outstanding beauty. She was like a jade tree blossoming with immortal flowers, like warm jade giving birth to warm clouds. The beauty that could captivate even the birds and beasts, outshine the moon and put flowers to shame, and cause the downfall of cities and countries would all be overshadowed in front of her. Sure enough, the charm of a peerless beauty was boundless. After whispering a few words to those guards, they were allowed to walk over. Of course, these guards still stared at Yi Fan, the unscrupulous Taoist, as if they were guarding against a thief. Your Highness. Yi Fan greeted. The little nun in white didn't pay attention to him. Her big eyes rolled around and kept glancing at the treasured pestle in his hand. Little nun sister, don't you want to take a closer look? Yi Fan asked calmly with a smile. At the side, the leader of the guards and the others all glared angrily. How can you say that? How dare you be so disrespectful to the princess? These people couldn't help but be angry. They felt that Yi Fan was like a big bad wolf that had targeted a little white rabbit. Liar, it must be fake. At this moment, the little nun opened her mouth for the first time. Her voice was as pleasant as the song of an oriole. I guarantee it's fake. This is a relic of Buddha. Yi Fan weighed the broken treasured pestle in his hand. I, want to take a look. The little nun in white didn't have much confidence and was a little embarrassed. Yi Fan handed it forward very casually as if he didn't care about the Vajra treasured pestle at all. This is. The little nun's beautiful eyes opened wide. She slightly stuttered, there is really, a strand of Buddha's aura. At the side, the beautiful eyes of Yao Guang Saintis flickered faintly, but the extraordinary splendor quickly disappeared. Which Buddha are you talking about? Yi Fan asked and very naturally took back the treasured pestle. Of course it's the revered one of the world. The little nun gave him a look as if he was really ignorant. Is the revered one of the world Buddha Gautama Buddha? Yi Fan finally waited for this kind of opportunity, so he naturally had to ask in detail. I don't know who Gautama Buddha Gautama Buddha is. Her big black eyes were very innocent and immature, making it hard to tell whether she was telling the truth or lying. Your Buddha doesn't have a title or name. Buddha is you, Buddha is me. Buddha said that everything in the world has Buddha nature and can become Buddha. He doesn't have a special name. The little nun answered naively. Ah. At this point, she suddenly cried out in surprise, these Buddhist artifacts of yours have demonic nature. They are not true Buddhas. What are you talking about? Yi Fan raised the treasured pestle and the ancient lamp and said, These are clearly filled with a pure and holy aura, how can there be demonic power? There clearly is. She reached out her small hand and held the two Buddhist artifacts. She closed her eyes and carefully sensed them, these have the aura of a Buddhist traitor. Even though his mana is profound and unparalleled, he is not a Buddha. Yi Fan sneered. According to the little nun, wasn't Tathagata a traitor of Buddhism? 
How could this be? This is the aura left behind by Gautama Buddha, you can't be talking about him right? Ah, the biggest traitor of Buddhism. The little nun looked like she was stung by a scorpion and quickly let go. You don't even know who Gautama Buddha is, how do you know he is the biggest traitor? But I feel that this aura is the aura of a traitor. The little nun puffed up her cheeks angrily. Very well, let me show you another good thing. Yi Fan put away the treasured pestle and the ancient lamp, took out the prayer beads strung with six Buddhist relics, and put them on his wrist. The little nun's eyes widened and she couldn't look away anymore. She grabbed Yi Fan's hand and didn't let go. Your Highness, if you want to see it, just tell me. But I have a few questions that I want to ask you. In the distance, Li Heishui's eyes almost popped out. He sighed, as expected, as expected, he finally laid his hands on the nun. Beast, beast, heavy taste, heavy taste, nun, nun. Tu Fei rubbed his hands. Hey, your highness, what's wrong with you? Jiang Huiren asked the Xia Kingdom's prince. At this moment, the Xia Kingdom's prince couldn't smile anymore. Even in front of the Jade Lake Saintess, he couldn't be happy. He had just left for a while, and that unscrupulous little Daoist stuck to her like a dog skin plaster. Daring to seduce the Xia Kingdom's prince's sister, it was really. He had never met such a Daoist before. Knowing that she was the princess of an eternal dynasty, he still dared to flirt with her. I. The Xia Kingdom's prince opened his mouth but found that he couldn't say anything. On the other side, the little nun in white was in high spirits. She grabbed Yi Fan's hand and turned it over and over to look at the prayer beads. This is. Why do I feel the aura of Buddha again? It's even thicker, as if the true body of Buddha is here. Quickly, take it off and let me see. Go on. You mentioned Tathagata just now, urged Yi Fan. More than 2000 years ago, a person called Tathagata suddenly came to this world. I don't know what he did, but everything about him disappeared. The little nun tilted her head and thought for a while. If you take off the prayer beads, I will be able to remember everything. Yi Fan was delighted and said, okay. It's not the true Buddha. It's still the aura of a Buddhist traitor. The little nun pouted unhappily and looked at the prayer beads. What did Sakyamuni do? Yi Fan asked. His magic power was monstrous and he opened Mount Meru. Chapter 217 After Tathagata established Mount Meru, he built a temple in the mountain. Although the little nun in white said that the beads were stained with the breath of the traitor, she still turned them over and over, wishing she could pull them out one by one and examine them carefully. What happened next? Yi Fan urged. What next? The little nun replied indifferently, but she was carefully fiddling with the beads. Naturally, what happened to Gautama Buddha afterwards? Yi Fan looked at her with a smile. Oh, you're talking about him? There was no next. The little nun pointed the beads at the sun and attentively looked at them. It was obvious that she didn't want to continue. How can there be no next? I say, little master, Buddha once said, don't talk nonsense, how can you not tell the truth? Everything I said is true. The little nun pouted and was very dissatisfied. She couldn't see through the mysteries of the beads no matter how hard she tried. In the end, she took out a bunch of jade flowers and knocked them back and forth. The fragrance assailed the nostrils and tiny rays of light shot out like prickles towards the beads. There was a faint flicker of fire within them. However, the six beads didn't change at all. No matter how the rays of light shot at them and how the sparks flickered, they just lay there motionlessly. Yi Fan quickly stopped her and said, What are you doing? Stop quickly. I want to cut it open and see, there seems to be something inside. The little nun persevered and shook the jade flowers. The blades of light danced and submerged the beads. Those are my beads. I didn't say it was mine. The little nun mumbled in reply and was still trying hard. Yi Fan's forehead was filled with black lines and said, If it's not yours, you still want to cut it open? He quickly reached out and grabbed forward, wanting to retrieve the beads. Don't be so stingy, let me look at it a little longer. The little nun's white clothes fluttered. A hazy little world seemed to appear in her delicate palm and covered the beads. Yao Guang Saintus was surprised and said, This is the secret technique, heaven and earth palm. When Yi Fan's hand reached out, it sank into the miniature little world. He couldn't touch the rosary beads at all. He was always a little short, as if he could never catch it. He smiled and reached out to grab the little nun's wrist, wanting to grab her vital point. However, that hazy little world moved like a swimming dragon and appeared on her wrist, once again blocking his finger. Sorry for the offense. Yi Fan's palm and fingers changed, his five fingers forming imprints that took the shape of a dragon's head. Nine streaks of light shot out, every single one like a heavenly dragon, pouncing towards that small world. Ah, uh, this is. The little nun was surprised. Yi Fan formed a hand seal, and nine little heavenly dragons rushed out. They were too similar to the imperial draconic aura coiled around her brother's body, and could almost be mistaken for the real thing. Moreover, its power was extraordinarily great. It rushed into the illusory space in her palm and destroyed it. While she was distracted, she kept the rosary beads. What kind of secret technique is this? 
Yao Guang Saintess was at the side and saw everything clearly. She was very surprised. It was a killing technique of the Nine Secrets, but Yi Fan used it like a master's knife on a small scale. He changed it between his palm and fingers, so it naturally had extraordinary power. It was difficult for outsiders to see it clearly. Let me see it again. The little nun in white implored. Tell me what happened to Rulai. Yi Fan smiled and held the rosary beads in his palm. I really don't know what happened after that because this name seems to have been erased from the historical records. I can't find anything about him anymore. The little nun in white had an honest expression on her face. I don't believe what you said. Yi Fan gently twirled the rosary beads and shook his head with a smile. The little nun in white puffed up her cheeks and stared at him with her big eyes. All right, all right, I'll tell you everything. It's nothing anyway. Then tell me in detail. I'm all ears. From now on, there is no rule in Buddhism. The young princess of Great Xia said solemnly. What do you mean? Yi Fan asked in detail. This is the conclusion I came to after reading many Buddhist scriptures. I flipped through all kinds of ancient books and connected all the clues together. In fact, there is only one sentence. The little nun in white said very seriously. Little master, you're lying. Yi Fan shook his head. I dare to swear to the revered one of the world that everything I said is true. This is the conclusion I came to after reading hundreds of Buddhist books. Moreover, I've asked others about it. The Almighty of Buddhism also shook his head and sighed. From now on, there is no rely in Buddhism. The little nun had a look of, you have to believe me on her face. From now on, there is no rely in Buddhism. Yi Fan touched his chin. This sentence could lead to endless thoughts. What actually happened? Rulai was no longer the original Rulai, or Buddhism was no longer the original Buddhism. Who was the one at Mount Meru now? Yao Guang Saintess was also thinking. She knew even less, but she gradually touched a vague outline from all kinds of clues. Let me take a look at the prayer beads. The little nun in white stretched out her small hand. Yi Fan fiddled with the prayer beads and said, Your brother's expression changed when he heard of Rulai. Even he knows some secrets, how can you not know? What can he know? It's just that the clan elder warned us not to mention this name. The little nun curled her lips. Why did he warn us like this? Yao Guang Saintess asked. How would I know? The little nun in white tilted her head and said, I flipped through all kinds of ancient books in the imperial court and also came to the same conclusion, from now on, there is no Sakyamuni in this world. From now on, there is no Sakyamuni in this world. Yi Fan had many speculations in his heart, but it was difficult to prove any of them. Your Highness. The guards not far away hurriedly bowed. The Prince of Great Xia had black hair dancing in the wind. His eyes were like that of a tiger's. His iron clothes were shining and nine dragons coiled around his body. He strode with his head held high, giving off the aura of a monarch. His sword-like eyebrows were slightly raised and his tiger's eyes shot out divine light. He was very dissatisfied with these guards. Your Highness, please calm down. It was Her Highness who told us not to get close. The guard leader hurriedly explained. Yao Shi greets Your Highness. Yao Guang saint a smile could topple a city. The Prince of Great Xia replied politely and didn't put on any airs as one of the successors of an immortal dynasty. He said, Fairy is like the bright moon in the sky. If you can make friends with my royal sister, it will be a blessing. Yi Fan didn't receive such good treatment. The more the prince looked at him, the more annoyed he became. He frowned and really wanted to kick him away from the little nun in white. Boundless celestial being, this poor Daoist came to deliver the imperial heavenly book. Since your highness doesn't want to accept it, then I'll go find another fated person. This poor Daoist is leaving. Yi Fan walked away. Hey, hey, hey. Daoist, can you show me the prayer beads again? The little nun in white called out softly. The great Xia prince didn't say anything. He just glanced at his sister. The pure and elegant little nun muttered and didn't say anything else. Yao Guang Saintess also wanted to leave. She floated away and chased after Yi Fan. She said, Daoist, this way please. Okay. Yi Fan understood that Yao Shi was just here to pass on the message because the Saintess had invited him. After passing through a rock garden and a small stone bridge over a spring, the two of them arrived at a quiet courtyard. This place was paved with cobblestones and there was a bamboo forest. There was a stone table in the forest with four stone stools placed beside it. It was quiet and peaceful. Jade Lake Saintess was performing the way of tea. Her hands were light and nimble. Every movement she made had a natural Tao. She completely blended into the scenery and the faint fragrance of tea wafted over with the wind. Jade Lake's fairy's tea skills are the same as her zither skills. They are close to the Tao realm but she never shows them. This is really rare. It is obvious that she treats you as an important guest. Yao Shi's body swayed. Her skin was as white as jade and sparkled. She turned around and smiled. This kind of beauty naturally made Yi Fan think of the battle between the two of them. Her celestial body was almost completely naked. It was a beautiful scene. Daoist, have you really cultivated for 300 years? Yao Shi smiled. I'm ashamed. 
I've lived in vain for more than 300 years, but I've accomplished nothing. Yi Fan chanted. Yao Shi pursed her lips and smiled. Her hair danced in the wind and she said, I think you have a young heart. Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. He was just distracted for a moment and she felt something was wrong. She was very sharp and he had to be careful to not give himself away. Fairy is such a peerless beauty. Even a thousand-year-old elder would have to face her calmly. It is normal for me to be distracted. The two came to the bamboo forest. The Jade Lake Saint's movements were gentle. Her slender fingers traced a beautiful path, giving people a visual enjoyment. The various tea sets on the table seemed to come to life. The fragrance of tea permeated the air. Daoist, please have some tea. The saint's sweet voice was heard. She picked up the teacup and handed it over. Yi Fan thanked her and asked, what do you need me for? Daoist, you are too polite. There is indeed something I need your help with, the saint said softly. Jade Lake has a long history and stands at the top of the clouds. What can't I solve? My ability is limited. I am afraid I will have to disappoint you, Yi Fan said calmly. I want to invite you to Jade Lake. What is it? There are some mysterious stones that are extraordinary. I want you to inspect them. The saint had only revealed this bit of information, but it was enough to shock Yi Fan. Those stones must have a shocking origin. Can't Jade Lake just cut them open? The saint shook her head and said, I can't cut them open before I figure it out. Yi Fan was even more certain that those stones were extraordinary. I'm afraid it will be a stone appreciation event, Yao Shi said with a smile. Indeed, many people will be invited to the Jade Lake. There will be many distinguished guests arriving, the Jade Lake Saintess replied. There was no doubt that it would be a grand event. Many extraordinary people would enter Jade Lake. It's a pity that I have something important to do. I can't be here for the time being, Yi Fan declined. It's okay. If you have something important to do, I can't force you. The Jade Lake Saintess took out a jade pendant and said, however, if you're free, you can take this pendant to any Jade Lake Celestial Stone Market in the Northern Region. They'll definitely guide you to the Jade Lake. Yi Fan quickly expressed his gratitude and said, it would be a great regret for me if I miss such a grand event. I will definitely pay a visit after I deal with the important matters. When Yi Fan left the bamboo forest, the people outside had already left. He didn't see Wu Zhongtian or Tu Fei, but he didn't look for them. He left the city directly. Outside Kunyan City, flames shot up to the sky. Even from a distance, one could feel the horrible energy. Ten miles outside the city, a great battle was going on. Many cultivators were flying there. Yao Guang Saint is indeed undefeatable. This is terrifying. Many people were discussing. Soon, Yi Fan found Wu Zhongtian and Li Heishui. They were all watching the battle. In front of him, in the center of a reddish-brown land, Yao Guang Saint stood alone. His whole body was emitting golden light. He was like a heaven and earth furnace, burning everything. His powerful energy made many people tremble. Two motionless corpses were at his feet. They were both white-haired seniors. Meanwhile, in the sky, there were three elders currently roaring, rushing towards him. Unfortunately, the entire world was shrouded in holy light like a copper furnace refining the world. Nothing could break it. Yao Guang Saint stood there like a god. He was impervious to all techniques. He was like a lofty mountain, majestic and unmoving. He was like the bright sun, shining brilliantly. People couldn't look straight at him. Boom! He punched toward the sky. Divine light covered the sun and the firmament trembled. It had the power to swallow the world. One of the older generation experts who charged over was instantly torn to pieces. Another person shouted and swooped down. He took out a terrifying weapon that lit up the sky like a comet. It tore through the air and attacked Yaguang Saint Child. His battle prowess surged, and his murderous intent soared to the sky. However, Yaguang's holy light was truly unrivaled. It shook the mountains and rivers. The blazing light filled the sky. The heaven and earth bronze furnace created the world. The holy light overflowed and pierced through the clouds. The firmament was resplendent. Boom! The brilliant light filled the sky and burned endlessly. The sky was blinding. That terrifying weapon vaporized on the spot, and that senior expert evaporated in the blink of an eye. He was completely melted and disappeared without a trace. When the third person arrived, Yao Guang's body was flowing with golden radiance. His hair was golden like gold, dancing in the wind. His eyes shot out two beams of golden light as he lightly shouted. Kill. Bang. That expert in the sky was actually smashed into pieces on the spot. His corpse fell down and died immediately. This is too frightening. Five experts have all cultivated to the third secret realm, yet they were all killed. This Yao Guang's divine might is truly frightening. Terrifying. How daunting. At this realm, he is almost invincible among those at the same level. Yao Guang is indeed a genius of the present age. Even though the Ji family has a bright moon in the sky and the Jiang family has a divine body, I'm afraid they can't cover Yao Guang's unrivaled style. Even a divine body can't suppress such a character. 
At this moment, Yao Guang was truly like a god. His entire body was glowing and even his hair was no exception. It purified the entire heaven and earth. His qi and blood surged and boiled like magma, making others unable to get close. He was like a copper cauldron that could refine the entire world. I can't stand this aura. Some cultivators groaned. Their bodies were powerless as they retreated. His life force is too exuberant. It almost covers half the sky. His qi and blood are like blades. When they are released naturally, they can hurt the souls of others. Yao Guang was indeed like what they said. The blood in his body was like blades and rainbows, forcing everyone to retreat. Wu Zhongqian sighed and said, I am no match for him. Once the sacred light technique is used, I'm afraid he is truly invincible among those of the same generation. Such a technique is unparalleled in the world. If Divine King Jiang doesn't use his battle saint technique, there is no way he can compete with him. Invincible, overflowing holy light, melting the heaven and earth. I am the only one. He is much more terrifying than Yao Guang when he was young. Right now, the only one who can compete with him is the prince of the Xia kingdom who cultivates the Tai imperial scripture. Unfortunately, Divine King Zhang's attacking saint technique has disappeared forever. Chapter 218 If Divine King Jiang didn't use his battle saint technique, who could compete with him? Yao Guang saint son was considered to have surpassed the young Yao Guang saint lord. In the current eastern barren territory, the Ji family and the Jiang family each had a god body. They were considered to be the strongest warriors in the next three to four thousand years. Living in the same era with a god body was a tragedy to other cultivators. Even if you were a genius, you would be overshadowed by a divine king at great accomplishment. However, at this moment, outside of Kunyan City, many people had a strange feeling. Yao Guang Saint's son was an exception. No one in his generation could overshadow his light, not even the divine kings. Five forefathers were lying under his feet. He had killed five great warriors in just a few moves. How elegant was this? It was really shocking. He was like a divine furnace in the heaven domain that could refine everything in this world. His essence qi was like a sea or a tide, surging up and covering half of the sky. Many people couldn't bear it. Their souls were hurt, their minds were hurt, and their souls were hurt. Any random movement from him would cause boundless holy light to soar into the sky. Just a slight lift of his hand would cause a blazing brilliance to engulf all ten directions. He was like an immortal king looking down on the mortal world. The holy light he released naturally covered the entire sky. Little brother Yi, you're so proud of yourself. Li Heishui and the others saw Yi Fan, but they didn't come to greet him. They just sent him messages. What do I have to be proud of? Yi Fan didn't understand. You fake bull nose, don't try to fool us. I'm a little suspicious now. Are you that wicked Daoist? Why do I feel you're even worse than him? Li Heishui mumbled. I'm passionate and righteous. How can you slander me like this? Two Fei screamed. Little Yi, you're so wicked. You're so young, but your heart is darker than Li Heishui's. If Yao Shi finds out it's you, I can't imagine her face. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Li Heishui was discontented. How is my heart dark? I'm pure. Don't use this kid to defile me. Then, he rubbed his hands and said, I'm really looking forward to it. Little Yezi, you have to keep up the good work and continue to flirt with the Yao Guang Saintess. I want to see her expression when she finds out everything, he he. The two of you, are really worthless. Am I that bad? I just happened to be there, it was completely unintentional. Come on, you did it on purpose. Don't say any more. The more you explain, the more hypocritical you become. It's just that my brothers think highly of you. Jiang Huiren also transmitted his voice, you even dared to hold the hand of a little nun in front of the Prince of Great Xia. You have a bright future and you have courage. There is nothing that you won't dare to do in the future. You are indeed a genius in our profession. Now, you and Yao Guang Saintis have reunited. We have to try our best to make it work. Lu Ko smirked. What do you mean by that? Of course, you and her will hook up with each other. But don't be seduced by her beauty. You have to lurk and strike them at the right time. We will do our best to cooperate with you. I hope that the two of you will end up together. Yi Fan didn't avoid them. He boldly stood with the others. Of course, he didn't say anything. He just communicated with them discreetly. They looked like they knew each other, but they didn't give people the feeling that they were best friends. At the same time, Yi Fan warmly greeted the people around as if they were close friends. Don't worry. They won't find us. We've arranged it well. At most, people will think that we know each other. Said Wu Zhongtian discreetly. All right, let's go. Tu Fei said goodbye to Li Heishui and the others and then flew away. At this moment, Yao Guang Saint Sun strode forward. With each step, a halo appeared. The halos under his feet connected with each other. Behind his head was a dazzling disc that shone everywhere, making him look like a god. Wu Zhongtian didn't leave immediately. He faced Yao Guang Saint Sun from a distance. He didn't say anything and just shot up into the sky one last time. Yao Guang Saint Sun smiled brightly and nodded. Then, he turned into a jet of sunglow, leaving a beam of gold sunlight in the sky as he dashed towards Kunyun City. 
The Nine Secret Killing Holy Technique. Yi Fan muttered to himself. He didn't linger, flying towards the horizon before the crowd dispersed. The Nine Secret Techniques were the supreme secret techniques that represented the acme of each domain. As Yi Fan had mastered two of them, he had comprehended the endless power Upanishads. He believed that when he swaggered around the world in the future, these two secret techniques would be his strong support. Yi Fan was satisfied with this trip to Kuan Yin City. He got the chance to enter the Jade Lake. Now, he was rushing towards the Qingxia sect as fast as lightning. The reason why he didn't enter the Jade Lake immediately was that he wanted to be absolutely safe. The sky and earth changing great technique could fool the descendants of the Holy Lands, but it couldn't escape the Saint Mother Yao Qi's immortal eyes. If he found something wrong, the consequences would be unimaginable. Of course, he didn't have much time to waste. He needed to solve this problem immediately. It was urgent. The Qingxia sect was still the same. The mountains were green and the water was beautiful. The 18 peaks were covered in mist and clouds. The spring water hung high. The scenery was so beautiful. Yi Fan transformed into his real body and returned to the Qingxia sect. Seeing the young demon king come back, the others had complicated feelings. The fire cult, the sunset school, the seven star pavilion, and the mysterious moon cave didn't attack us? Although they didn't attack us, some mysterious people often show up and covet our Qingxia, answered the elders of the Qingxia sect. Yi Fan sneered and said, you guys should leave the Qingxia sect. Come back after 20 days. I will solve all the problems then. We leave the Qingxia sect. The three elders were troubled. Leave. I'm afraid they have seen the real situation. They can't wait anymore. If we stay here, our sect will be destroyed. Yi Fan turned around and said, I'm not asking you guys to leave the Qingxia sect. I just want you to be patient and retreat. In fact, he could find Wu Zhongtian, Tu Fei, and the others to destroy the four sections. But he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to attract the attention of outsiders. These few little bandits were influential figures in the northern region. Who knew how many pairs of eyes were watching them? It would be troublesome if they managed to drag him out by following the clues. After sending everyone away, Yi Fan also left the Qingxia sect and went into seclusion. Half a square meter, 1,600 and 700 kilograms, was enough for Yi Fan to break through the first realm of the Dao Palace. He found a secret place hundreds of miles away from the Qingxia sect and created a cave in a stone mountain. For half a month, Yi Fan was in seclusion. The heavenly sun in his body, the heart divine treasure, became more and more fiery. It was like a lotus that hadn't bloomed yet. It gave birth to wisps of essence energy, but it still hadn't transformed into a god. This made him feel strange. He had already refined a thousand kilograms of essence energy. How could there be no change? But during this process, he felt his body's strength. The heavenly sun in his body rose and fell slowly. The cycle repeated, and the innate essence burned fiercely. The nourishment from the acquired essence flowed into the divine treasure. It became more and more red and sparkling, as if it had become a real heavenly sun. Yi Fan's body rumbled. He saw the boundless sea, the rising and setting of the sun. He saw life and vitality. Endless vitality was being nurtured, and endless power of the Tao was flowing. Boom! It was like the sun in the sky. The heart divine treasure rose and settled in the void of the human body world. It was like a blazing sun in the sky. It reached its peak, and an endless aura spread out. Yi Fan knew clearly that he had broken through the first realm of the Tao Palace and crossed this hurdle. But his transformation was different from the others. He didn't transform into a god, and the heavenly sun was still hanging there. The heart divine treasure reached the peak, entering completion. Although no god appeared, Yi Fan wasn't disappointed. In fact, he didn't want another him to appear in his body. That was what he wanted the most. He didn't understand why no god appeared, but he could feel his own strength. He felt like he could shatter mountains and rivers with a stomp of his feet. I need this feeling. I don't need the so-called god. The heart divine treasure should be like this. Transform into the heavenly sun and be used by me. Streak after streak of raging flames rushed out from his body. That was innate essence, wrapped around by the Hotian essence flames, burning fiercely. It was as if Yi Fan had been reborn from the flames. All of his clothes were burned away, his skin sparkling and sparkling, full of mysterious power. Only after a long time did the essence fire disappear and hide in his body. In the world of his body, the fog was hazy. He walked into the next divine treasure, and it was like he was on the path to heaven. After successfully crossing that step, it was like the difference between a mortal and a celestial. The power of the second realm of the Tao Palace was many times stronger than the first realm. There was indeed an insurmountable gap. The heavenly sun shone in the sky, floating above his head and illuminating the path ahead. Soon, Yi Fan felt an incomparably sharp aura. He had found the divine treasure of the lungs, which belonged to the metal element in the five elements. The divine treasure of the lungs was connected to the spirit Qi God Tao. It covered the organs and was located at the highest position. It was known as the canopy and the head of the five organs. The essence of heaven and earth was the purest, and it breathed in and out the divine source of heaven and earth. 
It was the most important of the five great divine treasures. He felt a flourishing vitality. This divine treasure transported essence, chi, and spirit to be dispersed throughout the entire body, reaching the skin and hair outside to nourish and nourish the internal organs, limbs, bones, muscles, skin, and hair. Its effect was so great that it was unimaginable. There were still hundreds of kilograms of source in front of Yi Fan. He sat cross-legged and refined it continuously. The endless source chi was all absorbed into his body and into the canopy divine treasure. All chi belonged to the lungs. Every breath was connected to the heavens. This was the fundamental meaning recorded in various ancient scriptures. After successfully entering this realm, Yi Fan felt all the pores on his body open up. It was as if he was connected to heaven and earth. The speed at which he mobilized the essence of heaven and earth was many times faster. This is indeed a realm, a world. Yi Fan couldn't help but be surprised. According to this change, his cultivation speed would be greatly increased. The huge amount of essence of heaven and earth he mobilized would make a qualitative leap in his strength. On the 18th day, Yi Fan's essence surged. Dragon Chi coiled around his body and rushed out, just like the imperial dragon Chi of a prince of great Xia. Bang! Yi Fan's body flickered with brilliance. He broke through the stone wall and rushed out of the cave abode. He took a step and reached the sky. Two sharp rays shot out from his eyes. His strength had greatly increased. Although the great art of heaven and earth transformation couldn't change the landscape, it could change his body to perfection. I can enter the Jade Lake Holy Land now. Yi Fan put on a Daoist robe and walked in the void. His sleeves fluttered as he used Crazy Bowl's footwork. In almost a moment, he returned to Qingxia. The green mountains were still there. Unfortunately, many buildings had collapsed. All kinds of herbs had been pulled out. Even some stone walls had been dug away because of the mantras carved on them. In addition, Yi Fan also saw a few corpses. They were all disciples of Qingxia. They didn't run away and all died a violent death. The main peak of Qingxia was also cut off and transported away. Yi Fan knew that the main peak of Qingxia was engraved with the insights of the previous headmasters. It was a precious treasure for the four sects. How thorough! Yi Fan buried the corpses of the disciples of Qingxia. He then turned around and stood in front of the waterfall, letting the mist fill the air. Who are you, Daoist? How dare you come here to investigate? Li Yuran, the successor of the mysterious moon cave, waved his folding fan and walked out. On the other side, Du Chimkuan, the eldest disciple of the mythical fire cult, also walked out. In addition, people from the Seven Stars Pavilion and the Sunset Sect also walked out. Yi Fan had already sensed them, but he didn't point them out. The successors of the four sects had all been slapped by him. Mythical Fire Cult, Sunset Sect, Seven Stars Pavilion, Mysterious Moon Cave, it's not easy to say that I'll let you go. He shook his head. Shameless boasting. Li Yuran sneered. Du Chinkuan was also quite conceited. He said, you are also a Daoist. You must be jackals of the same lair as that fat Daoist. Don't leave today. They were full of confidence because they had already figured out the situation. Moreover, the supreme headmaster of the mysterious moon cave was sitting on the peak behind them. In addition, under another green mountain, the powerhouse of the mythical fire cult who had lived in seclusion for many years stood under a large waterfall. He let the water flow down and split in front of him, not a single drop touching him. Are you waiting here to kill me? Yi Fan glanced at the people present and revealed a cold smile. He said, it seems that I really have fate with great Emperor Wu if it weren't for you, I'm afraid I wouldn't have found his residence. What are you talking about? Who is Great Emperor Wu The old man under the waterfall suddenly opened his eyes. You're born and raised in the northern region. Have you never heard of the legend of Great Emperor Wu Yi Fan asked. He really wanted to understand some information from these people, even though he didn't have much hope. Are you stalling for time? Du Chinkuan said sarcastically. He said, how can there be such a person in the northern region who dares to call himself a Great Emperor? How arrogant. Don't make up stories. I'm talking to your lord. Don't talk nonsense. Yi Fan glanced at him. You're just a young Taoist priest. How dare you talk to me like this? As the eldest disciple of the mythical fire sect, Du Chinkuan was proud and arrogant. He was angry that he was looked down upon by a young Taoist priest in his teens. You're about to die, but you're still pretending to be crazy. Li Yu Ro waved his folding fan and walked forward. Yi Fan snorted coldly. He waved his sleeves and sent the two of them flying. He didn't even look at them. He looked directly at the old man under the waterfall and the supreme leader of the mysterious moon cave who was sitting cross-legged at the peak of the mountain. In the northern region, there was a great emperor in the Jiang family and an empress in the Jade Pool. But that was long before the antiquity age. It's been at least hundreds of thousands of years, or even two hundred thousand years. The old man from the mythical fire sect frowned. Great Emperor Wu Shi, Is there such a person? The supreme leader of the mysterious moon cave still had his eyes closed. He was sitting on a green stone at the peak of the mountain. Yi Fan smiled calmly and said, since you don't know, then forget it. I'll go and see for myself. Chapter 219 
In the reddish-brown land of the northern region, the Jiang family had a great emperor, and the Jade Pool had an empress. It was because of such existences that they created the world-shaking ancient scripture and left behind ultimate weapons that they could transcend the mortal world and still prosper for hundreds of thousands of years. From the carvings in the Purple Mountain, it could be seen that the ancients admired Emperor Wu Shi to the extreme. Unfortunately, because he didn't leave behind any legacy, this supreme emperor that shook the primordial era was gradually buried in the dust of history, and there weren't many people who knew of this name anymore. In the ancient times, there was Gu Tian Shu, and in the last four or five thousand years, there was Jiang Taishu. Both of them yearned for the Wuxia scripture and regretted not being able to see it. What Yi Fan lacked the most was a cultivation method, and he yearned for the Wuxia scripture very much. He wished he could enter the Purple Mountain protected by the Nine Dragon Veins and open the Thick Stone scripture. Patriarch, you must not let this Taoist escape. I believe he must be from the same sect as that fat Taoist. Du Chinkuan's eyes were spitting fire as he struggled to get up from the ground. Sovereign sect master, you must kill this bastard. Li Yuran was furious. He ordered the surrounding disciples, seal the mountain and seal the green light sect. Don't let him escape. Yi Fan glanced at them and shook his head, let me do it. He tossed out all 108 flags, shooting towards the 18 peaks of Green Dawn, completely trapping this place. You, actually sealed us here? Du Chinkuan and Li Yu Ran were deeply surprised by Yi Fan's actions, and then they sneered. Does he really think he's a Grandmaster? He wants to defeat the Sovereign Sect Master at this age? Ha ha ha. The Supreme Sect Master of the Mysterious Moon Cavern, with his white hair fluttering in the wind, sat cross-legged on the mountain peak. He suddenly opened his eyes, which were as bright as two pearls, and said, Are you very confident that you want to kill all of us here? I think it should be possible. Yi Fan smiled. I can see that you're a young man. The younger generation will surpass us in time. The Supreme Sect Master of the Mysterious Moon Cave stood up and said, I just don't know if you really have the strength. You'll know after you try. Even if you are a descendant of a sacred land, you still don't dare to walk the mortal world at your age. You are quite conceited. The Grand Elder of the Li Fire Sect walked out of the waterfall. Today, it's useless to say anything else. You're waiting here to kill me. Yi Fan unfolded his Daoist robe and also walked forward. I came back to kill you all. It can be said that only one of us can survive. The surrounding disciples saw what happened and started discussing. Many of them found it hard to believe that a young man could defeat two elders from the Holy Xi Palace secret plane. Is he crazy? Although he can send senior brotherly flying, how can he compare to the Supreme Sect Master? Don't you know that there are some people in this world who are extremely conceited? They always want to measure how high the sky is and how thick it is, and in the end, they will send themselves to their graves, ha ha ha. In such a desolate area, for such a low-level sect, no matter how talented they were, it was impossible for them to cultivate to such a frightening level. Because they had all heard that even the outstanding disciples of a sacred land would find it difficult to do so at this age. Don't tell me he really has a sect, and he's already here. Otherwise, isn't he just courting death? Some people are willing to die. What are you worried about? If I were the supreme sect master, would directly break all the bones in his body with a slap. However, I'll let him live for a few more hours. I won't kill him immediately and let him taste the bitter consequences of his arrogance. Yi Fan looked back at them. Although his gaze was calm, these people could not help but shut their mouths. Let me see what you have up your sleeve. In front of the waterfall, the grand elder of the Li Fire sect floated over like a ghost. His feet did not touch the ground, and his body did not shake. He floated over like a ghost when he was still ten feet away. His arm shook violently, and his right hand formed the shape of a claw. Every finger was several meters long, and they were all black and blue. Purple lightning coiled around them, crackling. A heart-palpitating aura instantly suffused the sky. It was a destructive force that was violent and terrifying. The huge black claw was still expanding. In almost an instant, it covered an area of over a hundred meters. Lightning flashed and thunder rumbled. It was like a dark cloud that completely enveloped Yi Fan. Kacha. Blood-colored lightning crisscrossed and descended from the huge claw. This was the combination of a secret technique and divine power. It was swift and domineering. The huge claw swept through the sky and covered the heavens and the earth. Such a powerful attack made one feel suffocated. Yi Fan faced it calmly. His response was simple and direct. He waved his right fist to meet the attack. The golden fist did not seem to be made of flesh and blood. It radiated light as if it had just been tempered in a divine furnace. Everyone present was filled with confidence in the Grand Elder of the Li Fire sect. After all, he was a senior expert at the third level of the Dao Palace. It could not be said that it would be easy for him to deal with a young expert. Boom. However, the result was beyond everyone's expectations. The golden fist flew up and instantly shattered the huge claw of light. Its power did not diminish, and lightning flashed. Bang. Yi Fan's golden fist had unparalleled destructive power. It was indestructible and destroyed the palm and fingers of the Grand Elder of the Li Fire sect in an instant. Blood splattered and light flashed. The Grand Elder of the Li Fire sect felt as if he had been kissed by a snake. 
Half of his body trembled and he was sent flying. It was hard to imagine how much power Yi Fan's golden fist had. What he had actually touched was the claw of light. The golden astral wind had merely brushed past the flesh of the Grand Elder, but it was already too much for him to bear. His entire right arm was completely deformed and twisted. How is this possible? How old is he? How can his physical body be so strong? He actually sent a senior expert at the third level of the Dao Palace flying. Isn't this too unbelievable? His physical body is comparable to a precious treasure. Pure physical strength crushed the Grand Elder's arm. This. The disciples all sucked in a cold breath. They had never expected such an outcome. Thinking of what they had said not long ago, they felt a chill in their hearts. This little Taoist was simply a monster. He was probably even more terrifying than the successors of holy lands of the same age. No one could laugh against such an opponent. At that moment, everyone looked at Yi Fan. They were shocked to find that he was standing with his hands behind his back, his robes fluttering. That attack just now had been very casual. You. The Grand Elder of the Li Fire sect was shocked and could not be described with words. His head of grey hair danced in the wind as he quickly reconnected his broken arm. With a loud shout, his palm and fingers moved slowly, as if he was lifting a mountain. A terrifying aura shook out, like a raging wave hitting the sky. Boom! In his arms, a mountain actually appeared. Standing with the mountain in his arms, it filled his chest and emitted an indescribable pressure. It was an unparalleled pressure. Mountain Embracing Seal The disciples of the Li Fire sect exclaimed. This was the ultimate skill of the Li Fire sect, the highest secret of the sect. Several generations of sect leaders had not been able to cultivate it, and they did not expect the strongest grand elder of the sect to succeed. Such a real mountain, although not big and could even be said to be very small, the terrifying pressure shook people's hearts. Wisps of mist flowed out. This mountain was held in the arms of the grand elder of the mythical fire sect. It was extremely heavy, and the void beneath his feet collapsed under his weight. Suppress. The grand elder of the Li fire sect only shouted a single word. The mountain embracing seal pressed down, unstoppable. A huge mountain stood high in the sky. The power it exuded could tear one's soul apart. Many people felt a terrifying sense of suffocation, unable to breathe. The surrounding young disciples immediately went limp on the ground. This great pressure was like a demonic mountain pressing down on them. They could not bear it at all. Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. The old cultivator at the third level of the Doctrine Palace was indeed terrifying. Each level was like heaven and earth. Being one level higher was equivalent to ascending to another level of heaven. This was like the gap between immortals and mortals. It was a gap that could not be crossed. If it were any other cultivator, they would not be able to resist and would certainly be crushed to death on the spot. However, Yi Fan's body was special. His body was like a bottomless pit. In the process of cultivation, the amount of spiritual qi he needed was much higher than that of ordinary people. This also gave him the foundation to fight immortals as a mortal. He could cross the chasm of heaven and earth and kill strong cultivators of a higher level. Mountain Embracing Seal, you can't kill me. Although Yi Fan shouted in a low voice, he did not dare to underestimate it. His expression was solemn. His hands moved slowly, and a terrifying aura also burst forth. Above his head, a huge mountain appeared in the sky. It was like it had crossed through the ancient world, breaking through time and space. It was endlessly majestic and imposing, causing one's heart, soul, and spirit to tremble uncontrollably. Although it was blurry at first, it quickly became clear. It was like a dragon rising from the sea, like a pillar rising from the earth. The huge mountain was like the sky. The majestic ancient mountain stood above Yi Fan. It was as if he was carrying the blue sky on his back. At this moment, with Yi Fan as the center, powerful energy waves roared like a roaring river. They rushed out and wreaked havoc in all directions. Above his head, the huge mountain reached the sky. Silver waterfalls poured down, long rivers surged, ancient trees towered into the sky, and birds and beasts flew away. Everything was clearly visible. Mountain River Great Seal Yi Fan shouted. His hands held up to the sky. The huge mountain flew across the sky. Like the sea emerging from the abyss, it split the sky. This was one of the nine secrets, an unparalleled secret art of killing. It moved in all directions, and everyone's heart trembled with fear. The huge mountain pressed down, suppressing the huge mountain in front. The mountain river great seal against the mountain embracing seal. The mountains collided. It was as if the sea was collapsing and the earth was collapsing. It was as if the sky was falling and the earth was turning upside down. The terrifying aura shook in all directions. There were violent waves everywhere. There were beams of light everywhere. There was destructive power everywhere. There was no longer a peaceful place under the sky. Hom. There was a boundless explosion. The world was overturned. After the two mountains collided, a violent and tyrannical aura swept through the world, rushing in all directions. The mountain river embracing seal was completely defeated. The mountain river great seal condensed and didn't dissipate. It split the sky and shook the earth. The chest of the leaf fire cult supreme elder caved in. His body shriveled like a broken drum. He was sent flying hundreds of meters away. 
The bones all over his body made cracking sounds. It was obvious that they were broken in many places. Many places were completely deformed. Yi Fan stood with his head held high. He wasn't injured at all. His Daoist robe fluttered in the wind. He strode in the air, agile and elegant. Each step covered a hundred meters. It was as if he had shrunk the earth to inches. In the blink of an eye, he was in front of the Supreme Elder. The mountain river Great Seal trembled. Its pressure was as heavy as the sky as it hung above his head. Two sharp rays of light shot out from Yi Fan's eyes. The mountain river Great Seal pressed down, causing one's mind and soul to tremble. Although the body of the Li Fire Cult Supreme Elder was broken, he was indeed a very powerful cultivator. He opened his mouth and spat out a shining copper cauldron. The copper cauldron was only an inch tall. It was extremely sparkling and bright. It spread out in the wind and rapidly enlarged. In an instant, it stood horizontally in front of him, blocking the Mountain River Great Seal. Dang! The Mountain River Great Seal pressed down and collided with the copper cauldron. There was a loud sound like the vibration of a great bell. Yi Fan was shocked. This copper cauldron wasn't damaged. It was still enlarging and towering between the heaven and earth. It had the aura of eternal immortality. Kill. He lightly shouted and continued to activate the Mountain River Great Seal. He didn't believe that this copper cauldron could block the Battle Saint technique. Dang! The long vibrating sound resounded through the heaven and earth. The copper cauldron shook again. At the same time, it enlarged a lot. It was already standing in the air like a mountain peak. At the same time, the shriveled body of the Lee Fire Cult Supreme Elder crackled. All the bones in his body were reconnecting and his muscles bulged. Although his vitality was greatly injured and his essence blood was damaged, he had the ability to fight again in a short period of time. He activated his potential and Dao energy. Boom! The flames in the copper cauldron soared into the sky. The Lee Fire Cult Supreme Elder took this chance to escape. He stood in the air and looked at Yi Fan in disbelief. Such a great defeat caused his heart to turn cold. At this moment, everyone felt a wave of fear. Such a young Daoist had such terrifying battle prowess. The Mountain River Great Seal had completely defeated the Lee Fire Cult Supreme Elder. It was truly frightening. The disciples who were paralyzed on the ground just now finally woke up and quickly retreated. When they looked at Yi Fan again, they all felt their scalps go numb. This young Daoist with a gentle smile made them feel endless fear. They couldn't help but feel a lingering fear when they thought of what they had said. The mysterious Moon Cave's elite disciple Li Yuran and the Li Fire Cult sect leader's eldest disciple Du Chinkuan all had ashen faces. This young Daoist was much younger than them, but he was so powerful that the older generation had almost died. The outstanding disciples of the Holy Grounds are only a so-so. The Li Fire Cult Supreme Elder sighed. They. Yi Fan smiled and slowly walked forward. On the mountain peak, the mysterious Moon Cave Supreme Elder descended and said, It's even more shocking that you aren't a disciple of the Holy Grounds. In the future, you will definitely become a great enemy of the Great Sage's Holy Sons and Holy Daughters. Yi Fan had to face these two opponents. The third stage of the Dao Palace was a world above him. They were indeed formidable opponents. If he is allowed to grow, we will be in great trouble. We can only join forces now. The Li Fire Cult Supreme Elder had a solemn expression. All right, I'm going to annihilate a genius today. The Sovereign Sect's Master of Dark Moon Cave nodded. I'm afraid it'll be very difficult to kill me. Let me send you on your way. Yi Fan's expression was calm, but a formless killing intent filled the surroundings. At this moment, he seemed to be one with the heavens. The aura of the Dao flowed with every move he made, and his body vibrated with terrifying Dao energy. Along with his divine treasure of lungs, he drew upon the power of the world. It really seemed like a blue sky was pressing down. He carried the blue sky on his back, and the mountain river seal was suspended above his head. Birds and beasts flew around, and a silver waterfall poured down. The mountains and rivers were vast, simple, yet grand, and majestic. Chapter 220 the young Daoist in his teens stood there quietly with clear eyes and his clothes fluttering in the wind. He had a delicate appearance, but at this moment, the mountain and river seal floated above his head, giving off an otherworldly aura that made the surroundings go silent. This was a strange scene. The Supreme Elder and Mysterious Moon Cave Supreme Sect Master were filled with surging killing intent. Their bodies were like furnaces as they faced this young man as if they were facing a great enemy. Tut! The Supreme Elder shouted and was the first to attack. He opened his mouth and spat out a dazzling beam of light that froze in midair. The bronze furnace appeared once more. It shone brightly and quickly grew from an inch tall. In the blink of an eye, it stood towering in the sky, reaching a height of 100 meters. Rumble. The furnace shook and a tsunami-like sound suddenly rang out. It was so loud that it caused everyone's ears to ring. The lid of the furnace flickered with brilliance. Although it was made of copper, it was almost transparent like a five-colored glass. The raging flames inside could be seen clearly. Crack. The lid of the furnace moved. The five-colored glass flickered and the lid slid open. Instantly, flames shot into the sky. A blazing inferno swept high into the sky. It was an extremely terrifying temperature. 
The copper furnace towered in midair. On a green peak right next to it, a waterfall that was falling down was instantly evaporated. A hazy mist swept in all directions. The bone-chilling heat made everyone sweat like rain. Their flesh and blood were about to dry up, and many people's hair started to burn. In the distance, the disciples were astounded. They could feel such a terrifying feeling even outside the battlefield. If they were closer, they would probably be turned into ashes immediately. The sect guarding bronze furnace really is terrifying. Many of the Leafire sect disciples felt fear, but at the same time, confidence also grew in their hearts. The Grand Elder had even brought out the sect's ultimate killing weapon. If he still couldn't burn this youth to death, then he would really be a monster. The Supreme Sect Master of the Mysterious Moon Cave's white hair fluttered in the wind. His eyes flickered as he said, the sect guarding bronze furnace of the Leafire sect is truly awe-inspiring. As the Supreme Sect Master of a sect, he sighed with emotion. One could imagine how terrifying this furnace was. It was definitely a terrifying weapon. The bronze cauldron was like a great mountain. It descended towards Yifan, the entire sky was covered in red radiance. This was an enormous pressure that caused one's heart to tremble with fear. It could burn one's soul and bones, refine one's flesh, and burn everything in all directions. Yifan's Taoist robes fluttered in the wind as he stepped into the sky. The great mountain and river seal above his head transformed into a brilliant light. The mountains and rivers were vast and boundless, exuding a vigorous atmosphere as it imprinted towards the copper cauldron. Clang! The great imprint was like the heavens as it smashed into the copper furnace. It was as if a dragon was splitting the heavens, and the sound was distant. Many people's ears immediately bled, as if they had been cut by a sharp sword. Ah! Uh. Quite a few people cried out miserably, covering their ears in pain. They were sent flying by the formless sound wave, leaving everyone horrified. The mythical fire cult's cult guarding copper cauldron had a monstrous might of fire, and the sound it produced could injure others. It possessed incomparable destructive power. No one knew better than Yifan how terrifying the great seal of mountains and rivers was. At this moment, he couldn't help but be shocked that it had not cracked the copper furnace. One could imagine how extraordinary the furnace was. Boom! The flames were like a waterfall, pouring down from the copper furnace towards Yifan. The scarlet red splendor filled the sky, and everything was red. Ah! Uh. In the distant sky, those disciples cried out because of Yifan. Some people's clothes burned on their own, turning into ashes. Endlessly fire roiled and boiled. There was nothing else in the world except red light. Yi Fan used the great seal of mountains and rivers to press down on the huge furnace, wanting to forcibly lock it in place. Clang! He did not retreat, but instead advanced. He rushed over, his golden palm swinging like a millstone, continuously striking the huge copper cauldron. An ear-piercing sound resounded through the world. The millstone-sized golden palm was like a windmill, striking the copper cauldron until flames overflowed in all directions. Golden light soared into the sky. This kind of terrifying power made the spectators' hearts jump. Clang, clang, clang. Yi Fan was like the wind, like lightning, circling around the 100-meter tall cauldron. It was unknown how many times he had struck out, but the sparkling walls of the cauldron incessantly resounded. His physical body was extremely powerful, and no one could say how much power he had when using the battle saint technique. But he still could not break the cauldron. Clang, clang. The golden palm struck the cauldron so hard that it shook the sky. Deep palm prints were imprinted on the surface, and even the patterns were incomparably clear. But after a short period of time, they naturally disappeared. Boom! The flames were torrential. The scarlet flames in the copper cauldron surged like water, drowning towards Yi Fan. It was as if it could burn everything in the world. At this moment, even the spectators in the distant sky felt their flesh lacerated. The leaf fire was turbulent, falling from the mouth of the cauldron with no way to stop it. Bzzz! Yi Fan's palm and fingers shook. The golden light became even more intense, almost translucent. This was the great seal of nine secrets, and when it was swung, it possessed an unfathomable power. Clang! The millstone-sized golden palm slammed into the sky, scattering the falling leaf fire. The great golden seal heavily slammed into the wall of the cauldron. This kind of drawn-out vibrating sound resounded through the azure clouds. The sound traveled for dozens of miles, almost splitting the eardrums of those who heard it. A palm print that was half a meter deep was deeply imprinted on the copper furnace, but it did not break or disappear, and quickly recovered. Yi Fan frowned. The great seal of mountains and rivers and the great golden seal of nine secrets were both offensive techniques he had used, but they were unable to break this cauldron. This made him apprehensive. He used crazy bowl's footwork and was about to soar into the sky towards the honorable elder of the Leaf Fire cult. Since he could not break this cauldron, he wanted to kill the controller. The honorable elder of the Leaf Fire cult had previously fought with his physical body and suffered a great loss. He was already wary and had been on guard, afraid that Yi Fan would come to him. Birth of the Fire Phoenix. The Honorable Elder of the Leaf Fire Cult shouted. A fire phoenix suddenly rushed out of the huge cauldron in the sky. It spread its wings and soared into the sky. Flames and lava surged, like a long river, rushing into the sky. The cry of the phoenix shook the sky, clear and distant. 
The fire phoenix was in the sky, and beside it, there were 81 streams of lava, like waterfalls flowing in reverse. The sky was filled with crimson light, and the void seemed to be distorted by the heat. The green mountain next to it withered in an instant, and all the plants on the peak of the mountain were turned into ashes. The rocks on the mountain peak melted, turning into a layer of red liquid that slowly flowed down. The waterfall dried up, but the rivers of fire continued to flow down. This scene made people's hearts palpitate. The blazing temperature made everyone feel fear. The fire phoenix seemed to have a mind of its own. It swooped down, pouncing towards Yifan. The 81 rivers of fire surged over at the same time. Boom! The mountain peak to the side was touched and instantly melted. The 10 meter tall mountain peak instantly disappeared, turning into lava and then into gas, rising into the sky. Such a terrifying temperature caused even Yifan's expression to change. This cauldron made him feel an extraordinary energy. Rise! The mountain and river seal was raised by Yifan with a single hand and struck towards the fire phoenix. Boom! The flame soared into the sky. The fire phoenix spread its wings and let out a long cry. It flew backwards, its divine wings disheveled. Flames rushed in all directions. Beside them, the mountain that had lost its peak was turned into ashes again. Seal! At this moment, the honorable sect master of the mystic moon cavern, who hadn't made a move yet, made his move. He grasped the opportunity and ruthlessly and accurately pushed Yifan into a dead end. When the mountain and river seal once again struck towards the fire phoenix, he shook his hand and a scroll appeared. In an instant, it covered the sky and covered the earth. Li fire soared into the sky. Yi Fan used the mountain and river seal to kill the fire phoenix, but the scroll immediately enveloped him like a world covering the sky. The scroll formed a pure land of its own. It had a terrifying devouring power that wanted to suck him in. Yi Fan was fearless. His golden palm shook towards the sky, wanting to tear this demonic painting apart. However, at this moment, the lid of the cauldron flew up completely. All the flames were restrained, like a black hole that could swallow the world. Bang! Yi Fan attacked the demonic painting but didn't fall into it. He didn't want the real devouring power to come from behind and be sucked in by the bronze cauldron that towered in the sky. Multicolored light flowed, and the glass-like lid flew back with a clang. It sealed the cauldron and suppressed Yi Fan inside. In the distance, all the disciples cheered loudly. Everyone felt as if a heavy burden had been lifted from their shoulders. The main thing was that Yi Fan was too strong. He was a young Taoist, but he was as terrifying as a demon. Everyone present felt a deep sense of dread. We finally sucked him in. We must kill him and refine him in the cauldron forever. As expected of the sect guarding Copper Cauldron. I think we can quickly burn him to ashes and make him unable to reincarnate. Everyone heaved a sigh of relief. Yi Fan's great mountain seal, as well as its terrifying offensive power, still made them feel some lingering fear. The supreme sect master of the mysterious moon cavern put away the huge scroll that covered the sky and sighed. This Li Fire Divine Cauldron is indeed terrifying. No matter how powerful you are, you can't resist it. This is the treasure of our sect. It's a great killing weapon left behind by our predecessors. The Supreme Elder of the Li Fire Sect answered with a smile. He was finally at ease after suppressing the powerful young Taoist priest. Could this be a replica of the legendary Divine Sun Cauldron? The Supreme Sect Master of the Mysterious Moon Cavern asked. The Supreme Elder of the Li Fire Sect shook his head and said, An extreme weapon. How can an ordinary person make a replica? I think it's just a failed product. Otherwise, it wouldn't have fallen into the hands of a small sect like ours. Kuang Dang, Kuang Dang. Five colored light shot out from the lid of the cauldron and shook back and forth. The entire cauldron was shaking violently. Oh no, he's going to charge out. The supreme elder of the Li Fire sect was shocked. How can this be possible? Isn't the ultimate killing weapon of the Li Fire sect capable of melting everything? I've never heard of someone being able to escape after being sucked into it. The supreme sect master of the mysterious moon cavern revealed a shocked expression. The sound shook the sky. All the disciples were shocked and revealed terrified expressions. Clang. The lid of the cauldron flew half a foot into the air and was almost blasted away. Seal. The supreme elder of the Li Fire sect shouted. Li Fire surged and sealed the cauldron. At the same time, the supreme sect master of the mysterious moon cavern made a move. He took out the demonic painting with the intention of trapping the cauldron. Bang. Flames surged into the sky while the lid of the cauldron shot into the sky and was blasted away. Meanwhile, Yi Fan had shot into the sky. The Supreme Elder of the Li Fire Sect and the Supreme Sect Master of the Mysterious Moon Cavern hadn't attacked too late, but they were still unable to stop Yi Fan from escaping. One of the Nine Secrets, the Battle Saint Technique, was ever-changing. Yi Fan had forcefully executed a few dozen offensive techniques. The formidable might of his attacks was unparalleled. The lid of the cauldron loosened and was blasted away. It was utterly impossible to seal it. Chapter 221 Withdraw. The mythical fire sect supreme elder shouted. His long hair was disheveled and his silver strands danced in the wind. 
He did his best to control the mythical fire divine furnace, wanting to suck Yi Fan inside again. The bronze furnace shook. Its entire body was sparkling and translucent. Flames rushed into the sky and rose rapidly. The mouth of the furnace was like a black hole, crazily devouring everything around it. Boom! The green mountain beside him trembled and its peak collapsed. The 20 meter tall mountain peak broke off and was sucked into the mythical fire divine furnace like dust. Kacha! The green mountain was still collapsing. Even larger rocks and mountains fell off and rushed into the terrifying furnace. This was a terrifying scene. The mythical fire divine furnace's power was beyond imagination. It had the power to uproot mountains and evaporate seas, as well as the power to devour the heavens. Although Yi Fan managed to force his way out, he was pulled down by the furnace below and was about to enter the blazing furnace. At the same time, the five-colored furnace flew back and directly smashed towards Yi Fan, wanting to press him into the furnace and seal him inside. Dang! Yi Fan's eyes were sharp. A large golden finger pressed down, striking the five-colored furnace lid and sending it flying. Withdraw! The mythical fire sect Supreme Elder was extremely anxious. He continuously spat out three mouthfuls of essence blood onto the furnace. He focused his mind on it and used all his strength to activate this great killing weapon. Rumble. Mountain rocks tumbled and large trees were uprooted, flying towards the huge black hole in the sky. Everything was swallowed up. At the side, the broken mountain collapsed once again, reaching a height of more than 20 meters. It was sucked in by the powerful divine furnace and turned into ashes. The mythical fire divine furnace could refine all things. The mouth of the furnace was pitch black as if it was connected to the abyss of hell. Dang! Yi Fan was forcefully pulled down, but he didn't fall into the furnace. His feet stomped heavily on the mouth of the furnace as if a 10,000 caddy hammer had smashed onto it. The sound of metal pierced through metal and cracked stone. The green mist 18 peaks were all shaking. Many people screamed and covered their ears as they fell from the sky. Blood flowed out from the gaps between their fingers. Yi Fan's feet were deeply imprinted on the mouth of the furnace, as if he had the power to trample the heavens. The entire furnace was shaking violently. Not far away, the Grand Elder of the Distant Fire sect was bleeding from his mouth and nose, and fine cracks had appeared on his body. This. The Sovereign Sect's Master of Dark Moon Cave was anxious. The devilish painting he'd summoned couldn't harm Yi Fan if it was too far away, but it would be in danger of being devoured by the Copper Furnace if it was too close. Yi Fan stepped on the mouth of the cauldron. Facing this huge cauldron that was comparable to a mountain, he firmly stabilized himself. His body seemed to be rooted in the cauldron, and even the powerful devouring power couldn't shake him. Clang. His hands were like windmills, continuously slapping down, hitting the furnace, causing a series of loud rumbling sounds. The Lee Fire Cult Supreme Elder's body trembled. He needed to provide a tremendous amount of divine force to activate this killing weapon. He seemed to have become one with the Copper Furnace. Even though the Copper Furnace was large, it continuously shook, as if it would be overturned at any time. Rumbling sounds rang out as flames rushed into the heavens. Yi Fan's golden palm and fingers were even more terrifying than other people's magic treasures. When he hit the copper cauldron, the sound was so loud that it shook the sky, leaving clear finger marks on it. PFFF The Li Fire Cult Supreme Elder finally couldn't hold on any longer. His Tao energy was almost exhausted, and he coughed up large mouthfuls of blood. His entire body was on the verge of collapsing, and he was about to fall from the sky. Yi Fan's divine force was indomitable, and he would never tire. He was the best cultivator at the same level, and not only did his offensive power not decrease, it even grew stronger. Clang. In the end, he slapped the Li Fire Divine Furnace away. Even though he still couldn't shatter it, he managed to send this hundred meter tall furnace far away. With unparalleled combat strength, an imposing aura, and an invincible killing technique, Yi Fan's divine might was awe-inspiring as he forcefully sent the Li Fire Divine Furnace flying. At this moment, he suddenly turned around. Even though he was still young, he revealed his sharpness. He stepped through the air and charged at the Li Fire Cult Supreme Elder. In the distance, all the young disciples were terrified, and they didn't even dare to breathe loudly. Tut. The Supreme Elder of the Mystic Moon Cavern shouted and finally attacked again. The demonic painting in his hand unfolded and covered the sky in an instant. It was like a great river that cut off the path ahead. Yi Fan shouted. His hands changed and formed seals continuously. His speed was extremely fast, and illusions were everywhere. It was hazy, like a thousand hand guanine, or a multi armed demon. The cry of a phoenix shook the sky. A fire phoenix soared into the sky, burning the heavens. It flapped its wings and let out a long cry. Its divine feathers flickered, and an earth-shattering phoenix might swept across the sky. The fire phoenix soared through the sky like a magnificent army galloping, and also like ancient chariots rolling across the sky. It rumbled and shook the sky. This is. The supreme elder of the mystic moon cavern was shocked. This fire phoenix was even stronger than the one that rushed out of the bronze furnace. How did he strike out a fire phoenix? The disciples of the Lee fire cult were incomparably shocked. The nine secrets was a supreme killing art. Once it was comprehended, it would have endless transformations and endless killing moves. 
Every time it was comprehended, there would be a different killing art. Just now, Yi Fan was sealed in the Li Fire Divine Furnace. Facing the monstrous flames, he felt something and formed the Fire Phoenix Seal. Boom! The Fire Phoenix in the sky brought with it an earth-shattering fire as it pounced towards the huge demonic painting. The two collided fiercely, and flames were everywhere. The Fire Phoenix against the demonic painting. A terrifying aura filled the air and flickered incessantly. Yi Fan soared through the sky and appeared in front of the Supreme Elder of the Li Fire Cult. At this point, no one could save him. Yi Fan's killing intent surged, and his battle prowess surged as he slashed forward with his palm. How? More than ten weapons were smashed into smithereens by the Battle Saint technique. The Golden Palm slapped the body of the Supreme Elder of the Li Fire Cult, and his body was immediately smashed into pieces. Even if that head was not swept by the Golden Palm, it was directly smashed, and white brain matter splattered out like tofu. Pfft. Yi Fan flipped his hand and swept out. The Golden Palm of the Millstone turned everything in the sky into dust. In the end, nothing was left. Demon King, this Daoist is a Demon King. In the distant sky, the faces of the Li Fire cult disciples were pale. This result was difficult for them to accept. The number one expert of the cult with the sex divine furnace had been smashed into ashes. How could they resist? They wanted to escape, but they found that the green mist had been sealed, and there was no way out. All of their faces were ashen. The supreme sect master of the mystic moon cavern felt a chill in his heart. Even the Li Fire divine furnace could not suppress this little Daoist. He knew that everything pointed to disaster today. The demonic painting rustled, and it was as if a world was rising and falling. It covered the sky and pressed down on Yi Fan. Thousands of purple lights and tens of thousands of wisps of mist appeared. A huge whirlpool appeared, wanting to suck Yi Fan into the painting. Unfortunately, although the painting was extraordinary, it could not compare to the Li Fire Divine Furnace. It could not suck Yi Fan in at all. Bang! Yi Fan spread his arms and struck towards the sky. His offensive technique changed endlessly, and it lasted for an entire quarter of an hour, causing the sky to tremble. Crack. In the end, Yi Fan tore open the sky with his bare hands and tore apart the huge demonic painting that covered the sky. The supreme sect master of the mystic moon cavern shouted, but he was unable to change anything. Yi Fan arrived in the blink of an eye, and his huge golden hand covered the sky and pressed down on the supreme sect master. He sealed off the sky and raised his cultivation to the limit, displaying his most powerful battle prowess. Killing techniques emerged endlessly. Without any suspense, the Golden Fist pierced through and smashed the Supreme Sect Master of the Mystic Moon Cavern into pieces, and he died with everlasting regret. The wind from the Golden Fist shook, and the Supreme Sect Master of the Mystic Moon Cavern was reduced to ashes. He was erased from this world forever. During this entire process, the former Sect Master of the Mystic Moon Cavern had withdrawn countless weapons, and even the gods within his body had charged out, but they were unable to stop all of this. There was a difference of a realm and a layer of heaven between them, but Yi Fan had succeeded in killing an immortal and surmounting a realm. Yi Fan stood silently in the sky with his black hair fluttering in the wind. His eyes were clear, and his robe was clean. He had killed two experts without a single drop of blood on him. Let me go. The eldest disciple of the Li Fire sect, Du Chimkuan, spoke with a trembling voice. Yi Fan turned around and tapped lightly with his finger. Poo! A bloody hole appeared on Du Chimkuan's forehead, and he died on the spot. You! The disciple of the Mystic Moon Cavern, Li Yu Ro, revealed fear and retreated swiftly. Poo! Yi Fan tapped again with his finger, and a bloody flower bloomed from the center of Li Yu Ro's forehead as well, and he fell to the ground. Don't kill us. The others trembled. Yi Fan didn't speak, and he just swept his divine perception towards the surroundings. He wasn't a bloodthirsty person, but in this blood-soaked northern region, some people had to be killed. The Li Fire sect and the Mystic Moon Cavern were the same as the Qing Xia sect. They were sects in name, but they secretly committed great evil and plundered everywhere. In their eyes, human life was as cheap as grass, and their hands were stained with blood. Yi Fan used his divine perception to explore their sea of knowledge. He flicked his ten fingers, and beams of light shot out, and strings of blood splashed. The grass and trees were stained with blood, and he floated past, leaving behind corpses. When Yi Fan stopped, the Qing Xia sect was already lifeless. More than seventy people had died a violent death, and all of them were mercilessly beheaded by him. He sighed, stepped on the bluestone ancient steps, and walked away step by step. Killing was not a pleasant thing. No one was willing to stain their hands with blood, and no one was born heartless, but he had to make a move. Some people had to be killed. In the face of those who deserved to be killed, if one was soft-hearted, it would be equivalent to condoning evil. Yi Fan felt that he wasn't a bad person, and of course, he wasn't a good person. How many evil people were there in the world? It was impossible for him to kill all over the world, and he could only do his best when he met them. Buzz! The Li Fire Divine Furnace rose from the ground and flew over from the 13th Green Peak. It slowly became smaller, turning into an inch high, and appeared in the palm of Yi Fan. 
Its whole body was sparkling, and bursts of heat overflowed. Clang. The colorful mist floated, and the furnace cover was also taken by Yi Fan and sealed on the copper furnace. It was seamless and became one, shining and looked very exquisite. On the body of the furnace, there were some blurry engravings, which were not very clear. It may have been gradually erased because of the passage of time. Vaguely, one could see a sun and a few divine birds. The engravings were blurred and difficult to identify. Could this really be an imitation of the ultimate weapon, the divine sun furnace? Yi Fan's fingers turned golden, and he squeezed hard, but he still couldn't destroy the divine furnace that was only an inch high. After this battle, he felt the difference between different realms. If the opponent was one realm higher than him, he was already under considerable pressure as a mortal. If the opponent was two heavens higher than him, he would definitely be in danger. However, he saw his own potential and felt the extraordinary nature of the Nine Secrets. If his realm increased, he would have nothing to fear. Yi Fan left the Qingxia sect and flew directly to the Sunset sect. He transformed into the appearance of the Supreme Elder of the Mythical Fire sect and killed his way in. At the Mountain Gate, he took out the Li Fire Divine Furnace, and suddenly, flames rose to the sky, turning one of the celestial peaks into a sea of fire. Then, he put away the Copper Furnace and killed his way to the Seven Stars Pavilion. He used the Li Fire Divine Furnace to release a monstrous fire, burning two celestial peaks, and floated away. Yi Fan didn't continue to pay attention. His sleeves fluttered, and he came to the mysterious Moon Cave, appearing in the former residence of Great Emperor Wuxia. There were many stone cliffs, and not even a blade of grass grew. It was very desolate. In the most desolate place, there was an ancient cave on a broken stone mountain. Time flowed like water, and the void was like sound, as if the great Tao was flowing out. Yi Fan stood there with his hands behind his back, looking up at the three lines of ancient words on the cliff that were about to be smoothed out. The Tao is boundless and ignorant, the heart is elegant and unrestrained, things are endless, and there is no wrong. The quiet, withered land gave people a feeling that the years were long and endless. The Emperor Jade in Yi Fan's hand was heating up in his palm, shining with a soft brilliance, and flowing out from between his fingers. Chapter 222 a gentle radiance flowed out from between Yi Fan's fingers, calming one's mind as if one was walking under the hazy moonlight. The Tao is boundless and incomprehensible. Yi Fan stood with his hands behind his back, feeling something in his heart. The Tao was formless and boundless. How could it be grasped? Who could say it clearly? After standing still for a long time, he walked to the front of the cave and touched the cold rock wall with his hand. The ancient characters that had been smoothed over time were very faint and would disappear forever in a short time. He used his finger as a pen to copy the three lines of words over and over again. His mind was focused on the ancient characters, trying to figure out Great Emperor Wuxia's state of mind. Yi Fan forgot everything else and stood alone in front of the stone wall. His movements became slower and slower as he enunciated each word with force. Like the bright moon in a well, he was fixed in front of the ancient cave. Time seemed to flow in reverse. He seemed to see a figure covered in dust standing on the desolate earth. He wanted to walk forward but found that Wuxia had no end, no end, and no way to get close. He knew that it was. Great Emperor Wuxia. Yi Fan was immersed in an extremely ethereal state. His fingers slowly moved as if he was lifting a great mountain that was as heavy as the heavens. Unfortunately, he could not get close to the figure at the end of the independent world. He could not see Great Emperor Wuxia. That was only a trace of an imprint erased by history. The Emperor Jade in Yi Fan's left hand became hotter and hotter. The cave gently swayed, and the stone surface cracked and fell off continuously. The ancient jade overflowed with splendor, flowing into the cave. Stone fragments swirled in the air and dust covered the ground. He stepped forward as if he was standing under the starry sky from hundreds of thousands of years ago. This Emperor Jade was not ordinary. It became increasingly misty and boiling hot, illuminating the entire ancient cave. It was as if a fragmented historical picture was unfolding before Yi Fan's eyes. An illusory figure was faintly discernible, flickering indefinitely. Gazing at the broken immortal path, I do not see the ancients before me, and I do not see those who will come after me. I stand alone at the top of the clouds. This was the imprint fixed by the Emperor Jade. The words of the great emperor from hundreds of thousands of years ago made one's heart surge. However, too much time had passed, and nothing could exist forever. In the end, the fragmented picture scroll scattered with the wind, and not much was left behind. As big as the ocean, as small as a speck of dust, all things exist. The voice stopped there. Yi Fan didn't move. His finger continued to carve words in the air. Just now, he felt an indescribable state of mind. There was a kind of emptiness that lasted until now. After an unknown period of time, his entire body shone with light, and all the pores on his body relaxed. He was like a jade man, untainted by even a speck of dust, as if he had received a baptism. After a full four hours, Yi Fan slowly regained his consciousness. He woke up from that inexplicable Tao rhythm. I must obtain the Wuxia scripture. He didn't hear the wondrous technique, but the remnant imprints still made him feel the charm of the great path. 
His spirit and body seemed to be bathed in holy light, receiving an indescribable baptism. With a rumbling sound, the rock wall collapsed. Yi Fan had no choice but to retreat. When he looked back, the ancient cave no longer existed. In the blink of an eye, it had already become a thing of the past. There was regret in his heart. Even though he already knew that the Wuxia scripture wasn't here, he was still a bit disappointed. The Emperor Jade was still shining, and it didn't dim. He knew that there was definitely something else. Stone cliffs stood in great numbers, and short mountains stood one after another. Immortal vines acted as a bridge, connecting one precipice to another. It was quiet and plain. Yi Fan walked forward, passing by stone mountains and walking towards the flowers and grass. He arrived at a secluded area. Who are you? The people of the mysterious moon cave were alarmed. Figures rushed over and berated one after another. Yi Fan arrived at the back of the mountain as if he was in an uninhabited place. His large sleeves fluttered, and the young disciples that rushed over were sent flying one after another. He helped the ancient jade in his hand, and he relied on his senses to search forward. Hurry and report to the elders. Someone has forced his way into our mysterious moon cave. There is a powerful enemy that has invaded our mysterious moon cave's back mountain. Many people shouted, reporting to the sex elders. Yi Fan floated past beautiful mountain peaks and arrived at a peaceful place. The back mountain was lush with vegetation, and there was a huge deep valley. After arriving here, the Emperor Jade became increasingly bright. It was extremely hot, and it wanted to fly out of his hand. This was an abandoned valley filled with junk. There were medicinal dregs, broken furnaces, rusted swords, and broken talismans. This was a desolate valley used to throw away things. It was unknown how many years had passed, but the vast valley was almost full. It was filled with the discarded items of cultivators, and the air was lifeless with turbid air rising into the air. This place. Yi Fan frowned, but he didn't hesitate too much. He shook his sleeves, and immediately, the junk flew everywhere. Broken copper and iron clanked as they fell into the distance. Daoist priest, what are you doing? An elder of the mysterious moon cave finally arrived. Yi Fan ignored him. His large sleeves moved back and forth, and the sky was filled with broken items. The valley was continuously cleaned up, and the Emperor Jade became increasingly hot. Pang. An elder rushed over and was slapped away by Yi Fan along with a large number of discarded items. Who are you? Why did you come here? A few elders flew over from the mysterious moon cave and landed around the valley. Yi Fan had already sealed the mysterious moon cave, so he didn't have any scruples and said, I'm the one who killed your sect master. What? The surrounding people were shocked. They hadn't received any news. They only knew that the previous sect master had stayed in Green Cloud sect and hadn't returned. Go and report to your current sect master. I'll take his life in a while. Yi Fan turned over the abandoned valley and continued his search. You, are talking nonsense. The supreme sect master is powerful and has been in closed door cultivation for many years. He rarely meets a match in this area. Yi Fan took out the leaf fire divine furnace and put the elders inside on the spot. With a flash of fire, they turned into black ash, and their names were erased from this place. You. The expressions of the others changed. This made them feel terrified. The elders didn't even have time to resist before they were killed. This kind of method caused everyone's calves to cramp up. In a state of panic, everyone fled cleanly. Yi Fan used the leaf fire divine furnace to refine the trash in the valley and finally cleaned it up. Clang. The ancient jade vibrated and shone even brighter. Yi Fan arrived at the bottom of the valley and started digging. He dug out a patch of black soil from the waste materials. Another imperial jade. He was overjoyed. There was a broken jade covered in dirt at the bottom of the valley. It was unknown how long it had been sealed for. Buzz. The two imperial jades met and radiated auspicious light. Yi Fan picked up the jade pendant on the ground. The dirt fell off and he placed them together. They reflected each other's radiance and were warm and crystalline. It's still incomplete. This is only two corners. I'm still missing six or seven pieces. Yi Fan frowned. However, he didn't expect to gather all the imperial jades in one go because that wasn't realistic. The headmaster of the mysterious moon cave and the eight supreme elders all rushed over. A great battle broke out. Unfortunately, this was a battle without any suspense. Yi Fan took out the leaf fire divine furnace, the flames crackled, and a mountain peak was melted. Magma surged and heat waves scorched the sky. Not long after, peace was restored to this place, and the nine rulers were all killed. Yi Fan leisurely walked to the front mountain. His heart was like an ancient well. He killed ten people with one step and flicked his finger again and again, ending one life after another. This was a massacre. One person killed more than two hundred people. All those who had committed heinous crimes and committed heinous crimes were completely wiped out by him, and their names were removed from this world. In the end, only thirty-one people were left alive. 
they really didn't do any evil and tried their best to oppose the plunder. Yi Fan opened the treasury of the mysterious moon cave. There was a total of 1,400 kilograms of origin source. It was comparable to that of the Qingxia sect. He unceremoniously put it into his pocket. He carefully flipped through the highest secret book of the mysterious moon cavern. Then, he tossed all the weapons to the living and left. These people were the future of miners, but he couldn't tell them about it now. Before coming to the mysterious moon cave, Yi Fan had disguised himself as the supreme elder of the Li Fire sect. He took out the divine furnace and set fire to several peaks of the Seven Stars Pavilion and Sunset sect. In the end, the two sects went to the Li Fire sect to denounce them. There was a bloody conflict, but there was no real fight. The Li Fire sect had a total of two supreme elders at the Third Realm. Yi Fan killed one of them, and there was still an expert guarding the sect. The experts of the three sects all agreed that the Li Fire Divine Furnace was taken away and it wasn't the real Li Fire sect Supreme Elder who killed them. Unfortunately, even if they deduced all this, they couldn't change anything. In the next few days, Yi Fan defeated them one by one. He visited the Li Fire sect, the Seven Stars Pavilion, and the Sunset sect, eliminating them one by one. After getting rid of the four malignant tumors in this area, he obtained a total of two Yuan Fangs, weighing 6,600 kilograms. This was a huge harvest, but it was still far from what he needed. Every step forward required ten times the amount. This meant that if he wanted to break through to the third realm of the Dao Palace, he needed ten thousand kilograms of source, or three Yuan Fangs. Yi Fan felt dizzy. He didn't even dare to think about it in the past. Now, the source he needed could no longer be measured in kilograms, but in Yuan Fangs. He could imagine gathering ten thousand kilograms, but when he thought of the next number, fifty thousand kilograms, he felt dizzy. If not for the Book of Origin, he felt that he could give up on cultivation. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to collect it. One could imagine that the next number would make even the sacred lands vomit blood. No one would be able to afford it. The Green Cloud, Seven Stars, Dark Moon, Sunset Sect, and Li Fire Sect only existed in name. They became Yi Fan's minds. His harvest was huge, especially when he found a yellowed book in the Li Fire Sect. There was only one move on it, embracing Mountain Seal. It was extremely profound and inspired him greatly. Similar to the Great Seal of Mountains and Rivers, its power was strangely great, giving his Battle Saint technique another change. If I get another Yuan Fangs, I can advance to the third realm of the Dao Palace. Yi Fan was lost in thought. He was preparing to enter the Jade Pool. He wasn't worried about the five sects being destroyed. Small grotto heavens like the Li Fire Sect, Green Cloud Sect, and Dark Moon Cave could be said to be the lowest level sects in the northern region. Above them were medium-sized sects, large sects, super forces, and sacred lands. Unless it was a small force in a life-forbidden zone or a divine medicine garden, the super sects would need to support them as outposts. Otherwise, it would be hard to have any interaction with them. The northern region was so vast that even a cultivator would need several months to fly from one end of the northern region to the other. Some sects were tens of thousands of miles away from each other, or even millions of miles away from each other. In such a large area, the large forces would naturally be known by people. But low-level sects like the Li Fire Sect and Dark Moon Cave were barely known by people. Only small sects of the same size in the area would have heard of them. It could be said that one was in the sky while the other was on the ground, the two were in two different worlds. Thus, Yi Fan wasn't worried that the disturbance here would attract the attention of any sacred land. The distance was too far, the sky in the sky wouldn't pay attention to an ant nest on the ground. Eastern Desolate had seven life forbidden zones. The southern region's ancient desolate forbidden zone and the northern region's origin ancient mine were among them. In terms of mystery, the northern region's life forbidden zone was undoubtedly at the top. It was originally a source mine, but it had become a land of death. Past holy lords never returned. It was named Origin Ancient Mine, meaning that it had existed before the creation of the world. It was hard to imagine how ancient it was. There was a type of legend that said that this ancient mine wasn't excavated by humans at all. It had already existed long before the human race came into existence. There was another type of saying that it was excavated by humans, but added the word, immortal, after the word, human. This type of saying wasn't very well accepted, because it was hard to say whether or not immortals really existed. No matter what, this was a forbidden land. Even if you were the pride of heaven of a generation, you still couldn't return. It was unknown just how many heroes had died there. The most recent time was 700 years ago. The imperial lord of an undying imperial court in the central plains, someone who could be considered a great ruler of a generation, someone who sat on endless beautiful mountains and rivers, entered Origin Ancient Mine for some reason. However, he didn't even cause a ripple before disappearing. Outside of Origin Ancient Mine, a large area was almost completely occupied by various great sage lands. It was the most productive Origin Mining area. Not a blade of grass grew in this area, a completely barren land. Outside of Origin Ancient Mine, on the endless reddish-brown earth, there was only a single city. Its name was, Origin City. It was located within the range of the Origin Mining Area, built by cultivators. 
There were no mortals moving about here, most of them disciples of great powers, as well as people transporting origin stones. Of course, it was still quite far from origin ancient mine, at least 30,000 li away. Otherwise, no one would dare come. Yi Fan came to the city, because he heard that Jade Lake Holy Lady still hadn't returned to Jade Lake, instead staying in this region to transport a batch of stone materials. Jade Lake Holy Lady is still here, if I enter Jade Lake ahead of time with her Jade Pendant, it might be a bit inappropriate. There is still quite some time before the Stone Appreciation Assembly. Apart from this, he also had another objective. He always heard about Origin Ancient Mine, really wanting to see it from a distance. Origin City wasn't that large, only a small city. It was completely built from reddish-brown boulders, quite famous. Most of the rice and other things needed by the various mining areas had to be purchased here. This was a transfer station. Not long after Yi Fan arrived, he already found out everything. Jade Lake Holy Lady headed for the border region of Origin Ancient Mine, and would only return after a period of time. At the same time, he learned that Yao Shi and Yao Guang Holy Child were also heading there. Of course, the so-called border region was at least a thousand li from the true Origin Ancient Mine, so no one dared truly take the risk. Origin Ancient Mine, just what kind of place is it? Yi Fan rubbed his chin, seriously thinking to himself. Zhang family's first ancestor, that Yuan Taoist master's greatest regret was that he couldn't enter Origin Ancient Mine. Even the great figures of a generation felt restraining fear, so he naturally didn't dare rashly enter. Watching from a distance, perhaps I can find out a bit about the situation. He believed that the past Yuan Taoist master definitely saw through something, which was why he didn't dare enter. He wanted to verify it with the Origin Heavenly Book, start to unravel Origin Ancient Mind's mysteries, see just what exactly was strange about it. Chapter 223 Origin City was small and old-fashioned. Rather than calling it a small city, it was better to call it a slightly larger town. No one could remember what era it was built in. The reddish-brown city walls were full of traces of the passage of time, many cracks appearing. As Yi Fan walked through the city, he could feel the accumulation of time, the ancientness of the passage of time. The stone slabs on the streets were all caved in from being stepped on, cultivators coming and going everywhere. Little brother, it's your first time in Origin City, right? Do you want to purchase Origin Stones? Come take a look inside our stone shop, I guarantee that there will be a strange stone you like. Does little Daoist need good materials that were transported from the edge of Origin Ancient Mine? The goods are genuine, there is no harm in taking a look. There were many shops on both sides of the street, selling all types of Origin stones, enthusiastically greeting the cultivators coming and going. Yi Fan didn't dare look down on these people. Even though the shops were small, they all had quite the background, having countless connections with the Great Sage's land. He walked into a stone shop and chatted with the owner. The price of the stones here was ridiculously high. The stone shop wasn't large, just a single room that faced the street. There was only a red sandalwood shelf inside, on it only a dozen or so stones. Yi Fan was speechless. These stones were worth ten times the origin source of the same weight. This is just too expensive. These aren't ordinary stones, but precious materials that are to be sent to the holy city. They are contaminated with origin energy. The owner introduced. With how expensive they were, what they were gambling on was already not origin source, but rather the even more precious things sealed within the stones. After comprehending the origin heavenly book, Yi Fan's eyesight was extraordinary. He only chose a single piece of material, and then didn't take any more. The gains of gambling on stones here didn't make up for the losses. Things even more precious than origin source could only be encountered and not sought after, so how could he randomly see them? The reason he took action was just to get on good terms with the owner. Old bro, is there any way? I want to take a look at origin ancient mine. He wanted to go to origin ancient mine, but he encountered trouble. The mining areas outside Origin Ancient Mine were all divided up by the Great Sage's land. The other areas were still fine, but the regions near the life-restricted areas were difficult for outsiders to pass through. Yi Fan was not a descendant of a holy land. If there was no other way, a rogue cultivator like him would not be able to pass through those regions. I say, little brother, you absolutely cannot go to that place. Even the Great Sage Lords couldn't do anything after entering. Sure Shai's master advised. Yi Fan smiled and said, I'm not going to throw my life away. I just want to watch from afar. I've long heard of Tai Chu's great name, yet I can't see him in person. It truly is a type of regret. The shopkeeper smiled and said, I completely understand. There are often young people like you who want to observe from afar, but in the end, they can't control themselves. It's as if they were summoned by a demon lord and walked into the depths of the forbidden area. Every year, many people go missing. Does that mean there's a way to get to absolute beginning? Yi Fan's eyes lit up. Little Daoist, I advise you not to take the risk. Curiosity can really kill you. The owner of the stone house advised him kindly. I still have to ask old brother for help. I know the severity of the matter. Yi Fan insisted on going. Since that's the case, you should go look for someone called Old Blade Honcho. However, the price isn't cheap, it's quite a scam. The shopkeeper gave Yi Fan this piece of information. 
Then, he wandered around this stone city a bit, understanding what kind of person this old blade honcho was. This was a local tyrant. Of course, he wasn't a ruffian among mortals, but rather a troublemaker among cultivators. His network in this region was quite extensive, and he accepted all types of business, such as escorting origin stones, and even assassinations. Old Blade Honcho lived in the southern part of the city, there were only five short green tiled houses that looked rather shabby. He didn't have the demeanor of an old tyrant at all, he looked more like a dutiful old farmer. His face was full of wrinkles, one of his hands was rough and calloused. He squatted on the ground, puffing on his tobacco pipe. It was impossible to see the depth of his cultivation. Really evil, every year there are people who go to their own death. Old Blade Honcho mumbled with an almost inaudible voice. Then, he raised his head and looked at Yi Fan, saying, let's wait for a few days, gather enough people before we go. Old sir, are these all the business you accepted? Yi Fan noticed that there were a lot of notices on one of the walls. I'm a dutiful man, I won't kill people. These are all entrustment letters, I'm just a middleman, those who want to take a job will come to me to accept the mission. Old Blade Honcho puffed on his tobacco pipe and said, if you want to take a job, I can also help you contact them. As for the reward, I want to increase it by 20%. Yi Fan casually browsed through them, and his eyebrows suddenly jumped. Some of these missions actually involved him. He picked up a golden piece of paper, on which his appearance was clearly drawn. Just providing a clue would give him 100 kilograms of origin source, killing him would give him 500 kilograms, and capturing him alive would give him 1000 kilograms. This was really a high price, they didn't hesitate to pay a heavy price to drag him out. The employer didn't hide his identity, it clearly wrote a large character, G. You mother asterisk cur. Although Yi Fan was already mentally prepared, he still felt some waves. He escaped to the northern region, but the Ji family still didn't want to let him go, so they issued an arrest warrant. Yao Guang's people knew that he came to the northern region, so it was impossible that the Ji family didn't know about it. I think I've seen this kind of arrest warrant in other cities. Yi Fan probed. Old Blade Honcho puffed out a mouthful of smoke and said, he provoked someone he shouldn't have, this kid won't live for long. Many people from the younger generation of the Ji family came, and there are also some youngsters from Yao Guang with them. Yi Fan didn't pay attention, he checked other commission missions, and saw a few more about him, arrest warrants. Not only were there the signatures of the top young masters of the Ji family, but there was also an arrest warrant issued by a disciple of Yao Guang. Yi Fan learned the Great Void technique and burned the Ji family's great supreme elder to death, so this family wouldn't let him go. Why would a disciple of Yao Guang whom he had never met do this? He immediately thought of Yao Shi, it was probably her idea. Arrest me. I'd like to see how you're going to drag me out. Yi Fan sneered in his heart. He cultivated the Book of Source Heaven and could change his aura, making it difficult for the enemy to find him. I'd like to see the young masters. Yi Fan's strength had been increasing recently, and he was quite tempted to find some people to test his blade on. He didn't believe that everyone was like Ji Haoyue and Yao Guang's son. If they were young cultivators in the second or third tier of the Holy Ji Palace, he felt he could kill them. How strong is this Yi Fan? Why are they mobilizing so many people? Yi Fan asked casually. I heard that he was a cultivator in the Sea of Reincarnation half a year ago. In such a short time, he shouldn't have changed too much. Old Blade Honcho blew out a smoke ring, stared at him with his muddy eyes, and said, Are you interested in taking on this mission? I'll only take 15% of the reward, the rest is yours. Okay, I'll take it. Please tell me the details. Half an hour later, Yi Fan left the southern district. How was it? Did you make the deal? Did you get ripped off by that old thing? When they passed by the stone house, the owner asked enthusiastically. I'll take 25 pounds of source stone and we'll leave in two days, Yi Fan answered. Although the price is high, I didn't rip you off too much. The owner of the stone house recommended, buy a stone coat from me. It's an old stone skin peeled off from the source stone. It has the effect of warding off evil. Wild beasts roared, and a group of people rushed into the origin city. They were a group of young people, all of them looked to be in their twenties. Their mounts were extraordinary. They were three feet off the ground and rushed through the streets. Yi Fan rubbed his chin. He was still pondering just now, but he didn't expect to meet people from the Ji family so soon. He didn't want to take the initiative to cause trouble. Two days later, Yi Fan arrived in front of Old Blade Honcho's shabby tile-roofed house in the southern district. There were already a dozen people waiting there, most of them were young people. It's been half a month, the number of people is finally almost here. Old Blade Honcho held a tobacco pipe in his mouth and said, let me make it clear first, I'm only responsible for leading the way. I'm responsible for my own life and death. If I'm really summoned into the old mine, it has nothing to do with me. These people already knew the rules. No one said anything else and only urged him to go on his way. Why bother? What's so good about an old mine? Every year, many people die there. Old Blade Honcho grumbled. Some people didn't like what he said and said, I say, old man, can't you say something more festive? It's as if you're cursing us to throw away our lives. All right, I wish us a safe journey. Old Blade Honcho didn't say anything else. For this mission, he never let others do it, always taking care of it himself. When they walked out of Origin City, Yi Fan saw those youngsters from the Ji family again. 
They seemed to be in a hurry, riding on their savage beasts as they galloped away. Even though those strange beasts' feet didn't touch the ground, the violent winds still stirred up quite a bit of dust and sand, making these people who wanted to enter the origin ancient mind glare at them angrily. What is there to be so arrogant about? Do you really think this city is your temporary imperial residence? Shu, lower your voice. Do you know who those people are? They are from the Ji family, they will bring about a great disaster. A few of the people who rushed out turned their heads around and glared at them. One of them revealed a hint of a sneer and said, Disaster comes from a loose tongue, control your own mouths. They didn't stop and left as if they were flying. Truly, too arrogant. What's so great about the Huanggu family? There were some people who were unconvinced, but they only dared to mutter in a low voice after those people left. Old Blade Hancho was worthy of having walked this path for several decades, actually avoiding the Holy Land sealed region, following the secret path to enter. Everyone walked and stopped from time to time. Ten days later, they made their way through a large uninhabited region, passing through the boundless Great Desert. Old Blade Hancho brought everyone to the outskirts of the Origin Ancient Mine. They were already less than a thousand li from the so-called Origin Ancient Mine's border. They arrived outside the legendary life-restricted region. We can only advance another 800 li, or else we will be in danger. You all must control yourselves, don't act rashly, and even more so, don't speak irresponsibly. Old Blade Hancho warned seriously. There was nothing here. The Great Earth was scarlet like blood, having been like this since the ancient times. Desolation was the eternal theme. Sand and gravel covered the ground, the occasional rocky mountain that could be seen was also scarlet like blood, silent like a tombstone. This place really is desolate, not even a ghost's shadow can be seen. Someone sighed. Don't speak irresponsibly. Old Blade Honcho angrily berated. Is there a need to be like this? There's nothing here, what's there to be afraid of if you speak irresponsibly? A youngster was very dissatisfied, believing that they were being overly cautious. Old Blade Honcho continuously muttered, no one knew what he was saying. At the same time, he bowed to the front again and again, only then did he turn his head around and angrily glare at him, shouting, If you want to die, leave by yourself, don't follow us. Since I am the leader, you must listen to everything I say. Old Blade Honcho, aren't you going too far? We paid you the source, how can you have this kind of attitude? That youngster was unconvinced, coldly questioning. I can return the source to you, then you can leave by yourself. Old Blade Honcho indifferently replied. Forget it, let's all cool down. In any case, we are almost at the destination, let's all talk a bit less. Someone at the side advised. Old Blade Honcho coldly said, I am doing this for your own good. Speaking irresponsibly in this region can lead to death. Is it that serious? The people at the side didn't believe him. Old Blade Honcho coldly snorted and said, three years ago, because there was one person in our team who spoke irresponsibly, as a result, he provoked a big disaster. More than 20 people, in the end, only me and two others survived. So scary, what happened, the others, all died. A few more timid people carefully asked. No one knows what happened, at that time, all of us were blind, we couldn't sense anything, only heard blood-curdling screams. When we regained our spiritual sense, there were only twenty or so pools of blood on the ground. Old Blade Honcho calmly said. The vast land was a vast expanse of emptiness, a thousand li of crimson, with no end in sight. Occasionally, sand and dust would roll up. Everyone looked at each other in dismay, all of them were skeptical. But the youngster just now obviously didn't believe him, he sneered and said, We are all cultivators, how could we be afraid of demonic ghosts? I believe that as long as we don't enter the forbidden area for life, nothing bad will happen outside. Pa. Old Blade Honcho threw a pouch of source on the ground and said, You can go, this is your source, you can't walk together with us anymore. Forget it, everyone, don't talk irresponsibly, let's continue forward. Someone advised. Alright, I won't talk anymore, okay? Seeing Old Blade Honcho's serious face, the youngster also felt a bit scared. Remember, no one is allowed to talk irresponsibly. Old Blade Honcho solemnly warned with a gloomy face. Chapter 224 The group of people flew at a low altitude, advancing into the depths of this great earth. After traveling for less than a hundred li, they saw a few stone pillars one after another, some of them incomparably thick. It was unknown just how many years had passed, but they still towered over the great earth. From time to time, they would also see some vast foundations. Every single one of those stones was several meters in length, the foundations thick and wide, extremely astonishing. What kind of historical remains are these? If they are buildings, then isn't this a bit too grand? Is this the residence of giants? Someone said in shock. Look, there are some diagrams on this stone pillar, some strange creatures carved on them. They are truly sinister, even uglier than ghosts. Why are you speaking nonsense again? Old Saber Honcho became anxious, glaring at that youngster. Even this is a taboo? That youngster was also a bit angry. You have to know what kind of place you've arrived at, Origin Ancient Mine is even more inconceivable than you can imagine. Old Saber Honcho angrily berated, saying, Five years ago, I personally saw thirty or so cultivators die a violent death in front of these historical remains, their blood dying origin ancient mine red. 
What happened? The others were alarmed. I don't know either, I only saw from the distance that those people were evaporated, blood rushing into the sky, their bodies turning into ashes. Old Saber Honcho seemed to still have lingering fears. Let's go, let's continue forward. The others were a bit uncomfortable. Old Saber Honcho released a heavy cold snort, distancing himself from that youngster as if avoiding snakes and scorpions, not walking together with him. When he fan saw this, he followed behind Old Saber Honcho, also leaving that fella. It was better to believe it than not. Everyone advanced several hundred li, already less than a hundred li from the so-called border. Old Saber Honcho slowed down, saying, I suggest you all better not advance any further, just fly high up into the sky, use your divine abilities, and then take a good look. Isn't there still more than a hundred li? It's still within a safe range, why aren't we advancing any further? Old sir, let's go another few dozen li, we can't see anything from here. Alright. Old Saber Honcho replied. After advancing another fifty li, approaching the border of origin ancient mine, he wasn't willing to continue no matter what. Walking another few dozen li isn't a problem, I still want to dig up a few stones at the border of origin ancient mine. Who knows, my luck might be good, and I might even obtain a great harvest. What did you say? Old Saber Honcho's eyes were wide open, and his hair and beard were standing on end. He looked like a lion. After coming here, don't tell me you all don't want to bring back a few pieces of stone materials. If you can cut them out, wouldn't you all be able to obtain endless benefits? That youngster said. You. Old Saber Honcho did not say anything, he turned around and walked away. Sir, don't go. We still need you to lead the way, the others urged. He will kill everyone. Old Saber Honcho's complexion was extremely gloomy. I'm just telling the truth, Old Saber Honcho, you're being too cautious. The young man had been suppressing his anger, and at this moment, he could not hold it in any longer. Unbeknownst to him, a gale had already begun to blow. Sand and dust filled the air, and the sound of the wind could be heard from afar. Why is the wind blowing? The sun was shining brightly just now. So what if it's just a bit of wind? We are all cultivators. Why would we care about a gust of wind? Can you shut up? Old Saber Honcho glowered at the young man, with a dignified expression he looked straight ahead. The red sand filled the air like a faint layer of blood mist. It approached from afar and enveloped everyone. Woo woo. The sound of the wind was frightening, as if a malicious spirit was crying. The sand filled the sky, and it was getting bigger and bigger. Black whirlwind. Old Saber Honcho's complexion changed miserably. In the distant sky, a large number of shadows were approaching at lightning speed, forming a whirlpool. It was as if a dark cloud was pressing down from all directions. The red sand was covered by the black whirlwind, dyed black, and shadows were everywhere. What kind of ghost wind is this? Why is it coming from all directions? Everyone was shocked, all of them were restless. Woo woo. The black whirlwind rolled the sand all over the sky. In the blink of an eye, it arrived in front of them. The ground was pitch black. The whirlwind had color, and it created a big whirlpool. Ah. A blood-curdling scream was heard. The body of the young man who always opposed old Saber Honcho seemed to be cut open by a sharp blade, leaving a big pool of blood on the ground. His whole body was crushed in the black whirlwind. Yi Fan's eyes immediately stood up. He sensed a terrifying aura from those black whirlwinds. He used his divine sense to observe, but he did not see anything. The center of each black whirlwind was pitch black, as if it could swallow everything. Ah. Another person was crushed by the black whirlwind, and he only had time to let out a blood-curdling scream. Even now, Yi Fan was a little scared. He did not expect that coming to the absolute beginning forbidden area would be so dangerous, and he could easily lose his life. At this moment, saving his life was the most important. He took out the cauldron made of myriad origin energy and hid inside. Then, he used the Li Fire Divine Cauldron to collect the cauldron. Dang dang dang. The black whirlwind blew over like a sharp sword slashing down on the Li Fire Divine Cauldron, emitting a sky-shaking sound. An incomparably dazzling radiance was emitted. The copper cauldron was sparkling and translucent, and the sun engraved on it shone with vigorous vitality and brilliance. Phoenix cries shook the sky. Several indistinct divine birds danced around the cauldron. Raging flames surged, igniting a monstrous fire. The black whirlwind whistled as it swept past. Several more people were crushed, turning into wisps of mist. Dang, dang. A sky-shaking sound rang out. Yi Fan felt as if a huge palm was violently slapping the copper cauldron, making him feel a terrifying power inside the cauldron. Is this really a black whirlwind? How can it have such power? He was bewildered, but he did not dare to take the risk. He could only hide inside and let the ear-splitting sound outside. In a trance, Yi Fan seemed to hear heavy breathing, as well as the sound of a huge body stepping forward. The earth seemed to be trembling slightly. Is it a black whirlwind or some kind of creature? After an unknown period of time, the wind outside stopped. The world calmed down, and no special sounds could be heard. Yi Fan put away the cauldron made of myriad origin energy. He did not want others to see it, or it would cause great trouble. 
Then, he flew out of the leaf-fire divine cauldron and landed on the ground. What surprised him was that the copper cauldron was not damaged. Although it was full of holes, it was slowly recovering, as if it would be restored soon. This weapon is strange. Yi Fan knew that this was definitely not the real divine sun cauldron. An extreme Tao weapon could even kill almighty beings. It was countless times more terrifying than this, and it was impossible for it to be dented. Swoosh. With a flash of light, the leaf fire divine cauldron recovered. It possessed an indestructible ability, which made him deeply shocked. How could a normal weapon have such a miraculous performance? It was difficult for him to determine what level this copper cauldron was. The copper cauldron turned into an inch tall and looked like a multicolored crystal. It appeared in his palm. Yi Fan did not put it away and held it in his palm to defend himself, ready to use it at any time. The scenery before his eyes changed greatly. He did not know where the black wind had blown him to. Rocks were strewn everywhere, and red sand was everywhere. Not far away, there was a figure standing. Old Saber Honcho silently held a tobacco pipe in his mouth, his brows deeply furrowed. In addition, there were seven people unconscious on the ground. They were not killed by the black whirlwind. What is going on? Where are we? Yi Fan asked. Looking into the distance, the surroundings were spacious and extremely quiet. This was a great blood-colored plain dotted with a few large rocks. I'm afraid we have entered the origin ancient mine. Old Saber Honcho heavily spat out a mouthful of smoke. Impossible. Yi Fan was shocked. Don't worry, we did not fall into that divine mine. Old Saber Honcho's wrinkled face squeezed together. He paced back and forth a few steps and said, Everyone says that the restricted area of origin ancient mine is several hundred li in circumference, some say several thousand li. Most of us are in the restricted area. How could it be like this? Yi Fan frowned. The seven people who had fainted on the ground woke up. Their faces were deathly pale, all of them filled with endless fear. Even the great sage can only return to the red earth after entering, won't we die here? The faces of the people who had just woken up were full of despair. They walked towards the origin ancient mine, naturally they won't be able to return. Like I said, this region is extremely large. We did not enter the central region, perhaps there is still a chance of survival. Old Saber Hancho gazed at the distant horizon. Really? The chances are a bit slim, but there is still some hope. Similar things have happened before, some people have walked out alive. What is that black whirlwind? Yi Fan asked. I don't know either. Old Saber Hancho shook his head and said, in this restricted region, there will often be some special winds, the black whirlwind can already be considered the mildest. The nine of them continued on their way. Old Saber Honcho determined a direction based on his intuition, and then took the lead to walk forward. Sir, you have to remember the right path, or else we might directly walk into Origin Ancient Mine. A survivor said while trembling with fear. Old Saber Honcho didn't say anything, directly leading the way. Even though they weren't truly standing in front of Origin Ancient Mine, they still didn't dare fly. There were all types of legends regarding Origin Ancient Mine, it was said that even birds couldn't cross, but those who leapt into the air would definitely be wiped out. After walking for more than ten li, an enormous ravine stretched horizontally in front of them, extending for several li. Yi Fan frowned, carefully observing it, a chill running down his spine. He never expected to really see this type of landscape, it was completely the same as what was recorded in the, Heavenly Origin book. Don't go down. He saw a cultivator try to look into the ravine, wishing to stop him, but it was already too late. That cultivator standing at the edge of the ravine, in just a split second, all of the blood in his body evaporated, turning into a streak of scarlet light, entering the ravine, his body disintegrated into scattered ashes. How could it be like this? The others turned pale with fright, all of them backing up, their faces completely pale. That person only took a few more steps than them, yet he immediately turned into ashes. Seeing this with their own eyes made their scalps go numb. Even old Saber Honcho's expression changed. He sensed danger ahead of time, but he never expected it to be this terrifying. This was simply a demonic land. Chills continuously ran down Yi Fan's back. This restricted region was too terrifying, completely exceeding his imagination. They were far from that divine mine, not even entering the central region, yet they already saw this type of legendary landscape, making him couldn't help but break out in goosebumps. This huge ravine was long and vigorous. Looking carefully, it was shaped like a crouching dragon. It was so similar that it could be passed off as the real deal. It was as if there really was a dragon sleeping here, crushing the great earth, forming this type of great ravine. It was recorded in the, Heavenly Origin book, that this was a great vicious land, the legendary, Fire Dragon Tomb, a place where dragons were buried. Yi Fan had previously carefully studied those words, but he didn't know if it was a place where true dragons were buried, or if it was a place where dragon veins were buried. He still hadn't comprehended them, because those ancient texts were too difficult. According to what was recorded in the, Heavenly Origin book, Fire Dragon Tomb definitely had a divine source, definitely an exceptional treasure within the source. However, there was also a strict warning that one had to avoid Fire Dragon Tomb upon encountering it. Unless absolutely necessary, they definitely couldn't dig it up, or else there would definitely be a great disaster. Origin Ancient Mine, what kind of place is it exactly? 
Yi Fan found it hard to calm down, great waves surging within him. He saw this type of landscape from the outside, it truly was hard to imagine what kind of mountain and river terrain that ancient mine surroundings were like. Let's make a detour, do not approach the great ravine. He seriously reminded. Correct, this is a death trap. I feel like no matter how many powerful cultivators enter, they will all die. Old Saber Honcho nodded, his expression serious, expressing his agreement. The eight of them unanimously agreed to make a detour around the dragon's head. They walked several li, and then finally arrived at the dragon's head. It was vivid and lifelike as expected, as if there really was a dragon corpse lying on the ground. This place. Old Saber Honcho frowned, his innate spiritual perception making him shudder inwardly. Not good, hurry and retreat, hurry and leave this place. Yi Fan felt his fine hairs all stand on end. In front of the dragon's head was an extremely small lake, its circumference only a dozen or so zhang. It was a bright red expanse, the water like blood, making one's heart tremble. Even if it was a normal person who saw this, they would still be shocked. There wasn't even a blade of grass growing in the desolate restricted area, there shouldn't be any water, so how could there be a lake like this? Meanwhile, when it entered Yi Fan's eyes, it became even more extraordinary. His entire body went cold. Fire Dragon Tomb was already terrifying enough, if this blood lake was added on, then it would be a great disaster among great disasters. Based on what was recorded in the Heavenly Origin book, this was a dragon's blood, rarely seen in this world. There was a blood divine source buried here, almost impossible to obtain, touching it would result in death. Fire Dragon Tomb and the dragon's blood, these types of landforms were linked together. If they were touched, even the Eastern Wasteland's matchless divine kings wouldn't be able to escape disaster. Chapter 225 Learning from the previous example, everyone quickly retreated far away from the lake, fearing that they would perish here. After retreating for several hundred meters, the eight people looked back. The more they looked, the more frightened they became. The blood was like smoke, rising in spirals like strands of malicious spirits. The lake was less than a hundred meters in circumference, but it was so red that it made people's hearts palpitate, so beautiful that it was suffocating. That pool of water seemed to be able to swallow the world. What kind of lake is this, why is it so frightening? One of them was trembling, not because he was timid, but because the atmosphere here was really not right. Facing the blood lake, it made people involuntarily tremble. Far away from the fiery dragon grave and dragon's bloodbath, standing on higher ground, the others also saw the abnormality. Looking at the great rift valley in the blood lake, they immediately recognized their shapes. This is AF Asterisk King Dragon that's spitting blood. How can there be such a terrain? A person cried out in fear, his body drenched in cold sweat. It was really too similar, it could be said to be the work of the gods. This kind of mountain and river terrain seemed to be meticulously carved out, it did not look like a natural product at all. Several cultivators were drenched in cold sweat, seeing such a terrain, they were a little dazed, but more afraid. Yi Fan looked at the sky, the sun was setting in the west, the sunset glow was sprinkling down. His expression suddenly changed, he shouted, we still need to retreat. In the Book of Origin of Heaven, it was recorded that the fiery dragon grave and dragon's bloodbath were the most terrifying when day and night alternated. Seeing Yi Fan like this, the others all changed their expressions and ran madly behind him. After running for several li, the setting sun brushed past the horizon. When it was about to sink, a horrifying muffled sound rang out. The great crevice was shaking, and the blood lake's water was rising. It rushed out of the ground and surged into the air. The eight lucky survivors had high and low levels of cultivation, the weakest one was at least one li behind, letting out a heart-wrenching scream. The seven people looked back and saw him flying backwards, pulled by a mysterious force, directly falling into the blood lake, disappearing without even making a ripple. The others were scared out of their wits, they did not dare to fly, they ran like the wind, chasing after Yi Fan and old Saber Hancho who were about to disappear into the horizon. Yi Fan didn't stop until he was more than ten li away. The people behind him arrived one after another, all of them sweating profusely. It wasn't because they were tired, but because they were scared. If I can choose again, I will never come to this damned place. Even if you give me a Genesis Mountain, I will not be tempted, said a young cultivator with a sobbing tone. The others also felt sorrowful in their hearts. All of their faces were snow white, and they seemed to be filled with regret. This absolute beginning forbidden area is too unusual. We're still very far from the ancient mine, but we've already encountered such a demonic land. If we had recklessly advanced just now, I'm afraid we would have all died there, one of them said with a trembling voice. That's an extremely ominous terrain, a true dragon coughing blood. Old Saber Honcho's face was solemn. Sir, have you heard of it? Yi Fan was surprised, but his face was calm. I think little brother, you know more than me. If it weren't for your reminder, I'm afraid there wouldn't be many of us left. Old Saber Hancho glanced at him. I'm just relying on my intuition to sense the danger. I don't understand it. Sir, please explain it to us in detail. Yi Fan asked. I'm not very clear either. I've only heard a few words. Old Saber Hancho shook his head and said, I don't know how long ago it was. I think it's at least seven or eight thousand years, or even ten thousand years. 
In the past, someone had discovered such a terrain in the northern region. At that time, it was unknown how many people had died, and many of them were the big shots of that era. In the end, a Yuan Taoist master came into being and solved that kind of mountainous terrain. However, he paid a huge price and almost lost his life. In less than half a year, that Yuan Taoist master had mysteriously disappeared. Why must they break through this kind of mountainous terrain? Could it be that there's something down there? One of the cultivators was very sharp. Of course, otherwise, who would go and die? Old Saber Hancho stopped talking and didn't say anything else. Yi Fan sighed in his heart. Both Fire Dragon's Grave and Dragon's Bloodbath contained the Source of God. There were at least two pieces, and they were just a dozen or so Li away. Unfortunately, he had no way to get them. This was the first time he clearly sensed the Source of God. If he had world-shaking battle prowess and completely comprehended the Book of Source of Heaven, perhaps he could come here and give it a try. Right now, he could only concentrate. Being able to walk out of here alive would be the greatest success. The sky was dark. The group of seven walked very slowly. Even though they weren't weak, they didn't dare to walk too fast. They all looked around and carefully observed the terrain for fear of accidentally entering a dangerous place. This was because Fire Dragon's Grave and Dragon's Bloodbath were definitely not the only mountainous terrain. There were definitely other demonic lands. Old Saber Hancho, are you sure this is the path to the outside of the restricted area? Why do I feel like we're walking towards an ancient mine, a cultivator said while trembling with fear. The setting sun had already disappeared. The sky was dark, without the moon or stars. A faint mist rose from the boundless crimson land, making it difficult for people to distinguish their direction. Old Saber Hancho also frowned. The more he walked, the more he lost his sense of direction. This was like a maze. Everywhere was quiet, and the atmosphere was a little strange. Red sand and stones covered the ground. When one lightly stepped on them, kaka sounds would be released. Under this quiet and spacious night sky, the sound would travel extremely far. The seven of them didn't dare act carelessly, all of their feet not touching the ground out of fear of startling something. It was because there were too many legends regarding Origin Ancient Mine. After walking for a quarter of an hour, they completely lost their sense of direction, as if they entered a maze. The sky became darker and darker. Mist curled about. At first, it was like a thin veil fluttering about, but in the end, it became thicker and thicker, to the point where one couldn't even see their own fingers in front of them. I say, we can't go anymore. A cultivator stopped his footsteps. His heart was pounding as he said, I just feel like the direction isn't right. I also have this feeling. This doesn't seem to be the way out. Another person chimed in, his eyes revealing fear as he said, if we walk towards Origin Ancient Mine, then we really won't be able to call for help even if we cry for help. Everyone's minds were heavy. They lost their way, unable to find their way back. This absolute beginning restricted area was equivalent to losing half their lives. Old Saber Hancho remained silent for a long time. He sighed and said, we have no choice but to go. Otherwise, I'm worried that some things might happen. We definitely can't go any further. Otherwise, we might really end up stepping into the ancient mine. At that time, we won't have a chance to regret it. Let's just wait until tomorrow's sunrise. Stopping isn't appropriate, this place makes one go crazy. These individuals all had different viewpoints, starting to argue. Little brother, what do you think? Someone asked Yi Fan. Old Saber Hancho also looked over. Let me think about it a bit. Yi Fan was worried, finding it difficult to calm down. He just felt like this region was strange. When he raised his head, he couldn't see the stars or moon, everything dusky, as if a black cloth covered the sky. When he looked into the distance, he couldn't see the great earth, only mists rising and falling. It was as if they were stored in a box. This was extremely similar to the ghost mist recorded in the Heavenly Origin book. Humans could stabilize mountains, rivers, and dragon veins, locking down divine source. On the other hand, evil source could also seal heaven and earth, trap people to death. The rising ghost mist was a great omen. It was very likely that they had entered the demon land and would be sealed here. If the source locked people, it was the most dangerous, a fatal trap. Yi Fan cursed. After learning the Heavenly Origin book, he still hadn't searched for the source to lock meridians, but he didn't want to be sealed instead. Ghostly mist filled the air, and killing intent was hidden within. Once triggered, everyone would immediately turn into a pool of blood. It could be said that the gates of hell were already open for them. Now, he finally understood why there were only five Yuan Taoist masters in the northern region since ancient times. The dangers they had to face were too terrifying, and this profession almost never had a good ending. Everyone, we're in big trouble. Who can go back the way we came? Everyone's hearts were heavy. They were most afraid to hear this kind of news. This place is like a maze. We've long lost our sense of direction, how can we find our way back? I did leave some marks, but unfortunately, when I turned around to sense them, I found that I'd lost contact with them. Old Saber Hancho sighed. Yi Fan felt a chill in his heart. Being trapped and killed by the evil source was very difficult to break out of. It was almost a dead end. He didn't have the ability to lock meridians in this life, but he was going to be sealed. 
This really made him feel angry. He was probably the most unlucky disciple of the Yuan Taoist master in history. Yi Fan squatted down and drew on the ground as if calculating something. He said, there's still a chance of survival. We haven't entered the central area, only the edge. There's only ghost mist and nothing else. Maybe we can get out. Little brother, what are you talking about? We still have a chance of survival? Little Taoist master, we're all depending on you. You have to think of a way. Everyone gathered around. Yi Fan looked at them seriously and said, think carefully. Everyone draw a map for me. According to your feelings, draw out the areas we've passed through. The others felt the seriousness of the situation and didn't dare to delay. They squatted down and drew on the red sand. Sure enough, as Yi Fan expected, everyone's map was very different. It was like they didn't walk together but came from different directions. Yi Fan put the seven maps together and seriously pondered. Occasionally he would stand up and measure the area within a hundred zhang, walking from one position to another. Only after an hour did he let out a long sigh. They still hadn't fallen into a dead end. He thought of a way to get out of this predicament. However, when he stood up, he was stunned. Not far away sat seven figures. Including him, there should only be seven people. How come there was one more person? Who, is that? Hearing him shout in such a low voice, everyone was shocked. Five figures stood up and quickly dodged, leaving that place. Swoosh. The sixth figure rushed up. It was as fast as a ghost. In the blink of an eye, it disappeared into the thick fog. Its trace was indistinct. Even its appearance couldn't be seen clearly. Everyone's face was pale. Cold sweat flowed down. In a short moment, their clothes were all wet. What was that? They couldn't see it clearly. One of the people's teeth were chattering. His whole body was trembling as he said, I vaguely saw it. It wasn't a human, it was covered in beast fur. When the others heard this, their scalps went numb. That thing with beast fur was sitting not far away from them, but it was completely unaware. This made everyone terrified. What happened to him? There was one person who hadn't stood up all along. He was sitting on the ground like a weathered stone statue. Several people stepped forward and arrived in front of him. None of them didn't change their expressions. It was truly a tragic sight. This person's skull had been opened. The brain inside was like tofu pudding, white and sticky. Most of it had been swallowed, leaving only a small amount. Chi. Old Saber Hancho pointed his finger. A seven-colored rainbow shot out, piercing into the thick fog. There, a shadow quickly disappeared, rushing into the depths of the darkness. Several people rushed over together and found a small puddle of brain with two strands of black beast fur. It was obvious that the brain was dripping from the creature's mouth. It belonged to the dead person. Only the beast fur belonged to the unknown creature. Let's leave this place and ignore it. Yi Fan took a step forward. The most important thing right now was to leave this maze. There was a divine source buried underground. If they stayed here for too long, they might not be able to leave. Chapter 226 The mist became even thicker. As a cultivator, they couldn't see anything beyond a hundred meters. The mist contained a strange power, the boundless earth was completely swallowed up by darkness. Little brother, do you have any methods, can you really bring us out? Daoist priest, we're all relying on you. If we can get out alive, I'll set up a longevity tablet for you. Trapped in the absolute beginning forbidden area, no one could remain calm. They were all restless, surrounding Yi Fan's side. Do you have source on you? I needed to change the terrain of the mountains and rivers. Yi Fan asked the other five. Old Saber Hancho didn't say anything, directly handing over a dozen or so bags. Each bag contained 25 kilograms of source, precisely the remuneration he received. Seeing him like this, the other four also opened their bags, gathering another 300 or so kilograms. None of them were ordinary people, or else they wouldn't have spent 25 kilograms of source to come to absolute beginning ancient mine. Is it enough? Old Saber Hancho asked. Yi Fan also took out 250 kilograms of source, saying, it's barely enough. Don't force yourself, we still have more. When they heard him say this, they gathered another 300 or so kilograms. This time, they were completely out. Yi Fan took out 108 flags, carefully carving them, carving mysterious patterns one after another according to the origin heavenly books records. He wanted to use offense as defense, stabilize the earth's veins, seal the divine source, and forcefully open up a path. Of course, he understood that with his current strength, it was impossible to stabilize the divine source. Unless he completely comprehended the origin heavenly book, he was still far from it. However, he still had 20% confidence in changing the terrain within a small area. He prepared to beat the grass and startle the snake, frightening away the psychic evil source. Two hours later, only then did Yi Fan finish carving 108 flags. Then, he warned the others in secret, saying, Stay by my side, do not leave no matter what. Hearing his warning, apart from old Saber Hancho, the other four were extremely nervous. Pung. Yi Fan inserted a large flag into the ground, using his finger as a blade, carving a starry sky diagram around the flagpole. 
Then, he embedded a dozen or so kilograms of source within. Is this really effective? One of them was doubtful, he couldn't see anything. Look, the mist around the flags has become much weaker. Another one was more attentive, sensing this change. Everyone was overjoyed. Yi Fan quickly arranged everything. He didn't dare to tarry for fear that something unexpected would happen. Not long after, he had already planted more than ten banners, fluttering in the mist. The area immediately became much clearer. The fog was forced away, and the scenery was no longer blurry. Chi. Not far away, light blossomed. The starry sky chart under a large flag was extremely bright, exceptionally eye-catching in the night. Not good, that creature is trying to pull out the flag, someone cried out in alarm. Kacha. A huge flag was broken, and a hazy figure flew over, twisting and breaking a huge flag. Kacha. In the distance, the second flag was broken and fell to the ground. All that could be seen was a furry silhouette that flashed and disappeared. What should we do? The moment we set up the flag, it immediately destroyed it. Old Saber Honcho knitted his brows. This is bad. This is bad. Yi Fan's heart sank. He already had a premonition that this creature had a great background. Now, he was even more certain that this was a spiritual creature that protected the divine source. What should we do? The others asked. We must not injure it. Yi Fan warned solemnly. This was only the most peripheral spiritual creature. According to the Heavenly Book of Source, this was the lowest level guardian. There must be something sealed inside this divine source. There was most likely a living terrifying creature inside, or else there wouldn't be such a powerful spiritual creature protecting a king. Normally, the powerful spiritual creatures would all be in deep sleep, leaving only the weakest to protect the divine source. If this one was injured, it would definitely alarm even more terrifying creatures, and they would definitely be unable to deal with it. A divine source with a living body sealed inside, it is definitely a treasure among divine sources. We can't really be close to the origin ancient mine, right? Yi Fan muttered. He was truly troubled. This divine source was protected by a spiritual creature, so he probably couldn't carry out the so-called beating the grass to scare the snake. Not to mention the thing inside the divine source, even a tyrannical guardian would jump out and wipe them all out. If the Yuan Taoist master encountered this kind of situation, what would he do? Yi Fan muttered to himself, thinking for a while. Half a quarter of an hour later, Yi Fan inserted all of the great banners into the same spot, engraving a large star diagram, embedding a full 500 kilograms of origin. Everyone, we only have one chance. Yi Fan transmitted sound. In a while, the mountains and rivers here will shake, the dense fog will be broken in an instant. The time is very short, and if we can't escape, we will undoubtedly die. What he said was the truth. In a while, there would be an earthquake here, and it might startle out some even more tyrannical spiritual creatures. If they couldn't rush out, they would be completely locked in here. Everyone, prepare yourselves, I am about to take action. Yi Fan threw the last 50 kilograms of origin into the star diagram central region, immediately embedding it inside. In that instant, radiance rushed into the heavens, tearing apart the black fog, and starlight scattered down from the sky. This place shook violently. More than a hundred great banners burned fiercely, the 500 kilograms of origin on the ground turned into endless essence energy, cracking the great earth. The star diagram that was carved corresponded to the celestial bodies in the sky, drawing in specks of star power. The ground shook violently. Let's go. Yi Fan was the first to rush out, and old Saber Hancho followed closely behind, fleeing for their lives into the distance. Behind them, there was a low roar, as if something was awakening. Miserable screams could be heard, and a rain of blood swirled in the air, but they didn't look back, and all of them rushed forward with all their might. Not long after, Yi Fan and old Saber Hancho both rushed out, followed by two more people. They didn't dare to stop for even a moment, and directly ran towards the fiery dragon's grave. The fog behind them surged, and that area was once again sealed. Only when they were close to the fiery dragon's grave did the remaining four people let out a long sigh of relief. That place was too strange. Looking from afar, the clouds were surging, covering everything, and the light couldn't pass through. Outside, the moonlight was bright, and stars filled the sky. The color of the night was like water. Fortunately, there's dragon's blood here, or else we'll be in big trouble. Yi Fan and the others stood by the small blood-colored lake, and discovered that no creatures were chasing after them. The thing sealed in that piece of divine source must be very terrifying. Yi Fan rubbed his chin, and understood one step further. Even if he became the Yuan Taoist master, he might still have to pay with his life if he didn't do well. One day, when I'm strong enough to comprehend the Book of Source of Heaven, I'll definitely dig you out. Yi Fan looked at the dense fog. It had only been a few hours, and he had already discovered three pieces of divine source. This absolute beginning forbidden area was indeed mysterious, and he really didn't know why it was like this. Let's go, let's quickly leave this place. Although there's nothing alive here, this dragon rift valley and the lake of blood are enough to make one's hair stand on end. One of the surviving cultivators suggested. Yi Fan nodded. 
Although it wasn't the time of day and night, staying in front of the fiery dragon's grave and the dragon's blood was still very dangerous. They took a detour for dozens of miles and avoided the area of fog from afar. They concealed their own auras, afraid that they would attract a disaster. The bright moon hung high in the sky, and its pure white radiance sprinkled over the red earth like a thin mist. This scene was extremely tranquil. It didn't look like a terrifying forbidden area at all, but more like a quiet moonlit night suitable for a stroll. Can we get out of here alive? According to our position, we should be heading out, but why do I feel like we're approaching the absolute beginning ancient mind step by step? I also have this uneasy feeling. Two of the four said the same thing. Yi Fan was also bewildered, and said, there seems to be an indescribable strange power that's giving us a misconception. Old Saber Hancho was also uncertain, and said, could it be that the power of the ancient mind is summoning us, leading us onto the wrong path? It was difficult for the four to find a way back. They climbed up a high ground, and gazed into the distance. It's over. We're all going to die. Heavens, humanoid creatures, forbidden deities. The two cultivators' teeth were chattering, and their arms were pointing in the same direction, trembling. When Yi Fan and Old Saber Hancho heard this, they turned around, and looked forward. They were also petrified on the spot. It was hard to say how far away they were. There were three figures standing on the horizon. Even though they were far away, they could still make out their indistinct outlines. The moonlight was like water, the boundless great earth peaceful. The figures on the horizon were extremely hazy, a bit indistinct. It was clear that the other party also noticed the four of them. One of them released blazing radiance from his entire body, dazzling and dazzling. He stood on the horizon like a golden sun, but also like a deity. The other person had a tall and slender figure, clothes white like snow, long hair fluttering about, as if she was a fairy from the nine heavens, giving off a feeling of emptiness. Sparkling light flickered about. As for the one in the middle, he was plain and hazy, indistinct and unreal, giving off an extremely illusory feeling. These three figures stood in the life-restricted region, the more they looked like deities, the more it made one's hair stand on end, feeling waves of horror. After walking through the night for an entire lifetime, I finally ran into a ghost. Old Saber Hancho sighed with emotion. He had been in and out of absolute beginning ancient mind for several decades, always feeling more scared than hurt, but right now, he felt that things didn't bode well for him. The distance was just too great, he couldn't see the other party's appearance at all. However, that type of deity-like halo was enough to explain everything. Yi Fan's mind was also beating like a drum, saying, let's run. The other two were sobbing, their legs and stomachs cramping. There were too many legends regarding absolute beginning ancient mind. When they encountered this type of situation, they felt like there was no way out. A humanoid creature that is like a deity. They definitely arrived at the center of absolute beginning ancient mine. Yi Fan was the first to move, walking down from the high ground. When he couldn't see those three figures anymore, he lowered his body, and then began to run. Even though old Saber Hancho looked old, his legs were extremely nimble, not much slower than Yi Fan's, also running as fast as he could. The bodies of the two in the back were shaking, frantically crawling as they chased after him, fleeing for their lives. Yi Fan ran several dozen li in a single breath, and only then did he stop. Old Saber Hancho wasn't that far behind, also stopping here. Only after a long time had passed did those two catch up. The two's bodies were like sifting chaff, sitting down on the ground. It wasn't because they were exhausted, but rather because they were scared. Taboo, we encountered this type of thing. The two's words were unclear, their entire bodies drenched in cold sweat. It didn't come to take our lives, why is that? Old Saber Hancho was doubtful. The four of them were a bit confused. If they encountered a deity-like creature here, it was the same as being declared dead, even the various great sage lords couldn't escape. Being able to live is always a good thing, we should hurry and leave. Yi Fan urged. No matter what, they couldn't advance from that direction anymore. The four of them collected their thoughts, changing directions to search for a path of survival. After walking for roughly two hours, they all felt that something wasn't right. We are approaching absolute beginning ancient mine. Yi Fan and old Saber Hancho spoke at the same time. Pressure, alarm, grief, grief, rippled over from up ahead, this was a type of emotion that made one lose control. They used their divine eyes to look into the distance, only seeing that at the limits of the great earth, endless starlight scattered down, like a stream, falling onto the ground. The starlight that filled the sky converged into a river, a vast expanse of whiteness, flowing into the limits of heaven and earth. The mysterious fluctuation came precisely from that place. It was definitely absolute beginning ancient mine. The four of them came to the same conclusion, their hearts thumping madly. Perhaps the distance between them wasn't more than a hundred li. Since ancient times, Eastern Wasteland's Holy Lord, Central Continent's Emperor, as long as they entered, not a single one had ever returned alive. Just now, those three deity-like existences didn't take action against us, don't tell me it was to force us into absolute beginning ancient mine. Chapter 227 The moonlight was like water, and the earth was empty and quiet. 
The red sand beneath their feet, the boulders that were several hundred jong away, and the stone mountains that were even further away were all covered by the misty moonlight. Yi Fan, Old Saber Hancho and the others didn't have this kind of tranquil state of mind. Right now, they were definitely close to origin ancient mine. As they stood on the blood-colored sandy ground, their hearts were about to jump out of their throats. The two cultivators namely Li Sheng and Chen Hua Yuan were trembling and almost couldn't stand straight. Their hearts were filled with fear. Origin Ancient Mine was one of the Eastern Wasteland's seven great life-restricted areas. Its ferocious name spread throughout the world. Since ancient times, too many terrifying things had happened. Who can save us? I really don't want to die. How can we escape from here? Old Saber Hancho, do you have any idea? Taoist Priest, can you find a way out? Their voices were trembling, and their faces were as pale as paper. They were already less than 50 kilometers away from the Origin Ancient Mine. Once they reached this range, they would probably be doomed. Why are you panicking? We haven't entered the Divine Mine yet. Aren't we still 80 or 90 kilometers away? We can still make it if we retreat quickly, Old Saber Hancho shouted in a low voice. Didn't they say that encountering Tai Chu means certain death? We have almost seen it, is there still a way out? The two of them looked at Old Saber Hancho as if they were grasping at a life-saving straw. They looked at Old Saber Hancho nervously and hopefully. That is because we are close to Origin Ancient Mine. We are still far away, so we have a chance of escaping. Old Saber Hancho didn't want to say anything more, he turned around and ran away. He couldn't stay in this dangerous place for too long, otherwise he definitely wouldn't be able to live for long. Yi Fan also turned around and left, he ran after Old Saber Hancho. He felt that recently he was really unlucky, he just wanted to watch Absolute beginning from afar, he didn't want to be blown by the black whirlwind. Li Desheng and Chen Huayuan's complexion was deathly pale, they chased from behind. The two of them were already confused, they had lost their mind, and could only passively follow Old Saber Hancho and Yi Fan. In one breath Yi Fan, Old Saber Hancho and the others ran for 50 li before they stopped and heaved a sigh of relief. But immediately after, their countenance changed again. That's not right, how can we still look at Origin Ancient Mine? Old Saber Hancho cried out in alarm in a low voice. Yi Fan also felt that something was amiss. He activated his divine eyes and looked into the distance. At the limits of heaven and earth, the starlight was like water, a vast expanse of whiteness. It fell onto the ground, converging towards a single place. Without a doubt, that was Origin Ancient Mine, and it was still less than 80 to 90 li away from them. Uneasiness, fear, anger, grief, and all sorts of other emotions rippled from afar, almost affecting them just like before. How could this be? We've clearly fled for 25 kilometers, so why hasn't the distance changed? This result made everyone's hair stand on end, and the four of them lost confidence in their hearts. Aren't we still alive? Keep running. Old Saber Hancho's voice was deep and low. Grabbing his tobacco pipe, he ran as if he was flying, and in the blink of an eye he had already dashed several hundred meters away. Yi Fan couldn't be blamed for being cowardly. Since the ancient times, it was unknown just how many holy lords had fallen here. Compared to them, the two of them really weren't enough. Yi Fan also felt apprehensive. This situation was a bit similar to what was recorded in the latter half of the Origin Heavenly Book. Unfortunately, that part was too profound, not something he could understand. After running for 50 li, they had just stopped. They discovered that it was the same as before. They still didn't run, still running around Origin Ancient Mine. It really is inconceivable. I just can't understand it. Old Saber Hancho was a bit stupefied. When he ran, he discovered that he was leaving Origin Ancient Mine. Once he stopped, he discovered that he was going around, and not going further. He squatted on the ground. He fished out his tobacco pipe and began to smoke, his brows deeply furrowed. Old Saber Hancho, you still have the mood to smoke. Li Desheng said sullenly. Hurry and think of a way. Chen Huayuan was worried. He sat on the ground, gasping for air. Yi Fan was now sure that it was definitely the situation recorded in the latter half of the Origin Heavenly Book. Divine Spring formed field energy, distorting space and interfering with time. This type of situation was the most terrifying. It wasn't done deliberately, but rather naturally produced by Divine Spring. It was almost equivalent to changing the rules and order of this world. Right now, their situation could still be considered good, not entering a dangerous region. Otherwise, if they touched upon the unknown laws of heaven and earth, it might result in destruction. Daoist priest, did you see through something? Li Desheng looked towards him hopefully. Chen Huayuan also moved over, saying, Little brother, if you can think of a way to bring us out, I will definitely reward you generously. I only saw some clues. This place is too complex and profound. Yi Fan spoke the truth. The field energy that appeared to disturb this world was because there was more than one piece of divine spring. The origin energy interacted with each other, naturally producing it. However, if there were other factors, then it would be hard to predict, unless the Yuan Taoist master personally came. The origin ancient mind contains divine spring, it has most likely already gained intelligence. Old Saber Hancho sighed at the side. If that's the case, then it's even more troublesome. It can evolve into a killing situation on its own, giving rise to unpredictable and terrifying consequences. Yi Fan frowned. 
What was worse was that these were all speculations on the surface. No one knew what was actually there. Let's continue running and see if we can find a way. Yi Fan stood up. He wanted to measure this area. Just like that, the four of them started running again. Two hours later, Li Desheng and Chen Hua Yuan were almost foaming at the mouth, paralyzed on the ground. They didn't know how many, 50 Li, they had run, but they still couldn't get far. How could this be? The two of them were panting heavily, on the verge of collapse. There shouldn't be a living being sealed in the divine spring here, right? Old Saber Hancho muttered to himself in an inaudible voice. Yi Fan was silent. The probability of this happening was very high. Moreover, the sealed race must be extraordinarily powerful, adding another variable to this place. I heard people say that a holy spirit was born in the ancient mine. Even a great eastern wasteland's divine king would die after entering. There is another saying that there is an immortal race inside. Li Desheng and Chen Hua Yuan also sat on the ground and spoke like this. After running for such a long time, they were drenched in sweat. They were already no longer that scared. These sayings were all on the surface. No one knew the true secrets. All of these legends could completely be considered a primer. According to the later records of the Origin Heavenly Book, one could derive more than ten times more terrifying speculations. Yi Fan had only studied a small portion of the Origin Heavenly Book's later stages. Through what he saw before his eyes, he already felt endless reverence towards Origin Ancient Mine. This was already the case when he first saw the primer. He hadn't seen through the true clues yet. According to his speculations, even if he completely comprehended the Origin Heavenly Book, he still might not necessarily be able to understand Origin Ancient Mine's main text. This place might be far more terrifying than he had imagined. There was likely a shocking secret. Otherwise, why wouldn't even the true Yuan Taoist master dare enter? The Zhang family's first ancestor could be considered a genius of a generation, yet he was helpless, never daring to enter Origin Ancient Mine his entire life, viewing this as his life's greatest regret. Could it be that we really are going to die here? Li Desheng and Chen Huayuan's expressions were ugly. When they saw that Yi Fan didn't say anything, they thought that there was no way. Death might not necessarily be the case. Yi Fan stood up and said, in another few dozen Li, we'll have already made a circle around the ancient mine. We should be able to figure out a bit of the situation. What he felt reverence towards was origin ancient mine, but he didn't approach that place. There was still 80 to 90 Li between them. He felt like he might be able to find a path of life, have a way to break through it. After all, this was the border, not the true core region. After running for another 20 or so Li, they returned to their starting point as expected, arriving at the starting point. Daoist priest, I can tell with a single glance that you are a noble, a genius in this field. You have to think of a way. When Yi Fan heard Chen Huayuan say this, he couldn't help but become speechless. The so-called noble was just digging grandpa, another form of address for Yuan Taoist master's disciples. The people of this profession dug mountains and caves when they grew up, roaming about the great earth, never seeing the light of day. Those who dug up origin veins were jokingly called digging grandpa. Daoist priest, digging grandpa, have you figured out a way to escape? Li Desheng also asked nervously. There is a way, but we need to take a risk. What kind of risk? Old Sword Hancho took a puff of his pipe and asked. This time, we need to advance several Li towards origin ancient mine. We need to better understand this place's field energy, and only then will we have a way to escape. Yi Fan said calmly. Digging Grandpa, have you gone mad? Chen Hua Yuan immediately jumped up, incomparably excited. Who would throw away their lives towards origin ancient mine? Even those sacred masters only fought with their lives on the line when their lifespans were about to run out. Yi Fan drew and calculated on the ground, not even raising his head as he said, only by continuously measuring like this can we understand the situation, find a way out. Alright, let's do it like this. Old Sword Hancho took a deep breath, knocked the tobacco pipe on the ground, and then stood up. For the sake of caution, we will only advance five li, don't go too far. Yi Fan took the lead and walked forward. Li Desheng and Chen Hua Yuan had long faces, extremely unwilling, but they didn't dare stay here alone. Right now, they could only rely on this digging grandpa. When they stopped five li in, they were shocked to discover that the earth had retreated with a schwa sound. This is. Even old sword Hancho jumped in fright, his fine hairs all standing on end. They had clearly only walked five li, but after stopping, they immediately went ten li in. The starlight converging towards origin ancient mine could be seen, like a vast expanse of white waterfall in front of them. Daoist priest, you are going to kill us. Chen Hua Yuan said in alarm. Don't worry, let's go back the way we came. Yi Fan was also very surprised, the rules and order of this place were very distorted. It was easy to enter, but difficult to leave. In a short 20 li, the four of them struggled for no less than two hours, not even going back, but constantly going around. If not for Yi Fan engraving special patterns on the road according to the Book of Origin, they wouldn't have been able to walk out at all. The imprints left by Old Sword Hancho and the others were all obliterated, mysteriously disappearing. Only the traces of the original heaven pattern left by Yi Fan still remained. 
Why do I feel that we didn't walk in a straight line at all, but rather left and right turns, and took many detours before coming out? Old Sword Hancho was puzzled. This is caused by the natural field energy produced by the Divine Spring. Fortunately, we are only at the edge, there are no complicated changes occurring here, we can still be considered lucky. Yi Fan answered. Can we escape? Li Dishang asked urgently. We still have to probe from many directions, otherwise, I don't have the confidence. We still have to try. Chen Huayuan was nervous. Do you have a better idea? Old Sword Hancho gave him a sidelong glance. In the next two hours, Yi Fan probed a few more times, among them the last time was the most dangerous, they actually advanced 30 li in one go, even Old Sword Hancho's face turned pale. At this moment, they were already less than 50 to 60 li away from the origin ancient mine, they could clearly see the Silver River flowing down from the sky. The pure white radiance completely submerged that place, appearing gentle and holy. What is that? Yi Fan was shocked. The origin ancient mine was underground, it was impossible to see, but everything in the sky could be reflected in their eyes. There were some dazzling things rushing out from the ancient mine, bobbing up and down. The starlight in the sky formed a river, falling down like a waterfall, but those things were even more dazzling, one moment they rose into the sky, the next moment they sunk into the ground. It might be the divine spring. Old Sword Hancho squinted his eyes, shooting out two sharp rays of light. Divine spring? Yi Fan was shocked, it wasn't wrapped by the rock skin, devouring the starlight, could it be that those springs had developed intelligence? There was definitely more than one, there were four or five specks of light bobbing up and down, and this was only what he could see. I saw corpses. Li Dishang's lips trembled, his face turning green. What, where? Yi Fan was shocked. In the sky above the origin ancient mine, bobbing up and down, sometimes submerging into the ground, sometimes rising into the starlight. Li Dishang trembled. Nonsense. Old Sword Hancho rebuked, there is a mysterious power in the origin ancient mine, even I can't see it clearly, only some specks of light, how can you see it? My left eye, is an innate underworld eye, I can occasionally see some special things. Li Dishang was incomparably frightened. The left eye is underworld eye. Old Sword Hancho was shocked. Yi Fan was also shaken, he had heard of this kind of eye before, it was extremely difficult to cultivate, it was innate, it could see through the underworld. Hurry and speak, what else did you see? Yi Fan and Old Sword Hancho urged at the same time. Those corpses continuously rose, entering the starlight, and then slowly sunk, entering the great earth. There were quite a few of them. Li Dishun was almost sleep-talking, his face devoid of color. He couldn't see anything else, to the extent where he couldn't even see the divine source. His cultivation wasn't high enough, his left eye could only occasionally see the underworld. According to what he said, Yi Fan and Old Sword Hancho could already imagine the scene 60 Li out. Origin Ancient Mine, within the silver waterfall that poured down from the sky, corpses were bathing in the pure and holy starlight, rising and falling. This scene, just the thought of it made them shiver inwardly. What exactly was going on? Apart from this, there were specks of light, as well as other things rising and falling, they could vaguely see. No wonder even the great figure of a generation, Zhang family's Yuan Taoist master, didn't dare enter Origin Ancient Mine. Yi Fan said to himself inwardly. This place was too mysterious. Wang. Suddenly, a wave of tremendous suction force erupted from Origin Ancient Mine. The starlight in the sky was immediately sucked dry, the entire sky pitch black, so dark one couldn't even see their own fingers. On the ground, it was as if there was an enormous black hole that could devour everything. Chapter 228 The sky was like ink, the stars and moon disappearing, as if this place entered eternal darkness. Origin Ancient Mine's surroundings were deathly still. An indescribable pressure, endless fear, and a terrifying sense of suffocation. It was as if many black mountains were descending, sinking into one's heart. What is going on? The four of them were shocked. Their hearts were heavy, not understanding what was going on at all. What happened to Origin Ancient Mine? We won't die, right? Chen Huayuan asked with a trembling voice. Li Dishun was also trembling. His left eye released dark light, the underworld eye widened, gazing in Origin Ancient Mine's direction. What did you see? Yi Fan asked. How is the Origin Ancient Mine? Old Saber Hancho also hurriedly asked. I can't see anything. It's so dark that it's terrifying. It's swallowing everything. My eyes. Li Dishun suddenly screamed and fell to the ground. Blood flowed out from the corner of his eyes. This sudden turn of events caused the other three to feel a chill run down their spines. They quickly helped him up. What's wrong with you? Yi Fan asked. The corner of Li Dishun's left eye cracked and a trickle of blood flowed out. The underworld eye was empty and extremely swollen. Fortunately, the pupil was not injured and only the white of the eye was injured. It hurt so much. Tears and mucus flowed down his face. He continuously used his spirit power to attack the underworld eye. It took him a long time to recover. What happened? Old Saber Hancho asked. 
Black hole, a huge black hole, it seems like it can swallow the heavens. Li Dishan was terrified, his underworld Yin eye almost cracked. Whoosh. After a while, the starlight and moonlight in the sky appeared again. It was so sudden. The gentle radiance was like smoke and mist, exceptionally pure and holy. It gave people a feeling of light and warmth, sweeping away the loneliness from before. The blood-red land was plain and simple. The gravel, rocks, and hills were covered with a thin layer of gauze, like a shallow landscape painting. That scared me to death. What happened just now? Chen Huayuan patted his chest. Light reappeared, and it was as if nothing had happened. The starlight in the sky converged into water and flowed towards the primordial ancient mine. However, the huge black hole that could devour everything had disappeared. It was no different from before. It really feels like an illusion. Yi Fan sighed. However, not long after, there was another buzzing sound, and all the holy radiance was sucked dry. The surroundings were boundless, pitch black, no one to be seen on the other side. This was especially the case with Origin Ancient Mine, that place seemed to have become an abyss, even darker than other places. Why is it dark again? Right, it's almost midnight now, the legends are just like this, Origin Ancient Mine swallows the essence of heaven and earth, absorbing everything. Old Saber Hancho was alarmed, saying, we have to leave quickly, or else we might not be able to leave. Let's go. Yi Fan shouted in a low voice. He had already roughly understood the situation here, so he led the three of them to retreat. Of course, the so-called retreat referred to turning left and right, constantly changing directions, and not advancing in a straight line. Yi Fan constantly calculated according to what was recorded in the Book of Origin. He even paid attention to every step he took. The three people behind him followed his footprints as they advanced. This was a circuitous route. Even if it wasn't three steps forward and two steps back, it was more or less the same. It was very erratic, sometimes to the left, sometimes to the right. From time to time, Yi Fan would even stop and make some calculations on the ground. He carefully evaluated and compared the surrounding terrain, and then he would choose a direction to advance Indiana. I say, Grandpa Digger, you have to bring us out. Chen Hua Yuan dawdled while walking, saying, I've always admired people like you, I've always wanted to enter this line of work. Unfortunately, I only learned a bit of superficial knowledge. Stay on the side, don't add to the chaos. Old Saber Hancho pulled him to the side, afraid that he would disturb Yi Fan. Half a quarter of an hour later, Yi Fan brought them back to their starting point, about 80 to 90 li from Origin Ancient Mine. During this process, muffled sounds could be heard from behind them from time to time. An enormous black hole swallowed the essence of heaven and earth like a whale, as if an archaic vicious beast had opened its mouth to devour the heavens. Yi Fan was affected several times. Every time heaven and earth lost all light, completely sinking into darkness, he had no choice but to stop and calmly deduce. Just like this, they walked and stopped, feeling as if they had made a detour for over a thousand li. They finally left this strange region, appearing a hundred and fifty li away. We're finally out. The four of them heaved a sigh of relief, especially Yi Fan, as if he had collapsed, he sat on the ground on his butt. Unceasingly deducing made him a little exhausted. He took out the pristine jade bottle and poured the dried up divine spring into his mouth, finally recovering quickly. If he hadn't comprehended the book of source heavenly scripture, Yi Fan felt that he would have definitely been sealed inside, and it would have been almost impossible for him to escape. Grandpa Digger, when we get back, I'll erect a long life memorial arch for you. I'm a man of my word. Chen Hua Yuan looked deeply grateful. Stop dreaming, we're only a little away from the divine mine, we're still in the absolute beginning forbidden area, there's also a terrain similar to true dragon coughing blood, we could lose our lives at any time. Old Saber Hancho poured cold water on him. Yi Fan also heaved a sigh. The absolute beginning forbidden area was extremely dangerous, there was definitely more than one terrain like fire dragon mark and true dragon coughing blood. If they were careless, they might fall into a dangerous zone. Under the auspicious moonlight, the few of them walked very slowly and carefully, for fear of accidentally falling into a dangerous zone. What did the corpses you saw in the absolute beginning ancient mine look like? Yi Fan asked Li Dishan. Were they humans? Old Saber Hancho also asked. They were all humanoid, but it's hard to say whether they were human corpses or not. After all, they were too far away, even my netherworld eyes could only see their silhouettes. There were males and females, their clothes were very ancient. Li Dishan still had lingering fears. Perhaps, there are corpses of ancient divine masters and emperors. Of course, it's also possible that they originally existed in the absolute beginning ancient mine. Old Saber Hancho said to himself. Fortunately, I didn't see any living existences. Yi Fan rejoiced. There were too many legends regarding the absolute beginning ancient mine, each more terrifying than the last. Living existences, how many people have seen them since ancient times? Old Saber Hancho said to himself. I wonder if those three deity-like existences are still nearby. Li Dishan said in a low voice. Strictly speaking, it was precisely because of the appearance of those three creatures surrounded by halos that they were forced to flee, almost being trapped in absolute beginning ancient mine. We definitely can't meet them again. Chen Huayuan muttered. 
I say, can you two shut your crow mouths? Old Saber Honcho's eyes widened, speaking these words extremely taboo. Not good. Yi Fan gazed towards the distant horizon, his mind immediately sinking. These two crow mouths really hit the nail on the head. Even though it was midnight, it wasn't dark. The bright moon hung high in the sky, the boundless blood-colored great earth hazy and indistinct. On the horizon, three figures appeared, currently looking in this direction. There were halos surrounding them, as if three deities were standing there. The one at the center was plain and illusory, giving off an unreal feeling. The one on the left had divine radiance covering his body, blazing and dazzling like a blazing sun, as if a sun god descended into this world. The one on the right had white clothes and fine black hair fluttering about, as if a lunar fairy descended into this world, sparkling and translucent. Three taboos. They really want to force us into absolute beginning ancient mine. Shen Huayuan and Li Dishang had just calmed down not too long ago, but now, they began to tremble again. The two really wanted to run, but right now, their legs were extremely weak, trembling, unable to budge an inch. Yi Fan and Old Saber Hancho wanted to run, but Absolute Beginning Ancient Mine was right behind them, so it really wasn't easy to turn around. However, something shocking and incomprehensible happened. The three deities on the horizon suddenly turned around and ran, as if they were avoiding snakes and scorpions, as if they encountered malicious spirits, quickly fleeing, inconceivably fast. Old Saber Hancho was stupefied, extremely confused. Li Dishun and Chen Huayuan were also stupefied, stammering as they spoke. Taboo existences, are scared of us, this, what is going on? Deities, are running, I, am not seeing things, right? Even though the distance was far, only a blurry silhouette visible, Yi Fan still felt that it was a bit familiar. In that instant, a streak of light flashed past his mind. Fuck you. He ran as if he was flying, running in pursuit. He dares to curse the living existences of absolute beginning forbidden area? Chen Huayuan was shocked. Crazy, he's really crazy, this grandpa is possessed, actually chasing after three deities. Li Dishun also cried out in alarm. Old Saber Hancho was stunned at first, then he suddenly jumped up and said, Chase, those aren't absolute beginning ancient minds deities, they're people like us. What, they're people? Chen Huayuan's courage was immediately boosted, cursing loudly, fuck, it's the three of them who caused us to run all over the place, almost dying in absolute beginning ancient mind, they're actually also humans. Li Dishun also cursed, saying, fuck your grandpa, they're also humans, yet they almost caused us to die, I at hashtag yen yen. They quickly recalled that when they first met, the four of them stood on high ground, only retreating to a low-lying area, only when they couldn't see those three did they start to run. Thinking about it this way, the other party most likely also chose to run at that time, just that they didn't see them because of the high ground. Yi Fan rushed at the very front, Old Saber Hancho was second, Chen Huayuan and Li Dishun were at the bottom, chasing relentlessly. The four of them were extremely calm, not a single one shouting, all of them chasing in silence. Even though the three in front were extremely fast, extremely swift, they couldn't completely let go, not daring to use all of their strength out of fear of accidentally entering a dangerous area. As a result, they didn't shake off the four behind them. Even though they could only see blurry silhouettes, Yi Fan could almost confirm that they were the Jade Lake Saintess, Yao Shi, and Yao Guang Saint. He already knew that these three Holy Lands inheritors came to the edge of Absolute Beginning Ancient Mind to transport stone materials, but he never expected that they would also lose their way here. These three almost caused us to lose our lives in absolute beginning ancient mine, if we don't scare them half to death, we'll really be letting us down. Li Dishun and Chen Huayuan both clenched their teeth. Yi Fan even more so took action, chasing after the three holy lands inheritors, not daring to stop for even a moment. The glorious saint and saintess were always calm and composed, but now they were in a sorry state, treating the people behind them as taboo existences in absolute beginning ancient mine. Why do I feel like they are humans, not some unknown creature? Indeed, their sleeves are fluttering, the one at the very front seems like a Daoist priest, and he looks a bit familiar. They are most likely humans, if they were terrifying creatures, they should have already caught up to us. The Jade Lake Saintess, Yao Shi, and Yao Guang Saint weren't ordinary people after all, even though they were trapped in the absolute beginning forbidden area, they didn't panic too much. They quickly came to a conclusion, and then all of them stopped, stopping. Boundless celestial being, are there some old friends in front? When Yi Fan saw them stop, he quickly rushed forward, saying, not good, not good. Not long after, the two sides met up. The silver moon hung high in the sky, the moonlight bright and clear, the rays gentle. When they arrived before their eyes, they could clearly see each other. Yao Guang Saint's hair was shining with golden light, and his whole body was shining brilliantly. Although he wasn't angry, he didn't have his usual peaceful smile either, and his brows were slightly furrowed. Yao Shi's clothes were whiter than snow, and she looked like an otherworldly fairy. She frowned and said, Daoist priest, I didn't expect to meet you here. You really are worthy of being Daoist priest Duan's senior uncle. Duanda was called an immoral Daoist, or a wicked Daoist priest. Yao Shi was very tactful, and her words had a hidden meaning. 
Being chased like this in the absolute beginning forbidden area, no one would be happy. However, she had good self-control, so she didn't explode. Boundless celestial being, Yi Fan recited the Daoist name and explained, this is all a misunderstanding. The Jade Lake Saintess didn't say anything. After a while, she said, Daoist priest, why are you here? It's a long story. At this time, Chen Huayuan and Li Dexing arrived, saying, who are you? You almost made us die in the absolute beginning ancient mine. The two of them didn't care about the consequences, and they started a series of complaints. Yao Guang Saint's son, Yao Shi, and the Jade Lake Saintess immediately lost their temper. After hearing what the two of them said, the three of them realized that it was indeed a misunderstanding for both sides to scare each other. After the grudge disappeared, Yao Shi complained, Daoist priest, you are really comparable to that immoral Daoist priest. You clearly recognized us, but you still chased after us without saying a word. Yao Guang Saint's son also said, Daoist brother, this joke is a bit too much. The Jade Lake Saintess let out a melodious voice and said, Daoist priest, we were almost chased into a dead end by you. Everything is a misunderstanding. Yi Fan changed the topic and asked, how did you also get lost in the absolute beginning forbidden area? We were originally at the edge of the absolute beginning forbidden area. According to the three of them, their experience was almost the same as Yi Fan's. A strange black wind blew outside the life forbidden area, and many people were killed or injured. The three of them were swept into the absolute beginning forbidden area. After learning that the three of them were holy land inheritors, Li Dexing and Chen Huayuan didn't dare make a fuss. Old Saber Hancho, on the other hand, was quite calm from start to finish. When they understood each other's reasons for entering, the seven of them all sighed with emotion. It was actually all because of that strange black wind. Daoist priest, you really? For the sake of seeing origin ancient mine, you actually ran all the way here. Yao Guang Saint Sun shook his head. Both sides gathered together. After learning about each other's experiences in the forbidden area, the Jade Lake Saintess and the other two were quite shocked. They didn't expect Yi Fan to be so outstanding, breaking through the perilous situation. I feel that as long as we walk through the bloody plains in front of us, we will be able to leave the forbidden area. Old Saber Hancho said. Yi Fan and the three Holy Land inheritors all nodded. They also felt the same way. The seven of them walked for sixty li, and then they unexpectedly saw a pine forest in front of them. The bright moon shone on the pine trees, clear spring flowed over rocks, this was the true portrayal of the scene before their eyes. The pine forest swayed, clear spring gurgled, the moon reflected on the stream, quiet and beautiful. Origin ancient mine was a life forbidden area, not even a blade of grass grew here. How could there be such a place? Everyone was confused, feeling greatly surprised and shocked. There is something shining. Yao Guang's eyes were deep, as if he could see the entire pine forest. The stream murmured, flowing over the bluestone, pure and clean like silk. The seven of them walked into the forest. Sure enough, they saw light flickering, an object shining. This is, a skeleton. Everyone was shocked. Below an ancient pine tree was a pure white skeleton, its entire body sparkling and sparkling, releasing brilliance under the moonlight. This person definitely had world-shocking cultivation when he was alive, for his bones to still be this smooth even after so many years, unimaginable. There is a jade pendant here. Yao Shi found a warm jade in the stream, carved into the shape of a dragon, flickering with precious splendor. This is an emperor from Great Xia. The Jade Lake Saintess was shocked. This type of jade pendant was something only Great Xia's emperor could possess, a type of status symbol. There wasn't a single person who wasn't shocked. An emperor with world-shocking cultivation from an undying dynasty that had existed for more than a hundred thousand years actually died here. As expected, Origin Ancient Mind sent a holy lord and emperor to their deaths. Yao Guang's holy child sighed. He didn't know if he would also head here in the future. He died before entering Origin Ancient Mine, so there is definitely some type of unfathomable danger here. We need to hurry and leave. Yao Shi's exceptional appearance revealed great fluctuations, her beautiful eyes sweeping towards the depths of the pine forest. Everyone shivered inwardly. An emperor of an undying dynasty whose cultivation was profound, yet he died here. This place wasn't as peaceful as it looked on the surface. Hurry and leave. Yi Fan thought of something, the first to withdraw. Right now, these people all viewed him as a grave robber. When they saw this, they felt even more uneasy, all of them moving in retreat. Daoist, is there anything wrong with this place? Did you see anything? The Jade Lake Saintess asked softly, waves of fragrance wafting from her jade-like body. There shouldn't be a pine forest or clear spring here, it should be a desolate land, things will always move in the opposite direction when they reach an extreme. Yi Fan felt uneasy. There was a warning in the Heavenly Origin book, things will move in the opposite direction when they reach an extreme, quickly withdraw upon seeing it. That wasn't something said to normal people, but rather a warning for the Yuan Taoist master. The latter half of the Heavenly Origin book had mentioned this type of mountain and river terrain. It didn't conform to common sense, a landform that shouldn't exist. There was definitely something inconceivable underground, something even the Yuan Taoist master had to withdraw from. Yi Fan's heart was pounding madly. 
This was an earth vein that could kill the Yuan Taoist master, a demonic earth that had to be avoided. With his current strength, it was impossible for him to speculate what was underground. I actually really did see a landform like things will move in the opposite direction when they reach an extreme. This is recorded in the latter half of the Heavenly Origin book. He said to himself inwardly. He definitely couldn't break through it right now. Even if the Zhang family's first ancestor, that Yuan Taoist master was reborn, he might not necessarily be able to break through. Yi Fan broke out in cold sweat, backing up step by step. The clothes on his back were all drenched. Everyone could feel his nervousness, all of them holding their breaths, backing up as well. Nothing bad happened all the way until they left the pine forest. The clear spring's gurgling sounds were pleasing to the ears, passing through the forest. It was extremely peaceful. Even the world-shaking Emperor Lord died here, so how could there not be any dangers? This was definitely a demonic earth died in blood. However, everyone already backed up several hundred Zhang away, yet they still didn't see anything. So. Yi Fan displayed his extreme speed, leaving behind an afterimage, rushing out in the blink of an eye. Slowly retreating wasn't a solution. Everyone, we will rely on our luck. If we don't die, then we will meet up 50 Li away. The digging grandpa who could walk out from Origin Ancient Mine was actually like this, leaving the remaining six horrified. The sound of space shattering rang through the air. They all displayed their various methods, doing everything they could to escape. Yi Fan fled for his life, a chill running down his back. The absolute beginning forbidden area was too terrifying, danger zones everywhere. He felt like this place wasn't much worse than that ancient mine. Chapter 229 Yi Fan's speed could not be said to be slow. Although he was not the only one in the Holy Ji Palace, he was almost there. After he took a step forward, he felt as if time and space had changed. In the blink of an eye, he had rushed out several miles. But when he looked up, his body felt cold. The bright moon shone through the pine trees, and the clear spring flowed over the rocks. A plain and peaceful scene was right in front of him. He could not escape and was about to rush into the pine forest. How can this be? He suddenly stopped. It was peaceful in front of him. Thin smoke rose from the pine forest, gentle and clean. The pine forest should have been behind him. How could it be in front of him? He looked back. The six people behind him were faint. It was empty. There was nothing. The red land was far away. Why is it like this? When things reach an extreme, they will always move in the opposite direction. This sort of terrain could even kill the Grand Xia Royal Lord. Yi Fan had no way to break it. His heart pounded, he changed his direction once more and flew away. Whoosh! The stars moved, and the heaven and earth rotated. In front of him, the stream flowed, and the pine forest was picturesque. It was like a place of immortals. The peaceful scenery was in front of him again, blocking his way. It was as if he was rushing in himself. Why is this forest moving? Yi Fan was shocked. He did not feel any fluctuations of field energy. Everything was as calm as water. Why is it like this? He changed direction again. He hadn't gone far when he encountered the same scene. The tranquil and elegant pine forest seemed to have always been in front of him, blocking his path. It was he himself who was seeking the tranquil and seeking victory. He strode forward. Yi Fan stopped and silently calculated, using what he had learned to analyze the abnormality in front of him. But after a while, he could not find the reason or solution. This place was definitely not caused by the so-called field energy. The forest seemed to really be moving. Now, Yi Fan did not trust his senses. He closed his eyes and released his divine sense to explore his surroundings. The result was still the same. There was no change. It seems that I am trapped here and cannot escape. He did not know if it was the same for the others. He was only a hundred feet away from the pine forest and the clear spring. It would be unrealistic for Yi Fan to say that he was not nervous. This concerned his life and death. No one could remain calm in such a situation. What should we do? No one was willing to die in the prime of their life. He took out the cauldron made from the source energy of all things, and it floated above his head. Wisps of mysterious yellow energy fell down. Then, he took out the Li Fire Divine Cauldron, and held it in his palm, ready to strike at any time. In the middle of the night, everything was quiet. Other than the gentle sound of the stream, there was nothing else. It was exceptionally peaceful. Yi Fan stood there for more than an hour, but nothing happened. Where did they go? Why is there no sound? Could it be that they've escaped? Yi Fan's heart was filled with doubt. Continuing to stand like this wasn't a solution at all. In the end, he took out the Book of Source Heaven and prepared himself for a last-minute battle. The mysterious book flickered with silver light and felt heavy in his hand. Under the moonlight, it was exceptionally sparkling and translucent. The words, Book of Source Heavenly Source, shone brightly on the cover. After he opened it, he immediately flipped to the second half of the book. He searched for the few pages where, when things reach an extreme, they will move in the opposite direction and searched for a way to break it. After reading for a long time, Yi Fan broke out in a cold sweat. This was almost unsolvable. The book suggested retreating as soon as possible, but he was currently trapped here and had no way of retreating. 
Force observation technique. He sighed. In the end, his comprehension wasn't thorough enough, and he hadn't been able to learn the force observation technique to a profound level. Otherwise, he would have been able to seek fortune and avoid calamity. He would have discovered this dangerous place first and wouldn't have been in such a dangerous situation. It was too late to say anything now. In such a short period of time, it was already very astonishing that he had achieved what he had now. It was impossible for him to comprehend the heavenly scroll in one go. After repeatedly studying it and seriously analyzing it, Yi Fan discovered that there were one or two methods he could try, but he couldn't use them at all because they involved extremely profound source techniques. Moreover, even if he used them, he might not be able to break it. There was only a 50% chance of success. As expected of the demonic earth that killed the Yuan Taoist master. He was close to despair. Buzz. Suddenly, Yi Fan's ears rang, and he felt as if a large hammer had smashed into his body. Blood flowed from his ears and nose at the same time, and his body was flung away like a scarecrow. Bang! He fell to the ground all of a sudden. His whole body was in pain, and even his powerful treasured body almost collapsed. What is attacking me? Yi Fan was horrified. The cauldron above his head quickly enlarged and enveloped him. The leaf fire divine furnace in his hand surged into the sky, burning fiercely in front of him. The surroundings were quiet, and he didn't see anything. He didn't know what had attacked him. Buzz. It was coming again. His ears were ringing, and his eyes were blurred. His divine sense was in intense pain as if it was being pricked by needles. His senses were almost out of commission, and an inexplicable strange force smashed into his body. Boom. This time, he wasn't hit. The cauldron made of myriad source chi sucked him in. The mysterious yellow mist fell, making heavy sounds. At the same time, the lid of the Li Fire Divine Furnace opened, and flames burned in all directions, engulfing the sky. Damn it! Yi Fan was furious. He had suffered a great loss, and he still didn't know what had attacked him. Inside the cauldron made of myriad source chi, he checked his body's condition and was deeply shocked. His seven orifices were bleeding, and his bones were almost broken. Bloody cracks appeared on his skin. If it was someone else, even a cultivator of the Third Secret Realm would have been killed. This kind of attack was too terrifying. His physical body surpassed spirit treasures, and even swords couldn't harm him. Yet, he was almost broken. One could only imagine how terrifying it was. Buzz. Another wave of vibrations resounded. This time, Yi Fan was inside the cauldron, and he didn't look as miserable as before. He could clearly see a strange light wave vibrating. It seemed gentle, but its power was astonishing, and it made his palms break out in cold sweat. Dang. The gentle light wave vibrated like a ripple. It was very gentle, but when it hit the Li Fire Divine Furnace, it immediately created a deep dent. In the past, when he used the Battle Saint technique and used all his strength, he could only leave a palm print on the furnace. However, this ripple-like light wave caused a large part of the furnace to shrink. This was too shocking. No wonder his physical body almost collapsed. With this kind of power, if he were to be hit a few more times, his body and soul would have been destroyed. The light wave was emitted from the pine forest, and it rippled continuously. Under the moonlight, it seemed exceptionally graceful. As expected, it was the demonic earth, and its terror was beginning to show. Swoosh. Yi Fan put the Leaf Fire Divine Furnace back into the cauldron. In a short period of time, there were already four or five deep marks on it, as if it had been lashed by the Heavenly Emperor's whip. Fortunately, this furnace was very mysterious and almost indestructible. Not long after, it slowly swelled up and became transparent like a crystal. It quickly repaired itself. This furnace has the power of immortality. Yi Fan's eyes were clear, but now was not the time to be distracted. If he didn't solve the crisis outside, he would definitely die here. What made him feel a little relieved was that this cauldron made of myriad source chi, although it didn't have a spirit or special ability, it was rare in this world in terms of toughness. Although the ripples hit the furnace and produced sonorous sounds, they didn't leave any marks. Wisps of mysterious yellow chi fell down and crushed one of the light waves. Yi Fan controlled the precious cauldron and tore through the air. He didn't want to give up and tried again. Unfortunately, the result was still the same. Moreover, it provoked even more light waves that covered the sky. They were like streaks of light rain, multicolored and dazzling as they enveloped downwards. Dang, dang. Piercing through metal and splitting stone, the sound deafening. The cauldron made of myriad source chi was sent flying in all directions. Chi. Suddenly, the light waves disappeared. A black line seeped out from the forest and lightly streaked across the sky. However, it made Yi Fan's heart tremble. That black line actually tore apart the void. This made his blood run cold. He was worried that his own cauldron wouldn't be able to withstand this kind of attack. Things will always move in the opposite direction when they reach an extreme. It looks peaceful, but it is actually so terrifying. Dang. The cauldron made of myriad source chi shook violently but didn't shatter. However, Yi Fan who was inside felt extremely uncomfortable. The powerful force shook his entire body until it was in pain. However, what made his scalp go numb was that the pine forest that was enveloped in silver moonlight was actually overflowing with countless black lines that lightly brushed over. 
Yi Fan controlled the cauldron to escape. With so many black lines, the myriad source Qi cauldron definitely couldn't handle them. Even if it didn't shatter, it was enough to shake him to death. There's really no way out. He was in despair. This pine forest was tranquil and clean. Even though it resembled the immortal forest, it was even more terrifying than the ghost forest. However, with the Great Dipper transposition, he couldn't escape. Wherever he rushed to, it would obstruct him. At this time, Yi Fan discovered that there were black lines everywhere in the air. They were densely packed, but there were none in the lower parts of the pine forest. It was all hazy. Whatever, if I die, then I die. He clenched his teeth and controlled the precious cauldron. He moved close to the ground and rushed into the pine forest. According to the description of the Book of Origin, once activated, it would be very difficult to come out alive as long as one entered the forest. However, Yi Fan had no choice. If he didn't rush in, he would die immediately. In the sky, the black lines danced like demonic hands. Not long after, they disappeared. The forest was very peaceful. Yi Fan waited in the cauldron for a long time, but he didn't see any changes. Am I really going to be trapped here? He came out of the cauldron and stood on the ground. He rubbed the Book of Origin with his hand. Suddenly, the Book of Origin automatically flipped its pages and shot out rays of auspicious light. This is. There were also auspicious lights flickering in the pine forest. Yi Fan's expression changed as he walked forward with the Book of Origin in his hand. He was rather surprised. He saw the original heaven pattern network on the ground. It was a rune unique to the Book of Origin. It was sparkling on the ground and attracted the Book of Origin. Yi Fan walked over in large strides. The first original heaven pattern network was profound and complex. He couldn't understand it at all. There were hundreds of runes that formed a six-pointed star diagram. They were all engraved on origin stones and buried underground. At this moment, they were overflowing with colorful lights and appeared. In front of him, auspicious lights flickered in more than one place. They led to the deepest part of the pine forest like bright lamps guiding the way. Why is this? Could it be that the Yuan Taoist master has been here before? Yi Fan's heart immediately became excited. He had already fallen into a state of despair, but now there was a ray of hope. He walked forward with the Book of Origin in his hand. He slowly walked forward and observed carefully as he walked towards the deepest part of the pine forest. Suddenly, his expression froze. He was incomparably shocked. Not far away, there was an ancient building. It was old and dilapidated, but it didn't collapse. It stood in the shadows. It was a divine temple. When he dug out the green iron pyramid in the Yaoguang Holy Lands mining area, he had seen the lush and luxuriant primordial land. He had seen some races and even different divine temples. What he saw in front of him was definitely a primordial divine temple. Countless years had passed. Although it was ancient, it hadn't collapsed. Yi Fan's heart trembled. No wonder this place was special. It was clearly not an ordinary land. In the primordial era, it was a sacred land. When things reach an extreme, they will move in the opposite direction, was probably just a representation. There was most likely something else. Yi Fan didn't walk over because the origin pattern on the ground didn't point there. Instead, it pointed to the front. He continued forward without any distractions. Along the way, he saw dozens of inscriptions. They were all incomparably profound, but he couldn't understand a single one. Some were shaped like true dragons, twisting and turning. Some were shaped like turtles, condensed and agile. There were also many star diagrams that corresponded to the stars in the sky. This was the origin pattern. It was the pattern laid down by the person with the highest achievement recorded in the Book of Origin. Without a doubt, this must be the work of the Yuan Taoist Master. No one else could do this. In the depths of the pine forest, the moonlight was like a pure white feather, sprinkling down in large patches. The sound of flowing water could be heard. A pavilion stood quietly in front of him. This pavilion was overflowing with an ancient aura. It was completely made of origin stones and was engraved with the passage of time. There were many ancient characters carved on the four pillars. Yi Fan was stunned after just looking at the first stone pillar. The Holy Master died, the Imperial Lord died, the Divine King died. Yi Fan couldn't help but be shocked. This place really surpassed his imagination. He carefully read the records. This was the personal record of a Yuan Taoist master. Chapter 230 The Great Xia Emperor was not the only powerful figure who died here. There were also four holy lords and a divine king from the eastern wilderness, all of whom met their fate in the morning pine forest. This is a record from a Yuan Taoist master's journal, clearly documenting the identities of those individuals from their relics and preserving their stories. The ancient pavilion, with a height of about four meters, was covered in pine needles on the ground. Trees surrounded it, and moonlight spilled over, giving it a serene and elegant appearance. Words were densely inscribed on the stone pillars, many of which were ancient characters. The Emperor, the Holy Lords, and the Eastern Wilderness Divine King, all entered this secret area when their lifespans were nearing their end. Despite their extraordinary cultivation, they still perished in this forest. Yi Fan gazed at the first stone pillar for a long time and could only sigh. No matter how exceptional one is, they cannot stop the passage of time. 
These individuals came here in their later years in pursuit of prolonging their lives, but ultimately failed. He walked to the other side, arriving at the second stone pillar. He carefully read the inscriptions, which detailed the origins of this Yuan Taoist master and recounted some of their deeds during their lifetime. After perusing, he was dumbfounded. This was unexpectedly the fourth generation Yuan Taoist master, essentially his ancestor in a certain sense. The second stone pillar recorded the history of the inheritance of Yuan techniques. Since ancient times, only five Yuan Taoist masters had appeared in the northern domain, and their lineage was uninterrupted. It mentioned the name Zhang Wuyi, who was an ancestor of Zhang Wuyi, a disciple of the fourth generation Yuan Taoist master. He became a disciple at the age of 200, a time when he had realized the concept of late years, and began preparing for his later life. Encountered Grandmaster Ancestor On the third stone pillar, some of the issues that concerned Yi Fan the most were recorded. The principle of extremes will reverse presented an almost insoluble situation. However, the fourth generation Grandmaster, through mastery of the Yuan techniques, managed to carve out a path and avoided being trapped to death here. Moreover, it was explicitly mentioned that he had sealed the ground, eliminating the imminent danger. However, the situation underground was extremely difficult to dispel and was not to be disturbed. Ancient inscriptions earnestly warn future generations that even if their cultivation reaches astounding heights, their mastery of Yuan techniques rivals that of celestial masters, they must not act recklessly. Otherwise, they will inevitably face great calamity. Yi Fan took a sharp inhale. Despite the surface of the immortal forest having been deciphered by the fourth generation Grandmaster, it remained perilous. It nearly claimed his life, indicating the danger of this place. Certain topographies cannot be resolved by human effort, and some mountains and rivers hold immense secrets that should not be disturbed. This was the stern admonishment of the fourth generation Grandmaster. The words on the third stone pillar were vague, but Yi Fan carefully pondered them and eventually gained insight. Apart from admonitions, there were faint references to the secrets of this place. Mountains and rivers in tomb ancient sages. Beyond the extreme reversal terrain, the immortal forest harbors divine sources and serves as a massive tomb. Yi Fan contemplated in silence, standing for a long time. The underground was indeed dreadful. If the fourth generation Grandmaster couldn't solve it, he wouldn't dare to touch it either. After pondering for a while, he arrived at the fourth stone pillar. He was immediately moved, this pillar was an invaluable treasure to him. The characters on this stone pillar were dense and deeply engraved, as if branded three inches deep into the pillar, fearing they might be erased. Astonishingly, this was a treatise on Yuan techniques. The fourth generation Grandmaster, over two centuries of his life, experienced life and death situations and encountered numerous dangerous places, some of which even exceeded the scope of Yuan Heaven, yet he found no solutions. His learned Yuan techniques were fundamentally ineffective against these challenges. It was all his own innovation, flashes of inspiration that allowed him to break through those life-threatening situations and live to old age. The inscriptions on this pillar represented his insights before his passing, supplementing Yuan Heaven. It could be said to continue the wonder. For someone like Zhu Yi, this was an unparalleled scripture akin to the Infinite Beginning Scripture, a transcendent manual that not even divine sources could grant. From ancient times to the present, there have been only five Yuan Taoist masters. This was the sublimation of a grandmaster's life's work and its true value could hardly be estimated. Yi Fan read word by word, silently committing everything to memory, afraid of missing even a single symbol. The text was exceptionally profound, complex, and difficult to comprehend. Various Yuan techniques were described, unheard of before, almost resembling the Tao itself. Yi Fan couldn't understand them and could only memorize the content. After engraving it in his mind, he swept his sleeve, and stone fragments filled the air, causing the source technique on the stone to disappear. He estimated that if these techniques were transcribed into the Yuan Heaven, they could extend by nine pages. The fourth generation Grandmaster truly was a genius, extending it by nine pages. Yi Fan marveled. After observing the four stone pillars, doubt arose in his heart. Why did the fourth generation Grandmaster come here, and where did he ultimately go? Inside the pavilion, there was a stone table and four stone stools. Time was like a knife, leaving traces named passing on them, simple and unadorned yet bearing the accumulation of years. However, they were not covered in dust. Despite their antiquity, they remained fairly clean. Yi Fan approached and was surprised to find inscriptions on the stone table, albeit very faint and barely visible. Sitting on a stone stool, he carefully observed. His heart raced with excitement as he found mention of the fourth generation Grandmaster's later years. Contrary to what he thought, the Grandmaster wasn't nearing the end of his lifespan but sensed the approach of his later years. He anticipated an ominous event and wanted to decipher it, so he came to the primordial restricted zone. It can't be. Yi Fan puzzled. He believed that the formidable, later years, of the Yuan Taoist Master were definitely connected to his lifelong quest for the source. Coming to the primordial restricted zone was akin to digging one's own grave. This place could be considered the furthest extent of the world's heaven-concealing sources. How could one come here to avoid misfortune? He continued reading, gradually understanding the fourth generation Grandmaster's dilemma. Even though the world of heaven concealing was immense, it didn't offer a haven. After much thought, he entered this place. The principle of extremes will reverse was rare in ancient times. He hoped to use this extreme to reverse his fate. 
Is this where the Grand Master rests? Yi Fan scanned his surroundings. The pine forest was tranquil, bathed in gentle moonlight, with clear and peaceful creek waters. There was no sign of any graves. Unwilling to undergo the changes experienced by predecessors, wanting to dispel the late year's calamity. The tone of the fourth generation Grandmaster was resolute. The stone table left a final arrow, indicating a path into the depths of the dense forest. This expanse of pine forest seemed endless, standing elegantly and beautifully under the moonlit night, adorned with silver-hued wisps. After a moment of standing in the pavilion, Yi Fan took a step forward. As he left the cool pavilion, the heaven in his hand emitted a tinkling sound and emitted auspicious light. Within the immortal forest, the patterns of Yuan heaven shimmered, guiding the way ahead. Yi Fan understood in his heart that whether it was the ancient pavilion or this path, they were both left for the future bearer of the heaven. Otherwise, the runes buried underground wouldn't have been revealed. What exactly were the later years of the Yuan Taoist master like? What kind of unforeseen events would occur? Did the fourth generation grandmaster manage to avoid them? Perhaps answers lay ahead. As a Yuan Taoist master, throughout one's life, they determine the dragon veins, extract precious sources, spending most of their time in the depths of the mountains and wilderness, unearthing many things that should never see the light of day. Maybe that's why they incur the heaven's jealousy, Yi Fan murmured to himself. Killing Bai was likely to become a Yuan Taoist master. He still couldn't truly understand whether he would encounter similar tribulations in his later years. The exact nature of these astonishing changes remained elusive. Walking through the forest, Yi Fan didn't encounter danger. The patterns of Yuan heaven on the ground intertwined like dragons and serpents, resembling a mysterious tortoise pulling a carriage, guiding the celestial energy from above, emitting a gentle radiance. The fourth generation Grandmaster indeed mastered the harmony of creation. This is his method for sealing the land's surface, and it has remained unweakened for over 10,000 years. Yi Fan was deeply impressed. This Grandmaster was truly extraordinary. Even late-stage holy lords and emperors had met their end in this place, yet he managed to find a way to survive. In terms of combat strength, the Yuan Taoist master couldn't compare to the major holy lords, but entering such a dire place, he could still be considered extraordinary. Even the emperors of the central region couldn't surpass him. The Grand Master has deciphered the danger on the surface, so why am I still trapped here? How can I escape? Why didn't he leave any relevant information behind? Could it be ahead? Yi Fan pondered. He wanted to see the ultimate fate of the fourth generation Grand Master, but more than that, he desired to leave this place. The immortal forest that even the Yuan Taoist master couldn't decipher, and the hidden danger underground, were beyond imagination. He feared the night growing longer, giving rise to unsettling encounters, which would indeed complicate matters. After traveling for several miles, Yi Fan gradually came across three dilapidated structures. They weren't very large, akin to the initial temple he had seen. All of them were extremely old, on the verge of collapse. Considering the passage of time, the fact that they still stood was nothing short of a miracle. Yi Fan believed that they most likely bore inscriptions and runes inside. Otherwise, any architectural structure would have turned to dust and ceased to exist. These were true ancient relics, situated within the primordial restricted zone. If he could uncover any artifacts, they would undoubtedly be of significant importance. However, Yi Fan didn't approach them. Currently, he only followed the path indicated by the patterns of Yuan Heaven, avoiding unnecessary risks. The patterns of Yuan Heaven corresponded to the stars in the sky, with threads of silver entering the woods, flickering like candlelight. After advancing another four miles, a grand structure spanned across the forest, blocking the way. Surprisingly, the patterns of Yuan Heaven directed him toward this location. The ancient temple was quite large, resembling a mountain in front of him. It even obscured the towering ancient pine trees. However, despite the silver moonlight, it didn't make the temple look bright or divine. Instead, it appeared eerie and grim. Built from black massive stones, it seemed to absorb light, resembling a long-sealed haunted fortress, eerily quiet without a sound. The entrance was wide open, leading into darkness. Nothing could be seen inside, as if it connected to an abyss. The fourth generation Grandmaster spent his later years here. I wonder if it changed his fate. Yi Fan felt that this grand structure had a certain eerie aura, overly dark. Even with his eyesight, he couldn't see the interior clearly. The late years of the Yuan Taoist Master. Regardless of what awaits, I should go in. I need to know what has happened. He took a step forward. The pine needles were thick, covering the stone steps by half, making his footing soft. After advancing over 10 meters, the stone steps became higher, leading up to the ancient building. There are inscriptions. In front of the wide open stone door, there was an open space with stone slabs inscribed with some runes. Yi Fan was taken aback. He saw the fire dragon tomb, he saw the blood drinking dragon, he saw this pine forest, all intricately depicted on the stone slabs. Furthermore, there were some annotations by the fourth generation grandmaster, along with many symbols he couldn't decipher. Yi Fan was greatly shocked. The engravings on the ground connected the fire dragon tomb and this place. The twisting path of the fire dragon tomb, the corpses littering the ground, the depiction of the blood drinking dragon, it was all strikingly vivid. But what caught his attention most was a coffin engraved within the depiction of the pine forest. 
A low mountain ridge connected the fire dragon tomb and this pine forest, resembling an iron chain. This was the true dragon pulling coffin. Yi Fan's expression changed immediately. The engravings on the ground surprised him greatly. The depiction of the ancient coffin had delicate lines and even intricate patterns. He felt a sense of familiarity. Indeed, there was a sense of familiarity. It resembled the bronze coffin drawn by the nine dragon corpses that brought him to this world. Not entirely the same, but quite similar. This is. His scalp tingled. The fire dragon tomb and the blood drinking dragon, they were all parts of a dragon. Linked to the ancient coffin in the pine forest, wasn't this the true dragon pulling coffin? It bore a striking resemblance to the nine dragon corpse coffins. What's going on here? Yi Fan was bewildered. This was an accurate topographical map. A low mountain ridge lay between the fire dragon tomb and the pine forest, resembling a true iron chain connecting the two. This depicted a terrain within a radius of a hundred miles, compressed onto the stone slabs, revealing such a profound mystery. Chapter 231 Ancient saints are buried in mountains and rivers. Yi Fan muttered to himself. According to the stone pillar, this should be the case. Before this, he had never seen the ancient coffin in the forest but he believed that it did exist. The fourth generation ancestor would not carve it carelessly. According to his conjecture, buried in the depths of the immortal forest, this should be the great tomb vaguely mentioned on the stone pillar. Yi Fan was astonished. What kind of existence was this? The person buried in such a mountainous terrain was definitely not ordinary. The fiery dragon tomb was connected to the pine forest and carried the coffin. It was too similar to the nine dragons pulling the coffin. Could there be some inexplicable connection? Otherwise, why were the lines of the ancient coffin so similar? The difference was that the nine dragon corpses were real while this place was just a terrain with only one fiery dragon tomb. Yi Fan believed that there was some kind of inheritance or civilization between the two. Otherwise, the ancient coffin would not be so similar. It was just that he didn't know who had inherited it from whom. Yi Fan's thoughts ran wild and it took him a while to recover. It was useless to think so much now. Escaping the primordial forbidden zone was the right thing to do. There were many runes on the stone slab regarding the fiery dragon tomb, the dragon's blood, and the pine forest. They were all marked by the heavenly origin pattern network. Yi Fan's head was spinning. He could not comprehend the heavenly origin book and could not understand the fourth generation ancestor's annotations. What shocked him the most was that a large part of the stone slab had been erased. The carvings should have been very big and included a wider terrain, but they were all destroyed. Yi Fan sighed inwardly. Those smooth carvings should have drawn the various terrains of this area. It was like a map of the outer area of the absolute beginning forbidden zone. He believed that there were many dangerous places like the dragon's blood. If the carvings were complete, one could avoid these dangerous places. The absolute beginning forbidden zone is too big. Even the fourth generation ancestor could only carve a part of it. What a pity that it was destroyed. Yi Fan was regretful but he could not do anything. The carvings had been lost, leaving only stone fragments. Things would move in the opposite direction when they reached an extreme. This kind of terrain and the unimaginable existence underground made Yi Fan's imagination run wild. He wanted to dig a kilometer underground and dig it out. He shook his head. Even the Yuan Taoist master could not understand this place, and even the old eastern wilderness divine king had fallen here. He had no hope at all. Origin Ancient Mine. Yi Fan sighed. This wasn't a secret land, but rather an expanse that stretched out continuously. As for the ancient mine in the innermost part, he didn't even need to think about it. Even if Crazy Bowl went there, he wouldn't be able to come out. As for the places outside the absolute beginning forbidden land, they were also extremely dangerous. It was a place of great evil. No matter how many people came here, they would die. Yi Fan stood up and looked into the temple. The scenery was blurry. This temple was many times larger than the ones they saw along the way. It was clearly an important place, possessing a special status in the past. However, time flew by, taking away everything. Now, only ruins and desolation remained. Yi Fan walked in with the Book of Origin in hand. He looked around carefully, and his powerful divine sense spread out to capture every inch of space. If there was an artifact here, it would definitely be extraordinary. Unfortunately, it was empty inside. Nothing was left. There was a thick layer of stone fragments on the ground, and the high platform at the center was the same. Apart from dust, there was nothing else. Right, it's all been destroyed in the passage of time. Nothing is left. Yi Fan understood. This ancient temple didn't collapse because there were shocking Tao patterns here. As for the divine statues inside, they had naturally all decayed. Dating back to the archaic era, a hundred thousand years could only be a unit of measurement. It was far from a length. After such a long period of time, even if there were treasures, they should have already decayed. Unless it was an extreme Tao weapon refined by a great emperor that was immortal and could exist forever in this world, there wouldn't be anything left. Yi Fan searched through the spacious and empty main hall. He found a rusty metal piece in a pile of flying ash. The divine metal has all decayed. The metal piece was snow white. There were cracks on its surface, and there were even more traces of rust. 
It had long lost its spirituality and value. He had seen this type of divine metal before. In the eighth level of the fire domain, when the Crow Daoist refined his weapon, he used this mutton fat jade like divine metal as the material. It was said that it was extremely rare in the world. The Alcade Saint's weapon also had this kind of divine metal. Only powerful cultivators could find some. Ordinary people couldn't get them at all. This should be a big piece, but only a little bit is left after the passage of time. Yi Fan believed that such a grand ancient temple must have been an important place in the past. From the divine metal, he could tell that many precious items had been left behind. Unfortunately, they had all been destroyed in the passage of time. As he had expected, he saw pieces of scrap metal in the ashes. There was purple thorn divine copper, daluo silver essence, and celestial tear green gold. Yi Fan felt that it was a pity. These were all top grade divine materials in the world. They were the first choice for refining extreme Dao weapons, but they had all been used up and were almost useless. Especially that celestial tear green gold. Even now, it was still the size of a fist. There were tear stains on it. Legend said that it was the tears of immortals. Unfortunately, the green gold was not as clear as jade. It had long become dim. Such a pity. Were such materials common in the archaic era? Now, I can't find many even if I search the entire eastern wasteland. Leaving it to rot in the dust was an extremely extravagant waste. Yi Fan found dozens of pieces, but he didn't see a single one that could be used. What a pity. Even the great sage would feel heartache if he saw this. Yi Fan walked around the main hall and didn't find anything useful. There were divine materials, but they had all rotted. Finally, he sensed an object under the divine platform in the center of the main hall. He pushed away the thick dust and removed the dust of history, allowing it to see the light of day again. Yi Fan was originally in high spirits, but when he saw this object, the corner of his mouth twitched. He thought that it was a magic treasure that had taken shape. Even if its essence had been used up, he might be able to see some Tao patterns that he had never seen before. This object didn't have the so-called Tao patterns. It was a jade artifact that was used to play with. It was completely green, but it was the size of a walnut. This was a green jade tortoise. It was vivid and lifelike, almost like a real tortoise. It was very warm in his hands. This was a top-grade jade material. That's not right. Even the Daluo silver essence and immortal tear green gold have been destroyed. How could this green jade tortoise be preserved? Yi Fan felt strange. He turned it around and looked. This was a black tortoise. Its neck was similar to a snake's and a dragon's, and its back was like the eight trigrams. This jade material's color was also dim, and it had lost all its essence energy. Although it was green, it had long since lost its spiritual energy. This thing was definitely not an extreme weapon. He couldn't even sense the existence of the Tao patterns on it. Yi Fan couldn't understand how it could be preserved. His fingers turned golden. He squeezed the jade stone with force, but it actually didn't break. This shocked him. This green jade tortoise was definitely not ordinary. Its hardness was beyond imagination. He had to look at it seriously and use his powerful divine sense to sense it. What's going on? There seems to be something inside. Yi Fan discovered to his surprise that there was something sealed inside the green jade. He could faintly sense it. The divine materials on the ground had been destroyed. Had he picked up a treasure in the end? He carefully observed it, but he couldn't understand. This green jade tortoise wasn't a weapon, but it hadn't been destroyed by time. It's buried in the dust under the altar in the center of the ancient temple. Could it have some history? Yi Fan casually played with it, but he couldn't figure it out. He passed through the grand ancient temple and arrived at the back. The pine forest was quiet, and there were hundreds of heaven origin patterns in the forest. They were all flickering and resonating with a strange book in his hand. This is... Yi Fan felt dizzy. He slowly saw some clues. This was a profound and unfathomable heaven origin diagram. It could stabilize the dragon vein, lock the divine source, and change the general situation of the mountains and rivers. Is the fourth generation patriarch crazy? Yi Fan was shocked. This was a super heaven origin diagram. It should have been laid out in dozens of miles of mountains and rivers, but it was concentrated in a radius of 300 meters. It was so tightly packed that the sky and earth might collapse if not handled properly. Even as the Yuan Taoist master, he couldn't lay out such a terrifying heaven origin diagram more than a few times in his life. What is he doing? Yi Fan looked for a while and said in surprise, borrowing power. Without a doubt, it was borrowing power from the opposite direction. A ray of light flashed across his mind. He thought of the stone inscription in front of the ancient temple. The ancient coffin marked in the pine forest seemed to be here. Yes, it must be buried under this forest. Yi Fan was instantly horrified. The fourth generation patriarch had left behind a death inscription to warn his descendants not to recklessly touch the general situation of the pine forest, or else they would be killed. But he himself was borrowing the general situation underground. This was too risky. One wrong step and he would be smashed to pieces. It was hard to predict whether an ancient saint was buried in this ominous land. Yi Fan felt his heart palpitate. One had to know that this was the true center of the pine forest, and there was a great disaster buried underground. 
Within the radius of 300 meters, there were a total of 365 heaven origin patterns. True dragons in the sky, vermilion birds dancing, black tortoises like mountains. The patterns here were not simple runes. All of them formed a diagram, and when combined together, it was like a celestial painting or a celestial phenomenon. The patriarch is throwing caution to the wind. He wants to use this to protect himself and change his fate in his later years. Yi Fan didn't dare to go in. If he went in, he might not be able to come out in this lifetime. Within a radius of 300 meters, he could draw the killing intent of heaven and earth, and he could borrow the general situation of this place for his own use. He stood outside the heaven origin diagram, and he could see it clearly within a radius of 300 meters. Upon closer inspection, there was a broken stone ruler on the ground, as well as some broken stone clothes. Yi Fan's heart immediately sank. That ruler was made from the old skin of the Source of God, and it was called the Heaven Measuring Ruler. It was extremely precious and was a must-have item when exploring divine minds. As for the broken stone clothes, he was no stranger to it. He had worn it when exploring the Purple Mountain. It was also made from the old skin of the Source of God, and it could isolate all auras. Red hair. He saw a few strands on the broken stone clothes. This place was sealed by the Heaven Origin Diagram, and everything of the past had been preserved. Red hair. He saw a few strands on the broken stone clothes. This place was sealed by the Heaven Origin Diagram, and everything of the past had been preserved. Did he grow the red hair himself, or? He thought of the first ancestor of the Zhang family. Regardless of this, something must have found this place and caused the disaster. What exactly was this thing? Even this kind of terrain couldn't stop it. Even the burial ground of an ancient saint couldn't stop it. If there were no corpses, there would be misfortune, and it would mean failure. These were the words left behind by the fourth generation patriarch. Yi Fan saw a lying rock in the pine forest, and there were many words carved on it. He sighed. The Yuan Taoist master's later years were truly terrifying. The fourth generation patriarch tried his best to hide in the absolute beginning forbidden zone, but he still couldn't escape. Borrowing the power of this place, he still couldn't change anything. The most terrifying thing was the psychological torture. It was easy to imagine that it must have been like purgatory. Yi Fan carefully read the words on the rock. He found a way to escape, and this surprised him. The surface of the pine forest had indeed been sealed by the fourth generation patriarch. However, if one held the Heaven Origin Diagram, they would definitely be trapped here. This was caused by the Heaven Origin Diagram network laid down by the fourth generation patriarch. It was for the descendants to come in and accept the inheritance, and to sublimate their life's work. Yi Fan silently bowed towards the depths of the pine forest. It was a pity that a genius of a generation with world-shaking talent couldn't change his fate in the end. I don't want to experience such torment in my later years. An hour later, Yi Fan followed the stone carvings left by the fourth generation patriarch and successfully walked out of the pine forest. He didn't encounter any danger. Looking back, the moonlight was like water, and the pine forest was picturesque. Yi Fan sighed softly. The dignified fourth generation patriarch didn't even leave behind his bones. What happened? He flew away, turning into a wisp of smoke on the blood-colored ground, and left this dangerous place. A few dozen li was nothing to him, and he soon left it behind. In front of him, a few figures stood under the moonlight, their bodies shrouded in a hazy glow. There were a total of six of them. Yi Fan almost met with a mishap, but the six of them were safe and sound, waiting here leisurely. These were really two different experiences, but he didn't have much to complain about. After all, he had obtained the origin technique. I say, little brother, you're really daring. You told us to run, but you rushed into the pine forest without any regard for your life. That's right, Daoist priest, we all thought you sacrificed yourself to help us. Li Desheng and Chen Huayuan were surprised to see him come back alive. Yi Fan's mouth twitched. He really couldn't explain it. How could he not go when the patriarch summoned him? Daoist priest, what ferocious thing do you have on you? The Jade Lake Holy Maiden asked in surprise. She was shrouded in mist and her face couldn't be seen, but one could feel her seriousness. Nothing. Yi Fan didn't understand and looked at her. No, there must be a ferocious thing. My secret treasure sensed it. It's extremely dangerous. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden's voice was like the sound of nature. She asked solemnly, did you get something from the absolute beginning forbidden area? Yi Fan was shocked. He immediately thought of the green jade profound tortoise. Apart from that, he didn't get anything else. With a flash, Yi Fan took out the tortoise and held it in his palm. Under the moonlight, it looked a bit translucent. Seeing this, the Jade Lake Holy Maiden quickly retreated. Her beautiful eyes lit up as she said in surprise, what a terrifying aura. This is a ferocious thing. Yao Guang Saint and Yao Shi also retreated. They believed in the Jade Lake Holy Maiden's judgment. I think I've heard of this thing before. Old Saber Hancho revealed a serious expression. This is a divine source, the Jade Lake Holy Maiden made this judgment. What? This is a divine source? Yi Fan was quite surprised. He immediately shook his head. He had studied the Book of Source for some time. How could he not recognize the characteristics of a divine source? This is a dried up divine source. 
Its essence has been sucked dry. It's just an empty shell, the Jade Lake Holy Maiden explained. The Jade Lake Saintess explained, someone used a supreme magic power to refine it into an empty body. There's something terrifying sealed inside. That's right. I know. There is such a saying. Old Saber Honcho nodded and said, the empty shell of a divine source is the best material to seal a peerless ferocious thing. You mean, there's an extremely terrifying thing sealed inside this profound tortoise? Yi Fan was in a daze. He felt like this was a hot potato. Where did you get it? Old Saber Honcho asked. At the same time, he also took a few steps back. He seemed to be very afraid of this profound tortoise. Yi Fan found it hard to calm down. This profound tortoise was only the size of an infant's fist. It actually sealed an unimaginably terrifying thing. It was really beyond his expectations. He didn't want to tell them the origin of this thing. If he told them that he took it out from the ashes under the altar of a grand ancient temple, they would probably be even more shocked. I picked this up from the pine forest. How many years do you think it has existed for? Did the thing sealed inside turn into ashes long ago? At this moment, Li Desheng shouted. A strand of blood flowed out of his left eye. He pointed at the profound tortoise with a trembling finger and said, there's demonic power inside. His left eye was an innate netherworld eye. Occasionally, he could see through the netherworld and see some special things. When he said this, everyone became very nervous. Yi Fan almost threw it out. This was too inconceivable. How many years had passed? What could live for so long? This was too unreal. What did you see? They asked Li Dishan. I couldn't see clearly. It was too hazy, but it was very terrifying. My netherworld eye was injured. Li Dishan shook his head. Everyone, do you think this is realistic? Yi Fan shook his head and said, I saw an empty divine source shell in the absolute beginning forbidden area. Even if it was left here by the human race, I'm afraid it has been sealed for hundreds of thousands of years. What kind of thing could survive after being sealed for such a long time? Do you really think you're an eastern wasteland divine king? You can't be immortal for 4,000 years. Don't worry, we'll take a closer look later. Yao Guang Saint Child's entire body flickered with auspicious colors. A strand of holy light rushed out and entered Li Dishang's left eye. In just a moment, his netherworld eye was restored and no longer bleeding. This made everyone's hearts tremble. This impenetrable holy light was indeed powerful. Yi Fan also wanted to understand this. He didn't want to bring a vicious creature with him. If he were to lose his life, then it would truly be lifting a rock to drop it on his own feet. Li Dishun's pitch black netherworld eye shot out a beam of dark light as he looked at the lush green black tortoise. At the same time, Yao Guang Saint Child covered him with holy light to prevent him from being injured again. Li Dishun's netherworld eye flashed one last time before the dark light disappeared. In just a short time, even with Yao Guang Saint Child's help, he still shed more than ten drops of blood. What did you see? Yi Fan asked. I saw a vague corpse. It's already rotten and shrouded in a black mist. There's a demonic power moving around. Li Dishun's face was extremely pale as if he was frightened. Yi Fan felt unlucky. He had obtained an item from the immemorial godly temple with great difficulty, but there was actually a corpse sealed inside. The corners of his mouth twitched. At this moment, the Jade Lake Saint Daughter, Yao Shi, and Yao Guang Saint Child changed their faces. Even old Saber Hancho was astonished. This seal must not be opened. Otherwise, the demonic aura is enough to kill all the people in a small city. Is it that terrifying? Yi Fan asked. Of course. The creature sealed in the empty shell of Divine Source must be a peerless expert. Even if it's dead, the demonic aura hasn't dispersed. Once it rushes out, it will be devastating. I advise Daoist priest to quickly throw it away. Otherwise, if it's damaged, the first one to get hurt will be Daoist priest himself. Indeed. Yi Fan rubbed his chin as he pondered. It was impossible to throw it away. This was more or less a deterrent item. It was worth treasuring. If they were to be chased in the future, it didn't matter if they were Yao Guang Saint Child's Grand Supreme Elder or Ji Family's Grand Supreme Elder. If they could kill such a big shot, everything would be worth it. Moreover, since the creature sealed in the empty shell of Divine Source was usually a peerless expert, there might be some great tools and treasures on them. The seven of them set out again. This time, they went around the pine forest and walked towards the outside of the Scarlet Plain. They felt that they were about to leave the absolute beginning forbidden area. Suddenly, the sound of light footsteps was heard. Everyone turned their heads. Under the moonlight, a child with soft hair draped over his shoulders skipped over. He looked to be no more than four or five years old. He was chubby, fair, and chubby. He was very pretty. It was impossible for him to be a human child because there was a pair of pure white wings on his back. Moreover, there were two pupils in his eyes. A living existence. Old Saber Hancho's expression changed. The Jade Lake Saint Daughter, Yao Guang Saint Child, and Yao Shi were also shocked. It was hard for them to remain calm. Since ancient times, not many people had seen a living creature in the absolute beginning ancient mine. Those who did would definitely die. Chapter 232 The origin ancient mine had existed for a very long time, and no one knew how many years it had existed. 
Since ancient times, heroes and geniuses were like bright lamps that illuminated the skies of history. However, no one had ever sealed or destroyed the origin mine. This was enough to explain everything. It had existed in the world just like that. Generation after generation of geniuses grew old and turned into dust, becoming a thing of the past. It was the only thing that hadn't changed. The origin ancient mine was a living existence. Since ancient times, not many people had seen it. On the scarlet earth flowing with pure moonlight, a pink and jade carved child was bouncing up and down. He was very beautiful and adorable. His soft black hair fluttered in the wind, and his pure white wings were constantly flapping. He was like a little elf dancing under the night moon. The seven people were shocked and slowly retreated. If it was somewhere else, it would definitely cause people to sigh in admiration. Anyone would like such a cute and adorable child. But here, no one would have that kind of feeling. They were all prepared to fight as if they were facing a great enemy. This little boy walked forward and looked at them curiously. He tilted his head and looked at them without the slightest sign of danger. Perhaps we can kill it in one strike and make it disappear in a puff of smoke. Yao Guang's usual smile was brilliant, but at this moment, it was full of killing intent. Do you have the confidence to kill it in one strike? Otherwise, I'm afraid it will alarm the big guys, old Saber Hancho said in a low voice. Yao Guang's saint child didn't answer. He was silently sensing something. His entire body suddenly blossomed with holy light as he said, something's wrong. There's something strange. Fake, this is fake. Li Dishan cried out in a low voice. His netherworld eyes flickered with eerie light. His face was pale as he continuously retreated. What did you see? Yao Shi asked. This isn't its true body. It's formed from nether energy. I saw a huge monster. It's not a child at all. Li Dishan's voice trembled. Attack! Boss Hancho shouted. The tobacco pipe in his hand was turned upside down. The seemingly ordinary tobacco pipe suddenly rose up and covered downwards like a large funnel. Flames flickered inside, and smoke and dust filled the air. Roar! A shrill cry rang out. It was ear-piercing and unpleasant to hear. Immediately after, that pink child suddenly rose up, and all the clothes on his body burst apart. In an instant, it was five meters tall, and its green skin was like that of a lizard. It was full of lumps and bumps, and the pure white wings on its back had turned into a pile of white bones with spikes growing out of them. His gray hair fluttered in the wind, reaching more than two meters in length. His eyes were fierce, turning into the color of blood. It didn't look cute at all. This huge creature was full of hostility, and its whole body was covered in hair. It was obviously an evil creature. Clang. It raised its right arm to the sky to block. The huge tobacco pipe was over a hundred feet long and had a heavy momentum, but it was smashed away by it in an instant, sending sparks flying in all directions. Strength that could prop up the heavens. It released a muffled roar and immediately pounced over. It didn't seem clumsy at all, on the contrary, it was extremely fast, bringing with it a gust of wind. Everyone attacked one after another. They were about to leave the absolute beginning forbidden area, but they had encountered such an evil creature. They had to fight with their lives on the line. Otherwise, all of their efforts would be in vain. Yao Shi's body was like a bright moon, bright and pure. Her delicate hand lightly shook, and an expanse of clear radiance blossomed, transforming into a screen of light that blocked in front of her, cutting off this enormous monster that was like a devil, blocking the way forward. Bang! This unknown creature was too tyrannical. The dustpan-sized cyan hand smashed through the light barrier and easily broke through. Everyone's expression changed. Yao Shi was so powerful. As the Yao Guang saintess, she cultivated earth-shattering secret techniques. She was only 20 years old, but she was already an expert in the third secret realm. Not many people in the same generation could rival her. Unexpectedly, she couldn't even block one attack from the unknown creature. The screen of light in the sky exploded like a crystal, shattering in all directions, dazzling people's eyes. The cyan fingernails on the cyan hand were several feet long, curved like heavenly hooks. They were frighteningly sharp, flashing with a cold light as they slashed forward. Chen Huayuan took out the azure lotus lamp. The cyan halo flickered, and the lamp was lit up. The wick of the lamp emitted beams of sword energy that turned into beams of silver light that slashed forward. Clang clang clang. The sharp sword energy slashed on the cyan hand, but sparks flew everywhere. It was as if it had slashed on the great Luo silver essence, it couldn't move at all. Crack. The cyan and sharp fingernails slashed forward. The azure lotus lamp had only flickered a few times before it was crushed into powder. At the same time, the unknown creature rushed forward like a ghost. Pfft. A rain of blood scattered in all directions. It was too fast, and no one had time to stop it. In a flash, it had cut open Chen Huayuan's chest. Red and green, all of his internal organs flowed out. Crack. It was like a wild beast. It grabbed the corpse and stuffed it into its mouth. In a short while, it had bitten off half of the body. Blood flowed from the corner of its mouth, and the sound of bones being crushed could be heard. All of this happened in the time it took for a spark to fly off a flint. It was so fast that people could only change their expressions. They were powerless to stop the tragedy. This was definitely a demon. Its strength was great, and its methods were terrifying. 
It had a cruel temperament, and life was nothing to it. It treated Chen Huayuan like a chicken or duck. Now, no one was holding back. Regardless of whether they had grievances or not, they had no choice but to work together. Otherwise, they might all die here. Buzz. The one-inch tall Li Fire Divine Furnace in Yi Fan's palm became larger in the wind. It didn't look like it was cast from copper essence, but rather refined from multicolored crystals. It was extremely beautiful and sparkling. In a flash, the Divine Furnace grew to a height of more than 30 meters. It smashed towards the unknown creature with the weight of a mountain. This green creature spread its snow-white wings and suddenly rushed up, dodging the furnace's frontal attack. It swung its dustpan-like hand and smashed down ruthlessly. Clang! With a flash of green light, it suddenly slammed into the copper furnace. The deafening sound was like a tsunami, almost deafening people. The 30-meter tall copper furnace was like a broken ball. It was immediately sent flying. The multicolored crystal quickly dimmed, and a large pit appeared on the huge furnace body. It was no longer in shape. It was like an egg that had been bitten off, missing a piece. Yi Fan's expression changed. He had only used the Battle Saint technique to leave a palm print on the furnace body, but now it was dented. This kind of power would shatter anything. Fortunately, the Leaf Fire Divine Furnace was special and almost indestructible. Otherwise, it would have turned into powder. The five meter tall unknown creature spread its wings and swooped down, bringing with it a gust of wind. It pounced towards Yi Fan like a mountain crashing down. Yi Fan felt his blood flow restlessly. The blood in his body seemed to have been ignited, as if it was burning. The huge creature in the sky was full of pressure, and its heat was like the sea. Yi Fan took nine steps across the sky. It was incomparably strange. He changed nine positions, disturbing the change of time and space, and finally escaped the fatal attack. Otherwise, he would not have been able to block it. This unknown creature was too powerful. Not to mention a cultivator of the Holy Xi Palace secret realm, even if he was in the third secret realm, for extremities, he would not be able to resist it. Boom! The Alcade Saint attacked. Tens of thousands of divine lights shot out, as if it could break mountains and rivers. He was no different from the sun, and people could not look at him directly. Roar. The unknown creature let out a loud roar and took a few steps back, which surprised everyone. The sacred light technique is impervious to all spells. Maybe it can restrain him. Old Saber Hancho shouted. As expected, the unknown creature seemed to be afraid and did not immediately pounce forward. The Alcade Saint's body was burning like a god of light. Sacred light burned fiercely, illuminating the sky. He stepped in the void and struck forward. Boom! He usually looked gentle, but when he attacked, it was terrifying beyond compare. It was like a divine furnace was burning. His fist erupted with endless golden light, covering the unknown creature below. The terrifying creature that was like a demon growled. Although it was afraid of the sacred light, it was not absolutely afraid. The large cyan hand struck out, and its wings flapped as it fiercely counterattacked. The brilliance was blinding. The Alcade Saint was bathed in the sacred light. The large golden hand and the cyan hand fiercely clashed three times. Divine light covered the sky, and the stars and moon were dim. With the Alcade Saint at the center, the world was filled with eternal light. Too powerful. It's said that the Alcade Saint has a heaven-warping talent that can contend with a divine king. Seeing it today, it is indeed terrifying. Old Saber Hancho revealed an astonished expression. Yi Fan was also shocked. This Yao Guang Saint Child should have entered the third secret realm, the four extremities, but he was too strong, wasn't he? He was evenly matched with this monster. If the Eastern Wasteland Divine Body displayed its most powerful image, it could cross a large secret realm to contend with experts. This was the most frightening thing to rely on. It could be said to be invincible within the same realm. Even peerless geniuses would have to face a gloomy ending. That was why it was called a Divine King. And before them, the Alcade Saint clearly displayed a divine power that surpassed the third secret realm. Like the sun god, his entire body was resplendent, and the sacred light illuminated all directions. He was indeed comparable to a divine king. Bang, bang. He fiercely fought against the monster, and it was enough to contend with it. The demon roared again and again, and its huge body swayed continuously. It seemed like it would fall from the sky at any time. The more the Alcade Saint fought, the more valiant he became. Every move he made emitted tens of thousands of rays of sacred light. A dazzling disc appeared behind his head. It flickered with life, and it was even more real and clear than the halo of a god. He's practically the second mad old man. In the future, he might suppress a divine king with his mortal body. What a heaven-warping talent. Old Saber Hancho muttered. A faint smile appeared on Yao Shi's peerless face as she said, Everyone, let's attack together and kill this fiend as soon as possible. The Jade Lake Saintess watched the battlefield with an extraordinary splendor in her eyes. She said, All right, let's end the battle earlier and leave quickly. The Alcade Saint's performance was too powerful. No one could remain calm, and their emotions were all different. The few of them attacked together. This unknown creature's wings covered the sky, and its body expanded rapidly. In an instant, it became many times larger, reaching a height of 30 meters. 
At the same time, the sky distorted. Everyone seemed to have been bound, and they were all fixed in the air. Heavens, this is the true devil domain. Old Saber Honcho cried out in alarm. He struggled with great difficulty, but his movements were extremely slow. Immemorial true devil domain. The Jade Lake Saintess was also shocked. She also found it difficult to move. Even the godlike Alcade Saint was affected. With every step he took, holy light shot into the heavens, and a large amount of divine power was consumed. Otherwise, his movements would be slow. As for Li Dishan, he was directly fixed in place. Even though he was a cultivator of the Dao Palace's secret realm, he couldn't move at all. In midair, the 30-meter-tall green creature was incomparably malevolent. It slowly stretched out its large hand and grabbed forward. The immemorial true devil domain was extremely terrifying. Even it itself was affected, and it became much slower. However, it was far stronger than the others. If this continued, it would definitely be disastrous for them. They would be torn apart one by one. Damn you, why are you targeting me? Yi Fan cursed his bad luck. The unknown creature was the closest to him, and it grabbed at him, wanting to crush him. However, he was the calmest person present because the true devil domain didn't affect him. His sea of reincarnation in the Dao Palace shook with a mysterious power, dissolving the true devil domain's influence on him. Yi Fan instantly understood. The true devil domain was equivalent to a human cultivator's phenomenon. His divine body was very special, and it innately restrained phenomena. Back then, even the Ji family's divine body couldn't do anything to him. In a sense, that was the strongest phenomenon of the human race at the same level. Although the true devil domain was terrifying, it was still within the scope of a phenomenon, and it couldn't stop him. Yi Fan rushed out like lightning, and it immediately shocked everyone. They felt that it was inconceivable. He wasn't affected by the true devil domain at all. This was too unbelievable. He directly summoned the Li Fire Divine Cauldron and quickly took it out. The Copper Cauldron suddenly rose to a height of a hundred meters. Clang! The cauldron lid was opened, and the cauldron more than doubled in size. Li flames shot into the sky, burning towards the unknown creature. At the side, the others were dumbfounded. This was too shocking. The true devil domain was famous, and it wasn't something ordinary phenomena could compare to. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been restricted and slowed down. Yi Fan's cultivation was clearly not as deep as theirs, but not only could he move, but he could also use divine power and take out the strange cauldron. The raging flames covered the sky and burned fiercely, drowning the monster. At this moment, the true devil domain was in effect, and even the creature's own movement was restricted. It couldn't dodge and was immediately covered by the flames. Violent Rage Its roar pierced through the clouds. It waved its huge claws and slapped towards the cauldron, but its speed was a bit slow. Yi Fan's divine will moved, and the huge cauldron suddenly changed its position. The flames surged and surrounded the unknown creature, burning it until it crackled. However, it couldn't burn its body, and could only make it feel pain. Daoist priest, please use all your methods. The true devil domain is extremely unpredictable and terrifying, but once it is used, the caster can't casually withdraw it, and needs time to buffer. Old Saber Honcho reminded. Yi Fan focused his mind. He had to eliminate this creature, or else it would definitely be difficult to survive if it recovered. Buzz. The Leaf Fire Divine Cauldron fiercely shook. The cauldron's mouth was pitch black, and it produced a heaven-devouring power. He activated the Divine Cauldron, but he couldn't suck the powerful green creature inside. In the end, he made the Divine Cauldron turn upside down like a cup. Since he couldn't suck it in, he would take the initiative to do so. The tyrannical unknown creature roared again and again, but its movements were too slow. It couldn't dodge and was immediately trapped inside the cauldron. It could be said that it had spun its own cocoon, and the true devil domain restricted itself. The cauldron turned around, and the mouth faced upwards. Clang! The cauldron lid flew over and sealed the black hole. It was tightly sealed, and the demon was suppressed. At the same time, the true devil domain was actually isolated, and everyone regained their freedom. Everyone was shocked. What kind of cauldron was this? It was beaten down, but it could still block the true devil domain. Daoist priest, you really are astonishing. Even the true devil domain can't seal you, it's too inconceivable. Li Dishang exclaimed. If you didn't rely on a treasure to do all this, it's really astonishing. Old Saber Honcho also sighed. Clang, clang. Inside the cauldron, the unknown creature's violent power shook the heavens, and the cauldron's walls were deformed. There were bulges here and there, and there were palm prints all over. It seemed like the cauldron would shatter at any time. Wavering light Saint Child descended from the sky. Divine light rushed into the heavens, and like an immortal king, he stood at the cauldron's mouth and suppressed the cauldron lid. He activated the sacred light technique and began to refine the creature inside the cauldron. Desperate roars and terrifying screams came through the cauldron's walls. The Leaf Fire Divine Cauldron was crooked and completely deformed. Everyone was alarmed, and they thought that it would quickly collapse. However, time passed slowly. The cauldron was constantly deformed, but it was still missing and not destroyed. 
Everyone was a little dumbfounded. This broken cauldron was too sturdy. Chapter 233 Clang The leaf fire divine furnace's flames soared to the sky, producing clanging sounds like a burning, sparkling divine mountain. The furnace body was constantly being beaten out of shape. The unknown creature's power was astonishing, causing the furnace to become crooked, emitting earth-shattering sounds as it bulged out many protrusions. The hundred-meter-tall leaf fire divine furnace burned fiercely, dyeing half of the sky crimson. It shook violently, but it could be knocked over at any time. The sound was incessant. The furnace body was sometimes beaten into a shriveled persimmon, and sometimes into a broken teacup. It was in all sorts of shapes. This kind of power made people shiver. Even a cultivator in the third secret realm couldn't withstand it. It could be said to be a violent force that shook the heavens. The leaf fire divine furnace was like a piece of mud, it could be squeezed however it wanted, changing into various shapes, but it just couldn't break. Daoist, what kind of furnace is this? It's almost indestructible. Yao Shi couldn't help but ask. This broken furnace was too sturdy. It was beaten crookedly and out of shape. It looked a little ridiculous, but it didn't break. It was inconceivable. Yi Fan smiled embarrassedly and said, I picked it up when I was traveling around the world. Jade Lake Saintis looked pensive. She looked at the deformedly fire divine furnace and said, It looks like the divine sun furnace replica, but it's not powerful enough. Does this broken furnace have a great background? Li Dishan was speechless. It's not as powerful as the divine sun furnace replica, but its sturdiness far surpasses it. It can't be broken at all. Old Saber Hancho muttered. Wavering Light Saint Child stood on the lid of the furnace like an immortal king. Tens of thousands of rays of holy light shot out, and with him as the center, there was an eternal light that completely suppressed the furnace. The unknown creature inside the furnace roared in fear, but it couldn't rush out at all. Everyone, let's hurry up and refine this furnace. We shouldn't stay here for long. Old Saber Hancho suggested. The five of them helped Yao Guang at the same time. Streams of divine power rushed into the furnace, making it glitter and translucent. Although it kept changing shape and wasn't very powerful, it could absorb all the divine power of the six of them without any signs of breaking. Roar The despairing roar became weaker and weaker. The bronze furnace flickered, and the sun on the furnace body and a few blurry divine birds shone brilliantly. Eh, the pattern on the furnace body has disappeared. Li Dishan cried out in alarm. On the leaf fire divine cauldron, the sun and the divine birds shone brightly before completely disappearing. This broken furnace is quite extraordinary. Old Saber Hancho muttered to himself, the sun and the divine bird imprints have entered the furnace to participate in the refinement of the demon. Everyone sensed that the temperature of the furnace was rising rapidly. Their divine power was like a river entering the ocean as it was sucked in. The furnace shone with boundless radiance. The unknown creature screamed again and again. In the end, it completely weakened and returned to silence. At the same time, the furnace also quieted down, and the blurry diagram on the furnace body reappeared. At this moment, the copper cauldron looked like a multi-headed gourd. The lid was deformed and sealed. It was very difficult to open. Yi Fan spent a long time to open it. The furnace spun, and black ashes scattered out. The powerful unknown creature was turned into ashes, leaving everyone speechless. This thing needs to be repaired, right? Li Dishun wanted to laugh. The appearance of the furnace was too strange. Yi Fan waved his hand. The furnace turned one inch tall and appeared in his palm. Although it looked like a rotten persimmon, it was still sparkling and translucent. Daoist priest, can you part with this furnace? I am willing to exchange it for a precious treasure. Yao Guang Saint Child gently smiled as he landed on the ground. Yi Fan shook his head. As long as the furnace was not extinguished, it could always recover on its own. He couldn't exchange it either. He needed time to figure it out. Old Saber Hancho suggested, we should leave quickly. The creature being refined is most likely just a pawn. I'm afraid it's a soldier of some terrifying existence. It's very possible. The surrounding area is most likely not friendly. The Jade Lake Saintus nodded. The existences living in the absolute beginning forbidden area were all extremely terrifying. It was almost impossible to survive if one encountered them. Although this creature was powerful, it was far from being comparable to the legends. Yi Fan shivered inwardly. It was very likely that there was an immemorial royal family sleeping underground. This creature was only a guardian. Let's go. The six of them flew away as if they were flying. They didn't dare to tarry for even a moment. Under normal circumstances, they would leave a weakling to guard the sleeping area. Once the strong woke up or alerted the immemorial royal family, even the great sage lords would have to suffer a grievance if they came. At this moment, it was already the latter half of the night. They had only run for a few li when they heard a deep roar coming from behind them. Moreover, an intense murderous aura was rushing over. They were startled. Sure enough, an even more tyrannical creature had awoken. However, what made them feel a little relieved was that the creature didn't immediately chase after them. Huh. What's that ahead? At the end of the horizon, a huge shadow was faintly discernible. It's a vestige, a huge ruin. This was an extremely vast vestige with a gloomy atmosphere. 
Broken walls and ruins lay in front of them. Let's go around it. They didn't want any accidents to happen. If something were to be startled, it would bring them endless trouble. The six of them chose the barren land on the right, wanting to go around the ruins. All of a sudden, an eerie murderous aura rushed over, sending chills down their spines. The hair on their bodies stood on end. That thing is chasing after us. Li Dishim's hair stood on end, his face pale. The six of them turned around to look. A Li away, there was a black shadow with disheveled hair. It was as tall as a normal person, and its gray hair fell to the ground, covering its true appearance. Its entire body was covered in hair. A pair of empty eyes swallowed the moonlight. Strands of moonlight penetrated the gray hair that fell to the ground and entered its empty eyes. What, is this thing? A heavy panting sound came from a Li away. It matched the low roar from not long ago. It was the same creature. Run. This creature was many times stronger than the one from not long ago. Everyone felt their hairs stand on end. They couldn't even muster the will to fight. Right now, they could only run for their lives. They definitely couldn't beat it. Rushing over would be suicide. A fierce murderous aura surged over. It was as sharp as a knife, causing goosebumps to appear on everyone's skin. The six of them madly ran, their feet not touching the ground. Under the moonlight, they were like six shadows. That unknown creature let out a low roar and chased after them. However, what puzzled them was that it only advanced a few hundred zhong before stopping. Why did it stop? Everyone was puzzled. Wait, stop. Yi Fan's heart sank as he stopped them. He felt very uneasy. Although the road ahead was smooth, it gave him a bad feeling. Behind them, the gray hair that fell to the ground and the murderous aura caused people to tremble stared at them for a moment. Then, it turned around and disappeared into the darkness. It actually left and didn't chase after us. Why is that? Li Dishun was puzzled. Yi Fan's expression was solemn. He used the observation method recorded in the Heavenly Book of Origin to scan the area. Grandpa Digger, what did you see? Li Dishun was quite convinced of Yi Fan's knowledge in this area. I also feel that something is wrong. Yao Shi frowned. It's really strange. The extremely yin and soft aura is extremely dangerous. Yao Guang Saint Sun's spirit sense was very sharp. He instinctively sensed the danger. Everyone, we are in big trouble. At this time, Yi Fan's expression changed. He was frightened. He had never thought that they would encounter such a terrain. Aren't we almost out of the absolute beginning forbidden area? Could it be that we are in danger again? Li Dishun asked. Correct. Moreover, it's a very terrifying danger. This is a very rare terrain. Yi Fan pointed ahead and said, if you look carefully, you will definitely notice the abnormality. A blood moon. Jade Lake Saintus cried out in alarm. A blood moon, extremely yin and soft. Yao Shi's beautiful face revealed a surprised expression. What's so special about this? Old Saber Hancho asked. This is the legendary Blood Red Cave. Underneath it is an extremely yin and soft demonic land, Yi Fan answered. It was completely silent ahead. If one didn't look carefully, they wouldn't be able to sense anything. However, if they calmed down and carefully sensed, they would quickly discover the strange phenomenon. On the ground, there was a blood moon that resonated with the bright moon in the sky, drawing in a clear radiance. However, after entering the ground, it turned into a scarlet color. That was a blood moon, emitting an extremely yin and soft aura. The more one looked at it, the more horrifying it became. Underground, what is there? Li Dishun asked with a trembling voice. Yi Fan didn't answer. This was the famous, Blood Red Moon Cave. It was extremely terrifying. It was impossible to say what was underground. The Blood Moon above, the Divine Cave below. This is a demonic land. The Blood Red Cave was described in several pages in the Heavenly Origin book. It was one of the most terrifying danger zones. I know why that terrifying creature behind us retreated. It was scared away by the Blood Red Moon Cave, Old Saber Hancho said in a low voice. Now, everyone knew that they were in big trouble. They had personally experienced how dangerous that creature was. They couldn't resist it at all. That kind of frightening feeling still made them shiver when they thought about it. However, it was scared away by the Blood Red Moon Cave. The Blood Moon was engraved on the ground. It was a ghastly sight. Daoist priest, how can we escape this calamity? Li Dishun placed all his hopes on Yi Fan. We can only go around it. The only fortunate thing is that we haven't entered the Blood Moon yet. The Blood Moon was several miles wide. They were standing right between the ruins and the Blood Moon. They hadn't entered it yet. It's impossible to retreat. That creature is behind us. We can only get closer to the ruins and then move forward, Yao Guang Saint Child said. Don't act rashly. Let me take a look. Yi Fan observed the ruins. Unexpectedly seeing the Blood Red Moon Cave made him restless. They were about to leave the absolute beginning forbidden zone, but there was still such a terrifying danger zone. He felt strange and had a bad premonition. This. Yi Fan's expression changed. The more he looked at the ruins, the more frightened he became. 
The bad premonition had come true. Fallen Sun Ridge Fallen Sun Ridge and the Blood Red Moon Cave were equally famous. Sometimes, they would appear together. If they appeared together, it would be extremely terrifying. Since ancient times, there had never been more than three such places. Daoist priest, what do you see? Something's wrong. Yi Fan was surprised. Fallen Sun Ridge didn't have such a heavy yang energy. It was different from what he had imagined. I feel a black sun with extreme yang energy. However, it can't resist the blood red moon cave's extreme yin energy, Yao Guang Saint Child said. Yes, I can vaguely see a black sun imprinted in the ruins. Yao Chi Saint is frowned. Yao Shi felt the existence of the black sun. She asked, what kind of terrain is this? This is the legendary fallen sun ridge. It's as famous as the blood red moon cave. If they appear together, they can kill gods and buddhas. Yi Fan answered. Then, he added, but something's not right. The extreme yang energy isn't strong enough. What? This is fallen sun ridge? It's this place. This, could it be Emperor Hung Yu's weapon refinement place? Yao Guang Saint Child, Yao Shi, and Yao Qi Saintus exclaimed. Old Saber Hancho was also moved. Shock was written all over his face. This is the place where Jiang family's emperor refined his weapon? Emperor Hung Yu, whose divine might shook the world, lived in the desolate antiquity era. I'm afraid it was more than a hundred thousand years ago. Li Dishun was also shocked. Yi Fan was shocked after hearing these words. A great emperor had entered the absolute beginning forbidden zone and used the terrifying, fallen sun ridge, to refine his weapon. This was too terrifying. Chapter 234 The crescent moon was dyed in blood and laid on the ground. It was called the Crimson Moon Cave, a land of extreme mean and gentleness. Even the great sage lords had to make a detour around it. It was an extremely terrifying land. The dark sun sank below the mountain. It was called the Fallen Sun Ridge, a land of extreme yang that could burn everything in the world. Even the emperors had to avoid it. It was one of the most dangerous places in the world. Just seeing one was enough to shock the world. Two existed at the same time. It could be said to be an extreme demonic land since ancient times. It was rarely seen in the world. Emperor Hang Yu was refining an extreme weapon in such a place. It was unimaginable. Anyone who heard about it for the first time would be shocked. Is that emperor really so powerful? Yi Fan was dumbfounded. This was the absolute beginning forbidden zone. The Crimson Moon Cave and the Fallen Sun Ridge accompanied each other, making it even more powerful. The Jiang Emperor's actions were truly shocking. Of course. How many emperors have there been since ancient times? The founder of the Jiang clan was world-shaking and represented the extreme realm of the human race. Yi Fan was lost in thought. Such a character was indeed famous. It was unbelievable that he dared to come to the absolute beginning ancient mind to refine weapons. For countless years, the great sage lords and emperors had entered but never left. Even the eastern baron divine king couldn't extend his life here. Yet, this emperor used the absolute beginning forbidden zone as a place to refine weapons. How glorious was this? Unfortunately, time passed like water. They couldn't see such a shocking character. Why would he refine a weapon here? Old Saber Hancho said, Emperor Hang Yu's cultivation is unparalleled. The entire eastern baron is under his control. Naturally, he wants to refine weapons in the best place. Even the absolute beginning forbidden zone can't do anything to him. As long as he doesn't enter the ancient mine, this forbidden zone can't harm him. Legend has it that he was a person with great luck and obtained a divine phoenix bone. If he wants to refine it into a peak Dao weapon, he needs a special place. Only Fallen Sun Ridge fits the requirements. Li Dishun's expression was one of fascination. Divine Phoenix Bone? Yi Fan was shocked. Legend had it that pure-blooded phoenixes were comparable to immortals and didn't exist in this world. How could he not be shocked when Emperor Hang Yu obtained such a thing? That is just a rumor. There is no such thing as a divine phoenix in this world. The Jade Lake Saintess shook her head and said, the Hung Yu Heavenly Emperor obtained the Scarlet Phoenix Blood Gold. This kind of divine item is almost as valuable as the Divine Phoenix Bone. There is no godly phoenix in this world, but there is a divine item like the Phoenix Blood Gold. Yao Guang nodded. Phoenix Blood Scarlet Gold, something that was rarely seen in thousands of generations. It was brilliant and dazzling, scarlet red like Phoenix Blood, beautiful to the extreme. There were innately divine phoenix patterns on it. The value of such a divine item was immeasurable. If it fell into the hands of a great emperor, it would definitely become an extreme weapon. Fallen Sun Ridge was rumored to have been formed when the sun of the heavenly sun fell to the ground. It was a land of extreme yang and extreme hardness. Phoenix blood scarlet gold, blazing with extreme yang, indestructible, tough to the extreme. If one wanted to turn it into an extreme Dao weapon, Fallen Sun Ridge was undoubtedly the best choice. Boundless celestial being, what does the scarlet phoenix blood gold look like? Have you seen it before? Yi Fan asked Yao Shi and the Jade Lake Holy Daughter. The two stunning beauties looked at each other in dismay. This kind of thing only appeared once in tens of thousands of years. Who would be able to see it? Otherwise, why were there only a few extreme Dao weapons in the Eastern Baron? 
A great emperor could only make one extreme Tao weapon in his lifetime. It was not only because it was too difficult, but also because the divine item needed was hard to find. It was difficult to gather such materials even if one searched the entire Eastern Baron. Now, only the Jiang family's direct descendants have seen the Scarlet Phoenix blood gold. It has been four to five thousand years since that extreme Tao weapon appeared, Yao Guang Saint answered. Hung Yu Great Emperor is too terrifying. Yi Fan could only sigh. The Scarlet Moon Cave and Fallen Sun Ridge existed side by side. It could be said to be the most dangerous place in the ancient times, but he used it as a sacrifice weapon. It was unimaginable. It was obvious that Fallen Sun Ridge lacked Yang energy and was sucked dry, resulting in an extreme Tao weapon forged from the Scarlet Phoenix blood gold. Hung Yu Great Emperor is so elegant. If I had such cultivation. Yi Fan was in a daze. If Daoist priest has such divine might, what do you plan to do? Yao Shi looked at him expectantly. Of course, to create an immortal dynasty. He almost spilled the beans, but he changed his words halfway. In fact, what he really meant was that he wanted to visit the great sages' land and take a look at their ancient scriptures. He wanted to test the power of their extreme Tao weapons. Let's leave quickly. We can't stay here for long. Old Saber Hancho's expression was solemn. Yi Fan's group of six moved away from the Scarlet Moon Cave and slightly closer to Fallen Sun Ridge. They prayed in their hearts that no misfortune would befall them. Otherwise, no one would be able to save them. The cold moonlight elongated their shadows. Li Dishim's netherworld eyes emitted an eerie light. He nervously scanned the surroundings, feeling as if something was lurking in the dark. Don't be so alarmed. You're making us jumpy too. Old Saber Hancho glanced at him. I really feel that something is wrong. It's like there's a pair of eyes peeking at us in the dark, but we can't see its figure. Li Dishun was restless. There's no need to think too much. As long as it doesn't appear, we'll treat it as nothingness. Yao Guang's expression was calm. The six of them scanned their surroundings as they moved forward. In this evil land where the sun and moon intertwined, one wrong step could cost them their lives. Why is the moon so bright tonight? It's not a full moon. Old Saber Hancho muttered. There's indeed something strange. The moonlight is like ripples on water, and the ground is silvery white. Yao Shi also nodded. Upon hearing this, Yi Fan suddenly stopped and looked up. Something's wrong. What did you find? Jade Lake Saintus asked softly. It's not the moonlight that's brightening. There's something wrong with the Scarlet Moon Cave. Yi Fan frowned and looked at the Blood Moon not far away. Yao Shi was puzzled. There's nothing wrong with the Scarlet Moon Cave. How could it be the problem? Let's go further away. If there's no other way, we'll enter Fallen Sun Ridge. In any case, it doesn't have enough Yang energy. This Scarlet Moon Cave is very unsettling, Yi Fan said in a deep voice and led the way toward the ruins. The others guessed that Yi Fan must have learned some profound Genesis techniques. Perhaps he had obtained some bits and pieces left behind by a Yuan Taoist master. Seeing him like this, they naturally followed. Not long after, the sound of sand rising and falling could be heard. The Scarlet Moon Cave glowed red like a surging tide. Blood-colored ripples appeared and swept up some sand. This is, the Scarlet Moon Tide. Yi Fan's expression changed drastically. He turned into a shadow and rushed toward Fallen Sun Ridge as if avoiding a snake or scorpion. Seeing this, the other five used their respective techniques and rushed toward the ruins. Li Dishun was the slowest and lagged behind. The blood-colored tide swept over in an instant. He cried out in fear, no. The blood-colored ripples were very gentle, but they exuded a terrifying aura. Li Dishun's expression changed drastically. He gritted his teeth and summoned a god's will from his Dao palace to block behind him. Swoosh. Without a sound, the god's will turned into a puddle of blood. He fell into the ruins with a pale face. It was too dangerous. If he hadn't been decisive at the critical moment and abandoned a god's will, he would have been gone. This. Everyone was shocked. Yi Fan's expression was solemn. This is the Scarlet Moon Tide. It gushes out from the Scarlet Moon Cave and can melt all things. It is impossible to resist. The softest can break all laws. The Scarlet Moon Cave was clearly visible. There was a blood-stained crescent moon on the ground that attracted the moonlight in the sky. The red tide was like water, sweeping through the void. We should thank Hung Yu Heavenly Emperor. If he hadn't destroyed Fallen Sun Ridge and caused Yin and Yang to rise, we would have been dead. Yi Fan observed from the ruins. Scarlet Moon Cave and under Fallen Sun Ridge, could there be something? Old Saber Hancho muttered to himself. Old Master, don't talk to yourself. Once you talk, something bad will happen. It will definitely become reality. Li Dishun said with a sobbing tone. The six of them walked forward. They only had one thought, and that was to leave the forbidden area of absolute beginning. At the same time, they prayed that Hung Yu Heavenly Emperor had dealt with Fallen Sun Ridge. These ruins had long since decayed. The walls were in ruins, and a light touch would turn them into dust. Even the stone pillars were the same. In front of them was a peaceful scene. The ruins had turned to dust, and with their minds, they could see a blurry black sun on the ground. 
It was only a few hundred Zhang in radius, much smaller than the Scarlet Moon Cave. After more than a hundred thousand years, there was still not enough Yang energy. What surprised them was that there was an ancient building beside the Black Sun. It was towering and hadn't collapsed. There was an inscribed board with the two words, Heng Yu, engraved on it. This is Heng Yu Heavenly Emperor's weapon sacrificial ground. The others were shocked and carefully observed. This was not an archaic ruin, but an ancient building left behind by Heng Yu Heavenly Emperor. Legend had it that he spent several years alone in the forbidden area of Absolute beginning to refine extreme weapons. This was his residence in the past. Even though it was covered in dust, it still stood tall and had Tao rhythms circulating around it. What kind of spirit was this? When others entered the forbidden area of Absolute beginning, they would tremble in fear and even the Emperor's corpse would be buried, yet he lived here in seclusion for several years. The others didn't say anything, but they all made the same choice and walked towards the ancient building. The former residence of Hangyu Heavenly Emperor might have some unusual things left behind. This building was built from enormous origin stones and was extremely grand. It gave people a feeling that the Great Tao was like the heavens and unreachable. This was Hangyu Heavenly Emperor's Tao. So many corpses. The others' expressions changed. They were blocked by the building just now, so they couldn't see it. Now that they got closer, they discovered that on the other side of the ancient building, there were corpses piled up into a small mountain. Even though more than a hundred thousand years had passed, these bones were still flickering with specks of light. There were more than a hundred of them, and most of them were humanoid, but they clearly weren't humans. These bones are all shining, so one can imagine how terrifying their strength was. Hung Yu Heavenly Emperor was too terrifying, worthy of being one of the strongest humans since ancient times. He alone killed so many terrifying creatures. If news of this got out, it would definitely shake the world. Judging from these corpses, they were definitely peak existences. This. The six of them were all stunned. Running into origin ancient mind to unleash a massacre, only an ancient great emperor would dare do this. Hung Yu Heavenly Emperor is too shocking. Slaughtering here, over a hundred and one go, these are all peak experts. Even their bones are flickering. Everything was for the sake of an extreme Tao weapon. Old Saber Honcho sighed. The ancient great emperors were extremely talented. They established ancient scriptures that had been passed down to this day, bringing prosperity to several great sages' lands. Apart from this, every single great emperor would think of ways to leave behind an extreme Tao weapon. It was because this was equivalent to an extension of their life, able to display their unmatched divine might. From a certain perspective, extreme Tao weapons were even more important than ancient scriptures. For the sake of refining Phoenix Blood Gold into an extreme Tao weapon, Hang Yu Heavenly Emperor truly displayed his emperor's might. Yao Guang's holy child sighed with emotion. His current life's goal was to become a great emperor. What kind of weapon was refined from Phoenix Blood Gold? Yi Fan asked. He didn't know much about Jiang family's matters. Divine Sun Furnace. Jade Lake Holy Girl replied. What? Yi Fan was shocked. Don't tell me you're thinking about that broken furnace of yours. Old Saber Hancho took a puff of his pipe. Yi Fan smiled embarrassedly and took out the Leaf Fire Divine Furnace. Although the one inch tall furnace was sparkling and translucent, it was crooked like a squashed persimmon. Although it had recovered a lot, it was still full of potholes. It hadn't completely recovered. Don't think too much about it. How could Jiang family's extreme Tao weapon be lost outside? Besides, apart from being a bit sturdy, there's nothing special about this broken furnace. Old Saber Hancho said. The Divine Sun Furnace hasn't appeared for four or five thousand years, the world has almost forgotten its appearance. Yao Guang's holy child said. How frightening is an extreme Tao weapon? Yi Fan asked. Unimaginably frightening. The stronger the caster's divine power, the greater the power they can display. At the peak, they can display the supreme divine might of a great emperor. Old Saber Hancho answered. They didn't stay here. While talking, they entered the ancient building to see if Heng Yu Heavenly Emperor had left anything behind. Yi Fan was shocked. Didn't that represent the strongest divine might of the human race? It could easily sweep the world and meet no worthy opponents. Unfortunately, an extreme Tao weapon consumes too much divine power. Ordinary people can't use it. Jade Lake's holy girl shook her head and said, after all, it's an exclusive weapon of the Desolation Heavenly Emperor. If someone of the same level wields an extreme Tao weapon, what kind of effect would it have? Yao Guang's holy child smiled and said, just take the Divine Sun Furnace as an example. In the past, Divine King Jiang Taishu fought against a peerless figure of the Central Prefecture who was not weaker than him. Once the Divine Sun Furnace appeared, his opponent was annihilated. That's too frightening. Li Dexheng felt a chill down his spine. The Divine King of the Eastern Wasteland is too far away from us. It's impossible to guess. Just take the Great Sage Lords as an example. If they use an extreme Tao weapon, they can easily kill an invincible Almighty, Jade Lake's Holy Girl answered. Unfortunately, the extreme Tao weapons of your great sage lands can't be used. They're all used to suppress the so-called resources. Dot. Old Saber Hancho shook his head. You know about this. Yao Guang's holy child's eyes flashed with a golden light.
Yao Shi changed the topic and said, the seventh bandit, Tu Tian, and the green flood dragon king joined hands and took out a weapon of the extreme path, almost causing our Yaguang's grand elders to suffer grievances. Moreover, that wasn't a complete weapon, so the might of the extreme path was evident. Yi Fan knew about it. He had seen it with his own eyes. After the peacock king stopped the Yaguang holy lord, Tu Tian and the green flood dragon king joined hands and used an earthen jar. It almost killed the Yaguang holy land's old antiques. That's an ancient demonic jar, devouring heaven. Unfortunately, it lacks a lid and can't display the extreme Dao's power. Old Saber Hancho shook his head. At this time, they had already entered the ancient building. The main hall was very old. It was tall and spacious, giving off a feeling of endless Dao. There were many ashes on the ground. It was pitch black. They moved separately and began to search. Yi Fan used the observation method and looked around the main hall. Suddenly, he was shaken and his heart was beating wildly. The observation method could clearly understand the great secrets of the mountains and rivers. It could also find the source and distinguish objects. At this moment, he felt his eyes burning. There was a dazzling object that was even more resplendent than a real sun. He couldn't look straight at it. Could it be the divine source? Yi Fan was so excited that he couldn't control himself. Beside the ashes, there was a pitch black stone. It was only the size of a fist. The divine light was so dazzling that it made his eyes tear up. Yi Fan quickly put away the observation method. Otherwise, he was worried that this divine object would burn his eyes blind. This origin stone was extremely ordinary. If he didn't use the observation method to examine it, he wouldn't be able to see anything. This is simply a divine sun. It's so resplendent that it's unbearable. It must be the divine source. Yi Fan walked over and wanted to pick up the black stone. However, he was shocked. He actually didn't pick it up the first time. Clang. The black stone fell to the ground, causing the entire hall to tremble. This was only the size of a fist, yet it weighed over 10,000 jean. Everyone looked over. The black stone surface was shaken, and a bit of it actually peeled off. A dazzling scarlet light shot out. It was brilliant like a rainbow and extremely dazzling. There was no way to look at it directly. Phoenix Blood Scarlet Gold Heavens, it really is Phoenix Blood Scarlet Gold. Several people cried out in alarm at the same time. Yi Fan exerted force, grabbing the black stone in one go. He took a few steps back. The stone surface wasn't the divine source, but rather the Phoenix Blood Scarlet Gold that only appeared once in a thousand generations. Chapter 235 Scarlet Phoenix Blood Gold was an extreme sacred object that rarely appeared even after thousands of generations. Since the desolate era until now, it had been more than a hundred thousand years, and only Emperor Hung Yu had ever obtained it. Its rarity was simply unimaginable. This was a sacred object that belonged exclusively to great emperors. Forget about obtaining it, ordinary people couldn't even catch a glimpse of it. It had been like a dream for tens of thousands of years. Its value was immeasurable. There were many great emperors since ancient times, but only one had the fortune to obtain the Scarlet Phoenix Blood Gold. This was something that ancient emperors yearned for even in their dreams. Many sages could only look at it but could not obtain it. With such a rare object in his hands, Yi Fan was excited at first, but then he felt that it was like a hot potato. This black stone was too precious. It contained a priceless treasure, but whether or not he could keep it was a serious problem. Why was it so heavy? He complained inwardly. If he didn't accidentally drop it and put it away, he wouldn't be in such trouble. On the side, five pairs of eyes were staring at the black stone in his hands. Its heat could melt even refined vitra. A halo appeared behind sacred child Yaguang's head. Divine light covered his body, and auspicious lights fell down one after another. He was a heaven-warping genius who had aspired to become a great emperor since childhood. How could he not be moved when he saw this kind of sacred object? This was like the embryo of an extreme weapon. It was something that could make people go crazy, a sacred object exclusive to great emperors. Normally, he always had a gentle smile on his face, but at this moment, it was difficult for him to calm down. His eyes were surging with passion. On the battlefield, Old Sword Hancho was the most direct. He took a few steps forward before stopping. There was a heart-palpitating aura around him, completely different from the usual messy old man. Right now, he was many times more powerful than usual. He was like a hibernating flood dragon leaping out of the water, giving others a feeling of extreme danger and terror. Yao Shi's exceptional immortal face could not hide the great waves in her heart. Her eyes flickered with a misty radiance. Her slender jade-like hands formed an immortal imprint. The scarlet phoenix blood gold made her unable to calm down. Even though she did not move forward, she was standing in the most advantageous position. Once someone took action, she would be able to make the best choice. Whether to fight or retreat, it all depended on a single thought. The one who posed the least threat was Li Dishan. Even though his eyes were burning with passion, he wisely retreated a few steps, quickly expressing his decision. He was born with the underworld Enai, which was rarely seen in this world. It could be said that he was gifted with a rare power, but it wasn't displayed in battle. He was the weakest here, so he had no choice but to retreat. Comparatively speaking, the Jade Lake Saintus was the calmest among them. 
Although her beautiful eyes sparkled and her emotions fluctuated, she didn't intend to attack. She stood there quietly, her clothes fluttering in the wind. She looked like an immortal. The Jade Lake stood aloof from worldly affairs. The disciples of this sect were very indifferent, and they rarely fought with others. Yi Fan saw all of this and complained in his heart. These people were like tigers eyeing their prey. It was too difficult for him to protect the phoenix blood scarlet gold. Everyone, what is the meaning of this? He had no choice but to speak. This stalemate was not a solution. Scarlet phoenix blood gold is something that even ancient emperors might not necessarily be able to obtain. We are tempted and wish to take a look. The Jade Lake Saint stepped forward. His body was shrouded in light, and an unparalleled pressure emanated from him. Yao Shi's jade-like face revealed an alluring expression. She smiled faintly and said, Daoist priest, don't you want to say something else? I want to say, why is this stone so heavy? Yi Fan still had resentment in his heart. The black stone was only the size of a fist, but it weighed 10,000 kilograms. It was precisely because of this that it revealed the fact that it contained a rare treasure. Old Saber Hancho also took a few steps forward, and his aura became even more imposing. He said, the divine material belongs to those who are fated to obtain it. Since it's already in your hands, we won't snatch it, but we really want to take a closer look. Just now, Yi Fan felt that the one with the strongest killing intent was this rotten old man. Now that he said this, he was deeply surprised. Daoist priest, please be at ease. Although we are tempted, we won't go so far as to kill and snatch the treasure. If Daoist priest is willing to part with it, I'm willing to pay any price in exchange. Yao Guang Saint's face was radiant. It was impossible for Yi Fan to exchange it. He wanted to use it to forge a cauldron. It was a holy object that even ancient emperors desired, and nothing could be exchanged for it. Yao Shi's eyes flickered. She smiled flirtatiously, and her lips and teeth shone brightly. She said, Daoist priest, don't worry. Show us the rare treasure. At this time, Li Desheng saw that they weren't fighting, so he also came over. The Jade Lake Saint stepped forward and said, Daoist priest, don't worry. No one will fight. Yi Fan thought that most likely no one would fight for it. After all, they were still in the absolute beginning forbidden area, and he was proficient in original techniques. If they fought, both sides would be injured, and these people were counting on him to lead the way. However, once they left the absolute beginning forbidden area, everything would be hard to say. Everyone, please take a look. Yi Fan held the black stone in his palm, no longer sealing it. A coin-sized piece of the stone had already fallen off, revealing the divine object inside. It was scarlet like a ruby, and dazzling brilliance shot out in all directions. It was dazzling and beautiful to the point of intoxicating. There was a divine brilliance flowing within the sparkling and translucent object, making it impossible to look at it directly. Indistinctly, one could see the divine phoenix pattern engraved on it, mysterious and magnificent. This is the phoenix blood gold. They all exclaimed in admiration, and their eyes burned with even more passion. It only has a thin layer of stone, so this piece of phoenix blood gold should be about the size of a fist. It weighs more than 10,000 kilograms, enough to be refined into a weapon, old Saber Hancho said. A fist-sized piece of material could indeed be used as an offering weapon, but no one knew how many divine materials were needed for an extreme weapon. Apart from the great emperors, it was hard for others to say. Yi Fan did not peel off the stone skin. Instead, he sealed back the old skin that had fallen off. This was to prevent the holy item's essence from leaking out. If it was not turned into an extreme Tao weapon, it would easily lose its essence without the stone skin sealing it. The dazzling brilliance faded away, and the main hall became dark once again. Yi Fan put away the phoenix blood gold. Unless he used ancient scriptures to exchange for this divine object, it would be difficult for other things to tempt him. If you want to refine an extreme weapon, I'm afraid it's far from enough. This is most likely the leftover material after Emperor Han Yu sacrificed his weapon. Sacred Child Ya Guang speculated. The Phoenix Blood Gold is a holy object comparable to the Divine Phoenix. There aren't many things in this world that can compare. Old Saber Hancho sighed and said, the Eastern Wasteland's holy objects have almost all been used up by the Great Emperors. If there comes a day when another great emperor descends upon the world, I'm afraid it will truly be difficult to find divine materials. Yao Shi also said like this. The few of them searched the main hall, and found a few lines of words left behind by Emperor Han Yu. The general idea was that the phoenix blood gold was left for the fated one. Emperor Han Yu was a heaven-warping genius, and his cultivation was world-shaking. At the same time, he was a person with great opportunities, but he would never take them all. He would always leave some for later generations. The six of them searched carefully, but there was nothing else in the main hall. There weren't any secret techniques, only the ashes left behind by refining an extreme weapon. It recorded the glory of the great emperor back then. After everyone walked out of the ancient building, they all looked back at the horizontal board. The two words, Hung Yu, on it were bold and powerful, and it had the aura of breaking through the heavens. Everyone stood in place and quietly observed, hoping to comprehend something. This wasn't a specific method imparting, but rather the concept of the great Tao. Sometimes, it could trigger enlightenment. Yi Fan sensed something, and his heart became empty. He was moved by the two words and wanted to use the battle saint technique. 
However, he could only suppress it and form seals in his heart to fight himself. It had to be said that Yaguang Saint Child was indeed an extraordinary person. He was trapped in an ethereal state, and the holy light was like the sky. He actually drew out a trace of the great emperor's divine might from the ancient building. Under the heaven-like concept of the great Tao, he moved his arms. His magical body was like an abyss, drawing out indescribable trajectories. He had comprehended something in his heart. The Jade Lake Saintess and Yao Shi were also extraordinary people. They also gained something and silently comprehended. As for old Saber Hancho, he was very quiet and motionless like a dead tree. Li Dishan found it difficult to calm down. His netherworld eyes flickered as he said, I feel something spying on us in the dark. Not long after, everyone recovered from the ethereal state. Their divine senses spread out in all directions, but they didn't find anything. Sunset Ridge was quiet. There was nothing except for the blurry black sun on the ground. Yi Fan was moved. He took out the Li Fire Divine Furnace. The pockmarked body of the furnace had recovered a lot. He opened the lid and took out the inch-tall crystal furnace. Swoosh! With a flash of light, the Li Fire Divine Furnace sank into the black sun on the ground. Immediately, black flames danced. Daoist priest, what are you doing? Li Dishun cried out in alarm. The ancient great emperor chose to sacrifice his weapon here, which is enough to prove that the Yang energy in Sunset Ridge is the most prosperous place in the world. I will also take some of it and refine an extreme weapon in the future. Li Dishun was tongue-tied and speechless. Apart from the ancient great emperor, who could refine an extreme weapon? This was obviously nonsense. They knew that Sunset Ridge contained the world's extreme Yang fire. The divine fire buried underground was also a kind of spiritual object. If they could obtain it, it would be very useful. The Li Fire Divine Furnace sank into the black sun and went underground to collect the black flames. Don't be reckless. Old Saber Hancho frowned and reminded him. He was worried that he would provoke something underground. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Yi Fan nodded. He cultivated the original technique, so he knew his limits. Daoist priest, your broken furnace is about to melt. Li Dishun's netherworld eyes flickered and saw through the void. He wanted to laugh out loud. Yi Fan frowned. The furnace was really out of shape from the heat. He hurriedly took it back. The deeper underground, the higher the temperature of the fire and the more extraordinary the flames were. He could only collect the part on the ground and fill the furnace with black flames. He sealed the lid and stored it inside his body. The Yao Guang Saint, Old Saber Hancho, Yao Shi, and the Jade Lake Saint all took action. They took out their mysterious weapons and collected the black flames. However, they only took a little bit and immediately stopped. They felt that the temperature was too high. Since this kind of flame is so extraordinary, I'll take some too. Li Dishun took out his silver gourd. Crack. Something shocking happened. The silver gourd was instantly melted and destroyed in the blurry black sun. This, the weapon of the Holy Xi Palace secret realm is destroyed just like that. My treasure. He screamed in pain. Yi Fan secretly estimated that the black sun on the ground contained terrifying flames. Even the black flames on the surface were almost as strong as the purple flames of the sixth level of the fire domain. Not to mention the part underground. The fire energy was so terrifying that it was unimaginable. Emperor Hung Yu chose to sacrifice his weapon here because it was a place of extreme yang. He felt that the part of the flame he collected from underground was weaker than the one he used to burn the great elder of the Ji clan. This was a good thing. Yi Fan didn't say anything. They would leave the absolute beginning forbidden area in a while. Once they made a move, he felt that it would be better to start a fire first. Following that, the few of them proceeded carefully. Under Yi Fan's lead, they slowly left this dangerous place despite the daunting experience. There was a vast expanse in the distance. They were almost out of the absolute beginning forbidden area. We're really out. There are two things behind us. Li Dishun's expression suddenly changed. Let's go. Everyone was no longer afraid. They all shot up into the sky and flew into the distance. The six of them came to the outside of the absolute beginning forbidden area. They no longer had any scruples and finally left the devil land. At this moment, it was already after midnight. The world was quiet and the moonlight was like water. It was very cold. Taoist priest, please wait. Yao Guang Saint smiled gently and blocked Yi Fan's path. Yao Shi also smiled faintly and looked very charming. She stood on the other side. Old Saber Hancho and the Jade Lake Saint were not far away. There was killing intent in the air, but they couldn't tell who was releasing it. Yi Fan understood. The Phoenix Blood Gold was tempting. It was the exclusive item of the Great Emperor. How could there be no disturbance if they wanted to take it away? Chapter 236 The night moon was clear and cold. The reddish-brown earth stretched as far as the eye could see. What are you guys doing? Yi Fan looked at them and held the inch-tall Li Fire Divine Cauldron in his hand without batting an eye. Yao Guang's smile didn't diminish. Sir, please don't misunderstand. I don't mean any harm. I just want to discuss something with you. Discuss what? I want to exchange for the Phoenix Blood Gold, Yao Guang answered. What will you give me? 
Yi Fan stood under the moonlight and asked calmly. I can make the decision. I want the treasury of the Yao Guang Holy Land for you to choose, Yao Guang said. Such a condition was shocking. The Yao Guang Holy Land had been around for hundreds of thousands of years. Since ancient times, it had always been prosperous. It had accumulated so much that it was unimaginable. With hundreds of thousands of years of collection, who knew how many treasures there were? For Yi Fan to choose, it was indeed tempting. However, Yi Fan couldn't agree. How could other treasures compare to the Phoenix Blood Gold? It was a holy item that belonged to the ancient emperors. What do you think is as valuable as the Phoenix Blood Gold? Yi Fan asked. The value of the Phoenix Blood Pure Gold is indeed immeasurable, but I will never force someone against their will. I wonder if an ancient scripture will be able to move you. The night wind blew, and Yao Guang's entire body shone. His entire body seemed to be inlaid with a golden edge. An ancient scripture? Yi Fan was shocked. Next to him, Old Sword Hancho and the Jade Lake Saint were also shocked. Even Yao Shi looked surprised. She didn't think a saint would agree like this. I see that you are in the Holy Ji Palace secret territory. I want to give you an ancient scripture of the Four Extreme Secret Territory. Are you satisfied? Yao Guang asked with a smile. So it's not an ancient scripture, but a scroll of a secret territory. Yi Fan didn't deny it. Yao Guang shook his head and said, Sir, you are greedy. Even though the Phoenix Blood Gold is rare, it is only the size of a fist. It is too little. Is it the ancient scripture of the Yao Guang Holy Land? Yi Fan asked. Yao Shi had been watching from the side. She believed that although Yao Guang's status was very high, it was impossible for him to show the scriptures of the Holy Land to outsiders. The old antiques in the sect would definitely not agree. The Alcade Saint shook his head and said, This is not my Alcade heart technique. This is an incomplete scripture that I found by accident while traveling. Everyone's expression changed. The Yao Guang Saint Child was indeed lucky. He had cultivated one of the most profound ancient scriptures in the eastern wasteland, and he had even obtained an incomplete scripture when he traveled outside. Can it compare to Yao Guang's celestial canon? Yi Fan asked. He was indeed somewhat tempted. Definitely not inferior. Yao Guang Holy Son answered with certainty. Yi Fan sighed. This was the disparity between them. The other party had learned an ancient scripture and even had an incomplete scripture to refer to, but he was worried about the subsequent cultivation methods. Actually, I want the cultivation methods of the Holy Ji Palace and the Four Extremities Secret Realms. I wonder if you can provide them? Yi Fan asked with a smile. Sir, you cannot be too greedy. This scripture is incomplete, and there is no chapter of the Holy Ji Palace's secret realms, Yao Guang Holy Sun answered. Sai, this is really difficult. Speaking of this, Yi Fan looked at old Saber Hancho and smiled. Sir, I see that you have a divine aura within you. One look and I can tell that you are a person who has become a spirit. What do you want to exchange with me? You can't be thinking of stealing it, right? You should know that the elites of the Holy Lands are here, and they will not sit idly by. Since Yao Guang Holy Sun did not directly steal it, Yi Fan was much more relaxed. He used words to test old Saber Hancho. I am just an old man with one foot in the grave. How could I be like this? What do you want? Old Saber Hancho responded lightly, appearing mysterious. Yi Fan's heart trembled. He felt that this old man did not fear the presence of the Holy Land's heirs. This old man seemed to have hidden himself very well. I have already said that I want a mental cultivation method recorded in an ancient scripture. There are only so many ancient scriptures in the Eastern Baron territory. I can't take them out. Old Saber Hancho shook his head. Yi Fan looked at Yao Shi and the Jade Lake Saint and smiled. Goddesses, are you interested in the Phoenix Blood Pure Gold? Yao Shi suddenly laughed and said, Why do I feel that you are tempting me? Although she was the Yao Guang Saint and was holy and otherworldly, there was a hint of flirtatiousness when she smiled. Her neck was snow white, and her face was delicate and beautiful. It was very tempting. I am just asking casually. If Goddess Yao does not mean it, then forget it. He did not tease her. The Yao Guang Holy Sun was at the side. If he teased the future wife of the Holy Lord, it would give him another reason to attack. The Jade Lake Saint thought for a while and said, maybe the Jade Lake can also take out a scripture. Is that true? Is it the Western Emperor scripture of the Jade Lake? Yi Fan was tempted. His main purpose in coming to the Northern region was to see the ancient scripture passed down by the Western Empress of the Jade Lake. That is not it. The Western Emperor scripture cannot be taught to outsiders, but the Jade Lake also has half of it, the Jade Lake Saint answered. Yi Fan was indeed shocked. There were only a few ancient scriptures in the Eastern Baron territory, but the Jade Lake actually had half of it. However, he was interested in the Western Emperor scripture. The scriptures of the Holy Palace's secret realms were most likely not comparable to the Western Emperor scripture. I can think about it. He did not refuse because he did not want these people to lose hope. Otherwise, they might directly attack him. Among the five, he trusted the Jade Lake Saint the most. This holy land had a very good reputation, and its people did not care about fame and fortune. Since ancient times, he had never heard of any evil deeds. He was the most wary of the Yao Guang Saint. This person was indeed a genius, and he gave him a very dangerous feeling. 
Yi Fan did not believe that he would really take out an ancient scripture in exchange. At the same time, he was also very afraid of old Saber Hancho. This old man was somewhat unfathomable, and he could not feel at ease. Sir, let's not talk about the phoenix blood and the pure gold. Just based on your original arts, you are also an honored guest of the Jade Lake, the Jade Lake Saint said with a smile. At this moment, she spoke like this, without a doubt, to help Yi Fan. She had indirectly made her position clear. We walked out of the absolute beginning forbidden area together, and we are friends in adversity. Of course, we will not harm our friendship. Whether you are willing to exchange or not, we are friends. The Yao Guang saint smiled, and his hair shone with a golden light. Not good, they are coming. Li Dishan was trembling, and his voice was very unnatural. He had been watching from the side and did not participate. Now that he suddenly spoke, everyone was shocked. At the edge of the absolute beginning forbidden area, two figures stood side by side like two tombstones, tall and terrifying, strong and powerful. One creature had gray hair that reached the ground, covering its entire body. It had a horrifying aura, giving people an extremely frightening feeling of danger. It had appeared before, and only stopped after chasing them all the way to the Scarlet Moon Cave. The other creature's entire body was covered in deathly white hair, and even its face was like this. Its human form was upright, and it was currently staring straight ahead. Its pupils were a deep green, and a bitter aura pounced over. It was like a primordial vicious beast, making people shiver. The two creatures did not chase after them. When they reached the edge of the absolute beginning forbidden area, they stopped and coldly looked at them. Even though there was a great distance between them, they still gave people a fearful feeling. They immediately flew away, no longer mentioning the phoenix blood and the pure gold. If those two creatures chased after them, they might all die here. They had gone through so much trouble to escape the absolute beginning forbidden area. If they died outside, they would truly die with everlasting regret. Suddenly, a dozen or so figures appeared in front of them, quickly coming over to greet them. Junior brother, junior sister, is it you? Those people transmitted sound from far away. Yi Fan cursed inwardly. The light shaking realms people had appeared, blocking their way. The Yao Guang saint and Yao Shi walked forward and met with those people. They inadvertently blocked Yi Fan's path. In the distance, dresses fluttered in the wind as a group of fairy-like figures flew over. The Jade Pool's disciples had also hurried over and found their way here. Thank heavens you are safe and sound. Those young disciples surrounded them, asking them what had happened. This isn't a good place to talk. Let's leave this place first, Yao Guang said. He had great prestige. Even though many of the people here were his senior brothers, they all wore respectful expressions. After all, he was the future divine lord. Daoist, please come with us. Yao Guang invited him with a smile. I think we should forget about it. Since we've already escaped danger, let's go our separate ways, Yi Fan replied. How can we do that? Daoist led the way in the absolute beginning forbidden area, and I owe him a favor. Let us send you on your way. Yao Guang smiled. Yi Fan rubbed his chin. He had a bad feeling. If he walked with Yao Guang, there might not even be ashes left. Sir, where are you going? Yi Fan asked Old Saber Hancho. I want to go alone. Do you want to come with me? Old Saber Hancho said. Forget it. Your path is too desolate. I'll go with the Jade Pool's fairies. Yi Fan walked directly to the Jade Pool's disciples. Yao Shi smiled sweetly. She walked over and said, Daoist, why are you doing this? Do you think I, Yao Guang, will eat you? The Jade Pool Saintess walked over and said with a smile, Since you're willing to go with me, let's go together. We were just about to invite you to the Jade Pool. The Stone Appreciation Festival is about to begin. That's exactly what I wanted. Yi Fan nodded quickly. Yao Shi smiled like a flower and said, Yao Guang and Jade Pool have always advanced and retreated together. Let's go together. In the end, everyone went together. Old Saber Hancho didn't go alone. More than a thousand miles away was the Sacred Lands mining area. There were many people there. After they arrived at the mining area, they didn't stop for long. They directly climbed onto the mysterious jade platform with Dao patterns carved on it and started to travel through the void to Origin City. A black whirlwind blew out of nowhere in the absolute beginning forbidden area. We'll temporarily leave this place to avoid any accidents. This was the explanation of a jade pool elder. Origin City was located in the middle of the mining area. It was about 30,000 miles away from the absolute beginning ancient mine. After entering the pitch black void, it didn't take long for them to finish traveling through the void. When they entered Origin City, the eastern sky was already turning white. The sky was gradually brightening. Yi Fan actually wanted to leave alone, but he couldn't. He noticed that the people of the Yaguan sacred land were looking at him from time to time. He had no choice but to follow behind the people of the Jade Pool. He didn't want to walk with the people of the Yaguan sacred land. Soon after, Yi Fan was arranged by the women of the Jade Pool to rest in a small courtyard. Scarlet Phoenix Blood Gold, you're too attractive. Yi Fan made up his mind. This time, he was going to enter the Jade Pool and obtain the Dao Palace section of the Western Emperor Scripture. 
You guys are aiming for the Scarlet Phoenix Blood Gold, a sacred item exclusive to ancient emperors. I only want to see your ancient scripture. Chapter 237 Not long after they safely arrived at Origin City, Old Saber Honcho disappeared without a trace. Li Dishim didn't leave. The people of the Yaguang Holy Land tried to persuade him to stay, and the woman of the Jade Pool also invited him. The netherworld I couldn't be cultivated. It was an innate talent that was rare in the world. It could see things that ordinary people couldn't see, so all the major forces wanted to rope him in. In the afternoon, Yi Fan took a nap and then walked out of the house. Li Dishim also opened the door, and the two lived in a quiet small courtyard. In the courtyard, there was a cluster of rockery with spring water gurgling on it. Next to it was a grape trellis full of purple agate-like fruits, and the green leaves scattered on the ground to provide shade. There was a stone table and stone chairs under the vine trellis for people to sit on. The fragrance of tea wafted in the air. The two sat under the shade of the grapevines and chatted casually. Taoist priest, your genesis technique is really amazing. Such methods are amazing. You can go to any dangerous place in the world. Li Dishim's face was full of yearning. Forget it. I was lucky this time. Except for the emperor, anyone else who entered the absolute beginning forbidden land by mistake would have died. Yi Fan was telling the truth. If the fourth generation patriarch hadn't opened a path in the pine forest, and if the eternal universe emperor hadn't broken through the fallen sun ridge, they would have died. There must be other demonic lands that they hadn't seen. If they went in again and fell into an unknown and strange land, they would be doomed, not to mention the real ancient mine. Taoist priest, how did you cultivate your genesis technique? Li Dishun was very envious. What, are you interested as well? Yi Fan's lips curled up into a smile. Li Dishun nodded and said, I'm looking forward to it. If I can learn a little, I'll do anything. That's nothing. I'll teach you a few things in the future. Can you really teach me? You're very talented. The netherworld eye is rare since ancient times. Searching for the source and locking the dragon vein is mostly done underground, so you're very needed. Taoist priest, please accept me as your disciple. Li Dishun was a little excited. There is no need to take me as a disciple. You and I have gone through trials and tribulations together. Teaching you a few moves is not a problem. Which sect are you from? asked Yi Fan as he took a sip of tea. The netherworld I was naturally suited for this line of work. In the future, when he was searching for the source of the dragon vein, if he had the help of such a person, he would definitely be able to achieve twice the results with half the effort. Li Dishun wanted to learn Genesis techniques, while Yi Fan wanted to find free labor. The more they talked, the more they got along. I'll look for you when I'm free in the future. Finally, Yi Fan stood up with a smile. The Jade Lake's members rested here and didn't want to leave. They wanted to return to the absolute beginning forbidden land. Yi Fan learned that the Jade Lake had found an abandoned mine at the edge of the Absolute Beginning Realm. They had transported some strange stones out of it and were going to continue their work. In the evening, Yi Fan met with the Jade Lake Saintess and learned more about the situation. Fairy, why are you digging up abandoned mines? What's so special about those stones? Since you are proficient in Genesis techniques, you must have heard of Genesis suppression. The Jade Lake Saintess stood by the rockery. Under the sunset, her whole body was dyed with a layer of golden red holy light. Of course I know. Do you need to seal some Genesis stones? Yi Fan was moved. The mine stones weren't necessarily cut open. Some sects would store them. However, as time passed, the stone's outer layer would slowly fall off after leaving the origin vein. At this time, ordinary people would directly peel off the outer layer and take out the Genesis stone. However, there were special times when people didn't want the Genesis stone to see the light of day. They would find a way to seal the Genesis stone. Of course, these were all Genesis stones. According to past experience, the ancient stone's outer layer in the absolute beginning forbidden land was the best material to seal the Genesis stone. What kind of Genesis stone is it? Ordinary people rarely use the Genesis suppression technique. Yi Fan didn't understand. The outer layer would fall off, so they could just take the Genesis stone. Why did they need to seal it again? This is a batch of stone left by our predecessors. It's very important, so we can't cut it open casually. This time, we invited all the experts in the world who are proficient in Genesis techniques to find a way to seal it safely, the Jade Lake Saintess answered. Standing by the rockery, she looked like an orchid in an empty valley. The Genesis suppression technique doesn't work? Yi Fan was surprised. The Jade Lake's delicate head shook slightly. Her voice was like the sound of nature. The effect is very poor. It can only solve a temporary problem. What kind of Genesis stone is it? Even the Genesis suppression technique can't seal it. This is too strange. Suddenly, Yi Fan thought of the nine pieces of stone that the Jade Lake had displayed. One of them seemed to be a sea of blood, and the other contained a demonic power. Yi Fan was frightened. These were only two of the stones from that batch. They were most likely the most ordinary ones. What would the core of the stone be like? He thought that this batch of stone must have a great background. Even if he went to the Jade Lake sacred land, it wouldn't be safe. The waste ore in the absolute beginning forbidden area contains the oldest outer layer of stone. It's the best sealing material. It shouldn't be able to seal it, right? 
He looked at the Jade Lake Saintus, puzzled. It's useless. We transported many strange stones from the absolute beginning forbidden area, but they couldn't seal it. The Jade Lake Saintus shook her head. How could it be? Yi Fan frowned. This kind of stone was beyond his imagination. Years ago, a predecessor left these stones. He said that if we needed to seal it one day, we could only use the six ancient stones from the absolute beginning forbidden area. However, we've only found two of them. What? Yi Fan was startled. He thought of a possibility. The legendary, Six Seals for Immortals, was a top genesis technique. It needed six kinds of divine origin stone skins as its materials. It could seal not only the genesis stone, but also the mountains, rivers, and the earth. It could seal powerful experts. The, Six Seals for Immortals, was recorded in the Book of Source Heaven, but there were only a few sentences. It was extremely difficult to understand and understand. The Book of Source Heaven had a note that it was a hypothetical genesis technique. It might not be able to be used successfully. Fairy, can I ask where those stones came from? Yi Fan was surprised and puzzled. Actually, there's no harm in telling you. Those stones were left by an extraordinary person with unparalleled genesis technique, the Jade Lake Saintus answered. Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. He suddenly thought of someone, Zhang Lin, the fifth generation Yuan Taoist master. In the past, this Yuan Taoist master had a special relationship with Jade Lake. The Jade Lake Saintus was his confidant, and he was an honored guest of Jade Lake. There was even a legend that said he was the outer law protector of Jade Lake. The Yuan Taoist master represented the peak of genesis technique. The stones left by such a person were unimaginable. There are seven stones in total. Three of them were left by that extraordinary person. The Jade Lake Saintus said slowly. They were indeed left by the extraordinary person, Zhang Lin. The nine strange stones on display at Jade Lake were just the crust of one of the stones. Yi Fan frowned. The origins of the nine pieces of stone materials were too great, making him suck in a cold breath of air. One of the stones on display that day weighed 2,000 kilograms. It was just the crust of a stone and not the main stone. How big was that stone? He didn't say anything. He listened quietly. He would enter Jade Lake soon, so he had to understand this clearly. Zhang Lin was a person full of legends. He traveled deep into the mountains and ancient lands, exploring countless dangerous places. He had collected many stones all his life. Among them, there were three that he couldn't figure out. Even in his later years, he couldn't figure out what was in them. He didn't cut them open and gave them to Jade Lake. Aren't there seven stones in total? What about the other four? Yi Fan asked. The other four are mysterious. They were found by the queen mothers of each generation. They are very special. They are even older than the other three. Unfortunately, there are no records of them. Zhang Lin had once marveled at the four pieces of stone, because the stone skin of the four pieces of stone had fallen off. They had been sealed by a method similar to the Six Seals for Immortals, but it was definitely not the Six Seals for Immortals. Other than the Yuan Taoist Master's disciples, there is someone else who knows the most profound Genesis technique? Yi Fan was confused, but he couldn't say it out loud. Senior Zhang studied it for more than several months and praised it. He said that all methods are connected, the saintess of Jade Lake said. The four stones were ancient. They were dug out by the ancient people tens of thousands of years ago. They were all sealed and then obtained by the queen mother of Jade Lake. This was the conclusion of the Zhang family's first ancestor. Those stones are probably not good stones. The ancient stones sealed by the six seals of prohibition for immortals must have a terrifying origin. I feel that these seven stones together are like a dangerous place. How dare you keep them in Jade Lake? Those stones are indeed terrifying. If we didn't have the ultimate weapon to suppress them, we wouldn't be at ease, the saintess of Jade Lake answered. Why don't you find a way to cut them open? What's the use of keeping them? Yi Fan didn't understand. With Jade Lake's resources, it wouldn't be a problem to break them open. Because there isn't a suitable person in Jade Lake. It's a kind of opportunity. The saintess didn't continue. Yi Fan knew that Zhang Lin must have seen something and pointed it out. He was even more curious. He wanted to see what was so special about those ancient stones. We can find some special bloodlines and use them with a powerful genesis technique. If there is a suitable person in Jade Lake, we can cut the stones open. About to enter Jade Lake, Yi Fan learned about these things, which were very helpful to him. In the end, the saintess of Jade Lake left without mentioning anything about the phoenix blood gold. The night was hazy, and the courtyard was very quiet and peaceful. It was already night, and the origin city was ablaze with lights. Ah! A miserable scream came, it was so abrupt. Ah! Ah! The screams were very fast, as if a demonic saber was killing people continuously. It was so fast that it was unimaginable. What's going on? The courtyard was in chaos. It should be noted that people from Yaguang Holy Land and Jade Lake Holy Land lived here. Who dared to kill them? Not good. An elder was killed. Shouts, shouts, and shouts came from the courtyard of Yaguang Holy Land. After a short while, more than a dozen people were killed. The shouts were unceasing. Yi Fan was startled. What was going on? Although they didn't come for Jade Lake, it's not right. 
Are they here for the phoenix blood gold? Yi Fan's heart sank. He dashed out of the courtyard like a ghost, disappearing into the darkness. Almost instantly, he saw a tall figure with gray hair that reached the ground disappear into his house without a sound. An unknown creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area? It shouldn't be. Ah. Screams arose from time to time. Some disciples of Jade Lake were also killed. Chapter 238 Yi Fan was in the dark, quietly watching everything in the yard. That tall, gray-haired figure was as strong as an iron mountain, but he was silent and swift like a ghost. He's going straight to my room. His purpose is clear. The front yard was filled with shouts and screams. Many figures flew up into the sky, but they were mercilessly chopped down, blood splashing everywhere. Yi Fan was frightened. The intruder was too strong. He held his breath and hid in the dark, quietly observing. Footsteps were heard. The female disciples of the Jade Lake rushed into the yard. The door next to them opened with a squeak. Li Dishang's face was pale. He rushed inside as if he had grasped a life-saving straw. He lived in the same yard. Bang! Yi Fan's room was smashed. The window was smashed, the pillars were broken, and the tiles were flying everywhere. A gray figure stood in the smoke and dust like a demon wall. Who are you, a female disciple of the Jade Lake shouted. Fairy sister, he's not a human. He's a monster from the absolute beginning forbidden area. Run away quickly. Li Dishun cried and ran away hurriedly. The gray hair on the head of the tall creature fell to the ground, covering its face. Strands of moonlight seeped through the hair and into the pair of black holes in its eyes, making it look especially terrifying in the night. The disciples of the Jade Lake retreated. This creature was too dangerous. It gave them a feeling that they couldn't resist. They wanted to run away, but they were locked on. They felt that if they made any big movements, they would suffer a thunderous attack. A dull roar came, which made people feel cold from head to toe. It was as if they had fallen into an ice cellar. The gray-haired creature dashed over with one step. Clang, clang. Celestial light flashed, and six weapons were smashed by its bare hands. The ground was covered with broken copper and iron. Puff. At the same time, it emitted a thick gray fog. As soon as it dashed over, the six disciples of the Jade Lake didn't even have time to scream. They were smashed into pieces. Blood splashed everywhere, and their clothes were covered in blood. Yi Fan was alarmed. The gray-haired creature was too tyrannical. In just a single exchange, it had ended six fresh lives. A man and a woman descended from the sky. One was a light-shaking realm elder, while the other was a Jade Lake elder. They attacked the gray-haired creature at the same time. Roar. A low roar sounded, muffled like thunder, shaking everyone until their blood and chi surged. An enormous blood sword had unknowingly appeared in its hands. It was two meters long, a foot wide, the scarlet red almost bewitching, as if immortal blood was flowing within it. Pooh! Its power was unmatched, and vicious flames overflowed into the heavens. With the blood sword in hand, it rushed forward. Its gray hair danced about, covering the entire sky in a gray color like a waterfall. The blood sword in its hand shattered the Yaoguang elder's weapon and tore open his body. It charged through, blood splashing everywhere. This kind of power was unrivaled. When the two-meter-long blood sword swept across, the elder of the Jade Lake couldn't escape and was chopped into pieces. It was simple and direct, violent and effective, cruel and merciless. Yi Fan's life force was reduced to its lowest level, and his bodily functions had almost stopped. This gray-haired creature was unrivaled. It was a living demon king, so he had no choice but to hide well. The bloody light was several hundred meters long. As it streaked across the sky, the creature disappeared into the darkness and flew towards the main street. Is it really a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area? Yi Fan quickly rushed out and dragged Li Dishun out from the fake mountain in another courtyard dozens of meters away. Don't kill me. I have thick skin and thick flesh. I don't taste good. Li Dishun hugged his head, his entire body trembling. It's me. Yi Fan slapped him to wake him up. He asked, you have innate underworld eyes. Was that really a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area? It definitely was. Didn't you see what it looked like? Li Dishun calmed down slightly when he saw that it was Yi Fan, but his eyes were still filled with fear. Are you using the Eye of the Netherworld? Yi Fan shook his shoulder. How could I care about that? I didn't even have time to run for my life. Could it be a fake? Li Dishun looked around in panic and said, Daoist priest, we should leave quickly. It was less than 10 meters away from you, but it didn't kill you. You don't need to worry. Here, Yi Fan said in a low voice, you hide in the dark and see if it's a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area or someone pretending to be one. After saying this, he disappeared into the night. The gray-haired creature had gone straight to his house. They couldn't stay here anymore. The great elders of the Yao Light sect and the Jade Lake weren't here, so they couldn't stop it. Yi Fan didn't believe that it was a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area. He had a feeling that it was coming for his pure phoenix blood gold. He couldn't stay here for long. The people of the Jade Lake couldn't protect him either. Yi Fan wanted to take advantage of the chaos to escape. There was no one to stop him now, so he might be able to escape. 
He found a place, and the bones in his body crackled. He threw the grey Daoist robe into the Li Fire Divine Furnace and burned it to ashes. He turned into a young man wearing purple clothes. The heaven and earth changing great art had reached the initial level. Not only could he change his appearance, but even his spirit and aura could be completely different. No. He stopped again. If it wasn't an unknown creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area and came for the pure phoenix blood gold, it must have thought of all kinds of possibilities. Maybe it was already waiting outside. If he went out rashly, he would most likely attract the attention of that pair of eyes in the dark. It wasn't good to run now, so he hid himself. In the front yard, the sounds of killing shook the heavens. A creature with white fur all over its body rushed into the air, holding a pitch-black iron sword in its hand. Almost every time the sword slashed out, a large string of blood would splatter. It was unstoppable. Even the elders of the four extreme secret realms couldn't stop it. This terrifying creature killed without blinking an eye and swept everything in its path. Could it be that I'm overthinking things? Is it really a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area? But why did the gray-haired creature sneak towards my residence? Yi Fan carefully thought about it. He took out a green tortoise from his body. Apart from this, he couldn't think of any other reason why this creature would be attracted to him. Kill. The Grand Elder has returned. Someone yelled. Everyone was no longer afraid. At the same time, the other large factions in Origin City also came to help. Battle cries shook the sky as many figures rushed over. Yi Fan once again turned into a Daoist priest and rushed over, dragging Li Dishing out. He barked, take a good look at that white-haired creature for me. Is it a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area? Li Dishing trembled as he gazed into the sky. The white-haired figure was about to disappear at such a speed that even Yi Fan was stunned. Even the Grand Elder of the Light Shaking Realm hadn't been able to catch up. Is it a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area? This. There's a mysterious mist on its body. I can't be sure. Li Dishing's voice trembled. Yi Fan pushed him away. Without any delay, he rushed into the darkness, once again turning into an unfamiliar youth. Then, he took advantage of the large factions in Origin City to escape the courtyard. Even if that grey-haired creature was spying on him in the darkness, he didn't need to worry. It was chaotic now, and there were many people coming in and out. He wasn't the only one. The sacrificial weapon that the great ancient emperors yearned for even in their dreams. It's really unsettling. Yi Fan felt that it wasn't a creature from the absolute beginning forbidden area. It was possible that someone was impersonating it to start a massacre for his phoenix blood scarlet gold. He couldn't stay here any longer. Not even the Jade Lake could protect him. Old Saber Honcho, the light shaking realm Saint Child, or... Yi Fan thought back. That grey-haired creature had wielded a two-meter-long, foot-wide blood sword. It had slashed apart the light shaking realm and Jade Lake elders with a single slash. That kind of power made one's heart go cold. Old Saber Honcho hid his strength very well, and his true strength was unfathomable. The Light Shaking Realm Saint Child was in the Third Secret Realm. He was extremely talented, and his combat ability was comparable to a Divine King of the same level. In the Four Levels Secret Realm, he was almost invincible. As for splitting into two, it wasn't a problem at all. Other than Yi Fan, any other cultivator who entered the peak of the Holy Xi Palace Secret Realm could split into five gods. That night, the entire Origin City wasn't peaceful. Twenty-seven people from the Light Shaking Realm died, including four elders from the Third Secret Realm. Eighteen people from the Jade Lake died, including two elders from the Four Levels Secret Realm. A total of 45 cultivators were killed, all with a single slash. No one could withstand the power of the blood sword, and no one could resist the power of the iron sword. The two creatures rushed over, and the two great sage suffered heavy losses. When the sky brightened, the news shook the entire region and spread to all the mining areas. Several great elders from the light shaking realm and jade lake rushed over. Someone dared to attack a holy land and wave a blood-colored butcher's knife. This was definitely shocking news, and many forces in the northern region were alarmed. So many people from the Light Shaking Realm have died, so it's most likely Old Saber Honcho. Yi Fan was shocked. When the sky brightened, he came to the southern part of the city. Five low, blue-tiled houses were dilapidated, and everyone was gone. It was quiet. Was it really that old thing who did it? Yi Fan rubbed his chin out of habit. He stayed in Origin City and quietly observed the storm. Large numbers of powerful cultivators from the two great sages' lands rushed over. This region was very turbulent, and it wasn't peaceful at all. Three days later, Yi Fan left Origin City. He didn't want to stay any longer, and it was best for him to leave this troublesome place. He had other ways to enter the Jade Lake, but he couldn't use his identity as a Daoist anymore. He had the Phoenix Blood Gold, a sacred item exclusive to the great ancient emperors, and it was enough to shake the world. He would definitely die if he saw the light of day. Half a month later, Yi Fan passed through a large area of Scarlet Land and left the vast mining area. He walked towards the oasis and returned to the stone stronghold next to the Purple Mountain. As soon as he got close to the stone stronghold, a huge black shadow pounced over. Yi Fan's speed was extremely fast, and he was unparalleled in the secret realm of the Holy Xi Palace, but he still couldn't dodge. 
He was pushed to the ground, and a large, sharp, black claw pressed down on him. It was extremely thick. Yi Fan slapped out, stopping the black claw. He flipped over and sat up, riding on the black shadow. It was actually a large dog, much larger than a common dog. It was like a cow, and its body was as black as ink. It had a square head and large ears, and it was even larger than a tiger. Bang! The large black dog was extremely strong and agile. With a fierce fling, it sent Yi Fan flying, which surprised him greatly. The large black dog was drooling at him in an extremely exaggerated manner. It continuously licked its tongue, making him a bit speechless. In a moment of anger, he slapped out. Whoosh! He didn't expect the large dog to be so fast. It dodged to the side like a black bolt of lightning, and then opened its bloody mouth, biting towards him. Bang! Yi Fan slapped out, and the large dog staggered. It was completely unharmed, and instead, a large piece of his clothes was bitten off. He was extremely shocked. Had this dog become a spirit? But even if it was a dog spirit, it couldn't stop him. Where did this wild dog come from? I don't believe that I can't smash you to pieces. Yi Fan pressed forward, and his palms and fingers turned golden. He pressed forward, and unknowingly, he used a sliver of the battle saint technique. You're the wild dog. The large black dog suddenly spoke human language. This time, it was Yi Fan's turn to stagger. He was shocked. This dog could actually speak. It really had become a spirit. Dog spirit. No ivory comes out of a man's mouth. Do you know how to speak? The large black dog ferociously pounced over, and its teeth were as white as blades. It aimed a deadly bite at Yi Fan. Little brother Yi, you're back. Wang Shu came out of the stone stronghold, and just happened to see him, revealing a joyful expression. There's a wild dog spirit here. Don't come over, it's a bit strange. Wait until I take care of it, and we'll eat black dog meat tonight. It's still uncertain who'll eat who, the large black dog roared, pouncing forward again. Little brother Yi, don't attack. That's Zhang Wuya's pet, you can't eat it. Wang Shu shouted loudly, and at the same time, shouted at the large black dog, Black Emperor, don't bite people. That's the benefactor of our stone stronghold. The people of the stone stronghold were alarmed, and many people ran out. Little brother Yi is back. Black Emperor, don't bite randomly. It was brought back by Zhang Wuya. It's called Black Emperor, and it has already gained intelligence. A large group of people enthusiastically surrounded them. When Yi Fan heard that this large black dog was brought back by Zhang Wuya, he was very surprised. At that moment, it was impossible for him to kill it. However, this large black dog was unwilling to let him go. It bared its teeth, and continuously bit down on him, biting off a large part of his clothes. F asterisk CK, you're even fiercer than a bald-tailed dog. Yi Fan slapped it a few times, and felt as if he was hitting an iron wall. Clanging sounds rang out, and if he didn't use the battle saint technique, he wouldn't be able to move it at all. The large black dog bared its teeth, and let out a series of hoarse sounds. However, it didn't bite down on his body, and merely tore apart his clothes. F asterisk CK, it really is a bald-tailed dog. No wonder it's so fierce. Yi Fan was a little speechless. This large black dog's thick tail was really half bald, and almost all of its fur had fallen off. Little brother Yi, you've returned. You weren't bitten by that bald tailed dog, right? The idiot Lei Bo's feet didn't touch the ground, and he ran over from afar. His speed was very fast, and his cultivation level had increased again. However, when he came closer and saw the large black dog in the crowd, his face instantly paled, and he said, I called it wrong, it's the Black Emperor. Wait a moment, what's with this bald tailed dog? Yi Fan called Wang Shu and Lei Bo over. Before the two of them could speak, the large black dog bared its teeth, and said, If you dare call me a bald-tailed dog again, this emperor will destroy you. You, black dog spirit, really boast shamelessly. Yi Fan looked towards Wang Shu and Lei Bo, and said, The stone stronghold wouldn't have been occupied by this dog spirit, right? Don't worry, you guys don't have to be afraid. I can burn him to death with a fire, and let you guys eat dog meat. There's no such thing. The black emperor is really very good. With it here, the safety of the stone stronghold won't be a problem in the future. Little brother Yi, don't misunderstand. The Black Emperor is really a good dog. Everyone explained together. Yi Fan quickly understood that this dog was the black shadow that had once snatched the whole roasted lamb at the bonfire banquet. Later on, it appeared a few more times, and in the end, it stayed at Zhang Wuya's house. Speaking of which, this large black dog didn't just eat and drink for free. It had once brought back a few pieces of origin source. Yi Fan suddenly felt a wave of horror. This large black dog couldn't be the thing that followed him out from the purple mountain, right? Black Emperor, don't hurt people, little brother Yi is a good person. At this time, Zhang Wuya received the news, and walked out of the stone stronghold with the help of a cane. The large black dog was bigger than a fierce tiger, and stronger than a big bull. Wagging its tail, it arrived in front of Zhang Wuya. Is this really the creature that walked out from the purple mountain? Yi Fan was bewildered in his heart. He went up to Zhang Wuya, and said, Fifth Master, this bald-tailed dog. Rat, you're tired of living, right? 
Who's the bald-tailed dog? The large black dog bared its teeth, its canines glaring, and its large eyes that were like copper bells. You said you're, the black emperor? Yi Fan asked. That's right, you can call me that. The large black dog had a proud look on its face. My ass, black emperor. Do you really think you're an ancient saint emperor? Yi Fan swept a glance at it, and said, for the sake of the elders of the stone stronghold, I won't call you bald-tailed dog. I'll call you big big wolf. The large black dog flew into a rage, and said, why can't this emperor be comparable to an ancient saint emperor? I can't help but want to destroy you now. Chapter 239 The large black dog was as strong as a bull. He had a square head and large ears, and his teeth were snow white like daggers. They were extremely sharp, and he stuck out his bright red tongue. His tone was very forceful, and he considered himself to be the black emperor. Yi Fan stared at it, but he really couldn't see anything wrong with it. This big black dog didn't have any demonic chi, and it also didn't have any fluctuations of godly power. However, its muscles and bones were like copper and iron, and it couldn't be moved at all. Let's go back to the stone stronghold and eat a whole roast lamb, Zhang Wuya called out, leaning on his walking stick. In the scarlet earth of the northern region, beef and mutton were the most common meats. It was very difficult to eat delicacies from the mountains and sea. Yi Fan pondered. Was this big black dog really the creature that had followed him out of the purple mountain? But it was completely different from what he had imagined. No one from the surrounding villages went missing, right? Yi Fan asked. Wang Shu shook his head and said, ever since Qing Xia was breached, the bandits within a circumference of 500 li all disappeared without a trace. There are no more bandits, this region is very peaceful. What do you mean? Do you think that I will stir up trouble here? The large black dog was indeed very intelligent, and he instantly understood what Ling Han was trying to say. Yi Fan ignored it. This large black dog had an extraordinary background, so it wasn't wise to get into a conflict with it. The banquet was very lively. A large group of people, men and women, young and old, sat on the ground in the open air. The flames danced, and the roasted meat made sizzling sounds. Oil drops continuously fell into the fire, and the fragrance wafted in the air. The big black dog wolfed down its food, staying far away from the bonfire. Yi Fan asked Zhang Wuya, Elder, do you know its origin? I don't know. Speaking of which, the first time I saw it, it really gave me a fright. Zhang Wuya said slowly. It would be a wonder if ordinary mortals wouldn't be frightened and they saw a big black dog speaking in human language. However, the big black dog didn't hurt anyone, and was very friendly towards Zhang Wuya. I saw it near the Purple Mountain. At that time, it was wandering around. Lei Bo immediately recognized it as the black shadow that took away our roasted lamb. Is it usually in the stone stockade? Yi Fan continued to ask. Every morning, it runs to the Purple Mountain for a spin. The rest of the time, it spends most of its time swallowing the sun jewels and moon radiance. Yi Fan nodded to himself. This big black dog really did have some sort of connection with Purple Mountain. It was almost certain that it was the creature that had followed him out. It really didn't eat any other livestock. It didn't do anything bad. Yi Fan was still worried about this black dog. The impression that the primordial race had left on him was too deep. In this world, he had come into contact with more unknown lifeforms than any of the great sacred lords. That was because it was rare for someone to see one even after thousands of years. He had once entered deep into the purple mountain and awakened several creatures, personally encountering them. As for the absolute beginning forbidden area, everyone knew about it, but no one dared to enter it. Only the emperors who were at the end of their lifespans could enter, and it could be said that they couldn't leave. They were lucky to be able to escape this time. It really hasn't done anything evil. I've touched its bones before. It's a big domestic dog that has turned into a spirit, not some other race, Zhang Wuya answered with certainty. Wang Shu, what do you think of it? I can't say. It doesn't feel like a big dog. Its personality is no different from a human's. Wang Shu shook his head. This bald-tailed dog is too unreasonable. Lei Bo mumbled at the side, afraid that the big black dog would hear him. The first time they met, he had been pounced on. His experience was much worse than Yi Fan's. He had been torn apart and bitten, and he had also been ravaged on a daily basis. This bald-tailed dog is very vengeful. Didn't I just chase it? However, it's really strange. It taught me and Wang Shu some special cultivation techniques, Lei Bo said. It taught you cultivation techniques? Yi Fan was surprised. It always thinks of itself as the Black Emperor. If we make the slightest mistake, it will wave its dog paw, Lei Bo complained. Yi Fan almost spat out the wine in his mouth. This big black dog was really strange. What techniques did it teach you? Let me see. Yi Fan indicated for Wang Shu to use the mystical technique and placed his hand on his body. This was a very strange mystical technique that was specially targeted at Lei Bo and Wang Shu's special physique. It drew out the mysterious energy within their frontal bones and tempered every inch of their flesh. This bald-tailed dog really does have some skills. Yi Fan was a little surprised. He nodded, and said, you two should learn from it. There's no harm in it. Little brother Yi, you must not call it a bald-tailed dog. Lei Bo was often bitten by it because of this reason. 
Wang Xu reminded in a low voice, and said, It's coming over. You must call it the Black Emperor. Black Emperor, this big dog really boasted shamelessly. Did it really think that it was an existence like the ancient Saint Emperor? The big black dog ate a whole two goats. Its head was raised very high, and the black fur all over its body was very long. It was as glossy and glossy as silk, and its eyes were as big as copper bells. The only thing that was not in harmony was that bald tail. Is the black emperor full? Zhang Wuya patted the soft blanket beside him. The big black dog lay down, and lay comfortably beside him. Such a ferocious big dog was indifferent to everyone except Zhang Wuya. It was still relatively docile. Little brat, why are you always so unkind to me? The black emperor glanced at Yi Fan arrogantly. Yi Fan really wanted to give it a slap. This was really a vicious dog biting back. It had pounced on him the first time they met, and it still had the same attitude now. What kind of mental cultivation technique did you teach Lei Bo and Wang Shu? Yi Fan asked. It's naturally the supreme ancient scripture that this emperor created. The big black dog had a proud expression on his face. Supreme ancient scripture? What name does it have? Yi Fan asked as he clinked cups with the people around him and drank. It's called the Black Emperor Scripture, and it's a supreme secret technique that reigns supreme in both ancient and modern times. Black Emperor? You named it yourself, right? I've flipped through all the ancient books in the Eastern Wasteland, and there's no such name. There are only a few ancient emperors whose names have shaken the world. The big black dog roared in a low voice, and said, This emperor disdains leaving his name in the annals of history. You're so arrogant when I say you're fat. Even if your tail is bald, how long can you live? 300 years? 1000 years? Or 1500 years? The big black dog hated it the most when people said that it was bald. It stood up with an unkind look in its eyes, and opened its bloody mouth, wanting to pounce over. Zhang Wuya hurriedly comforted it, stroking its glossy fur with a coarse old hand, and said, Don't be angry, black emperor. Little brat, watch your words. The big black dog threatened. It lay there unhappily, and said, This emperor has traveled through the ages, and even I can't remember how long I've lived. Yi Fan sneered, and said, I've heard of the Eternal Universe Emperor, the Void Emperor, and the Empress of the West, but I've never heard of the Black Emperor. Can you compare to them? The big black dog wanted to retort, but even though countless years had passed, the names of the three emperors still possessed supreme divine might. It bared its teeth, but didn't dare to profane them in the end. The moonlight was gentle, and the bonfire danced. The young women and young men in the stone stronghold were singing and dancing to each other. It was a very joyous occasion. Yi Fan nibbled on a leg of lamb, drank over a dozen cups of wine, and said, There are only so many ancient scriptures in the eastern wasteland, and I know one of them. Why don't we have a spar? You want to fight with me? The big black dog tilted its head and looked at him, revealing its snow-white teeth. As a dog, don't be so savage, okay? Let's have a civil battle, and we'll each recite an ancient scripture to see who's better. The big black dog chuckled coldly, and said, You want to swindle my supreme scripture? You're still far from it. Yi Fan shook his head with a smile, and said, I only want to have a spar. How about this? Since you're so guarded, I'll recite a scripture first. There are only so many ancient scriptures in the eastern wasteland. Which one do you know? The big black dog obviously didn't believe him. To the extreme of emptiness, keep quiet. Yi Fan's expression was solemn, and he recited a scripture. This scripture was indeed an ancient scripture. Of course, it was incomplete. It was the void ancient scripture of the Ji family. Apart from the Great Void technique, he only obtained a few parts of the mental cultivation method. This was a supreme scripture created by the Void Emperor of the Ancient Void to observe all things and capture the eternal and unchanging laws. I didn't expect you to know a bit. At least you didn't try to trick my supreme scripture for nothing. The big black dog's eyes flashed, and he said, Listen carefully, I'll recite a part of my Black Emperor scripture for you. Okay, I'm all ears. Yi Fan's heart was calm, and he listened carefully. Swallow the sun and moon, illuminate the gods. The big black dog recited a scripture. It was indeed extremely profound and difficult to understand. However, the more Yi Fan listened, the more he felt that something was wrong. This wasn't something a human could cultivate. This was a demon saint's technique. Wait, I can't cultivate this scripture at all. There's no point in having a spar like this. Yi Fan stopped him. The ancient scripture that I created naturally has to be suitable for me to cultivate. It's not like I created it for you. The big black dog glanced at him disdainfully. My ancient scripture is famous throughout the ages. There are only a few in the eastern wasteland that can stand side by side with it. Even a demon saint can use it as a reference. However, your so-called black emperor scripture is far from enough. Yi Fan shook his head. Don't brag. Little brat, you want to trick a wolf for nothing and get other ancient scriptures from me? How can it be so easy? The big black dog looked as if he had seen through him. You're trying to trick a black dog for nothing. Lei Bo muttered at the side. Woof. The barking of the big black dog caused Lei Bo to immediately shut up. My scripture is famous throughout the ages, and it was created by the Eternal Universe Emperor. 
I disdain to obtain your scripture. Yi Fan shook his head, sighed, and said, at the end of the celestial path, who is the peak? You're full of nonsense. Your scripture is clearly the void ancient scripture of the Ji clan, and it was created by the void emperor. Why did you drag the eternal universe emperor into it? The big black dog seemed to be very agitated, and said, moreover, why is it, eternal universe emperor emptiness? I admit that the eternal universe emperor is one of the strongest people since ancient times, but that sentence isn't directed at him. Then who is it directed at? Yi Fan laughed. It's naturally a peerless figure that surpasses the ancients and dazzles the contemporaries, one of the emperors. The big black dog suddenly fell silent. After a series of probing, Yi Fan finally obtained some information. This big black dog wasn't an ancient being, and he had cultivated the demon saint heart technique. Moreover, he was close to Emperor Wu Shi. Little brat, you're still far from being able to play tricks with me. You don't even have ancient scriptures to think about. The big black dog calmed down, and said, I indeed know the whereabouts of several ancient scriptures. Do you want to know? Yi Fan was speechless. This big black dog was clearly messing with his nerves. What does an old black dog like you know? The strongest ancient scriptures are in the hands of the great sage. The big black dog revealed a disdainful expression, and said, I know where the eternal universe emperor comprehended his Tao, and I also know which precipice the western emperor scripture was inscribed on by the empress mother of the west. Chapter 240 Yi Fan probed it a few times, and finally obtained a preliminary understanding of the situation he wanted to know. The large black dog was not an ancient race, and was rather close to Emperor Wu Shi. However, he also tasted the bitter fruit. In the following days, he was often bitten by dogs. The large black dog was very vengeful, and would give him a bite every now and then. Whether it was eating or going out, he had to be careful. F asterisk CK, I'm bitten by dogs every day. What's going on? He was really speechless. He had never seen such a vengeful dog. A cultivator being bitten by a dog, if word got out, it would probably cause a lot of laughter. It was really humiliating. If it weren't for the fact that his body was comparable to godly metal, he really wouldn't have been able to endure it. Even so, there were still a few bruises on his body. If you bite me again, I'll skin you alive and eat dog meat. These words caused a great disaster. In the following dozen or so days, there was no peace. The large black dog would occasionally bite him. Yi Fan also attacked a few times, but he couldn't do anything to it. That glossy black body was too sturdy. His golden palms and fingers struck out with sky-shaking sounds, but he just couldn't move it. How does it temper its body? It's too freakish. The only thing that made him feel fortunate was that for some reason, the large black dog only knew how to bite and pounce. It didn't know how to cast any techniques, and it couldn't even fly. This is really strange. If it was an ordinary dog demon, it would also know how to fly. Yi Fan observed for a dozen or so days. The large black dog would go to the purple mountain every morning, and then absorb the essence of the sun and moon to cultivate. It didn't do anything else. Black Emperor, you can't even fly with this kind of cultivation. Your supreme scripture isn't good enough. The large black dog glanced at him, and said, My great Tao is mysterious and unfathomable, and my cultivation level has already returned to its original state. What can you see? Don't try to trick me. Your stupid scripture isn't suitable for humans to cultivate at all. Why would I try to trick it? Yi Fan felt that this large dog was too vigilant. It would be harder than ascending to the heavens if he wanted to get any more information out of it. Don't think I don't know what you want. The large black dog raised its massive head, and said arrogantly, Let me tell you, there's no chance. Just give up as soon as possible. Yi Fan rubbed his chin. He felt that there was really no way to deal with this old monster. It had lived for too long and was more cunning than anyone else. If you want the ancient scriptures, it's not impossible. Get me a piece of divine source. Yi Fan wanted to give it a beating, saying, Why don't you say that I'll dig out the source of origin ancient mine for you to eat? You still want divine origin? I haven't even seen it before. Then there's no need to talk. The large black dog tilted his head and glanced at him. Then, he swaggered away. Actually, I know the whereabouts of an ancient scripture of a monster race great emperor, Yi Fan said indifferently. I can't believe you're able to pull off such a cheap trick. The large black dog expressed his disdain. He didn't even turn his head back as he left with his bald tail raised high in the air. Yi Fan flicked his finger, and a bead of blood flew out. Without saying anything, he walked in the opposite direction. The large black dog immediately scurried back, baring his white teeth as he blocked Ling Han's path. Black Emperor, what do you want to do? Have you eaten the flesh and blood of a monster emperor before? I can smell the scent of that supreme demonic blood. His expression was unkind, and his expression was even more vivid than that of a human's. Do you think I'm as savage as you? I've never killed a living thing in my life. If I believed your words, I would really be seeing a ghost. Now do you believe me? This is the aura of a monster emperor, and I do indeed know the whereabouts of an ancient scripture of a monster emperor? Yi Fan guided him patiently. No wonder I always had an urge to swallow you. There is a shred of the monster emperor's blood essence in your body. The large black dog bared his teeth, and licked his lips with his bright red tongue. Black Emperor, what do you want to do? 
I want to eat you. The large black dog opened his bloody mouth, and suddenly rushed over. Yi Fan formed a sun moon seal, and rushed over. His golden palm trembled, and he wanted to beat this large black dog to the ground. This place was like smithing, and the sounds were deafening. Four hours later, Yi Fan's arms were numb, and he really couldn't fight anymore. He flew into the air, and pulled out a shirt to wear. Because the large black dog was tearing and biting at him, he almost suffered a great loss. F asterisk CK, I've been bitten by a dog again. Yi Fan looked at the teeth marks on his body, and was really speechless. There was probably no cultivator who had been chased and bitten by a dog like him. The large black dog stuck out his red tongue, and panted as he said, I believe you. You have indeed refined the blood essence of a monster emperor before, and your skin is thick and your flesh is not delicious. Yi Fan cursed his bad luck, and turned to leave. Don't go, we can talk. If you can find me a divine source, I'll tell you the whereabouts of an ancient scripture, the large black dog called out from behind. Not interested. Yi Fan didn't even turn back, and flew toward the stone stronghold. The large dog was obviously tempted, but he still demanded an exorbitant price. Now, he had to keep his cool. In the next two days, the black emperor was very calm, and didn't come to find him. He finally had two days of peace, and was not bitten by a dog. On the fourth day, the large black dog finally appeared, and said, I say, brat, are you intentionally leaving me hanging? We both want an ancient scripture, and now we can sit down and talk. Give me three divine source, and I'll tell you the whereabouts of the demon race great emperor's ancient scripture. Woof. The large black dog almost pounced, and looked at him fiercely. Forget it, one divine source, Yi Fan said unhurriedly. Brat, you're trying to extort me. Let me tell you, I don't even have half a divine source. If you want an ancient scripture of the human race, give me a divine source. The large black dog gritted his teeth. In your dreams, I haven't even seen what a divine source looks like. Don't think that I don't know. You've obtained the heavenly source book, and you'll definitely be able to find a divine source in the future. Even if I find it, I won't give it to you. The first conversation ended on a bad note. Yi Fan and the Black Emperor didn't back down. The next day, they quarreled again. Brat, give me a divine source, and I'll tell you the whereabouts of an ancient scripture. Give me ten, and I'll recite half of the ancient scripture for you. Give me fifty, and I'll give you a complete ancient scripture, the Black Emperor said patiently. Why don't you just dive into the origin ancient mine? How many divine source are there in the north region? You want ten, and then you want fifty. Do you think this is a sweet potato? Yi Fan's fingers became a faint gold color, and he really wanted to slap the dog's head a few times. You can't say that. A supreme ancient scripture is priceless. How about this, you tell me the whereabouts of the demon race great emperor's scripture. What you said can all be reversed. You can use divine source to exchange for the demon race great emperor's ancient scripture. Yi Fan smiled. Woof, you win. The large black dog's tone finally softened slightly, and he said, we can exchange the whereabouts of the ancient scripture. This way, no one will lose out. I feel like I'll lose out. Old monster like you is too cunning. Who knows if what you said is true or false. Yi Fan took out the oily green black tortoise, and played with it in his hand. He did this intentionally. This large black dog's background was strange, and he wanted to see if he could see anything. The result exceeded his expectations. The large black dog's eyes immediately turned green, and he pounced over soundlessly, launching a sneak attack as fast as lightning, biting down. Even though Yi Fan was on guard, he was still bitten twice, but at least he didn't snatch the black tortoise away, and soared into the sky. F asterisk CK, I was bitten by a dog again. Yi Fan was extremely angry, and really wanted to skin it and eat its flesh. Brat, how can you say that? What do you mean by being bitten by a dog again? It sounds like you're insulting me, the large black dog questioned boldly. Do you have any dog morals? Always launching sneak attacks, I've never seen a dog as immoral as you. Yi Fan felt slightly awkward talking to a dog like this, but this dog was really evil, and was no different from a human that had become a demon. Brat, let me see that piece of broken jade in your hand. The large black dog looked at him from the corner of his eye. I'll let you see. It's definitely like throwing a meat bun at a dog, and you won't be able to return. Don't even think about it. Yi Fan stood in the air. The large black dog was very displeased with the words, throwing a meat bun at a dog, and said with a dark expression, isn't it just a piece of broken jade? You're too stingy. I just think it looks a little like the piece I used to wear in the past. If you don't want to let me see, then so be it. Let's not talk anymore. He acted as if he didn't care, and swaggered off. Yi Fan discovered that this large black dog was really two-faced, and was even more cunning than humans. He said, Black Emperor, don't try to hide it. Do you really think I don't know what this is? You actually dare to say that? Broken Jade? This is a divine source shell. The large black dog stopped in his tracks with a schwa, turned around, and said, Ridiculous, I don't know what you're talking about. Yi Fan smirked coldly, and said, Keep pretending. The Black Emperor didn't leave, and slowly walked over again. He said, this is only a divine source shell, and there isn't much spiritual essence left in it. How about this, I can barely count it as half a piece of divine source. 
If you can find another half, I'll tell you the whereabouts of the ancient scripture. I've never seen such a despicable dog like you. Stop pretending, I know there's a shocking secret sealed inside. The corners of Yi Fan's lips curled up slightly, and he slowly said, This is something that I brought out from a grand divine temple in the forbidden land of absolute beginning. I'm sure you've definitely seen something from it. If you want it, you can exchange it for the ancient scripture. Stop bullshitting. You think you can enter the forbidden land of absolute beginning? Any random creature that jumps out would be able to devour you. The large black dog raised his head high. Yi Fan waved the green jade in his hand, and said, This is something that was enshrined on the divine altar of the ancient temple. The Deluo silver essence has already decayed, but this jade is still completely undamaged. Really? Let me see it more clearly. The large black dog scooted forward. You want to cheat me again, right? Yi Fan flew into the sky. In the following days, Yi Fan and the Black Emperor continued to wrangle. He felt that this dog was too difficult to deal with, and he really wanted to kill it and eat it. Unfortunately, he couldn't beat this large black dog. Its life was even tougher than his. Half a month later, he really couldn't take it anymore. He didn't have the patience to continue haggling, and wanted to leave the stone stronghold. It was at this moment that the large black dog finally relented. Brat, you win. This is the first time in my life that I've given in to someone. I'll show you a way to find the scripture. Whether you can obtain it or not will depend on your luck. This dog's words couldn't be trusted at all. Yi Fan's forehead was filled with black lines, and he said, Don't say such useless things. I only want the Western Emperor scripture. If you can't take it out, then don't say anything. I'll leave right now, and don't even think about seeing this green jade profound tortoise again in this lifetime. The large black dog's expression flickered, and he said, Brat, you're too ruthless. Why do you want me to bring you to find the scripture first, and only give me benefits after you obtain it? This is too unfair. I have the guarantee of my reputation, and yours. I can't see it. Brat, what do you mean? You're smearing this emperor's reputation. We'll never meet again. Yi Fan turned and left. Young people are really impatient. Fine, this emperor will bring you to find the western emperor scripture, the large black dog said fiercely. Let's make this clear first. If you manage to find it, you must give me that green jade profound tortoise. No problem. Yi Fan nodded in agreement. Also, you have to tell me the whereabouts of the demon emperor's ancient scripture as well, the large black dog added. That's easy too. Brat, you agreed so quickly. Is there a trick? The large black dog was suspicious. I'm really wondering whether you're a black dog or a black fox. If you dare to look down on me again, I'll teach you a lesson, the black emperor threatened. The large black dog was only slightly obedient towards Zhang Wuya. He raised his bald tail in farewell, and left with Yi Fan. Crackle, crackle. Yi Fan once again used the heaven and earth changing technique, and transformed into another youth. His appearance changed greatly. The large black dog sneered disdainfully at the side, and said, One look and I can tell that you've done all kinds of bad things. Even when you're out, you have to act like this. What kind of atrocious things have you done? Don't be cocky. Hurry up and take me to find the Western Emperor scripture. Yi Fan felt that this large black dog was really difficult to deal with. Take me to the surrounding cities first. The black emperor raised his head very high, and swept his gaze over the reddish brown earth. Why are you taking a stroll around the cities if you have nothing better to do? We're not going out to travel, but to find the Western Emperor scripture. Didn't you say that when the Western Emperor Mother first created this scripture, she carved it on a precipice? I've been in seclusion for many years, and the mountains and rivers have all changed, so how could I still remember it so clearly? I need to carefully look around to find the direction. The large black dog's bald tail was raised very high, and he looked very aloof. How long have you lived, and you still say that the mountains and rivers have all changed? How shameless! Yi Fan glared at him. Even divine kings could only live for a few thousand years, and the lifespans of others were much shorter. Don't worry, I guarantee that I'll be able to find that precipice after I look around. The large black dog dashed forward like a black bolt of lightning. In the next few days, they went to over 30 cities. The large black dog wandered around, and it was as if he was taking a leisurely stroll. Brat, you've really gone too far in doing bad things. Look, even your portrait has been pasted up in this city. This is a reward of thousand kilograms source. In an ancient city called Long Wind, Yi Fan saw his own portrait. Without a doubt, it was an arrest warrant issued by the Ji clan and the Light Shaking Realm. Someone had pasted it up. He had seen a similar arrest warrant from Big Boss before, and it was completely the same. When I have some free time, I'll kill all the members of the younger generation who have entered the North region. You want to use them as practice after obtaining the Western Emperor scripture, right? The large black dog saw through his thoughts. You still haven't found the direction? Don't tell me you've forgotten, Yi Fan said with a dark expression. I've already gradually remembered it. We can set out now, the large black dog gave an affirmative answer. After traveling for several days, Yi Fan felt that something was off. The large black dog was leading him in the direction of the Origin Ancient Mine. Are you sure you didn't remember the wrong way? We're going to the Origin Ancient Mine. 
That's right, we're going to the old land of the Jade Pool, the large black dog answered. Yi Fan had heard that the old land of the Jade Pool was over 10,000 kilometers away from the Origin Ancient Mine, and the sect had only moved later on. However, now, no one knew where the so-called old land of the Jade Pool was, and no one could find it. It was said that when the Jade Pool retreated, it had already been completely sealed. Around the Origin Ancient Mine, the vast and boundless region was all mining areas. The large black dog was like an old horse that knew the way, observing the terrain of the mountains and rivers, and continuously making detours, avoiding the mining areas of the Holy Land, bringing Yi Fan into the depths of the reddish-brown earth. Why did the Jade Pool retreat? Yi Fan asked. In reality, many ancient texts recorded that the Jade Pool was over 10,000 kilometers away from the Origin Ancient Mine, and there was no mention of any so-called relocation. No one knows the specific reason. The moonlight was like water, and Yi Fan and the Black Emperor had already advanced in the uninhabited region for over a dozen days, but they still hadn't found the so-called ruins of the Jade Pool. That's not right. The old land of the Jade Pool has beautiful mountain ranges, and the scenery is beautiful. It's an oasis, and it should be in this region. Why has it disappeared? The large black dog was suspicious. Under the moonlight, the red earth stretched as far as the eye could see, and there was no end to it. It was empty and vast, and it was difficult to even see a large rock, let alone a mountain. The Black Emperor looked up at the bright moon, and then looked at this blood-colored earth, and said, This place has been sealed. Brat, hurry up and find it. If we enter into a world full of flowers and birds, we might have a great opportunity. Suddenly, Yi Fan was shocked. He saw a white figure flying into the sky from the distant horizon. Jade Pool Celestial. Two divine lights shot out from the large black dog's eyes, and he said, Looks like we've come to the right place. We definitely have to find the sealed old land of the Jade Pool. I really want to see why they retreated. Chapter 241 in the north region, the temperature difference between day and night was very large. The moonlight was cold, and the chill was bone-chilling. On the horizon, a few white figures were very ethereal, flickering and disappearing. They were as ethereal as immortals as they flew into the sky. Yi Fan disappeared with a step, leaving behind a dozen or so afterimages on the vast land. He chased very far away, but he didn't catch anything. He stood in the night sky, looking up at the boundless starry sky. What is that? He was confused. The few white figures disappeared into the boundless night sky, and couldn't be seen again. Jade Pool Celestial, the large black dog answered. Celestial? Yi Fan didn't understand. To cultivators, celestials were illusory and unreal. Though there were always legends about their existence, there was no proof. Even if some were recorded in ancient books, they couldn't stand up to scrutiny. It's hard to say. The large black dog shook his head. The Jade Pool was an ancient sight. Occasionally, there would be strange scenes of celestials flying under the night moon. No one could tell what was going on. From afar, it was hazy, but up close, it was indistinct. According to the legends, this was a primordial afterimage, a reflection of countless years ago, a replay of ancient events. It can't be a celestial. Yi Fan didn't believe it. I didn't say it was a celestial. The Black Emperor's eyes shone with a green light. He was no different from a wolf in the night. There was nothing on the vast land except sand and stones. The second half of the night was very quiet. Yi Fan and the Black Emperor searched for most of the night without finding anything. In the past, the Jade Pool had opened a sect here because the mountains and rivers here were beautiful, and it was a rare celestial land. But now, it was desolate, and apart from red sand, nothing else could be seen. The miraculous scene of the Jade Pool Celestial had already appeared. This was definitely the old land of the Jade Pool, but no matter how they searched, they couldn't find a single flaw. The morning glow surged, bright red and golden, and the reddish-brown land was dazzling. Yi Fan and the Black Emperor busied themselves for an entire night, but they didn't even find a single tile, let alone the ruins. You're really unreliable. You told me there was a Western Emperor scripture here, but you couldn't even find it. Do you know what it means to be blessed? What's that? That's the Western Emperor scripture, which was created by the legendary Western Emperor Mother. How could it be obtained so easily? The large black dog tried to find an excuse. Before coming here, you said it was very easy. You said that it was carved on a precipice, and as long as you came here, you would be able to find it. What happened? The large black dog pulled a long face, and walked to the side unhappily. He narrowed his eyes and began to ponder. After a long time, he said, this place has been sealed, and I'm slightly unwell, so I might not be able to open it at the moment. I can only think of another way. It stood up and said, let's go to the edge of the jade pool. The seal there is the weakest. I think there's a way to sneak in. After advancing for a full half a day, the large black dog finally came to a decision. Let's search here, he said. Let's search here. The midday sun was very scorching. With the scorching sun overhead, the man and the shadow almost overlapped. The Black Emperor wandered around and suddenly jumped up, saying, found it. Hearing this, Yi Fan rushed over. In front of them, there was a stretch of red sand shining brightly. The scorching light from the scorching sun flowed over there like a large furnace. Is there something strange about this place? Can we enter the Jade Pool from here? I remember that there's an ancient well at the edge of the Jade Pool Celestial Land. 
It should be here. We can most likely enter, the large black dog replied. Old black, are you reliable? Don't try to fool me again. Yi Fan didn't really believe him. The large black dog bared his teeth, and threatened, call me black emperor. Yi Fan struck out with his palm, and the red sand swirled into the air. A large pit appeared in the ground, and some large rocks emerged from it. That's right, it's here. Time is merciless. Even this ancient well has been drowned by the sand. The large black dog squatted down to take a closer look. When they finished clearing the ground, an ancient well appeared below them. It was built from ancient jade, and the mouth of the well was sealed by a large rock. The sunlight in the sky was absorbed by this well, and thus it was as hot as a large furnace. As expected, the jade pool is extraordinary. Even though it has been sealed, it can still automatically absorb the essence of the sun and the moon. This well is absorbing the sunlight. When Yi Fan lifted the large rock, a pitch black mouth of the well was revealed. It was very deep, and they couldn't see the end of it. Are you sure, that this well can lead to the jade pool? Yi Fan looked at him suspiciously. It should be about right, the large black dog said in an uncertain tone. What do you mean by about right? Are you sure? Have you entered here before? This well is so deep, so who knows where it will lead to? Isn't there no other way? We need to slowly explore it. The large black dog held a rock in his mouth, and tossed it into the ancient well. There was no echo for a long time. This is a bottomless pit. Yi Fan was shocked. I remember now. This is definitely the place that leads to the jade pool. Someone has entered here before. Brat, you go down and explore the way first. Why don't you go and explore the way? I've encountered some problems with my cultivation, so I can't fly. You can only go down. You're the one leading the way, yet you want me to go and explore the way. Yi Fan glared at him. E, there's light down there. The large black dog suddenly poked his head into the well. Yi Fan was surprised, and looked down, but he didn't discover anything. Right at this moment, he felt the large dog's head bump into his body, and he was thrown down. Bald-tailed dog, you're really evil. Fortunately, he had been on guard against this large black dog, and he grabbed its hair, pulling it down as well. Brat, it's enough for you to go down alone. There's no need for both of you to come in. That's right, I also feel that it's enough for you to go down alone. Why don't I just throw you down? Yi Fan was about to let go, and he wanted to fly up himself. I can't fly. Brat, if you dare to let go, I won't let you off. The large black dog bit Yi Fan. F asterisk CK, I've been bitten by a dog again. Yi Fan didn't fly up. Instead, he grabbed the large black dog, and they descended together, wanting to explore a path. The ancient well was really very deep, and they only reached the bottom after descending for over 2,000 meters. There was no water, and the ground was completely covered in mud. The stone that the large black dog had thrown in had sunk deeply into the mud. When they landed on the ground, a rotten smell wafted over. There were actually withered leaves in the mud. The ancient well was connected to an underground river, but the river had already dried up, and it flowed horizontally into the distance. Occasionally, they could see some small puddles, and some blind fish could be seen swimming in them. This dried up river definitely leads to the Jade Lake. Even if there's a seal, it's still the weakest place. A green light flashed in the large black dog's eyes. The river was pitch black, and one couldn't even see their fingers in front of them. They could only use their spirit sense to capture the surrounding scenery. Yi Fan advanced slowly, and the Black Emperor followed beside him. You can even find a path like this? Is this the hole that you crawled out of in the past? Yi Fan swallowed the words, dog hole, fearing that the large black dog would fly into a rage. F asterisk CK, brat, are you scolding me? The large black dog was extremely sensitive, and he was as cunning as a human. He immediately realized what was going on. Yi Fan was afraid of being bitten, so he hurriedly diverted his attention, and said, no, you're thinking too much. How did you discover this path? In the past, the water in the ancient well was full, so it was almost impossible to discover this path. However, there have indeed been people who have entered this place before, but it has nothing to do with me. I've only heard of it. After walking for a full 30 to 40 kilometers, Yi Fan felt that the terrain was gradually becoming higher, and they were slowly ascending to the surface. In this place, the seal was extremely weak. There was a faint light flickering, but it couldn't stop anything at all, and they could continue forward. After walking for another few kilometers, sunlight shone down, and they were already very close to the exit. We can really enter the Jade Lake from this place. The large black dog muttered. So you really don't know? Yi Fan really wanted to teach him a lesson or two, but he was afraid of being bitten by the dog. This was a large lake, but it had already dried up, and the bottom of the lake had cracked open. This river was connected to a large crack at the bottom of the lake. After coming out from the river, rich spiritual chi instantly rushed over, making them feel refreshed and refreshed, as if they were bathing in a spring breeze. The bottom of this large lake was very dry, and if one didn't count those large cracks, its shape was about the same as a frying pan. Many large fish bones lay on the ground. The lake had dried up, and they had died. The size of these bones was extremely astonishing, and there were a few that were over a dozen meters long, or even close to twenty meters long. 
Such large fish have most likely almost become spirits. In the surroundings of the lake, there were many ancient trees that reached into the sky that were rooted on the shore of the lake. They were incredibly vigorous, but it was a pity that they had all dried up, and only one or two still had a dozen or so yellow leaves on their heads. These trees are too thick. I'm afraid they have already grown for thousands or even tens of thousands of years, right? Yi Fan was astonished. Such ancient trees should have already become spirits, yet they had all died here. This was really a little strange. There's something strange about this place. A dark light shone from the large black dog's eyes, and he said, no matter whether it's the large fish that are over a dozen meters long in the lake, or the ancient trees on the shore that would require more than a dozen people to wrap their arms around, they obviously can't become spirits. What did you sense? Yi Fan asked. I didn't sense anything. It's just a kind of intuition. Perhaps this is the reason why the Jade Lake is retreating. The Black Emperor swept his gaze over the shore of the lake. The surroundings were very quiet, and it was a little lifeless. Yi Fan walked out of this dried up lake pit, landed on the shore, and looked around. In the distance, there was an expanse of withered trees. Many trees had withered, and the entire area was bare and lifeless. It gave off an extremely desolate feeling. Didn't you say that this is a world filled with flowers and birds? Why is it so desolate and lonely? Something has happened here. The Black Emperor walked forward. Although the old land of the Jade Lake was very desolate, the spiritual chi here was very dense, and it was many times denser than the outside world. As expected of a holy land for cultivation. After walking for several kilometers, the sound of flowing water could be heard. After passing through a large forest of withered trees, a lush greenery entered his eyes. In front of him, there were green plants everywhere, and they were verdant and lush. There was a lake that was as clear as a sapphire, and large patches of plants on the shore were full of vitality. There were massive ancient trees, and their branches stretched towards the sky. Their entire bodies were like small mountains, and their thick vines were like numerous dragons, crawling all over the place. All kinds of flowers and plants were fragrant, refreshing the mind. They were colorful, and very pleasing to the eye. Yi Fan felt that it was strange. Why was there such a great contrast? They were very close to each other. One place was deathly silent, while the other place was full of vitality and vitality. The large black dog ran forward, passing through this lush land. After advancing for a mere 1000 meters or so, another expanse of withered trees appeared, and it was completely silent. Strange, it can't be because of the water source. They continued forward, and discovered that 90% of the area was lifeless, and only a few places had vitality. This was also the case for the mountains. Most of them were bare, and not a single blade of grass grew. Only a few of them were beautiful, and their peaks were verdant and green. After advancing for several dozen kilometers, they finally saw a few pavilions. However, they were already half collapsed. Even though there were patterns on them, after so many years, they still couldn't resist the corrosion of time. Soon, we're approaching the important land of the Jade Lake. The Black Emperor's bald tail started counting as he ran forward. After passing through many mountains, they finally arrived at a land shrouded in celestial mist. It was quiet all around, and all the plants had withered. Large numbers of palaces were like heavenly palaces, either standing on the peaks of mountains, or sitting in front of dried up waterfalls. If vitality was restored to this place, it would definitely be a celestial realm. The palaces of the Jade Lake that were floating in the air have all been moved away, and not a single one is left. The large black dog swept his gaze around. Is there an impregnable ancient city in the Jade Lake? Yi Fan asked. Of course there is one. The large black dog's eyes flashed, and it was as if he was searching for something. He said, after passing through a few mountain ridges in front of us, we'll arrive at the central area. They quickly advanced, and after passing through this withered land, the mist ahead became even more indistinct. After passing through a few mountain ridges, a lush land once again appeared before their eyes. There were waterfalls and springs, and the mist was hazy. There were many palaces here, and they were all extremely beautiful. It was as if they had entered the celestial realm. It's great that the central area hasn't become a land of death. The large black dog rushed forward. Which precipice did the western empress inscribe the scripture on? Yi Fan urged. After arriving at this kind of celestial realm, even he was feeling slightly restless. What are you in such a hurry for? Let's go to a good place first. On the beautiful cliffs, there were numerous large waterfalls that cascaded down. The silver waterfalls were as long as 3,000 meters, and it was an extremely spectacular sight. There were many palaces here, and it was like a scene from a painting. Where exactly are you going? Yi Fan asked. I'm naturally going to the holy lake of the Jade Lake. The Jade Lake is named after it. Not far away, there was a vast expanse of open land. There were countless strange flowers and plants in the surroundings, as well as palaces. In the central area, there was dense spiritual chi, and auspicious colors flowed about. There was a lake there, and it was hazy. It should be here. The large black dog rushed over. In this place, the spiritual chi was even denser, and it was many times denser than in other places. Standing here, they didn't need to use any mysterious techniques, and they could automatically absorb the source essence of heaven and earth. Plop. 
The large black dog dove into the celestial lake. Black Emperor, is there some kind of treasure in the lake? Otherwise, why are you so anxious? The large black dog didn't answer, and he swam toward the center of the lake. Like a streak of black light, he suddenly dove into the lake. Howl. The large black dog dove into the water for a few minutes before letting out a howl. He leaped out of the water as if he had been startled. What did you see? Yi Fan was astonished. Nothing much, it was just too refreshing. This is the celestial lake of the Jade Lake, and bathing here has a miraculous effect. It can open up one's muscles and activate one's meridians, speeding up one's cultivation. Brat, come down as well. Nonsense. Seeing how scared you were just then, there must be something strange. Are you trying to drag me down with you and be unlucky? Yi Fan stood on the shore, his arms crossed as he looked at the large black dog. Brat, you're naturally suspicious. Have I ever been so unscrupulous? The large black dog asked. When have you ever been unscrupulous? Hurry up and come up. Go and find the Western Emperor scripture for me, Yi Fan urged. The water quality of this celestial lake is special, and in the past, only the fairies of the Jade Lake could enjoy it. This is a place where peerless beauties come out to bathe. Outsiders can't even see it, much less enter. Don't you want to come down and experience it? Suddenly, Yi Fan was shocked. He saw a few figures in the water. They were pale white, and it was enough to make one's hair stand on end. You bald dog, you really are evil. The large black dog seemed to have sensed something, and he leaped high into the air. He leaped out of the water, and shouted, Why are you following me? Why are you still moving? F asterisk CK, this damned dog. As expected, he wanted to drag me down with him and be unlucky, Yi Fan cursed silently. The large black dog rushed forward, sticking close to the surface of the water. His bald tail straightened, and he sprinted madly toward the shore. Under the lake, a few blurry figures with long black hair and white robes streaked past, causing Yi Fan's heart to palpitate in fear. What were those things? Chapter 242 The mist was hazy, and water splashed everywhere. The large black dog trod on the water, running on the waves. He was like a black arrowhead as he quickly rushed ashore. What's going on? Why are they moving? He was very disheveled, and turned around to look. F asterisk CK, this damned dog really deserves a beating. Yi Fan almost went over to smack him again. He looked askance at him. Brat, you're really unkind. You actually didn't help me just now, and just stood on the shore and watched. The large black dog turned around and bared his teeth. I wanted to help, but I just wanted to smack you. Yi Fan stood on the shore, and looked at him a few times. Then, he looked at the blurry figures in the water, and said, what did you see? The large black dog knew that he was in the wrong, so he didn't argue too much. He wandered around the lake, mumbling something. What are you saying? I saw celestial maidens, all of them beautiful and beautiful. I can't help but feel pity for them. Let's go down and investigate together, the large black dog said. If you feel pity for them, then they definitely aren't celestial maidens. They're most likely a large wolf dog. Woof woof, brat, are you tired of living? The large black dog's bald tail stood up. All right, stop biting me. My legs are full of your teeth marks. Yi Fan hurriedly comforted him. He was still hoping that he could find the Western Emperor scripture, so he didn't want to provoke him. Around the lake, the spiritual chi was so thick that it could almost condense into liquid. It was a holy cultivation ground that cultivators dreamed of. The water was dotted, and mist drifted. Everything underwater was very blurry, and a few figures slowly disappeared into the depths of the lake. Their figures were stiff, and they wore sackcloth. Their black hair was loose, and they looked very frightening underwater. They were like water ghosts, very strange. They're all corpses? Yi Fan asked in detail. The large black dog's expression darkened, and he said, how unlucky. This is clearly a celestial lake, a place where celestial maidens come out to bathe. I excitedly went down to search for the holy treasure, but in the end, I'm really unlucky. There's something good that you want to take for yourself, and when you see an evil creature, you want me to go down to accompany you? Yi Fan glared at him. Let's go down together. Maybe we can find a treasure, the large black dog urged. I'm not going. I'm not interested in corpses. Yi Fan refused. Lad, don't regret it. This is the most important place in the Jade Lake. If there are no corpses in the lake, I want to take them all away. In the past, this pool was well known under the heavens, the north region's most famous immortal pool. Spiritual essence was dense, to the extent where there was even a source within the pool. Drinking the water of this pool for a long time could prolong the lifespan of mortals, and the effect was even better for cultivators. The pure and holy nature of the women of Jade Lake was related to this. It could slowly improve their physique, and after dozens or hundreds of years, their bodies would be flawless. The water of the Jade Lake was the best source of water for refining medicine. Some great sects and sacred grounds would even come here to ask for water when refining precious divine pills. The materials used by the Western Empress to refine her extreme weapon were dug out from this celestial pond. Perhaps we'll be able to reap some benefits if we go down there, the large black dog said enticingly. Stop dreaming. If I did, would I still be here? Yi Fan scoffed. 
The requirements for the materials used to refine an extreme weapon were too high. Emperors had a very long lifespan, much longer than ordinary cultivators, but even if they searched all over the world, they still might not be able to gather all of them. Holy objects like Phoenix Blood Gold were extremely rare, and could only be found by chance. Moreover, to refine an extreme weapon, it had to be made from the most precious materials since the world's creation. Thus, since ancient times, regardless of whether it was lost or existing extreme weapons, there were only a few of them in the eastern wasteland. That's hard to say. Perhaps there really is a celestial material left behind. The large black dog's eyes flashed. The Jade Lake has already been evacuated. Even if there was anything left, it would have already been searched clean. How could it possibly be left behind for you? Yi Fan was unmoved. What do you know? This pool is very mysterious. The Western Empress founded her sect here because of it. Perhaps there are other things at the bottom of the pool. I suspect that the so-called Jade Lake Celestial was triggered by this pool. There are indeed, corpses. You've already seen them, so what else is there to investigate? Why did the Jade Lake evacuate? Why are there so many corpses in the pool? Don't you want to find out? The large black dog was displeased. If I was powerful enough, would excavate the entire Origin Ancient Mine, as well as the nine sacred mountains of the Forbidden Ancient Lands. But now, I only want to obtain the Western Emperor Scripture, and I don't want to take any risks. If you don't go down with me, don't even think about obtaining the Western Emperor Scripture in this lifetime. The large black dog bared his teeth. F asterisk CK, this damned dog is even threatening me. Yi Fan cursed in his heart. The lake water was warm, and the water splashed up. It was as translucent as jade, and its spiritual energy was oppressive. It automatically entered one's body through one's pores. The people of the Jade Lake bathe in this water every day, so it's impossible for their cultivation not to improve. Why don't I just wait until I find enough energy and cultivate in seclusion here? I'll definitely improve by leaps and bounds then, Yi Fan exclaimed. What? Now you know the benefits, right? Do you think I would lie to you? The large black dog had a proud expression. Why are you so proud? Hurry up and go down. I'll follow behind you. I'll soak for a while longer. I'll go down after I've recovered enough energy. I'll feel a little uneasy. The large black dog felt slightly guilty. Have you snuck in here before? Yi Fan closed his eyes to enjoy the experience, and asked this evil black dog. I'd like to, but I never had the chance. I've only heard of it before, so I'm going to properly experience it today. I reckon that only the important figures of the Jade Lake can enter this pool, right? Yi Fan asked. The ultimate weapon left behind by the Western Empress has always been suppressed in the pool, and ordinary people indeed can't enter. Only the Western Empress, the Holy Maiden, and the Grand Elders can enter. However, the water in the pool can be drawn out for the use of other disciples. The ultimate weapon is always at the bottom of the pool? Yi Fan was astonished. Unfortunately, it was taken away by the people of the Jade Lake. Sigh. The large black dog was extremely greedy. There was a huge splash, and the large black dog sank into the pool. Yi Fan followed behind him, and only slowly approached the bottom of the pool after descending for over 100 meters. F asterisk CK. Yi Fan felt his scalp go numb. The bottom of the pool was densely packed with the corpses of young women. How was this a celestial lake? This was clearly a burial pit. There were several hundred corpses, and the center of the lake was completely filled up. Their slender arms and slender legs were still glowing, but their bodies were stiff, and there was no sign of life. The corpses of the women all had disheveled hair, and their faces were pale. They wore white linen garments that had the mark of the jade lake on them, and their hair was like snakes that danced in the wind. In the dim bottom of the lake, it would cause one's hair to stand on end. It was no wonder that when the large black dog had descended for the first time, he had leaped out of the water in shock, and wanted to lure him down as well. This was clearly a celestial lake, yet the scene was like this, and it was indeed terrifying. There were no fish or aquatic plants in the celestial lake, and it was deathly silent. Apart from the corpses, there was nothing else. Go and look for treasures. I'll wait for you here, Yi Fan transmitted his voice through his divine sense. Why do I feel slightly uneasy, the large black dog muttered. A dozen or so corpses slowly floated up, and they swam over. They moved with the ripples of the water, and did not rise up by themselves, but even so, it was still terrifying. There was a waxy substance on the surface of the corpses, and they had long since become corpses of wax. Even so, they should not have remained undecayed forever, and this caused Yi Fan to feel slightly puzzled. Are you going to look for treasures or not? If not, we'll go and look for the Western Emperor Scripture, Yi Fan urged. Rat, go and see if they have any injuries, and how they died, the large black dog transmitted his voice in an extremely disrespectful manner. Why don't you go? Yi Fan wanted to give him a good beating. They are all celestial maidens, and all of them are as beautiful as flowers. They are pleasing to the eye, but my hair stands on end, the large black dog said. I want to smack your dog head. F asterisk CK, how can you say that? In the end, Yi Fan and the black emperor dove down together to examine the corpses. However, the two of them carefully examined the corpses of the several hundred Jade Lake disciples without any injuries, and they could not see any fatal injuries. Stop looking. 
We can't stay in this place for long. Something is not right, Yi Fan urged. I want to know why the Jade Lake retreated. Perhaps it has something to do with this lake? The large black dog was very persistent. If you can find out, it will be really troublesome. All the members of the Jade Lake have retreated, and if the two of us really discover any clues, it will be purely seeking death, Yi Fan said in a low voice. Hurry up and look for treasures. Otherwise, we will immediately retreat. The large black dog was also slightly scared. Even though he was conceited, when he thought of all the members of a holy land retreating, his heart also began to pound. What exactly is the reason that made the most prosperous holy land in the eastern wilderness retreat? The black emperor dove down to the bottom of the lake, and began to search around, wanting to try his luck in finding celestial materials. In the end, after searching for an hour, the bottom of the lake had become muddy because of him, and he only found a few jade hairpins. Suddenly, Yi Fan felt a chill run down his spine, and he suddenly turned around. Just behind him, among the pile of female corpses, black hair was messy, and all of it was dancing wildly. Suddenly, he vaguely saw a pair of eerie eyes open, and through the pile of corpses, a cold and eerie light shot out. Under this gloomy lake water, Yi Fan's scalp was slightly numb, and he suddenly stepped on the water, rushing upwards. There were corpses floating above him, and the hair of one of the corpses tangled around his ankle. He forcefully shook it off, and with a splash, he broke through the water, rushing ashore. The lake water trembled, and in almost an instant, the large black dog rushed out, scurrying and rushing, his bald tail carrying three female corpses. Rat, hurry up and help. The large black dog rushed ashore as if his butt was on fire. On his bald tail, the hair of the three female corpses were tangled, and they were brought ashore. The black emperor fiercely swung his tail, and finally managed to shake them off. Not long after the three female corpses came into contact with the air, they instantly melted into three pools of liquid. Yi Fan felt a wave of disgust. He had just been soaking in the lake, and now he saw the scene. There seems to be something below. What did you see just now? The large black dog asked with a dark expression. I seem to have seen a corpse open its eyes. Now that I think about it, it seems like two pearls embedded in the bottom of the lake. Why don't you go down and take a look? In any case, you want to search for treasures, Yi Fan said unkindly. F asterisk CK, I'm not looking for treasures anymore. The large black dog shook his fur violently, and water droplets flew in all directions. His body was black and glossy, and not a single drop of water could be seen on it. He said, the celestial lake has become a ghost lake, so there must be something below. Jade Lake Celestial, I think it's a ghost flying. Why do you think there are so many corpses? The people of the Jade Lake should have buried them. Why would they throw them into the celestial lake? Yi Fan was very confused. Who knows what's going on? Who knows who threw them down? No matter what, they won't go down. The large black dog was a little scared. Yi Fan and the Black Emperor distanced themselves from the Celestial Lake. Looking into the distance, the mist there was swirling. It was unknown whether it was a psychological effect or something else, but it felt slightly gloomy, and no longer holy and pure. This was an important place, and there were many majestic palaces that had stood until now. They still did not decay, and contained extremely profound Tao patterns that could allow them to exist forever. Yi Fan walked into a huge palace. The floor was paved with jade stones, and it was bright and clean, without a single speck of dust. Even though a long period of time had passed, the palace still had a purifying effect, and there was still not a speck of dust. Thud, thud, thud. In the spacious palace, only his own footsteps echoed, and they traveled especially far. Creak, creak. Clang, clang. He pushed open the door that had not been opened for countless years, and the sound of the palace echoed. It was as if he had stepped into the ancient jade lake. Standing here, it was as if he could feel the glory of the past. There was a group of beautiful celestial maidens that transcended this land, and they flashed with dazzling light under this starry sky. Yi Fan stood for a long time before walking forward, passing through one palace after another. In the tall and vast palace, there was nothing. It was completely empty, and there was only the silence left behind by time. Yi Fan did not find anything, and it was impossible for him to find anything. The large black dog wandered around, and passed through a dozen or so huge palaces. In the end, he also returned empty-handed. Does the Jade Lake have medicinal fields? So many years have passed, and if they still exist, perhaps they can grow godly medicines. Yi Fan had just finished speaking when the large black dog dashed out, transforming into a streak of black light. He was as fast as he could be. This damned dog is too unreliable. Yi Fan cursed. He chased closely behind. If it was not for the fact that he had cultivated the old lunatic's movement technique, he would definitely have been left behind. The large black dog ran madly, stirring up a gust of black wind. After running for more than 20 kilometers, he rushed into a lush land. Only then did the large black dog stop, and wandered around this mountain range. Black Emperor, you are too unkind. You run faster than a rabbit when you hear the words medicinal field. Why are you not running now? Yi Fan mocked. Am I that unkind? I am waiting for you. Let's go find it together, the large black dog said. Why would you be so kind? 
It must be because you can't find it, right? Yi Fan walked over. This mountain range was full of vitality, and there were green plants everywhere. However, there were no medicinal herbs, and there was no smell of medicinal fragrance. Strange, putting aside those rare natural treasures, why can't I even see the most ordinary medicinal herbs? The large black dog muttered in an almost inaudible voice. Black lines appeared on Yi Fan's forehead. This damned dog really couldn't find it, and it was not waiting here out of goodwill. In the end, the large black dog sighed sorrowfully, and said, This is too cruel. The people of the Jade Lake have moved the entire medicinal field away. If one looked closely, they would discover that there was a huge square pit in the open space in front of them. Even the ground had been taken away. A bad feeling welled up in Yifan's heart. Could it be that the Western Emperor scripture had also been taken away by someone? Even though the large black dog had repeatedly guaranteed that the people of the Jade Lake would not touch that precipice, now he was uncertain. Hurry up and find the Western Emperor scripture. If the scripture is also gone, I will have the urge to kill someone. Don't worry, no one can understand those scriptures. Even the Queen Mothers of the Jade Lake in the past might not know about them. Even if they are placed in front of you, you won't be able to recognize them. They were created by the Western Emperor Mother when she comprehended Tao, and outsiders can't see anything at all. No one knows that she was the one who carved them. Then how do you know? Yi Fan was doubtful. What kind of existence is this Emperor? I have heard of this secret with my own ears. The large black dog said proudly. Regretfully, they left the medicinal field, and quickly rushed toward a mountain range. In this place, not even a blade of grass grew. There were precipices everywhere, and there were stone mountains everywhere. There was no soil, and only large rocks. Just as they entered the mountain range, Yi Fan was stunned. There was a woman carved on the stone wall, and it gave off a feeling that the Tao diagram was naturally formed. Although it was a stone carving, it had a natural Tao, and the wondrous state of being one with heaven and man. This is only a diagram, and there are no techniques. It is just a standing posture, so why does it give off a feeling of being one with heaven and man? Yi Fan was truly astonished. Let's go. There should be many diagrams in this mountain range. If you want to see them, you can slowly study them, the large black dog urged. Yi Fan reluctantly walked forward, but that diagram kept appearing in his mind. Chapter 243 Stone mountains stood in great numbers, and not even a blade of grass grew on them. The precipices were as if they had been carved by a knife, and they were straight up and down. The cliffs were tall, and when put together, they looked like steps leading to the heavens. There was not a speck of soil in this region, and there was not a single blade of grass. The stone mountains were continuous, and there were also many stone forests. The large rocks were either like crouching cows or like green bamboo shoots. They were all in different shapes, and could be considered a marvelous sight. After Yi Fan entered the mountain, he looked around. This stone land gave him a very special feeling, as if there was an outer realm lying across this place. Each mountain had its own realm, and each rock had its own scenery. It was as if someone had used a large brush to carve out a natural path of the Great Tao. Every mountain and rock here attracted his attention. After entering this mountainous region, Yi Fan discovered that many of the carvings had already become blurry under the erosion of wind, frost, rain, and snow. He could only vaguely make out them. Unfortunately, most of them were not so-called cultivation techniques. Many of them were records of some ancient events, and there were even some pictures of scenery, such as hundreds of birds and rare beasts. They were vivid and lifelike. Why did the fairies of the Jade Pool carve these? Yi Fan was suspicious, and he carefully observed them. These are all great events that once happened in the Jade Pool. Unfortunately, it is difficult to understand their meaning now. After walking forward a few dozen steps, Yi Fan arrived in front of a mountain wall. He was instantly stunned. The stone carvings on it were very special. There were two figures engraved on it, and one of them was actually not a human. It was a man who was two meters tall. He had four pairs of divine wings, and he was handsome and imposing. He had a total of eight arms below his shoulders, and each of them was like a dragon, thick and powerful. There was a vertical eye between his brows. And in front of him was a beautiful and graceful woman. She was like a majestic queen, and her bearing was extraordinary, making others feel reverence. It really does record some great events that once happened in the Jade Pool. An unknown creature and a supreme elite of the Jade Pool confronted each other. Yi Fan was astonished. To be more precise, it was a confrontation with a queen mother, the large black dog said. Unfortunately, there was only one carving, and there was no follow-up, so they did not know the outcome of the confrontation. They walked forward and looked carefully along the way. There were pictures of the monster king welcoming, and there were pictures of the new queen mother inheriting the throne. They were all single pictures, and they were extremely simple. It wasn't that they couldn't see anything. When they arrived at a stone forest, Yi Fan finally saw a move. There was a large blue stone shaped like a crouching tiger. There was half a stone inscription, and a figure was forming hand seals. Although it was incomplete, with only half a body missing, it was still quite profound. The seal technique was very familiar to Yi Fan, and after thinking about it carefully, he realized that it was the embracing mountain seal. The ultimate art of the Li Fire sect was precisely this type of imprint art. It was extremely powerful and he had evolved it into one of the battle saint arts. He didn't want to see it here again. Someone erased half of it. 
Yi Fan had a bad feeling. So many years had passed, so could the Western Emperor scripture still exist? Could it be that it had also been erased by someone? He didn't really believe the large black dog's words. Hurry up and bring me to the Western Emperor scripture. Yi Fan urged. Aren't we currently looking for it? Perhaps it's hidden in these wall paintings, the Black Emperor replied. Don't tell me you don't know its exact location. Correct, that's exactly the case. I'm also looking for it, the large black dog replied calmly with his head held high. This dog was really unreliable. Yi Fan really wanted to give him a kick, but there was nothing he could do now. In the end, he still had to rely on him. Are you confident that you can find it? I'll most likely be able to find it, the large black dog replied with an uncertain tone. Yi Fan took out the Bodhi seed, and held it in his hand as he sensed his surroundings. He couldn't completely rely on this large dog now, so he had to search for it himself. The large black dog wore a harmless expression, and he walked closer. Then, he suddenly lowered his black mouth and bit down on his hand. F asterisk CK, you damned dog, you're attacking me again. Yi Fan was already on guard against him, and he hurriedly rushed into the sky. So stingy. Isn't it just a nut? It smells very fragrant, and I want to taste what the nut tastes like. The large black dog, who had failed in his sneak attack, was stubborn, and refused to admit his mistake. However, his eyes would occasionally glance at the Bodhi seed. If you dare to attack me again, you can forget about that black tortoise for the rest of its life. Hurry up and find the Western Emperor scripture for me. If you can't obtain it, you'd better give up as soon as possible. Don't raise any conditions for me, Yi Fan said with a dark expression. The large black dog tilted his head to look at Yi Fan, and said, Brat, what kind of nut is that in your hand? Can it be eaten? Don't play dumb with me. What's the origin of that stupid nut of yours? I saw a bald man on it just now, and it seemed quite similar. Did you carve it on? Yi Fan knew that this dark and wicked damned dog was up to no good again, and had designs on the Bodhi seed. No matter what, he couldn't let it see the seed. Who is that bald man? Why do I feel like he's slightly unusual? Seeing that Yi Fan was ignoring him, the large black dog could no longer keep his cool. His name is Sakumani. Have you heard of him? Yi Fan's heart jolted. What kind of stupid name is that? It only has four characters. Is this Baldi very famous? The large black dog asked. Yi Fan was slightly speechless. The great Tathagata was being spoken to like this by a large dog. He glared, and said, Stop talking nonsense. Hurry up and find the Western Emperor scripture for me. Brat, what kind of attitude is this? The large black dog bared his teeth, and said, If you continue to be disrespectful to me, you can forget about obtaining the supreme ancient scripture of the human race. That's right, if you can find the Western Emperor scripture, you have to give me that nut with the fat bald man carved on it as well. Yi Fan ignored him, and walked into the distance. He looked at stone inscriptions one after another, and occasionally saw some incomplete techniques. Every time this happened, he would carefully analyze them. An hour later, Yi Fan arrived in front of a precipice. This was an extremely vast expanse of stone inscriptions, and there were over 100 of them. They were much longer than the ones he had seen just now. At first, he did not pay much attention. That was because although the stone inscriptions were long, they were not all that profound. They were all the most common techniques. However, after looking at over 30 of them, his expression changed. It was these ordinary techniques, yet they were slowly elevated to a higher level. As he looked at them one after another, they gave off a feeling that they were turning something ordinary into something magical. He calmed his heart and focused, and looked down. For a whole two hours, Yi Fan did not say anything. Only when he looked at the end did he sigh. The Jade Pool is indeed worthy of being a holy land. These should be for the younger disciples to study, and they all contain deep meanings. They were not special secret techniques. They were all very common techniques that had been passed down widely. However, they were elevated from ordinary techniques, and when combined together, they could turn something ordinary into something magical, and they could display an unbelievable might. More than 100 ordinary techniques combined into one, yet they can evolve into a completely different kind of mighty power. How mysterious. Yi Fan pondered for a long time before continuing to walk down. He found another hundred or so stone inscriptions, and he carefully observed them. In the end, he was truly shocked. This was a series, and there were more than 500 stone inscriptions in total. This is. Yi Fan was extremely shocked. This was a supreme secret technique being deduced. From ordinary to profound, he immediately saw through the mysteries within. This was deducing an offensive technique of the nine secret techniques. The Jade Pool's unparalleled experts were shocking. They started out ordinary, and gradually evolved into the Battle Saint technique, wanting to recreate the nine secret techniques. Turning something ordinary into something magical, and deriving a great offensive technique of the nine secret techniques, this person was definitely a shocking and outstanding character. Unfortunately, she failed in the end and could not deduce the Battle Saint technique. Such a character was rare since ancient times. Those techniques were all related to the legends of the Battle Saint technique. This person had derived it to this stage, which was shocking enough. He was definitely a peerless character. Connecting the bits and pieces that have been passed down in the world, to be able to deduce to this stage, it is truly astonishing. Yi Fan sighed. 
This person went from simple to complex, but the battle saint technique had tens of thousands of transformations. It could never reach the pinnacle, and it was very difficult to reach the end of complex. The true nine secret offensive saint technique was to first obtain one, then transform into tens of thousands, to the end of complexity, and then return to one. It was impossible for others to derive it. This technique was the ultimate simplicity of the great Tao. Yi Fan stood in silence for a long time, pondering in detail. Although this deduction had strayed from the correct path, it had given him great inspiration, allowing him to have a further understanding of the battle saint technique. Even if one was a peerless genius, without first obtaining the nine secret imprints, one would not be able to derive such a supreme technique. Yi Fan pondered for a very long time. He felt that he could improve the might of this offensive saint technique a little more. This was really an unexpected gain. The geniuses of the Jade Pool had given him great inspiration. The sky had already darkened. Yi Fan continued to look at the diagrams in the night. When it was late at night, he had already looked through most of the diagrams, but the Western Emperor scripture was still nowhere to be seen. There are no mysterious techniques here at all, and even if there are, they are only some ordinary techniques. You aren't trying to trick me, are you? Yi Fan's expression was unkind as he stared at the large black dog. Didn't I say that even if I saw the Western Emperor scripture, I might not be able to recognize it? I need to slowly analyze it, the large black dog said. The moon was bright and the stars were sparse. Yi Fan strode forward, and he had almost gone through all the cliffs, but he still could not find the Western Emperor scripture. I found it, it's here, the large black dog shouted. In the deep night, his voice traveled especially far, echoing endlessly. With a few leaps, Yi Fan approached. This stone mountain had a majestic aura, but there were no so-called scriptures on it, and it was completely bare. Where is it? This mountain is a part of the scripture. Whether you can obtain it or not will depend on your luck, the large black dog replied with his head raised. You are doing this half-heartedly. You casually pointed out a stone mountain and said it was the Western Emperor scripture. How do you want me to believe you? Can you find the scripture? Yi Fan questioned. That will depend on your comprehension ability, the large black dog stammered. Don't try to trick me. Yi Fan glared at him. The large black dog was also anxious, and he said, there is definitely a part of the scripture here. I heard someone say it with my own ears. What did you hear back then? Yi Fan asked. The stone mountain with a sun carved on it has a part of the scripture, and the stone mountain with an ancient tree has a part of the scripture. According to what the large black dog had said, the Western Emperor scripture had been hastily created, and the Western Emperor mother had been comprehending it while carving it down on this stone mountain. On this precipice, there was indeed a blurry sun, but it was only the size of a palm. Even if one observed it carefully, it was very difficult to imagine that it had been carved by someone, and it seemed very natural. This ring is the so-called Western Emperor scripture? You aren't joking, right? The large black dog raised his head, tilted his neck, and said, that has nothing to do with me. You need to comprehend it yourself. This damned dog. Yi Fan really wanted to teach it a lesson, but he knew that he couldn't. In the end, he flew onto the stone cliff, and observed that sun. Yi Fan caressed that sun brand with one hand, and held the Bodhi seed in his other hand. However, even after meditating for a long time, he still couldn't sense any abnormalities. Black Emperor, you are lying. What scripture is there here? There definitely is, but it requires an astonishing comprehension ability. Whether you can obtain the Western Emperor scripture will depend on your own ability. When the large black dog said these words, he was more or less lacking in confidence. On the cliff, Yi Fan held the Bodhi seed in his hand. His heart was empty, and he quietly experienced it. However, it was completely silent, and he couldn't discover anything. How many great emperors have there been since ancient times? The scriptures left behind by these people aren't so easy to obtain. The large black dog shouted from below. I have found the Western Emperor scripture for you, but whether you can comprehend it or not is your own matter. You must give that black tortoise to me. There was a portion of the Western Emperor scripture recorded in the Origin Heavenly Book, and it belonged to the Tao Palace Scroll. At this moment, Yi Fan silently circulated it, and pressed the Bodhi seed against that sun. Boom! Suddenly, a brilliant light surged up, and a sun rose up from the stone cliff. It was incredibly scorching, and Yi Fan was completely swallowed up. The entire stone mountain became completely red, and flames surged. The great fire burned half of the sky red. The red sun hung in the sky, massive and vigorous. Yi Fan stood in the sun, and his appearance was solemn and dignified. F asterisk CK, how can he really learn it? Apart from astonishing comprehension ability, doesn't he also need the Jade Pool's scripture guidance? What a great loss, I really let this brat obtain the Western Emperor scripture. The large black dog's expression was filled with bad luck, and it was as if he had eaten a dead child. Chapter 244 The big black dog felt unlucky. It was a pity that Yi Fan couldn't see it. Otherwise, he would have to fight it even if he might get bitten. At this moment, above the cliff, the sun was like a mountain, filling the sky. It was white everywhere as if daytime had arrived. Yi Fan was at the center of the sun, seated cross-legged in meditation without moving at all. His expression was tranquil and aloof, and he was completely immersed in a type of Tao state. 
The scripture guide recorded in the Book of Source of Heaven had triggered the mark left by the West Empress, and the sun appeared. The palm-sized sun was an unimaginable mark of Tao. It contained the mark of the West Empress. Even after hundreds of thousands of years, it still existed in the world. Yi Fan's mind was clear as he bathed in the fire. His heart was as red as the sun, shining brilliantly into the sky and illuminating the palace. The scriptures he learned from the Book of Source of Heaven were far from enough. They were incomplete, but he was mending them now. His heart was like the sun in the sky, corresponding to the sun outside. Essence overflowed. The innate essence was born, and the acquired essence was nourished. The fiery essence and surging Tao flowed from the human-shaped sun to every inch of his flesh and blood. His whole body was red and then slowly transparent. Fire clouds covered his body, and his heart was cleansed of all impurities. The inside and outside of the palace were clear, and his flesh gradually became translucent. This was a completely new change. Inside the heart, the fiery essence flowed along a more complicated path, including the innate and acquired ones. Yi Fan didn't move, using his heart to feel this change. The sun that filled the sky didn't have any scriptures or sound inside. There was only a kind of Tao rhythm, but it vividly explained the divine treasures of the heart of the Tao Palace's secret realm. The sun carved on the cliff corresponded to the scroll of the heavenly sun of the Tao Palace. After Yi Fan triggered it, he didn't get the specific scripture, but he could feel the mysterious evolution process. This kind of inheritance didn't leave a word or a word. Only the conception of the Creator was used to deduce the various changes of the ancient scripture. It didn't include the text of the West Emperor scripture, but it was comparable to the ancient scripture. Yi Fan sat motionlessly until the sun rose and the morning glow shone on him. Only then did he suddenly open his eyes. At the same time, the great sun in the sky turned into tens of thousands of flames with a bang and rushed into the imprint on the stone cliff. Yi Fan felt that the section of the divine treasury of the heart of the Holy Xi Palace had been perfected, and it was very different from before. He felt that the circulation of his power of the Tao was smoother, and the essence of his body was surging. He welcomed the morning glow as he stood on the cliff. His clothes fluttered in the wind, and his skin was like jade. Although he was a young man, he had the temperament of an immortal. Did you really obtain the Western Emperor scripture? The large black dog asked, unwilling to accept this. What do you mean? Do you think that even if you bring me here and guide me, I won't be able to cultivate the Western Emperor ancient scripture? Yi Fan looked at it with an unfriendly expression. The large black dog chuckled sheepishly, and said, How could that be? Am I that unscrupulous? I'm just asking casually. Hurry up and bring me to find the other parts of the Western Emperor scripture. Yi Fan urged. Brat, did you come into contact with the Western Emperor scripture in the past and obtain the so-called Sutra Guidance? The large black dog asked. What are you talking about? What is Sutra Guidance? Yi Fan stared at it. F asterisk CK, how can I cultivate it without obtaining the Sutra Guidance? I've suffered a great loss this time, the large black dog mumbled in an inaudible voice. Yi Fan's divine sense could take form, and it far surpassed his current cultivation level. He faintly heard its low murmur, and his face was instantly filled with black lines. This damned dog was indeed unreliable. Black Emperor, have you found the Western Emperor ancient scripture? No, I've searched everywhere, and this is the only place. The large black dog shook its head unkindly. Nonsense, don't try to fool me. Hurry up and lead the way. You don't want that black tortoise anymore, do you? Yi Fan threatened. Lend me that nut with a bald head engraved on it. I'll definitely find the Western Emperor scripture with it. Don't talk nonsense. Do you know what this seed is used for? Yi Fan glanced sideways at it. How come I don't know? Didn't you use it to trigger that sun and obtain the Western Emperor scripture? Don't have any wicked ideas. Yi Fan refused sternly. If he lent it to him, it would definitely be like throwing a meat bun at a dog. In the end, the large black dog compromised, and unhappily brought Yi Fan to another stone mountain. This mountain was engraved with a palm-sized metal essence mark. This time, Yi Fan was familiar with the process, and did not waste too much time before triggering the mark left behind by the Western Emperor Mother. In an instant, his aura soared into the sky, and the metal essence clanged. He was sucked into a sheet of metal divine light. He sat cross-legged in the sky, and his sea of aura gushed out like a tide. The divine treasury of the lungs belonged to the metal element, and it was the strongest of the five internal organs. It was known as the canopy, and now that the scripture had been completed, a sharp aura soared into the sky, and clanging sounds rang out as if ten thousand swords were clanging together. The surface of Yi Fan's body shone with a metallic luster, and it was like a sharp blade slicing through the sky. Its sharpness was oppressive, and no one could take it head on. There were no scriptures here, only the evolution of the divine treasury of the lungs. It was explained to the extreme, and there was no need to use words to convey its path. The divine treasury of the lungs could draw in 10,000 chi, drawing in one's essence, and spreading it throughout one's entire body, extending to one's skin and hair. It breathed in and out the essence of heaven and earth, and contained a thriving vitality. At this moment, the turbid aura in Yifan's Tao Palace had disappeared, and his divine essence was surging. It was sparkling and translucent, extending to his six internal organs and connecting to his limbs and bones. His flesh, skin, and hair were incredibly clear. 
All chi belonged to the divine treasury of the lungs, and they were connected to heaven and earth. The essence that the physical body needed would be transformed through them. When the brilliance retracted, Yi Fan opened his eyes. He had completed the divine treasury of the lungs of the Tao Palace, and all the pores on his body relaxed. He felt that his physical body had become one with heaven and earth, and he could draw in 10,000 chi at any time. The Western Emperor scripture is profound as expected, seizing the fortune of heaven and earth. It's amazing. He had cultivated these two divine treasures before, and after being supplemented and perfected this time, he had experienced an even more profound meaning. It was as if a deity was covering his head, and his heart was completely clear. If I hadn't cultivated the scripture guidance, I wouldn't believe that I could obtain the Western Emperor scripture even if you beat me to death, the large black dog mumbled with a long face. Black Emperor, what are you mumbling about? The large black dog said fiercely. Brat, you've seduced the Jade Pool Saint before, right? Otherwise, you definitely wouldn't have obtained the Western Emperor scripture guidance. What nonsense are you talking about? Hurry up and take me to find other scriptures. It's not good to stay in the Jade Pool's old land for too long. After we're done here, we'll leave immediately. What happened next was very smooth. On a stone mountain with an ancient tree carved on it, Yi Fan found the divine treasury of the liver, and then the divine treasury of the spleen and divine treasury of the kidney were also obtained. The five divine treasures of the Tao Palace had been completed, but he hadn't cultivated the remaining three scriptures yet. He had merely perfected them, and he memorized them in his heart. At this point, the Tao Palace scroll of the Western Emperor scripture was finally obtained by him, and he had a complete heart technique. Yi Fan stood silently for a long time, unable to hide his astonishment. This scripture was incredibly profound and mysterious. It revealed the secrets of heaven and stole the fortune of heaven and earth. You're really lucky. The Tao Palace scroll of the Western Emperor scripture can be said to be the best in the Eastern Wasteland. It's the most perfect heart technique, and you actually managed to gather all five divine treasures. The large black dog bared his teeth, and said, hurry up and give it to me. What are you in such a hurry for? I've only just obtained the Tao Palace scroll. The Western Emperor scripture includes several major mystery realms, and there are still four scrolls that I haven't obtained yet, Yi Fan said with a smile. You're even greedier than me, the large black dog gritted his teeth as he evaluated. They had only found one of the seals of the four mystery realms, but even if Yi Fan had the Bodhi seed in his hand, he still couldn't activate it. After trying for a long time, he still couldn't obtain it at all. Do I really need the scripture guidance? He immediately thought of the Western Emperor scripture guidance that the Black Emperor had mentioned. Not long after, they found the seal of the other mystery realm, but unfortunately, they still couldn't activate it, so they couldn't obtain the scripture. I had thought that you could compete with the Great Emperor, and that you could obtain the Western Emperor scripture without the scripture guidance. From the looks of it now, you must have seduced the Holy Maiden of the Jade Pool, and cultivated the scripture guidance of the Tao Palace Scroll. You damned dog, you knew about this earlier, but you didn't tell me. Instead, you tricked me into coming here. Did you want me to come here for nothing? Brat, you're challenging my dignity. Be careful that I don't eat you, the large black dog shouted fiercely. Isn't that the truth? Yi Fan glared at him. I'm so righteous, so how could I be so careless? I naturally have a way to resolve this. I just wanted to wait until you arrived here and offered up the profound tortoise before telling you. You're really good at scheming. You lured me here, and after I saw the true scripture, I was unable to extricate myself, yet you couldn't activate it, so I had no choice but to offer up the green jade profound tortoise, is that right? Yi Fan resisted the urge to smack him, and said, luckily, I have the scripture guidance of the Tao Palace scroll. Don't think so lowly of me. The large black dog did not blush at all, and tempted him. Could it be that you don't want the other scrolls of the Western Emperor scripture? You damned dog, you're really sly. Do you have the scripture of the four extremes? How are you going to help me obtain the Western Emperor for extreme scroll? Yi Fan stared at him fiercely, and said, if you do, recite a part of it for me, and let me hear it. The Black Emperor stammered. How could he possibly recite it? He opened his bloody mouth, and said, Brat, you've profaned me time and time again, daring to call me a damned dog. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Damned dog, I also want to deal with you. Yi Fan formed a seal, and took the initiative to launch a sneak attack, displaying the battle saint technique. The large black dog was not a kind person at all, and almost at the same time, he attacked with his black mouth. Damn, damned dog's nature is really hard to change, only knowing how to use underhanded means. This time, you were the one who launched a sneak attack on me first. If I didn't make the first move, I would have been bitten by the dog again. Damn, brat, you're insulting me. Yi Fan and the Black Emperor began to battle in the stone forest. Both of them had freakish physiques, and their battle shook the heavens. When they clashed, it was like they were forging iron. Brat, no matter what, you've obtained the Tao Palace Scroll of the Western Emperor Scripture, so give me the black tortoise, the large black dog shouted as he bit. As if I'd give it to you. You actually want to get something for nothing? Don't even think about it in this lifetime. Yi Fan's golden palm began to move, pushing the sun moon seal and raising the mountains and river seal, attacking with all his strength. Do you want me to work for nothing? The large black dog bared his teeth and threatened. Damn dog, what did you eat to grow up? 
Even the battle saint technique can't hurt you. Yi Fan cursed. Damn, so it's the Nine Secrets. I was wondering why it was so painful. It's almost killing me. The large black dog's wails were definitely not an act. Yi Fan was continuously bitten over a dozen times, and he was really a bit speechless. The battle saint technique could only make his opponent feel pain, so what was this? Damn dog, you're really a freak. You're the freak. If the cultivators of the Four Extremes Mystery Realm were to be smashed into pieces by your palm, only this emperor would be able to withstand it. F asterisk CK, it hurts so much. The large black dog bared his teeth and wailed in pain. Boom. All of a sudden, a terrifying wave shook out, and a few dozen kilometers away, black fog surged into the sky. That part of the sky suddenly became as black as ink. The Celestial Lake. It's from the Celestial Lake. Yi Fan and the large black dog immediately stopped fighting, and made the same choice, running madly toward the exit. Right at the origin of the Jade Lake, an extremely terrifying wave surged out from the Celestial Lake, and dark clouds rolled. That's a Celestial Lake. What happened? Could it be that the retreat of the members of the Jade Lake has something to do with this? Not long ago, they had even gone deep into the lake to investigate. When they thought of this, both Yi Fan and the Black Emperor felt a chill. Their speed was extremely fast, and it didn't take long for them to reach the dried up lake. They rushed toward the ancient well along the large crack. Although something strange had happened to the Celestial Lake, nothing chased them down, which made them heave a sigh of relief. At this moment, Yi Fan wailed. His left hand was bitten by the large black dog, and he wouldn't let go no matter what. I hashtag at yen percent yen. Why are you always making fun of me? Brat, I can't fly. When we reach the ancient well, you'll run away by yourself and leave me here. I'll bite you first, the black emperor muttered while biting his left hand. After we get out, let's never meet again. I'm a cultivator of the Dao Palace Mystery Realm, yet I'm being bitten by you every day. Following the river, they successfully returned to the ancient well. Yi Fan soared into the sky with the black emperor, and not long after, they arrived on the ground. The sun shone brightly, and the land was empty. The scenery of the Jade Lake could no longer be seen, and this trip gave them a very surreal feeling. Yi Fan abandoned the Black Emperor and immediately flew away. The large black dog was extremely angry, and cursed, Brat, you obtained the Western Emperor scripture, but you haven't given it to me, and you haven't told me the whereabouts of the ancient scripture left behind by the Demon Emperor. If you dare to escape, I won't let you off. You return to the Stone Stronghold first, I'll find you later. Yi Fan transmitted his voice as he fled. Brat, you want to go back on your words? The large black dog shouted. If you dare to run, I'll tell all your secrets and ask the Ji clan and the Yagwang Holy Land for a reward. Yi Fan slowed down, feeling that this large black dog was really difficult to deal with. Brat, you actually want to escape, trying to deceive me. Black Emperor, you still have the nerve to say that. You don't have the scripture guidance, yet you lured me here. It was you who wanted to deceive me first. The large black dog knew that he was in the wrong, and said, no matter what, you've already obtained the Western Emperor scripture, fulfill your promise. Yi Fan stroked his chin, thought for a moment, and said, I can't give you the black tortoise for now, but I can take you to find the ancient scripture of the demon emperor. You can't be thinking of tricking me, right? The large black dog was suspicious. Do you think I'm you? Don't worry, I definitely won't be so dishonest, Yi Fan replied. I think you're even more dishonest than me. The large black dog bared his teeth. If you want to find the ancient scripture of the demon emperor, you might have to enter the secluded residence of a great elite. Do you think you can succeed? Yi Fan asked. Great elite? You really know how to ask difficult questions. Although it's in that kind of place, we might not necessarily encounter a great elite. The ancient scripture isn't in his hands, and it's in the hands of someone else. The large black dog pondered for a moment, and said, I can try. Saying this, he suddenly raised his head, gritted his teeth, and said, Brat, you can't be deceiving me, right? Don't think of me as such a bad person. Do you think I'm like you? Dark and wicked. Yi Fan replied. The large black dog stared at him, and said, You're very unreliable. I should be the one saying that. After entering the Jade Lake, have you done a single reliable thing? Yi Fan questioned. Then, he continued, the person who has the ancient scripture has two souls in his body. Do you have a way to extract one of them? The large black dog was suspicious, and he said, Brat, why do I feel like you're up to no good? Am I that kind of person? From the beginning to the end, you've always been the dishonest one. Yi Fan exposed his shortcomings. Then, he said, don't worry, there might be some twists and turns in the process, but you'll definitely be able to obtain the ancient scripture. I keep feeling that you're unreliable, brat. The large black dog stared at him. It's because you've done too many bad things, and you're always scheming against others. That's why you think of others as bad as you, Yi Fan said with a sneer. I'll believe you for now. However, brat, you'd better think carefully. If you dare to scheme against me, I'll make sure you have nowhere to go, the large black dog threatened fiercely. Chapter 245 
Along the way, Yi Fan focused on comprehending the Western Emperor scripture and found it more and more profound and profound. The palace of Dao had five dragons coiling around it. It was dense inside and outside, and the five chi shot into the sky. Only now, after obtaining the complete Western Emperor scripture, did Yi Fan understand why this secret realm was called the Palace of Dao. It was like an eternal palace that contained endless power of the Dao. The five great divine treasures were hazy, and behind them, there were five looming ancient temples. They were tall and majestic, mysterious and blurry. When there was no self and nothing else, and the body and mind were at peace, one would hear the sonorous voice of the great Tao. It was like chanting, but also like the voice of ancient sacrifices. It was as if it crossed time and space and came from the distant past. It could be said to be very mysterious and even strange. How could there be such a sound in the human body? Before Yi Fan entered the secret realm of the palace of Tao, he had heard people say that cultivating this secret realm would sometimes feel incredible and all sorts of inexplicable things would happen. When he obtained the complete Western Emperor scripture and deduced the flawless heart of the ancient Western Emperor, he really felt this incredible feeling. The palace of Tao was like the sky, transforming into the five palaces. Although it was blurry, one could feel its existence. Chanting and the ancient sacrificial voices cut through time and space and floated over. Yi Fan was puzzled and didn't understand why it was like this. He thought of the speculation of the people of the world. There were records in the ancient books that this was the passing self. Although he was born in the present, there was a me that lived in the past. It was the passing self that was chanting for this life. The passing self existed forever, transforming into the five chi and flowing through the Tao palace. It chanted for itself, stirred the heaven and earth, captured traces of the Tao, and nourished its owner, allowing the me of this life to be immortal. This was a very mysterious way of saying that few could explain. This mystery was hard to explain. However, outstanding cultivators wouldn't believe in the so-called past life. The passing self wasn't the me of the previous life. Other than the passing self, there was another way of saying that the human body was like the heaven and earth, corresponding to the great world. The reason why the palace of Tao was called the palace of Tao was that it had the Tao self. It belonged to the side of Tao and corresponded to the great Tao of the great world. According to this theory, the chanting and the ancient sacrificial sounds emitted from the palace were actually the echoes of the Tao self and the great Tao of the world. It was the interaction between the inside and the outside. To be more precise, he was capturing traces of the Tao and comprehending the supreme principles of the heavenly Tao. The true nature of the Tao was not revealed on the outside, but contained within the five energies and silently drew upon the great Tao of the world. In other words, my Tao nature is comprehending the great Tao, comprehending the truth of longevity, and nourishing the life lord. In other words, that was me. It wasn't some chanting or ancient ritual. I was comprehending the Tao. After Yi Fan obtained the flawless sutra of the Western Emperor, he finally realized how incredible the secret plane of the Holy Xi Palace was. Everything about it was beyond his comprehension. Cultivators pursue immortality. In the process of reaching the end of the immortal path, they will definitely encounter many similar things. I believe that since ancient times, perhaps only a few great emperors have been able to understand. Embarking on the path of cultivation, chasing after transcendence, allowing one's body to exist forever in this world, the road was long. If one wanted to truly comprehend the great Tao, there would be many unsolved riddles. Only by walking further on this path could one slowly understand. Yi Fan finally understood why the ancient existences had only cultivated up to one concealed stage. There was a reason for that. Not to mention the sea of reincarnation, just this holy Xi palace alone had many areas that he did not understand. Passing self or Tao self. As for what they were, perhaps even a lifetime of cultivation would not be able to understand them. Yi Fan had a feeling that when he cultivated to the later stages, he might have to return to cultivate these secret planes again. There were still many secret powers that could be excavated from the sea of reincarnation and the holy Xi palace. However, he did not need to think too much at the moment. He had obtained the flawless mental cultivation method. With the Sutra of the Western Emperor in hand, it was enough for him to cultivate this secret plane into the Great Tao Divine Watchtower. The future would be solved in the future. The old land of the Jade Pool was tens of thousands of miles away from the origin ancient mine. It took him more than half a month to leave the uninhabited area and get close to an oasis. Along the way, Yi Fan carefully comprehended the Sutra of the Western Emperor. Although his level did not increase, his strength improved greatly. Using the true flawless mental cultivation method, the divine power he produced was much stronger. This was the advantage of the ancient scripture. Ordinary mental cultivation methods could not compare at all. Using this cultivation method was equivalent to raising one's starting point, and their battle prowess would increase imperceptibly. The cultivation levels of the holy sons and holy daughters of the various great sage lands surpassed those of the same generation. This is largely related to this. Yi Fan sighed. This was especially so for a genius like the holy son of Yaguang. He was a prodigy who had cultivated the peerless ancient scripture, so his battle prowess was even more terrifying. When he fought against elites of the same cultivation level, there was really no suspense at all. He could suppress those of the same generation with his strength. In these past half a month, Yi Fan had been comprehending the Western Emperor scripture while sparring with the large black dog, putting his knowledge into practice. The large black dog was the best sparring partner. 
With the perfect scroll of the Western Emperor Dao Palace in hand, his battle prowess had increased greatly. He used the battle saint technique, and the large black dog grimaced in pain. No, I want payment. I want to spar with you for free every day. How much of my divine power would that consume? The large black dog shouted. I'm being bitten by you every day, and I still want to pay you. What are you thinking? Yi Fan retorted. Do you think I'm willing to bite you? Your skin is rough and your flesh is not delicious. You're making me waste my energy for nothing. These days, the large black dog had been very passive. Whenever Yi Fan wanted to experience his knowledge, he would definitely look for him. Once he was done, he would rush into the sky, making the large black dog grind its teeth continuously. They walked out of the desolate no man's land and entered an oasis. Yi Fan glanced at the large black dog and said, You're as tall and big as a bull. You're really eye-catching and ugly. Can you become a little smaller? Brat, what are you saying? Such a strong and powerful precious body, even if I don't say it's as handsome as Jade, it's not far off. The large black dog raised his head. Yi Fan looked at his black silk-like body, and said in a mocking tone, It's like Jade that has fallen into a coal mine, right? This is called divine might. It's so masculine, do you understand? The large black dog's expression was unfriendly. This won't do. You're too eye-catching, so you have to become smaller. Yi Fan pondered for a moment, and then said, If you're really unwilling, then you can temporarily become my mount. There are many people who ride on mutant beasts. Go and die. The large black dog's expression became very long. If it weren't for the fact that Yi Fan was flying in the air, he would definitely have pounced over. Don't be unwilling. I'm not willing to become a heavenly dog knight. If others saw me riding a bald dog, they would definitely laugh their heads off. At this moment, they had just entered the oasis, and were still in a place where there were very few people. Occasionally, there would be cultivators passing by, and when they saw the large black dog, they would involuntarily take a few glances. He was indeed very eye-catching. What are you looking at? Have you never seen a human pet before? The large black dog was displeased. When Yi Fan first heard this, he felt that it was very strange. Then, he instantly understood. This large dog's words were really too immoral. He was saying that he was a human pet. F asterisk CK, damn dog, you're asking for a skin flame, right? The large black dog raised his head and strode forward, saying, I'm speaking the truth. Those people think that I'm strolling around with a human pet, and they can't stop looking. It's really annoying. You damn dog. Yi Fan's expression darkened, and he wanted to give it a good beating. Others were clearly looking at him, yet he actually said this kind of thing. Brat, I see that you're still a so-so. Why don't you become my human pet? The large black dog tilted his head, and said. Ping pang, ping dong, dang clang. The sound of metal being forged rang out, and they directly started fighting. Damn dog, I wouldn't even want you as my pet, and you still dare to spout nonsense like this. I also don't like a human pet like you. In the future, I'll definitely find a holy son to be my pet. Yi Fan cursed in his heart. A large dog wanted to find a human pet, and he really deserved to be skinned and flayed. He was deliberately angering him. In the end, Yi Fan used the Demon Emperor's ancient scripture as a threat, and the large black dog finally gave in. He unwillingly shrunk his body, turning into the size of a firewood dog. If he didn't bald his tail, he wouldn't be more than one meter long. My supreme elegance has been seriously overshadowed. This is damaging to my image. Supreme elegance. Do you want to attract a pack of large wolf dogs? Woof. The large black dog pounced forward. Fortunately, Yi Fan was prepared. They didn't stop when they passed by some cities, and they directly headed toward the most flourishing city in this oasis. Brat, you're really unreliable. You don't even know where that great elite lives, and you still need to ask others for information. How are you going to take me to find the Demon Emperor's ancient scripture? The large black dog was extremely displeased. Don't say the word unreliable in front of me. You know what you did when you went to the Jade Lake, Yi Fan retorted. This oasis was called Chu Province, and it had a circumference of more than 3,000 miles. It wasn't a large province, but in the boundless north region, there were many oases like this. Chu Province was hundreds of thousands of miles away from the most flourishing holy city in the north region. It was a long journey, and it was far from the center of the north region. It wasn't a flourishing place. The city in the center of this oasis was called Chaoyang City, and it had a population of 900,000. It was the most flourishing ancient city in this prefecture, and it had a history of more than 1,000 years. Can you find the residence of that great elite? The large black dog asked and they were outside Chaoyang City. There are 13 great bandits in the north region, and he ranks fourth. He's the target of the great sage, and we can't let outsiders know where he lives. I need to find a descendant of that bandit to ask. This was the city that Tu Fei and Li Heishui had told Yi Fan. If he wanted to find them, he could make some noise near Chaoyang City in Chu Province. Chaoyang City was a modeled city, and many layers of stone had fallen off the walls, showing the power of time. However, it was still very majestic and majestic. When he entered the city, Yi Fan found his own portrait. More accurately, it was a wanted poster, hanging high on the city wall. 
The young face on the poster had been raised to one square yuan. Brat, you're quite valuable. The large black dog smiled wickedly. Go away. The streets were crowded with people, and it was very lively. The large black dog darted here and there, biting whatever he wanted to eat. As a result, a group of creditors surrounded Yifan, and they hated him so much that the roots of his teeth were itching. Not long after he entered the city, he heard a piece of news. The young elites of Chu province were going to have a grand meeting. Yifan chose a place to eat, which was beside a gambling den. Most of the people coming in and out of this place were cultivators. The young generation of Chu province will gather together. There will most likely be something interesting to watch this time. This is the operation of the Ji clan, a noble family of the ancients. They sent out invitations mainly to mobilize their forces to help them find a person. The young elites of the Ji clan and the Yaoguang Holy Land will both be present. Otherwise, how could they have such a great rallying power? The person who made the two great sage mobilize such a large force is that little brat who is sticking on the city gate. I don't think he's anything special. This little brat burned the Grand Supreme Elder of the Ji clan to death. Can you do that? Yi Fan listened carefully, his expression calm. The Ji clan had really put in a lot of effort to find him. When he was in the southern region, he had already become the public enemy of the young generation of the Ji clan. This time, it was the result of the operation of the young generation of the Ji clan. There were similar grand meetings in other oases. Yi Fan rubbed his chin habitually and pondered. There were only three people in the young generation of the Ji clan who had reached the four levels mystery realm. The Yaoguang Holy Land was similar, and there were only three or four people. If the divine king Ji Haoyue did not come, and if the saint of Yaoguang did not show up, he did not mind revealing his true self and going to the grand meeting to start a massacre. If I reveal my true self and barge into the meeting and start a massacre, it would be like slapping the face of the Holy Land. But, wouldn't it cause too much of a commotion? Yi Fan thought to himself. He did have an urge. He was chased by the Ji clan all the way to the northern region, and the young generation of the Yaoguang Holy Land was also involved. He really could not hold back the urge to make a move. The reason why he had such an idea was that he had obtained the Book of Source Heaven and mastered the great art of changing heaven and earth. If he went there with his true self and caused a scene, it would be hard for the other party to find him. Chapter 246 The restaurant was next to the gambling den and business was very good. The people who came in and out were either cultivators or gambling on stones. They were very generous. On the second floor, near the window, there was a man dressed in green. He was only 21 or 22 years old. His skin was white and he looked a bit feminine. It was obvious that he was a disciple of an aristocratic family. Beside him, there was a pair of young ladies serving him wine and dishes. They were very attentive. He drank a cup of wine and said, the fact that he was able to burn the grand elder of the Ji family to death wasn't because of his shocking cultivation. It was because the important figures of the Ji family didn't guard against him and were killed by the terrifying flames he collected. Without those flames, he was nothing. Brother, you are exaggerating. But no matter what, that young man burned a great elder to death, he is not simple. Someone beside him disagreed. The man in green glanced at him and said, half a year ago, he was only in the Nirvana realm. Without those flames, killing him would be as easy as tearing a painting apart. Someone in the restaurant felt that he was being arrogant and said, brother, you are exaggerating. Killing him as easy as tearing a painting apart, can you really do that? The feminine man in green drank another cup of wine and said, killing him is as easy as flipping my hand. One slap is enough to kill him. Yi Fan was sitting not far away. He couldn't help but glance at him. The man looked calm and even though he didn't show any arrogance, he was quite conceited. Someone beside him was disgusted by his attitude and said, that young man is only 15 or 16 years old and he has already reached the Nirvana realm. That is already very shocking. May I ask what level you are at? The third level of the Holy Ji Palace. The man in green answered. He took the white cloth from the maid and wiped his mouth. Many people were shocked. To have such cultivation at this age was indeed shocking. No wonder he was so conceited. What is this young man's name? Someone asked. Situ Fong. The man in green gently threw the white cloth on the table. Is he Situ Fong from the Yenyan school? Yes. No wonder, it is Situ Fong. Among the 20 years old generation, few in the Chu state can compete with him. There are no great sects in the Chu state and no holy lands. To have the power of the third level of the Holy Ji Palace at this age is indeed something to be proud of. Everyone in the restaurant was talking about this. Obviously, they had all heard of Situ Fang's name. Yi Fan naturally didn't have a good impression of this effeminate man who claimed that he could kill him with a single slap. However, he wouldn't argue with him here. He asked, where is the grand meeting of the younger generation of Chu province being held? I also want to go and experience it. In the Broken Cloud Mountain, not far from Chaoyang City. Someone in the restaurant said. Thank you brother, when will it start? Yi Fan asked. Thank you. When will it start? In two days, many young men will come. Of the Chu. 
Yi Fan smiled and asked, I wonder which powerful figures from the young generation of the Ji clan and the Yaguang Holy Land will come? That's hard to say, but there must be outstanding people who came personally. After all, they were the ones who set it up. Not long after Yi Fan walked out of the restaurant, the large black dog also strolled over from nearby, muttering and cursing. Yi Fan listened carefully, and was instantly elated. The large black dog was quite unlucky. It had encountered an unscrupulous butcher, who had chased it down a street, wanting to skin it for its meat. However, the large black dog knew its limits, and didn't eat any mortals. The mountain was 120 miles away from Chaoyang City. The mountains were steep and reached into the clouds, so it was called the Broken Cloud Mountain. The mountains in the oasis were full of life. They were no longer barren. As far as the eye could see, it was green and there were big trees everywhere. The highest mountain was 6,000 meters high. White mist rose from it and clouds lingered around it. It was very majestic. Yi Fan came in advance because he wanted to know more about the terrain. The big black dog was not willing to follow him. He pulled a long face and followed him. The mountain stretched for hundreds of miles. There were no sects in the mountains. It was a land without a master. It was not because this place was not beautiful, but because in the past 1000 years, there had been three medium-sized sects that established themselves here, but they were all destroyed. The other sects felt that this place was inauspicious, so no one stayed here. In fact, the Broken Cloud Mountain was very beautiful. The mountains and rivers were connected, dragon springs flowed, and jade belts circled the mountains. It was a good place for cultivation. Otherwise, three sects wouldn't have chosen this place. So it's this place. The big black dog's black fur stood up. Seeing him like this, Yi Fan was shocked. It was the first time he had seen the big black dog so nervous. You've been here before? The big black dog's eyes were filled with shock. He slowly calmed down, and his black fur became smooth and soft. Let me take a closer look. He ran quickly. He ran dozens of miles around the mountain and came to an open field. What do you see? Yi Fan asked. It's really this damn place. I didn't think I would come here again. The big black dog's expression was uncertain. What kind of place is this? Seeing him like this, Yi Fan knew that it was definitely not an ordinary mountain. I suffered a great loss here. The big black dog paced, his expression gloomy. When did this happen? Naturally very long ago. You wouldn't know even if I told you. The big black dog had a cool expression. Even divine kings only have a lifespan of four or five thousand years. If you can live for more than a thousand years, you'll have to thank the heavens. What happened here? I suffered a great loss, so why should I tell you? The big black dog turned around and continued to walk around the mountain. Yi Fan had been cultivating after obtaining the original heavenly book. He used the aura observation technique to explore, and the whole mountain range instantly appeared in his eyes. There's nothing special here. It's not a danger zone. Even if there are source veins underground, there are pitifully few of them. This was his conclusion. Huh. Something's not right. Suddenly, Yi Fan was slightly surprised. Although this place was not a danger zone, it was slightly special. Looking ahead with the aura observation technique, he could faintly see a wisp of white mist rising up. That was definitely not the clouds and mist of the mountains. Instead, it was the wisp of mist that had risen up from underground. This is not a danger zone, nor is it celestial land, but there's a strange feeling. So many years have passed, but nothing has changed, the big black dog muttered. Yi Fan walked over, and said, tell me in detail. No matter what, I'm a disciple of the Yuan Taoist master, so I'm more familiar with the geography of mountains and rivers than you are. People in your line of work love to dig, but unfortunately, this is not a problem of source veins, the big black dog muttered. Then what did you encounter in the past? Yi Fan asked. Back then, I was trapped here for 18 years, and almost died here. The big black dog gritted his teeth. I didn't sense any danger. Yi Fan observed again. Apart from the wisp of white mist, he really couldn't sense anything else. If you can really sense danger, then you'll be in big trouble. This was once the dojo of a powerful figure, so it's very unusual. You must have come here to steal something from him, right? That person has been dead for who knows how many years. At that time, I came here to try my luck, the big black dog corrected him fiercely. What kind of person's dojo was it that made you suffer such a great loss? Yi Fan was very curious. It was a ruthless person. In the end, he even refined himself. The big black dog was unwilling to say more, and no matter what Yi Fan said, he wouldn't reveal anything. According to what you're saying, we can't enter this mountain? That's not a problem. There's no big problem in entering. As long as we don't randomly dig here, no one will die. The big black dog still let the cat out of the bag. Yi Fan laughed loudly, and said, look at you. For the sake of finding treasures, what have you done in the past? The big black dog's expression darkened, and he quibbled, people in your line of work just like to randomly dig. I'm just reminding you. Yi Fan had only come here to participate in the gathering of the younger generation of Chu province, and he wasn't going to stay here for long, so he wasn't worried about anything. 
There was a very wide river here. It was unknown how many years it had been dried up, and even the cobblestones were almost weathered. This dried up river meandered all the way from the mountain into the distance, like a flood dragon. Yi Fan followed the river into the mountain, and even after wandering around for half a day, he still couldn't find anything. He asked the big black dog, but the dog was tight-lipped, and was unwilling to reveal anything. A treasure that can interest you must be extraordinary, right? Don't you want to dig it out? Yi Fan tempted. Of course it's a rare treasure. It's been buried underground for tens of thousands of years, so I don't mind it being buried for a few more decades. When I'm powerful enough, I'll personally come to retrieve it. The big black dog's mouth was very tight. Two days passed in the blink of an eye. The broken cloud mountain range was no longer deserted, and it instantly became lively. Divine rainbows occasionally flew over from the horizon, and figures could be seen everywhere. Almost all of them were young cultivators. In the central region of the mountain range, there was a broken mountain. It was very thick and wide, and its surface was very smooth. It was as if it had been cut open by an extremely sharp weapon, and it formed a massive platform. There were many figures on the platform, and it didn't seem crowded at all. On the contrary, it was really too vast, and it seemed empty. This broken mountain is at least ten times thicker than the other mountains. If it wasn't broken, it would most likely reach into the clouds. It's the highest mountain in this region, Yi Fan muttered to himself. They really know how to choose a place. The big black dog's large eyes flickered with light. This is the training ground of that powerful figure you mentioned, right? Yi Fan probed. The big black dog didn't reply. An hour later, Yi Fan's large sleeves fluttered, and he rode a cloud over. He also arrived at the broken mountain, but he didn't bring the black emperor with him. Otherwise, he would leave behind a flaw. There were young cultivators everywhere, and they were all discussing spiritedly. At the same time, figures would occasionally fly over from the distant sky. Five-colored divine light sliced through the sky, and a jade boat flew over. Tens of thousands of rays of auspicious light shone, and it descended from the sky. There was a powerful fluctuation of divine power, and it landed on the broken mountain. Instantly, there was a commotion among the crowd. An important figure had arrived. The elites of the Ji clan and the Wavering Light Holy Land have arrived. The Ji clan and the Wavering Light Holy Land's inheritance is immortal, and they have hundreds of thousands of years of history. Even the young disciples they've nurtured are so powerful. It's shocking. Everyone was discussing spiritedly, and in an instant, they surrounded that place. It was as if they were stars surrounding the moon. Yi Fan didn't go forward, and he stood in place without moving. At this time, he discovered Situ Fong, who had threatened to kill him with a single slap. This feminine man was still dressed in green clothes, and he was quite conceited. He didn't push his way forward, and instead stood outside of the crowd with a hint of arrogance. Brother Situ. Yi Fan walked forward. Situ Fong turned his head, and said with a frown, Who are you? Yi Fan. When Situ Fong heard this, he suddenly turned around and stared at him. Chapter 247 the broken cloud mountains towered into the sky, cutting through the white clouds. Some of the peaks were lush green, while the peaks were covered in white snow. The broken cloud mountains were located in the center of the mountains. There were many people here, and from time to time, there would be young cultivators descending. More and more people were gathered here. Situ Feng's expression was cold. He stood outside of the crowd and looked quite arrogant. He stared at Yi Fan and said, that's not a good joke. Yi Fan was only a few feet away from him. He stood there calmly. His joints moved, making cracking sounds, and soon, his true appearance was restored. It's really you. Situ Fong was a little surprised, but he soon sneered and said, You dare to come here? You really have some guts. Mist emerged from Yi Fan's body and covered his entire body, concealing his true form. He took a few steps forward and said, The world is so big, where can't I go? It's just a gathering of cultivators from Chu province, why would I not dare to come? Situ Fang's expression became cold and said, Today, I am afraid you will not be able to leave. Do you want to slap me to death? Yi Fan said as he took a few steps forward. Killing you is as easy as flipping my hand. One slap is more than enough. Situ Fong was a genius of the Swallow Cloud sect. He was already a powerhouse of the third level of the Dao Palace in his twenties, so he was quite arrogant. Yi Fan touched his chin and said, Am I that easy to bully? You want to kill me with one slap? Do you really think I am just a blade of grass? Besides relying on that flame, you are nothing to me. Killing you is as easy as plucking leaves from the grass. Situ Fong said calmly. Why don't you try and kill me? Yi Fan walked forward again. At this time, the surrounding cultivators noticed the abnormality and looked back. Isn't that Situ Fong of the Swallow Cloud sect? He is known as the most outstanding genius of the sect in a hundred years. He is only twenty-one years old and is already a powerhouse of the third level of the Dao Palace. In the southern part of the Chu province, Situ Fong is quite famous among the younger generation. Many people speculate that he will be able to break into the four extreme secret realms before the age of thirty. Many cultivators discussed and thought highly of him. Situ Fong was only 21 years old, and he was not a descendant of a holy land, but having such a cultivation was indeed amazing. 
After all, among the younger generation, there were very few people who had reached the four extreme secret realms. In the future, it was very likely that he would be able to break through to the four ultimate secret realms before the age of 30. It could be said that his talent was extraordinary. You are very famous in the Chu prefecture. So many people know of you. Yi Fan became even more ethereal. The fog rolled and covered his entire body. Who is this person? He dares to confront Situ Fong. Could it be that he can compete with the geniuses of the Swallow Cloud sect? Someone revealed a suspicious look. It must be a challenger. After Situ Fong became famous in the southern part of the Chu province, there were some young cultivators who were not convinced. This kind of situation would often occur. Fame and fortune can kill a person. For the sake of fame, he didn't hesitate to fight. But isn't challenging the genius of Yan Yun Sect just asking for death? Among the people in Chu Prefecture who are around 20 years old, there aren't many who can compete with him. Looks like I'm in danger. Everyone says I'm no match for you. Yi Fan laughed at himself. At this moment, there were many young cultivators everywhere on the broken mountain. Many of them were looking over and were aware of the tense atmosphere. It's a pity. I actually didn't want to kill you. But since you are standing in front of me, I don't mind sending you on your way with a slap. Situ Fong dismissively replied. His body turned into a shadow and floated over like a character from a painting. Just as he said, he only sent out a slap. His right hand was raised high, and a blue halo appeared on his palm. It was sparkling and sparkling. At this moment, there were many gazes gathered at this place. Both near and far, all of them were looking at this scene. This was a gathering of the young cultivators of the Chu prefecture. So, the occurrence of such a conflict was expected. So, no one was surprised. After the people on the broken mountain knew that it was Situ Fong, they believed that there would be no suspense. The strange challenger would certainly be killed by the genius of the Swallow Cloud sect. Yi Fan stood in the same place and did not move. He calmly waited for Situ Fong to rush in front of him. Then, he waved his right palm to meet that blue palm. Pa! The sound was very loud and clear. It was like a sudden clap of thunder. It spread throughout the entire broken mountain. The two palms collided, creating a series of blue ripples. The blue hazy halo fluttered like a gauze, submerging the entire area. I have already said that Situ Fang's talent is extremely high. Anyone who challenges him will certainly have to pay a painful price. He could easily lose his life. The blue light is like lightning. The divine power is overflowing in all directions. This palm's strength is terrifying. Many people exclaimed in admiration. However, when the blue mist dispersed, everyone was stunned. They were tongue-tied and swallowed back the words they were about to say. In the middle of the field, Yi Fan's long sleeves were fluttering in the wind. He stood there calmly. But Situ Fang's complexion was deathly pale. He retreated far away. His entire right palm was deformed beyond recognition. Drops of blood were dripping down to the ground. This, how is this possible? Who is he? He actually injured the genius of the Swallow Cloud sect. His right palm bone is broken inch by inch. Who is this person? How come I have never heard of him? Does my Chu Prefecture have such a person? Chu Prefecture has a radius of more than 3,000 miles. I have never heard of such a person. Could it be that he is a cultivator from the Oasis? In the surroundings, many people had a strange look on their faces. An unknown person had seriously injured Situ Fong with a single palm strike. This was really shocking. Yi Fan was very calm. In terms of physique alone, who in the Holy Palace could compare with him? His body was made of copper and iron. It was even more terrifying than a magical weapon. Many people were trying to guess his identity. However, his body was surrounded by mist. No one could see him clearly. You. Situ Feng's complexion was pale. Not only was his right palm bone broken, but his entire right arm was broken into eight pieces. No one was more shocked than him. It was as if he had just hit a mountain. There was no way he could resist that kind of power. You want to kill me with a single palm strike? That's going to be very difficult. Yi Fan stood in the same place and did not chase after him. Situ Feng's complexion was stiff. His right arm was trembling. He clenched his teeth and tried to fix his broken arm. At the same time, he opened his mouth and spat out a pearl. It was suspended above his head. A curtain of water hung down from it. It's the blue pearl of the Swallow Cloud School. Someone exclaimed. At the same time, Situ Fong opened his mouth and spat out a blue lotus. It shone brightly and was as heavy as a mountain. The people around him could not even breathe. This blue lotus was transparent and bright blue. The huge pressure it exuded made many people's hearts beat faster. Their faces turned pale. Even the ground of the broken mountain was cracking. Yi Fan's expression changed. It was not only because of how heavy the blue lotus was, but also because the ground of the broken mountain was cracking. This was the training ground of a ruthless person. If he caused any trouble, it would be very bad. He did not hold back and rushed forward. His palms and fingers were like blades. He struck out continuously, shattering the blue lotus. The blue lotus was not damaged. It shone even brighter and pressed down. He held up one hand to the sky. It was indeed as heavy as a mountain. 
The pressure was making his body feel a bit strained. The blue pearl rose up and flew towards the blue lotus. The two combined and multiplied the weight of the blue lotus, making Yifan sink. This is Swallow Cloud's sex treasure. It is almost unbearable. This person is actually resisting it with his body. What kind of background does he have? The surrounding people were all shocked. However, what made them dumbfounded was yet to come. Yi Fan's hands trembled. A huge golden palm magically appeared, causing the sky to collapse. Situ Fang's expression changed. Three blue lights rushed out from his left hand and converged together to form a blue lightning blade. All of a sudden, it grew to a length of more than ten zhang and chopped towards Yi Fan. Situ Fong actually refined the three in true water. Every drop of this water can penetrate gold and crack stone. What is even more frightening is that he refined the true water into a spirit blade. This kind of secret technique is extremely frightening. It can cut through people's souls. This is the three in true spirit blade. It has once again appeared. This is really unexpected and shocking. The spectators' faces changed. They were all nervously watching. The three in true water could extinguish true fire. It could melt gold. It was as heavy as 10,000 caddies. When it was refined into the three in true spirit blade, its power was unparalleled. Yi Fan let out a low roar. His arms trembled nine times. After the nine strikes, the blue pearl and the blue lotus of the swallow cloud sect cracked. Boom! The last punch was thrown. The sky was filled with blue light. The two treasures were smashed into powder by his golden fist. Who is this person? How can he have such a great strength? His flesh is harder than the treasures. How did he cultivate? Is he a demon? Too frightening. Everyone was dumbfounded. All of them were in disbelief. The three in true spirit blade chopped down. The blue light was like lightning. The skin of the people nearby was reflected in a pale blue color. Dang! Yi Fan grabbed the blade. His entire right hand was like a pure gold. Five deep finger marks were left on the blade. The three in true spirit blade can cut through souls. Heavens, he grabbed it with his hand. He is actually fearless. Is this the kind of existence that can become a saint in the future? How can he have such a terrifying body? Boom! Situ Fong stimulated the three in true spirit blade. The blue light soared to the sky. The water light overflowed in all directions. It submerged Yi Fan. This was the three in true water. It could melt gold and devour iron. A single drop was enough to penetrate a cultivator's body. With so much of it surging out, no one could tell how terrifying its power was. However, Yi Fan's body was shining brightly. All of the water was evaporated and turned into a blue gas. It was simply unable to do anything to him. His divine power surged. He was like an immortal divine furnace. He could burn and destroy everything. Ka Ka. The three in true spirit blade broke in his hand. It turned into pure water and then turned into a blue mist. It was completely refined by him. This scene was horrifying. The three in true spirit blade could not even withstand a single blow. It was destroyed by his golden palm. You. Situ Feng's face was pale. He turned around and left. His heart was like dead ashes. Such an opponent made him feel frustrated. The genius of the Swallow Cloud sect was defeated. He had no choice but to escape. That was a genius from the southern part of the Chu province. He could not even withstand a single blow from this person. Who is this person? How terrifying. On the broken mountain, many people were shocked. You also have a taste of the power of my palm. Yi Fan's speed was extremely fast. He caught up with Situ Fong in a flash. His golden palm turned into the size of a millstone. It smashed down, causing the void to tremble. Be lenient. An outstanding disciple of the Ji clan shouted. A silhouette quickly rushed forward. At the same time, Situ Fong also tried his best to resist. The golden palm was incomparably powerful. It sucked away all the world's essence in the surroundings. A large blurry black space appeared. Pa! This time, it was as if a muffled thunder had struck the sky. Situ Feng's resistance was completely useless. His whole body was smashed into pieces. He was sent flying. You! The young expert of the Ji clan was furious. He did not expect that the opposite party would not give him any face. He wanted to catch Situ Fei's broken body, but as soon as his hands touched it, the body immediately turned into ashes. His body and soul were completely destroyed. Who are you? How dare you kill someone in front of me? Didn't you hear what I said just now? The young expert of the Ji clan shouted. Who do you think you are? Do you think that I will stop just because you told me to? You think that the clan of the ancients is so great? Yi Fan clasped his hands behind his back. Chapter 248 Facing the disciple of the clan of the ancients, Yi Fan did not show any reverence. He stood with his hands clasped behind his back. You! How dare you! The disciple's complexion immediately sank as he said, This is a grand meeting of the young cultivators of the Chu prefecture. Why did you cause a disturbance? 
Why did you kill someone for no reason? Why would I kill someone for no reason? Didn't you see that he wanted to kill me? Unfortunately, the result disappointed him. It was not what he had expected. The disciple of the clan of the G clan had a stern look on his face. He placed himself on the moral high ground. He did not want others to gossip about him. He asked, I saw everything that happened just now. Although he said that he wanted to kill you, he did not injure you. Why do you want his life? According to you, as long as he did not injure me, even if he wanted to kill me, it was not his fault. Yi Fan looked indifferent. He was not your opponent. He could not take your life. In any case, you should not have killed him. The disciple of the clan of the Ji clan had a stern look on his face. Yi Fan sneered and said, what a joke. Do I have to wait until my life is in danger before I can kill him? I'm afraid I would have already lost my life by then. There were many people on the broken mountain. Many young cultivators of the Chu prefecture had gathered here. People could be seen everywhere. No one had thought that someone would dare to confront the young generation of the clan of the Ji clan. Situ Fong only said something inappropriate. Yet, you killed a genius of the Chu prefecture. This is too much. Although he said that he wanted to kill you, he was not your opponent. How could you kill him? Where did you come from? Why did you kill him? Do you think there is no one in the Chu prefecture? On the side, there were a few cultivators who agreed with the disciple of the clan of the ancients. The other party was from the clan of the ancients. It was worth it for them to help him. In addition, there were a few people who followed blindly. However, they were in the minority. Most of the people were watching quietly. They could not afford to offend the clan of the Ji clan. It was impossible for them to help a cultivator of unknown origin. Yi Fan laughed. This made the people who had spoken very angry, especially the disciple of the clan of the Ji clan. Although Situ Fong threatened to kill you, but in the end, he was turned into ashes by you, and now you are still laughing? Yi Fan rubbed his chin and said, the few of you have already said it yourselves. It was he who threatened to kill me with a single slap. Moreover, he was the one who tried to kill me first. Do you, have anything else to say? The few people who had blindly followed him were instantly dumbfounded. After thinking about it carefully, they were tongue-tied and couldn't say anything. The few people from the Ji family who had spoken up to help also didn't know what to say. That disciple of the Ji clan said coldly, no matter what, you shouldn't have killed anyone. You should know that you should forgive people whenever possible. Is that so? Yi Fan laughed and said, how about this, I'll give it a try and see if I can kill you with one slap. Of course, even if I say that, I probably won't be able to kill you. After this, how about we drink and chat merrily? According to what you've said, I don't think you'll mind, much less kill me. Hearing Yi Fan's ridicule, the disciple of the Ji clan's face became gloomy. He scolded, I think you are here to disturb the meeting. Who are you? Yi Fan's body was shrouded in fog. His face couldn't be seen clearly. He leisurely walked forward and said, you can't reason with me, so you're starting to accuse me? You really came here to disturb the meeting. You've already come to a conclusion. What can I say? Everything is in vain. Yi Fan laughed. The clan of the remote antiquity had existed in the world for hundreds of thousands of years. They were unfathomably powerful and transcended the world. All the sects were in awe of them. No matter where the disciples of the Ji clan went, they were like the stars surrounding the moon. No one dared to look down on them. Today, Ji Yunfeng was repeatedly contradicted by Yi Fan. His face became gloomy and his heart was filled with killing intent. This meeting was initiated by my Ji clan and the Yaoguang Holy Land. We invited the young talents of the Chu prefecture. Who are you? How dare you come here? How come I didn't see anyone else's name? Why am I the only one here? Yi Fan crossed his arms and said, Am I supposed to be the one being presumptuous here? The clan of the remote antiquity sure is domineering. Boom. The powerful killing intent was like the waves of a lake. Rays of light shot out from the disciple of the Ji clan and circled around his body like a real dragon. You came here with an ulterior motive. I will take you down first. What a nice way to put it. If you want to kill me, just say it. Why bother with all these excuses? I will exchange a few moves with you. Yi Fan walked forward. Everyone's expression changed. Someone who dared to provoke a disciple of the clan of the remote antiquity definitely had a powerful background. Everyone was shocked and paid close attention to the scene. The clan of the remote antiquity cannot be humiliated. Today, you asked for it. I will kill you. Ji Yunfeng's face darkened. When the disciples of the Ji clan walked outside, the disciples of other sects would try their best to befriend them. They had never been humiliated like this before. Ji Yunfeng could not hold it in any longer. What's the point of being so domineering? Yi Fan shook his head and said, the clan of the remote antiquity sure is powerful. The Ji clan had chased after him. Even if he escaped to the north, he would not be able to escape. He came here today to kill and slap the face of the clan of the remote antiquity. Naturally, he would not run away now. Young Master Ji, there is no need to do it yourself. Let me take him down. A young cultivator from the Chu province stepped forward. Let me do it myself. Ji Yunfeng shook his head. 
There is no need to use a butcher's knife to kill a chicken. I am enough. The cultivator took out a blood box and said, Young Master G, please help me with the formation. Buzz. The cultivator made his move immediately. The blood box opened a slit and a river of blood rushed out. The stench of blood assaulted the nostrils as it tried to drown Yifan. The underworld blood demon box. So it's something from this sect. Why did it appear again? Isn't this a demon weapon left behind by a demon king? This thing contained one's golden body. Even a treasure cannot block it and will turn into blood. Back in the day, a great human cultivator died because of it. It has actually reappeared in this world. Wasn't it destroyed by a great human cultivator before his death? Could it be that another demon king appeared and refined it again? The surrounding spectators were all shocked as they watched nervously. The river of blood rushed over and a red mist covered the sky. The sky and the earth were dyed red, and a bone-piercing chill seeped into everyone's soul. An ominous premonition appeared. Yi Fan was on guard as if he was facing a great enemy. Boom! His body shone with a divine light as if he was wearing a layer of immortal robe. The light illuminated the surroundings, making it hard for people to look at him directly. Bang! Yi Fan's hands were holding the moon as a mountain appeared in his bosom. Green pine trees stood tall on top of the mountain as a silver waterfall cascaded down. It was majestic and heavy as if it could destroy the heaven and earth. The Embracing Mountain Seal Yi Fan used the Battle Saint technique to strike out with the Embracing Mountain Seal. After encountering danger, he displayed the earth-shattering seal technique with monstrous power. The mountain was so real that it made people feel suffocated. Even though they were far away, they still felt as if Mount Tai was pressing down on them. Their bodies went limp and they could barely stand. Many people staggered and fell to the ground. Wang. The mountain quickly enlarged like an ancient demonic mountain descending upon the world. It pressed down on them in an instant. The pressure was too great for them to bear. Many people who stood too close had blood flowing out of their ears and noses. They had suffered a terrifying impact. Boom! The river of blood in the sky collapsed in an instant. The mountain was like the sky, majestic and unstoppable. Its divine might could almost crush a real mountain. How could the physical body of the Holy Xi Palace withstand it? The expression of the cultivator from Chu State changed. He silently chanted an incantation, and the underworld blood demon box enlarged and rushed into the sky to meet the mountain. There were nine waves of blood, each higher than the one before. They swept towards the mountain and Yifan. At the same time, the crimson blood mist was like blades and swords, rushing towards Yifan. Yifan lightly shouted. The mountain embracing imprint was unleashed to the extreme. After that, he hurled it out. This was a terrifying scene. A body of flesh and blood was hurled out like a mountain. This sort of might would cause people's hearts to tremble. This kind of power was too terrifying. The air seemed to collapse from the pressure. With a rumbling sound, the mountain crashed into the blood box. Boom! Bloody light covered the sky and a storm raged. The sky suddenly became chaotic, as if it had become a chaotic zone. It was a blur. Energy waves and light were everywhere. Kacha! The mountain that was thrown out collapsed, and the blood box also shattered. It was destroyed in the air at the same time, emitting a terrifying aura. Rumble! Up in the sky, there was a shocking scene. The underworld blood demon box shattered. It was extremely terrifying, destroying everything in its way. Demon blood filled the sky, and the mountain collapsed. Violent waves swept through the sky. Many people were sent flying, even though it was only the aftermath. This is too frightening. How could the underworld blood demon box refined by a great demon of a generation be broken? Just who is this person? The embracing mountain seal is an absolute art of the northern domain. Several great sects and holy lands have collected it, but it shouldn't be enough to shatter the treasure box of a demon king. You are all wrong. The underworld blood demon box was destroyed by a great human, and this is only a scrap. One can imagine how terrifying the true blood box is. Even so, everyone was still shocked. This kind of energy fluctuation was too great a threat to the cultivators of the Tao Palace mystic realm. In particular, cultivators below the third level of the Tao Palace would find it difficult to resist. But, the youth in the sky had actually thrown out a mountain, shattering the demon box. It made everyone's hair stand on end. Who is he? To throw a mountain with a lift of his hand. Just how powerful was this strength? It was simply the strength to pick up mountains, and his aura was matchless and unstoppable. In the sky, a bloody mist rose. The underworld blood that could pollute the golden body and destroy the treasure body was actually unable to harm Yi Fan. It was completely refined by him. His powerful body was faintly discernible in the mist. His body bloomed with a crystalline divine brilliance. Everyone was dumbfounded. How could this be? My underworld blood treasure box has been destroyed. The cultivator was in a daze. He wanted to show off in front of the G family disciples and enter the clan of the ancients, but he didn't want the treasure he relied on to be so tyrannically shattered. This, is he even human? He threw out a mountain. His lips were trembling, but it was unknown whether it was from anger or fear. 
This is the Embracing Mountain Seal. It is the ultimate art of a great sect in the past. After the sect was destroyed, it was passed down, and many sects have obtained this secret art. Ji Yunfeng's expression was solemn. Yi Fan coldly snorted. He swooped down and attacked the cultivator. Young Master Ji, save me. The cultivator's expression changed on the spot. The treasure that was made from a scrap of the underworld blood treasure box had been shattered. He was no match for Yi Fan. Don't worry. With me here, he can't do anything to you. Ji Yunfeng was quite conceited. Who do you think you are? If I want to kill someone, do you think you can stop me? Yi Fan rushed forward, the divine light between his eyebrows shining brightly. Oh no! Ji Yunfeng was indeed an extraordinary figure among the younger generation of the Ji family. He instinctively sensed danger and quickly retreated. This was the innate instinct. Only a few cultivators had this kind of spiritual sense. Yi Fan's powerful divine sense manifested. It was unparalleled. A golden divine sword shot out from between his eyebrows and directly killed the owner of the underworld blood demon box. His corpse lay in the void. You, who are you? Ji Yunfeng shouted. He had just said in front of everyone that he would protect the cultivator. In the end, Yi Fan rushed over and killed him in one move. This was equivalent to a loud slap to his face. I will tell you. After today, the entire north region will know. Yi Fan attacked. He immediately used the embracing mountain seal. The huge mountain covered the sky. Its aura was heavy and majestic. It fiercely pressed down, causing the sky to tremble. Heaven severing finger. Ji Yunfeng shouted. He stretched out his right hand. His fingers were like dragon scissors, transparent like jade. They cut through the sky and met the embracing mountain seal. Chapter 249 The void scripture was a supreme scripture created by the ancient void emperor to observe all living things and capture the eternal and unchanging laws. It was incomparably profound and had the power to seize the fortune of heaven and earth. The sky severing finger was one of the supreme arts. It was extremely powerful and mysterious. When it reached the pinnacle, it could sever the imprint of the heavens and connect with the great Tao. Ji Yunfeng's finger was sparkling and shot out divine radiance. The finger scissors moved like true dragons waving their tails. They intersected and emitted a terrifying aura that could sever mountains and cut apart the blue dome of heaven. Clang! The sky severing finger shot out, cutting through the sky with an oppressive aura. The divine radiance was as thick as a peak and cut towards the huge mountain in the sky with astonishing power. This kind of supreme art was truly terrifying. The jade-like finger shot out divine radiance that turned into dragon scissors that could cut through everything. Yi Fan struck out with the embracing mountain seal, which turned into a huge mountain and suppressed the center of the sky. It was continuously attacked and terrifying ravines appeared on the towering mountain in the sky. All of them were cut out by the slashes. Boom! The mountain rose sharply and became larger, towering into the sky. Black light shone as a silver waterfall fell from the sky. Yi Fan took the form of embracing the moon and shot towards the dragon scissors. Bang! The silver dragon scissors shook violently and were almost shattered. However, with a flash of light, they reformed and shot out an even sharper divine radiance. Murderous intent soared into the sky as it slashed downwards. Clang clang clang. It was as if ten thousand swords were ringing at the same time, resounding through the horizon. The sky severing finger displayed its terrifying side. It could cut through all living things and was impossible to defend against. The sky trembled and rumbled. Silver radiance shot out in all directions, causing people's hearts to palpitate. The dragon scissors were unstoppable and cut out huge ravines on the mountain. However, the mountain did not fall and became more and more solid like an immortal demonic mountain. The power it released was even stronger and almost destroyed the dragon scissors several times. The embracing mountain seal against the sky severing finger. One was an ancient seal technique activated by the battle saint technique, while the other was a supreme secret technique recorded in the void ancient scripture. It could be said that they were evenly matched. Ji Yunfeng was quite shocked. How could the ultimate art left behind by the ancient emperors not suppress the embracing mountain seal? Although this ancient seal technique was a unique technique of the northern region, how could it compare to the sky severing finger? The scriptures left behind by the great emperor represented the extreme realm, and the secret techniques left behind could be considered unmatched. They were all the most powerful techniques of a certain domain, impossible to surpass. But this person before him had actually used the mountain embracing seal to resist it with ease and not fall into a disadvantageous position. This truly exceeded logic. Ji Yunfeng flicked his finger, and divine light rushed out like five dragons soaring through the sky, charging towards the mountains in the sky. The sky-severing finger was unfathomably profound. When it reached the ultimate level, it could draw upon the Tao of heaven and earth and absorb the eternal Tao energy from the void. Although it was impossible for Ji Yunfeng to reach such a level, he was indeed extraordinary. He flicked his fingers repeatedly, and the five dragons locking the heavens coiled around the mountain. This scene was extremely shocking. Five true dragons coiled around the mountain, and the scales on their bodies flickered. They directly dug into the mountain, wanting to shatter the mountain. The heaven-severing finger drew in the power of heaven and earth, absorbing the energy in the void. 
Its might rose sharply, causing the mountain formed by the embracing mountain seal to sway unceasingly, showing signs of collapsing. The secret art recorded in the void ancient scripture could display an extreme immortal might. Even if it could only display a trace of it now, it was still unfathomable. Yi Fan immediately felt the pressure increase greatly. His expression solemn, he activated the battle saint art, and also the embracing mountain seal to the extreme. Boom! The mountain continued to enlarge, and the powerful pressure made the spectators below shudder, almost collapsing to the ground. Bang! One of the true dragons finally couldn't bear it anymore. The dragon coiling around the mountain was broken, and with a flash of light, it was destroyed. Boom! The mountain shook, and the pressure was astonishing. It continued to expand, becoming more and more majestic. No, this is definitely not the embracing mountain seal. It only has the form, and has its own origin. What kind of secret art is this? How can it compete with the sky-severing finger? Ji Yunfeng's heart was filled with puzzlement. But now, there was no time to think too much. The embracing mountain seal shook violently, and its might increased even more, breaking the other four true dragons. They were destroyed on the mountain, and a terrifying energy spread in all directions. Suppress. Yi Fan shouted, and the embracing mountain seal pressed down like the sky. Its power was unparalleled, and it shook one's soul. Sky Severing Finger Ji Yunfeng shouted, and once again used this secret art. It struck the sky, and blocked the embracing mountain seal. Boom! This time, Ji Yunfeng was sent flying. Even though he had retreated quickly, he had still suffered a great impact, and his face was pale. Why is it like this? The sky severing finger can invoke the great path, and it is unparalleled in the world. What kind of secret art is he using to resist the saint art left behind by the great emperor? Buzz. The sky trembled. Yi Fan embraced the moon, and the embracing mountain seal pressed down again. It was black and towering, and it made one's mind uneasy. Its power was terrifying, and its courage was unparalleled. Bang! Ji Yunfeng used the power of the sky-severing finger to the extreme, but the result was still the same. He was sent flying, and his body shook violently, and his face was pale. Ji Yunfeng's heart was cold. He was almost at the fourth level of the Holy Ji Palace, and his opponent was only at the second level. What did this mean? The difference in power between different levels was huge. It was like climbing the sky ladder. The step up was celestial, and the step down was mortal. Those who were at the lower levels were definitely suppressed, and yet his opponent was going against the grain. He was an extremely conceited person, but now he was doubting his own ability. As a disciple of the clan of the ancients, his combat ability far surpassed cultivators of the same level, and yet he was going against the grain. This really shocked him. What made Ji Yunfeng even more afraid was that his opponent's divine power was inexhaustible, and it was still increasing. The power of the embracing mountain seal was even greater than before, and he did not dare to face it head-on. Why is it like this? His power is too great. If a cultivator of the four ultimate secret realms were hit, he would not be able to take it, and would die with a grievance. Ji Yunfeng's face was pale. He had lost confidence, and felt that it was impossible to defeat his opponent. With such a mentality, the consequences would be disastrous. Oh no! On the broken mountain, the other three from the Ji clan and the four from the Yaoguang Holy Land all changed expressions. They could see that something was wrong. Yunfeng, retreat. Come back. Don't fight. At the same time, someone rushed forward, wanting to cut off Yi Fan and force Ji Yunfeng to retreat. It was obvious that everyone could see that Ji Yunfeng was not a match for Yi Fan. If this continued, he would die without a doubt. On the Broken Mountain, many young cultivators from the Chu Prefecture were gathered. They were all shocked that a disciple of the Clan of the Ancients could not defeat an unknown cultivator. It was shocking. Just what was this person's background? Everyone was guessing that someone who dared to cause trouble for a disciple of the Clan of the Ancients most likely had a corresponding identity. Ji Yunfeng indeed wanted to retreat. He did not want to die, but to his horror, he found that he was stuck by the Embracing Mountain Seal. A demonic power was emitted from the mountain, almost sucking him into the void. He could not fly out at all. The people behind him were anxious. Another disciple of the Ji clan rushed over and tried to stop him. His divine power surged, wanting to tear apart the seal. Boom! It was extremely terrifying. The moment he arrived, he unleashed the palm of the void. Its power was astonishing, causing the sky to tremble. The palm of the void was on par with the sky-severing finger. They were both supreme secret arts of the Ji clan and possessed unimaginable power. When the sky-severing finger was unleashed, silver light shone brilliantly. The palm of the void, on the other hand, was the complete opposite. It was as black as ink. At this moment, the black palm blotted out the sky and almost covered the sun. It shook the mountain in the sky. This was the palm of the void. It absorbed the eternal power of the great Tao from the void. Its celestial power was unpredictable. Ordinary opponents had no way to resist and would be smashed to pieces. Not only had Yifan seen the power of this art, but he had also learned the incomplete form of the palm of the void. He knew how terrifying it was, but even now, he was not afraid. Even if the disciple of the clan of the ancients had a higher cultivation level than him, he was still confident. 
He had learned the offensive arts of the Nine Secrets, so he could resist them. Buzz. The essence chi in the sky seemed to have been sucked dry. The entire heaven and earth darkened. The power of Yifan's mountain embracing imprint had increased a little. Ji Yunfeng had no way to escape. He was firmly isolated here. At the same time, the mountain embracing imprint smashed into the palm of the void. Boom. The heaven and earth shook. The shock waves rushed downwards, causing the broken mountain to shake. Many people could not stand steadily and almost fell to the ground. This was a terrifying energy as vast as the ocean. The palm of the void did not gain the upper hand against the mountain embracing imprint. This is. The Ji clan's disciple who rushed over frowned. Below, the Chu prefecture's cultivators were even more shocked. This mysterious character was too powerful. His aura did not decrease, but instead increased continuously. His divine power was becoming more and more terrifying. First, he broke the sky-severing finger, then he faced the palm of the void, dissolving two peerless arts. Such methods were truly terrifying. Sky-severing finger. Ji Yunfeng shouted. Divine light as thick as a mountain peak shot outwards. Palm of the void. The Ji clan's disciple who rushed over to help also shouted. The incomparably huge black palm covered the sky, blocking the sun in the sky as it pressed downwards. These two supreme secret arts originated from the void ancient scripture. They came from the same source, and when combined together, they possessed an inconceivable might. It was extremely terrifying. However, Yi Fan's performance was even more shocking. Boom! The sky trembled. After Yi Fan tossed out a mountain, he once again began to form seals. Another mountain formed and was tossed out by him. Mountain Embracing Imprint Its power was world-shaking. The mountain pressed down on everyone, and the divine might of ten thousand caddies was unstoppable. The essence of heaven and earth was about to be sucked dry, and this place became dark. Everyone was stunned because the tossing of the two mountains didn't mean the end. Rather, it was just the beginning. Yi Fan's hands embraced the moon as he continuously formed seals. Rumble The sky shook and the earth trembled. He consecutively tossed out nine mountains and formed seals nine times, completely sucking the essence of the surroundings dry. Everything sank into darkness. This was too terrifying. The wild power shocked the heavens, and it was as if the sky was about to split apart. Tossing out nine mountains in succession was an unimaginable power. Below, the spectators were like clay statues. They were tongue-tied. Such vigorous divine power seemed like it would never dry up. It was truly shocking. The nine mountains were all tossed towards the Ji clan's disciple who came to help. His heart trembled. Was this still a human? It gave him a horrifying feeling. He slapped out with the void palm, and the jet black hand covered the sky. At the same time, he decisively retreated. He knew that he definitely wouldn't be able to block the nine mountains. If he took it head-on, he would most likely be crushed into meat paste. He could only retreat. After stopping this disciple, Yi Fan was calm. He hugged the tenth mountain and descended from the sky, directly suppressing Ji Yunfeng. Stop! Behind him, the other two disciples of the Ji clan shouted. Unfortunately, it was already too late. They didn't expect Yi Fan to be so tyrannical. He tossed out nine mountains and changed everything in the blink of an eye. Boom! Like a torrential flood, like a vast ocean sweeping the sky, the sound was deafening. Embracing Mountain Seal Yi Fan directly pressed down. His strength was enough to pick up mountains, and his aura was matchless. He was like a celestial king descending to the mortal world. He was unstoppable. Ji Yunfeng's face was drained of blood. His opponent's divine power was so vast that he couldn't breathe. He forcefully used the sky-severing finger, but it couldn't change anything. Boom! The sky shook and the earth quaked. Yi Fan pressed down and shook Ji Yunfeng to death. The fleshly body was deformed and tattered. Then, it turned into ashes in the terrifying aftermath. Chapter 250 Yi Fan crushed Ji Yunfeng to death with the embracing mountain seal, turning him into dust. Broken Mountain was deathly silent as everyone stared blankly. A disciple of the clan of the ancients had been killed. The scene just now was shocking. Throwing out mountains and suppressing the Ji clan's cultivators, Yi Fan's performance was too shocking. He had the bearing of an overlord who could lift a cauldron. Only after a long time had passed did the young cultivators of the Chu province wake up, and they began to discuss with each other like a tide. Just who is he? Could he be the reincarnation of a demon king? Holding a mountain and suppressing an enemy, this is too terrifying. The embracing mountain seal is an absolute art of the North Domain. It requires a great amount of godly strength and is difficult for ordinary people to use. Yet, this person continuously formed seals and threw out nine mountains at once. This is too monstrous. Could it be that he has the godly king physique? Otherwise, how could he have such terrifying potential? His godly strength seems to be inexhaustible and the more he fights, the stronger he becomes. The entire broken mountain was in an uproar as everyone discussed. A disciple of the clan of the ancients being killed was not a small matter. This person killed a disciple of the clan of the ancients in front of everyone. This concerned the reputation of the clan of the ancients. 
This was not a spar, but a purposeful killing. Who are you? The other three cultivators of the clan of the Ji clan stood high up in the sky and surrounded Yi Fan. Their eyes were spitting fire and their killing intent was revealed. The gathering of the young cultivators of Chu Prefecture was organized by them in the name of their clan. This person came to the scene and killed the organizer. This result would damage the reputation of the Ji clan. I will take revenge for Yun Feng. One of them said with a cold voice. Then, he suddenly disappeared into thin air. Hua. The crowd was shocked. Under broad daylight, a person's figure could be seen floating in the air. This caused everyone to be dumbfounded. Yi Fan's robes fluttered in the wind as celestial energy covered his body. He stood there quietly without any signs of panic and was extremely calm. The mist became hazy and the space around him became distorted. A figure flashed and the cultivator of the Ji clan rushed out. He spat out a divine sword from his mouth and slashed towards Yi Fan's back. However, Yi Fan seemed to have expected this. Without any ripples, he calmly attacked. His golden fist arrived first and met the resplendent divine sword head on. Clang. The drawn out sound traveled for more than 10 miles, reverberating in the broken cloud mountain range. The golden fist sent the sharp sword flying. Cracks appeared on its surface, and then it shattered inch by inch like rotten wood. The wind blew it into the air, and golden powder drifted down to the ground. Great Void Technique. That's right, this is another unparalleled secret technique of the G clan. Within a short distance, it can be used to travel through space. Its destructive power is extremely great, and it's impossible to guard against. This is a world-shocking technique, an important technique recorded in the Void Ancient Scripture, a secret technique of the G clan. At this moment, the people on Broken Mountain finally understood why the disciple suddenly disappeared. He was displaying a strange technique. This kind of secret technique was extremely terrifying. During the battle, it would appear and disappear unpredictably, making it impossible for one to guard against it. It would kill without leaving a trace, causing the opponent to tremble in fear. However, Yi Fan was not afraid. He understood this secret technique very well. Ji Ziyue had taught him the complete chant and he also knew the Great Void technique. Ever since he came to the northern region, he had not used it, fearing that his identity would be exposed. In addition, there was another reason. He cultivated the old madman's footwork, so the Great Void technique was dispensable to him. Ji Yuncheng was very surprised. He did not expect the opponent to dodge it so easily. He was not startled by the Great Void technique and did not panic. Without a sound, he disappeared once again and used the Great Void technique to attack Yi Fan. Boom! The space distorted and everything became blurry. A huge black palm slapped out. The scene was quite terrifying and abrupt. The black palm covered the sky and covered the earth, pressing down on Yi Fan. With a rumbling sound, it slapped down violently. Yi Fan raised his golden fist to resist. Clang! The sound was earth-shaking, like a huge hammer hitting the divine drum of the celestial court. It made people's ears ring and made them feel dizzy. On Broken Mountain, many people's bodies trembled. They staggered back a dozen steps, their blood and chi surging. It had to be said that the Black Palm had extraordinary effects when used in conjunction with the Great Void technique. When the two secret techniques were combined, their power rose sharply. Down below, many of the spectators turned pale. They thought that it would be difficult for them to withstand the attack. The attack had caught them off guard, and the giant black hand was lethal to cultivators of the Holy Xi Palace's secret plane. However, Yi Fan took it on. His golden fist blocked the Black Palm and stopped it in the air. However, this person was clearly stronger than Ji Yunfeng. The Black Palm was like a huge dark cloud. Black mist filled the sky and rumbled, pressing down like a mountain. This was an extremely terrifying wave of divine force, black and oppressive, intimidating one's soul. The large hand covered the sky, covering the sky and covering the earth. It was as if there was a black sea surging, rushing downwards. Yi Fan's fist was blazing with golden light. He punched the sky nine times in a row, causing the sky to shake. Everyone's expression changed. This scene was extremely terrifying. The pure physical strength was actually so powerful. The golden fists smashed the void until it was about to collapse. The nine fists shook the heavens and destroyed the large black hand in midair. Yi Fan had cultivated the attacking divine techniques of the nine secrets. He could evolve many killing techniques, such as the seal of sun and moon, the seal of mountains and rivers, the seal of fire phoenix, and so on. However, he could not use them here. The battle saint technique was ever-changing. If he could use all kinds of divine seals and use them to their fullest potential, people would definitely be able to deduce the truth. At that time, the great sage would definitely attack. For the sake of the nine secrets, they would definitely surround and block him. The Jiang clan would also go crazy. The attacking divine techniques of the nine secrets could not be used in public. The disciples of the Ji clan are only a so-so. I was wondering how amazing you were. Why don't the three of you come at me together? That way, I won't kill you one by one. Yi Fan purposely mocked them. He knew that unless there was no other choice, it would be very difficult for the other party to put down their pride and attack him together. Their origins determined their burden. 
It would be hard to say if the three of them worked together to fight one person on behalf of the clan of the ancients. It's enough for me to fight you alone. Ji Yuncheng shouted. At the side, the two disciples of the Ji clan had ugly expressions. They were already prepared to attack. Let's have a fair battle with him first. If we can't beat him, we can attack at any time, one of them said secretly. If they really couldn't beat him, they would attack together and kill him at the same time. Their lives and victory were more important than anything else. They had to do so even if they would be criticized. Ji Yuncheng displayed his invincible might. He used the Great Void technique to travel through the void space to a wondrous level. He came and went without a trace, and the huge black palm print slapped the sky. The cultivators who were watching the battle were all terrified. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth. He didn't dodge quickly. Instead, he hurriedly used indirect attacks. He always managed to resolve the dangerous situation by a hair's breadth and purposely numbed his opponent. The Great Void technique is indeed peerless. It's truly a trump card. In a battle between cultivators of the same level, if one can master this technique, they will be invincible. It's indeed terrifying. We can't predict where he will appear at all. This mysterious person is very powerful, but he's now in a very passive position. The Void Ancient Scripture is indeed the legacy of the Great Emperor. It's profound and unfathomable. The secret technique contained within is unfathomable. The cultivators watching the battle were all astonished. Yi Fan sneered. Unless one cultivated this technique to the extreme, as long as one's consciousness was strong enough, one would be able to foresee the future and determine where the opponent would appear from in advance. If one couldn't become one with the void, there would always be fluctuations that could be used to resist the supreme secret technique. Moreover, he himself had grasped this technique. However, Yi Fan was also very impressed. The technique left behind by the void emperor could be said to be the ultimate way. Once it was cultivated to the great perfection realm, it would be incomparably terrifying. It would be everywhere, invisible and formless. It could kill the enemy in the void with a single thought. Unfortunately, it was impossible for Ji Yuncheng to reach this realm now. As time went on, everyone thought that Yi Fan was restrained by the void technique and couldn't resist the supreme secret technique. He would definitely be defeated. Finally, Yi Fan made his move. He determined where Ji Yuncheng was going to appear and looked at where the two disciples of the Ji family were standing. The void was blurry. Ji Yuncheng had just rushed out when he felt the pressure of Mount Tai pressing down on him. The golden fist was indestructible and waiting outside. It was as if he had delivered himself to the door. Although his void palm imprint had already been formed, it couldn't block it. This time, Yi Fan's fists were several times stronger than before. The golden fist wind surged and the multicolored light blazed. The thick golden clouds churned like a vast ocean, sending many of the cultivators on the broken mountain flying. There was no need to even mention the ones high up in the sky. Yi Fan made a killing move and broke through the black palm. The golden fist let out a tsunami-like sound that shook the sky. Boom! It was a pity that Ji Yuncheng was facing the fist head-on. He succeeded because of the Great Void technique, but he failed because of the Great Void technique. Pfft! Ji Yuncheng was beaten to a pulp. Not to mention his physical body, even a cultivator of the four extreme secret realms would have to suffer a grievance if he took such a punch. Golden waves rushed into the sky and surged violently. The sky was filled with thick golden clouds, and the golden waves swept many people away. Yuncheng the two disciples of the Ji family who were watching the battle shouted. The Great Void technique had clearly restrained the other party, so how did he get killed in the blink of an eye? The two of them were sad and furious. They charged forward at the same time. Before Yi Fan made the killing move, he had already calculated his position and disappeared in an instant. He didn't just want to kill one person. At this moment, he used the Great Void technique of the Ji family and appeared out of nowhere. He cut off one person's path and struck out with the Void Palm imprint. This change was too sudden. No one would have thought that this great enemy would know the unparalleled art of the Ji family, the Great Void Technique. Yi Fan's calculations were accurate. When he appeared, that disciple of the Ji family just happened to rush over and meet the terrifying Black Palm. This was the Void Palm imprint activated by the Battle Saint Technique. It was like a black sky pressing down. It was impossible to estimate how terrifying its power was. How? A bone-chilling sound rang out. The Black Palm smashed the disciple of the Ji family into pieces in the air. His body and soul were both destroyed. You. The strongest disciple of the four rushed over. His face was pale and his lips were trembling. There was an uproar below. This was somewhat inconceivable. This person used the unparalleled art of the G family to kill a disciple of the G family. Heavens, he used the Great Void technique and killed an expert of the G family. No wonder he doesn't fear the Great Void technique. He is also proficient in this secret technique. Who exactly are you? Ji Yunlin shouted. His face was ashen. Out of the four young experts of the Ji family, in less than an hour, he was the only one left. At this point, the people of the Wavering Light Sacred Grounds could no longer sit still and watch. The people of the Ji family were almost completely annihilated. They rushed into the sky. 
Didn't you organize the gathering of the young cultivators of the Chu province for me? Who do you think I am? The white mist dispersed and Yifan's true appearance was revealed. He quietly stood in the sky. His black hair danced in the wind. His eyes were clear and his sleeves fluttered. He had an otherworldly temperament. It's you. Yi Fan? Ji Yunlin felt as if his head was exploding. He never would have thought that it would be him. The four disciples of the Wavering Light Sacred Grounds were also incomparably shocked. The main character came here and started a massacre. This truly surpassed their imaginations. Many of the cultivators of the Chu province were even more dumbstruck. Then, the crowd below burst into an uproar. This youth was the person that the Ji family wanted to kill. This caused them to be astonished. He was truly audacious. Under the arrest order of the Huanggu family, he didn't hide and actually dared to show himself. Let's use the Great Void Technique against the Great Void Technique. Giant Palm Imprint against Giant Palm Imprint. Let's see who is stronger and who is weaker. How about it? Yi Fan spoke. You. Ji Yunlin almost vomited blood. Didn't you all want to kill me? Today, I've come myself. Yi Fan clearly wanted to start a massacre. 